here we fucking go. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. I'm about to refill my drink already. Oh, bye. God, getting drunk at Christmas? Wow. It's not Crimbus yet. Hey, it's it's more than a day, okay? And once you decide it's that it's more than a day, let's just say it's more than a month, more than a year. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. It really Christmas is. looks really blurry. <laughs> blurry? <laughs> blurry? What? Yeah. Are you drinking? <laughs> Are you drinking it right now? No, I'm actually not. I, I actually don't have any alcohol here. I've, been, I've drunk it. What's the last time you drank on, uh, on EFAP ranks? I mean, I'll have a beer hit every once in a while, and no one knows. <laughs> <laughs> you should I have, have I had... five beers sometime in secret and see if people pick it up. I think they would at five, though, a, right? a lot of people, A lot of people will, they will, they will cry wolf. When it comes to my drinking, five. they're like, oh, Rags is drinking again, and I'm completely <laughs> sober and hadn't had a drop. So really, they're just saying you have bad takes. Oof. I don't know. Maybe my, I don't know if my drunk takes or my sober takes are better. They're probably both pretty good. I'm willing to believe they're all accurate. Mm -hmm. I remember that shirt, jackets thing, the de debacle we had. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it, it wasn't a debacle. Oh. It's oh my so god, I only now notice uh, this blood in the corner. Oh my god. So, yeah, what? and he moves. Keep an eye on him. <laughs> he just jumped. Oh my god, this is so exciting. <laughs> what? Only the best graphics <laughs> of EFAP, alright? Oh my god, it's a splat. Yeah, it's a Christmas that... splat. I feel Let like I need some like, music in the background. It's like chimes of bells and lightly, you know? It's beginning to look a lot like Crimbo. <laughs> Even though we rarely ever get snow over here, sad face. Uh, I thought it was like always cold. It's always there. cold, but it's it, we we we're stuck between two extremes. We never get anything, you know. Like oh, oh that's just you know when really late. And... Britain's weather oh. is the equivalent of when you put all the colors into one big mix and it comes out brown. I think it. <laughs> I think we're shadow banned. <laughs> just uh, it just you get that all year round. You're like, oh well. <laughs> What's the weather today? Brown? Gray? Brown? <laughs> but isn't it, what about Scotland, though? It's, it's different there, isn't it? Cold. Snow. Yeah. Yeah, so it's it does snow. snow. Yeah, well, I'm not. I don't live in all of Britain. Wow. I, so it's, so tiny, it's so tiny, though. How couldn't you? I, wow, you're problem... trying to say I'm massive? Yeah, it's like during well, the problem. Ice Age, Scotland just didn't exist at all because it was underneath like three miles of ice. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, like the, they the rise. funny thing is. Yeah, time Scot to make up for lost time. Yeah, it was, like the funny thing is, is, Scotland's actually only been livable for about fifteen thousand years now. Really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Damn. See, the problem show for me up, is, like, is this place I, taken? I find oh, it difficult right. to uh to sort of account for the fact that the entirety of the United Kingdom is smaller than Victoria, but yet it doesn't. Like, I don't know. If it was too small to be a real country. But then again, there are countries that are much smaller than that. Luxembourg is like ten feet across. About yeah. like, like ten like, meters across. Like Liechtenstein, Liechtenstein is so small that you can actually rent it if you want. Neat. Not the whole country. <laughs> like, apart, apparently, Snoop Dogg was thinking of renting <laughs> like all of all of Liechtenstein for a music video, but like apparently the negotiations fell through. Oh. Of course he would. Of course he would. Yeah. Uh, so I've pulled up. So apparently, you can rent the entire country of Liechtenstein for seventy thousand dollars a night for a minimum of two nights. <laughs> yeah, you gotta at least think a week. Come on, yeah. Like, like, like uh, uh, what? What do you? What do you get? Like that's that's what I'm thinking. Like, what, what do you mean if you rent the country? Like, what do you actually get for it? This is what <laughs> you get control of their armed right? forces, the <laughs> armed forces of Luxembourg. Like, is it a case? Do you get to pass laws or anything? Because I'm going to go and wear a hockey mask and go fucking pubs time, boys. I, I do like that. <laughs> but, um, but well, like, I paid a, for it. A birthday present for somebody to be the despot of a small country. <laughs> yeah, so they, they, like, all the streets are hereby everything. declared called Wiener. You like, start construction <laughs> on the gulags. Can we uh, <laughs> like, can we kill all of the people? You're like, no, that's still no. Our national bird is now the cow. <laughs> bird. Uh, I I think my favorite part that I found in this article is that on Airbnb, 
they uh they mentioned that there are 500 bedrooms and 500 plus bathrooms uh but the cancellation policy is super strict meaning <laughs> you can get a 50 percent refund if you cancel after 30 days <laughs> before you get the there. whole country is planning to be owned by a new despot that weekend <laughs> they have to change their plans if you cancel <laughs> No, what a, no. it's a country full of people who they they cannot rule themselves they have no idea how to actually run a country so they just rent it out to everyone i mean that's the right idea if you want to rule us pay us fuck taxes <laughs> you, you pay <laughs> us if you want to rule us like yeah <laughs> I, I agree with that that's fine yeah we run our government based on the weekend monarch <laughs> the weekend monarch hey. yeah hey what's up <laughs> Some some rich stag do is in charge of your country for a few days. The weekend. <laughs> It'd be so stressful every weekend. You're like, who's it this time? You're like, oh, it's like some <laughs> pop singer from America. You're like, oh. Uh... What, what, what happens if you steal the towels? That's what I want to know. I, I always steal towels for the hotel I'm in. <laughs> I'm in the country and take every yeah. towel. Like, well, like, just take, just take all the livestock. <laughs> <laughs> no, man, like, I brought I brought these thirty cows with me. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Prove it. Getting to the airport was a bitch. <laughs> I do like the idea of some dude running out of Liechtenstein with a suitcase overflowing with towels. <laughs> Imagine cycling all of the livestock <laughs> through the bell detector. What huge line! You like got to make sure they're not smuggling well, anything. <laughs> Well, you know the phrase all you know. I I do any uh, you know I do that for all the rice in China, except it's all the towels in Luxembourg. <laughs> except you could probably actually own all of the towels in Luxembourg. And I've heard they have very nice towels, actually, Luxem Luxembourgians. Well, Luxembourg specifically has mm -hmm. very nice towels. Who's our monarch this weekend? Is like, oh no, the president of Namibia. <laughs> <laughs> He's coming in. He's gonna buy. Really in fact, I didn't speak it. Was it Namibia? Nabib <clears throat> Namibia. I think it was. Uh, they recently like voted in a politician whose name is literally Adolf Hitler. We talked about this earlier. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I, I just liked all those fucking San Andreas memes. They are oh, shit. Here we go again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, good stuff. No. Like Liechtenstein on a map, it's it's literally like one big main town and like eight villages. It's tiny. When a big city and then the eight towel factories I, I, that surround I, it. I think I think I think calling this a big city is very generous. Uh, it's a, like a town. It's the capital town. town. The capital the cap town. Yeah. The capital village of Luxembourg. <laughs> It looks, yeah, it kind of looks like the map of like Kingdom Come Deliverance. Like that's what it looks like. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty big. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I suppose we should be like. Um, I don't think have any of us ever talked to you before. I, 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 I have a doubt for this. Maybe Rags. Have you spoken to Dankil before? Spoke to. Spoke to I, been, I think I've been on a couple of streams with Rags years ago. I think so. It would have been a while ago, but maybe. But yeah, we can we start have. over. <laughs> yes. Uh, we, hello. We can just reset. Welcome our to EFAP 113 with special guest Count Dankula. Don't know if a vampire or not. Never got to ask you about that. Uh, what's what is the origin of your name? Have you ever have you ever had a video explaining that? Or is it just for funsies? Oh no, it was literally like I was making a shit posting channel that I was just going to upload. <laughs> like, if you look at my first ever upload, <laughs> like that, that's literally all it was. I, I wasn't going to like. I'm going to be a YouTuber. It was just like I'm. I'm going to make some like retarded videos with my friends and just post them on YouTube. And they're they're going to get like four views each. Like I was like, I don't care really. But then I, I turned around to my, which was my girlfriend at my time, the wife now, and I said, uh, "What's that? What's a stupid sounding meme name for a?" for a YouTube channel, a shit posting channel, and she goes, she thinks for like a few seconds, and then she goes, Count Dankula, and I'm like, yeah, that sounds fucking retarded, yeah. <laughs> She's <doing that. laughs> I'll, just, I'll just use Great. that, and not man, but it's, it, it's backfired in like so many fucking ways, like <laughs> honestly, like, see, see when you're into politics, 
and everyone's calling you Count Dankula. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> like, <laughs> it, it, it happened to me. I, I was in the European Parliament. Like I was in the European <laughs> Parliament on the day of the fucking yeah. I ran an MEP elections as Count Dankula. Oh, what a laugh! Because <laughs> <laughs> that is fucking awesome, though. <laughs> oh yeah, on 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 the day my candidacy got announced, I posted my balls on Twitter. But that's <laughs> for another time. <laughs> Um, oh, I got, I got yelled at so many times, but uh, I was in I was in the European Parliament, like, and I was given a big like proper speech to like MEPs and media and all this shit about like freedom of speech and everything. And I had like I was in a suit. That's how serious I was fucking taking this. Yeah. Right, I was in a fucking suit. And then when I got introduced on stage, the guy went, "And now next speaking, Count Dankula." <laughs> <laughs> You just seen all of these like French and Belgian people everywhere in the room, like what? what? <laughs> <laughs> that and like nobody took me fucking seriously at all. Did you? Did you get any like he's not even a count sort of thing? Yeah. <laughs> oh no, I, I, I don't count. I did when I was at a UKIP meeting. I actually had like an older woman like come up to me and shake my hand, and she was like. I've never met a real count before, and I, <laughs> and I, I, I just went, and you still haven't. Like, <laughs> that sounds like Faulty Towers Lord Mem- Melbourne. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that that was funny. Like the funny thing is, Paul, like it just cemented. Like, see how I say that politicians keep like passing all these laws and stuff, but they have absolutely no idea how the internet actually works at all. At zero. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, yeah you should have called yourself cool. the count, yeah, like for that's... political purposes. Right, thank. Like, I am now introducing to the European the Parliament. Yeah. Well, yeah. So, so, some someone made me cloud. aware that there's a, apparently a really, really old law that if you claim any kind of title that you're not entitled to, the punishment's execution. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> okay. So it's one of those never old mind. laws that aren't really enforced, but it never really got repealed either. You know? Like, oh, I'm I'm Mr. Dankula. It's Mr. Yeah, Esqu- for the first Esqu- time, huh? Esquire. Esquire. <laughs> For the first time in hundreds of years, we're gonna execute this Dankula guy. Oh, <laughs> so he's on Trying the to... run from the Luxembourg authorities. <laughs> All <laughs> three of them. If my government could, it would. Trust me. Um, but for, no, like uh, I want, I want a big mad title like fucking Idi Amin. You know that dictator? Have you seen his full oh. title? No. What What's his it? full title? Oh, two seconds. I'll, I'll Google this and I'll read the full fucking thing out. <laughs> I'll I'll go go this, this, that me reading this out will be the entire fucking podcast. <laughs> I swear to God, this is hold on. His full title. Some people use big pickup trucks. Other people use excessively long names. Oh, no, mm. I, don't know, that's, I need to fucking find it. I. Oh yes, his full title is Idi Amin, His Excellency, President for Life, Field Marshal Al Haji Doctor Idi Amin Dada VC DSO MC. CBE, Lord of all the beasts of the earth and fishes of the sea, <laughs> and, con- and conqueror and conqueror of the British Empire in Africa in general and Uganda in particular. Oh, that's, no. that's, uh, that's, that's his full fucking um, title. That is being specific. <laughs> it, it sounds like one of those comic villains, right? The over the top, like uh, fun- guys. Sounds you should like laugh a Monty at. Python yeah. sketch. Sounds like the like, best yeah. character yeah, in a TV in show. Particular. He also said he was the uncrowned king of Scotland. But, uh, <laughs> but do you mind? Know, by the way, fun, fun, fun fact that's related to what we were talking about. See how the small country Liechtenstein. See, you know, depending on what side of the fence you're on, you know, we had uh, a few unfortunate battles in the past over who should be crowned king. Uh, basically, if it was the Jacobite side that won, which is the Scottish side, the side that we're on, the true king of Scotland is actually uh, a member of the Liechtenstein royal family. It's actually he he's the he's the heir and he's next in line and he looks like a fucking dweeb. <laughs> well we oh, can't no. have that. Could have gotten a discount on the on the rental. I yeah. know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's good. Yeah. Or we could just add annex Liechtenstein. How funny would that be? <laughs> the Scottish Empire. Yeah, the Scottish Empire. It's just called a permanent rental. <laughs> I love the idea of renting planets in the future, you know, it'd be neat. Just that, that's that how far cool. humanity's gone, though. We're just like, yeah, I'm just gonna rent Earth for a bit, see what's up. Though Earth will be a shithole <laughs> by then. Well, apparently you can, you can name stars. There's like a service where you can get stars named. Stars. Whatever you want. Because <laughs> like... we got so many of them. So eventually, when we're interstellar travelers going through space, you'll have like, ah, yes, 
this is the planet Gluxon. It is orbiting around the star. Um, uh, I don't know. Uh, no, there's, there's going to be a lot of stars named N word. <laughs> or, or, or this this fucker, or or this something fucker. along those lines. Yeah. And now we approach planet Cunt. We are now <laughs> approaching the audacity of this bitch. <laughs> what if what if no, that no. planet is like the most uh? Resource filled planet that everyone has to go to, and they're gonna land in like fucker planet town. Go or... <laughs> planet, yeah. <laughs> the and there is, there is, if you look to your left, you will see the uh, giant penis constellation. <laughs> and where, if you look to your right, you will see planet 420 Weedla Mouse 69. <laughs> see, the dick one, that would, the setup for the joke, they would be like, someone named it that. It's like, no, 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 it just looks like it. And then they carry yeah. it. This <laughs> looks like a big cock, see? So anyway, next, I was going to mention to the X X X Sniper Wolf sixty nine four twenty X X X X. Why? Just the why at the end. Uh, why, why not? Some, it means, it means, yeah. it means like a thousand years from now we get to laugh at some stupid little astronaut landing there. I was the first person to discover <laughs> this. XXX uh, Sniper Wolf. Sweaty. This. Yeah. I was the first person to land on your mom. Ha. Uh. Uh, uh, yeah, so I guess in introductions, right? So I'm Mola. Hello, I've I've known you for a while, of you rather. So it's neat to meet you. How do you do? Bonjour. And then to my left is the the Green Plague Doctor. It's called Fringy. Um. Uh, oh, what what am I meant to say? I guess <laughs> this is your opening to be like, oh, I've 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 seen your stuff. Oh. I've heard of you as well. Hello, I guess. Yeah, I f it's funny, right? Because a, a lot of the time when interacting with people, they'll be like, "Oh, so what was the first thing you found me from?" It's like, "Oh, well, I think I think we all know what the first thing we heard." <laughs> <on."> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you know I, what? I, we'll I probably um, we'll probably ask you probably. to give like a quick summary of that for that anybody who's like, "Who the fuck is this guy?" Be like, "Oh, it's for anybody oh, who isn't aware that yeah. jokes are illegal no, in the United that, Kingdom." That's, <laughs> that, that started happening. That's actually started happening now. Like there was one, there was like a a few people who, like were talking on Twitter, and they went. Wait a minute! You're the Nazi punk guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I don't mind. There was one. There was one that was really funny. It was like a lot of people don't know my wife either, and there's lots of like normies have started like following my wife, and they're like, and she posted a picture of us together, and they were like, uh, "What are you doing with him? He's a racist." <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, shit. And she's like, "That's my fucking oh. husband." <laughs> <laughs> I like. I just now I'm just picturing in my head. It's just like. Your life is like the ending of Invasion of the Body Snatchers, where somebody finally <laughs> figures out that you're the Nazi punk guy. They turn around and point at you and scream. You That's have... happened in the happened in the street a few times. It's kind of so kidding. fucking annoying. <laughs> no, I, 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 there was one time where I, I accidentally walked through an anti-Trump rally because I didn't know it was an anti-Trump rally. Did you not yeah, in the United, yeah, this was in the United Kingdom. This was in George Square, and it, I was actually. Oh. You ever heard, do, do you know Tailed Feature? I mm. do. I think I was there because I went on holiday in the UK, and I remember like I was in a bus on a tour, and I I went past this big Trump balloon that they inflated. Oh, that shitty one. Uh, oh, but... Yeah, it wasn't great. <laughs> but I remember. <laughs> I remember. See, see, if you were walking by and there was a large crowd of people, and you heard someone shouting, "Shut up, you communist!" F words. Uh, that was me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't know. It's like I think they thought they were going to intimidate me, but like they didn't. I don't know. I don't they know. Don't seem intimidating. No, it's, it's it, the Nazi pug guy. How are you going to intimidate him? Like, it's, it's not. Exactly. Oh, that was a fun argument. It was like there was people. They they came up to me like I I didn't know it was an anti-Trump rally. Like I was like I was in town with Tilt Feature because he was buying some guitar gear. And I was buying fucking Magic the Gathering cards, and then I'm walking through the fucking big crowd, and it wasn't until we, we saw people we saw people gathering, and we were like, "Oh, it must be some kind of protest or whatever." Walk oh, through the so crowd, you, it's Tragic the Gathering. Yeah, it's oh. Tragic the Gathering. But then, as I was walking back, that's when everybody had the signs out, and we were like, "Oh shit, this is an anti-Trump rally." And then people people noticed me. I got surrounded, and do you know? Do you know how fucking hard it is to act like a tough guy while you're holding Magic the Gathering cards? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, depending on who you're talking to, they'd be like, you mean it bolsters it, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, it depends on the odds. It's... Oh, this? Did yeah, you... I get pussy. Dang, <laughs> Dang you didn't, didn't you tell... 
M Mr. Count, didn't you tell them that you don't Mr. even live Count. in the United States? Why why are you why are you protesting? Did you did you oh, use no. that argument? Oh no, they were, they kept trying to say like, oh you're a racist, you're a Nazi, and like this is the thing is like I'm not I'm not on Twitter, like I can't get banned in real life. Right. So they're all <laughs> yeah. going, you're a racist, you're a Nazi, and I was like, Yeah, well you're a fa <laughs> <laughs> No, you just made me think. Like, imagine watching Hitler live react to your Nazi pug video. That would be so fucking awesome. Just... He'd, be, he'd, be, he'd be mad. Like the Nazi. I'd be offended. Was that oh, famous? Of course, it would just be thing? hilarious. Like, you see him frowned. Like, what is this? What is this bullshit? Like, <laughs> the pug. Is... Every everyone always talks about the case. Like, this is back when the Nazis were in full swing. You've heard about the Norwegian guy that taught his own dog to like Nazi salute, and Hitler and the Nazi party like tried to ruin the guy's life. They tried mm -hmm. to destroy his business and all that, but there's another case that someone made me aware of, and it was found uh, hidden deep within like SS reports at one of the like fucking SS stations, like way back in the day. It turns out that in Germany there was a traveling circus, and while they were in Germany traveling around, they taught their circus monkeys to salute, <laughs> and, like whenever they said "Z cow," and it literally <laughs> like the report literally says something like this. It, it, the report at the end of it says. See to it that the primates are destroyed. The Nazis literally killed circus monkeys. <laughs> because I find it, it's a I find it they, immensely they strange them. that like you were prosecuted for making fun of Nazis. It's oh, my, just my, so bizarre. My trial was a laugh. My trial was such a fucking laugh. Like one of the things that was funniest as well is I remember just seeing this. Out the out the corner of my eye, right? Because I'm I'm in the dock, like I'm standing in the accused box, like thing, <laughs> and I'm like talking to the judge and talking to the prosecutor and all that stuff's going on. Out the corner of my eye, I see the like a cop running through, like the, see how everyone sits in like the audience gallery. I seen a cop like run over to a guy and like sort of give him a bit of a bollocking, and then I seen the guy getting taken out. I, like this is all just out of the corner of my eye. I can't turn around to watch. And then I was, I, I, after we took a break from the trial, I went outside and I was like, what the fuck was all that that happened in the back? And they went, oh yeah, uh, a guy got thrown out of your trial because he was playing with a Rubik's Cube <laughs> while the judge was talking. And I was like, what? And then I, the guy came over and he's like, yeah, it was me. And he's still playing with the Rubik's Cube. <laughs> Figure this thing out. Hey, he didn't get contempt. He didn't get contempt of court. Like, no, disrespecting he, the judge. He, he just, he got just get, thrown out. I think, I think it was like the cop ran up to him, just kind of like, really, really, <laughs> son, like, and just like just kicked him out. No, that was it. <laughs> um, to, to to move on so very swiftly. To my right is a guy called Metal What's Commander. Uh, Hello. You you you're you watch tank stuff, right? I do indeed. One of the rare times we have a new guest that I actually watch the content of, so that's Yay. nice. <laughs> Great. Um, uh, yeah. And then to his right is Rags, as you probably know already. Hello. Uh, and then to his right is Weekend Warrior. Oh, greetings. Um. Oh. So yeah, that's that's us. That's who you got today, chat. All right, get over it. They, they yeah. just, you know, sometimes they're just so very ungrateful. But yeah, I was going to say, it, <laughs> th there's enough alluding to it. I don't know if you just want to give like a quick, quick summary. It shouldn't take too long, right? It hasn't been a nightmare over many, many years of what happened. Um, <laughs> but I just think it'd be fun for anybody who didn't know. Uh, let's just say, how, what is your origin story, Mr. Comic Book Hero? Well, I was bitten by a racist pug. And <laughs> then no. well, I, wo I woke up one morning and I found out that I had the power to uh, really upset Jews. It's not even radioactive, um, it's just racist. <laughs> like, yeah, it's just not radioactive, really it's just racist. Um, yeah, uh, fucking Mar Marvel, I'm in the Marvel Universe, technically. Uh, I haven't got my movie yet, but I'm waiting. Anti-hero is what they'll call you. Yeah, probably, I'll have an anti-hero. You ultimately movie. do I, the right thing. I think I'm not getting my movie because of, you know, who secretly runs Hollywood, but mm -hmm. hey-ho. Uh, I'm kidding off. <laughs> <laughs> the, the the pugs run Hollywood. <laughs> yes, uh, no. I would say the the short short version is a uh, girlfriend always talked about how cute and adorable her pug was. Um, I thought it would be funny to make him do something really horrible to upset her. <laughs> so I I taught him to Nazi salute whenever I say Z Kyle, 
and I also taught him to jump around very, very happily whenever <laughs> I say the phrase "gas the Jews." <laughs> and I've heard uh, it so many times, so funny. <laughs> so I posted, I posted the video on the internet, and then I got arrested, and I went through a, <laughs> I went through a two-year, absolute lawsuit of a trial that I didn't take seriously at all. <laughs> and uh, at the end of it, I was found guilty and fined eight hundred pounds. I refused to pay the 800 pounds and was like saying to the police like come and fucking get me and instead of instead of basically going through the proper channels the police without my knowledge and they're legally supposed to tell you if they're going to do this uh, they seized the money straight out of my bank account wow mm -hmm. yeah and so i went through oh, appeal. Damn. i went through many different appeals firstly i went to the sheriff appeal court which went really badly to the point where the judge at the appeal court threatened to arrest my lawyer for doing his job. Oh <laughs> my God. We went to the high court who basically says, oh, well, because you haven't went to the sheriff appeal court, we can't look at your case. And I'm like, yeah, but they've told us to fuck off. They threatened to arrest <laughs> us if we tried again. Uh, we tried to go to the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court said no. And just recently, we tried to go to the European Court of Human Rights and I haven't went public with us yet because I need more information. But they also told us no based on a technicality. Oh no! Yeah. What? Yeah. What are you no, but that's you? fuck that. Isn't, <laughs> isn't wait wait isn't that supposed to be unconstitutional? Like there's no due process. They just took your shit. Oh no, we don't know. We, we don't have one of those. <laughs> right. I don't have, don't have that. Oh okay. Our, our government can do whatever the fuck it wants. <laughs> I know, like, it's really when bad. It comes to like uh, court oh, stuff, wait, what... you have the right to appeal, but that doesn't mean that they have to accept your appeal. Like, if, yeah, like if so... I wanted to appeal to the high court, they could just say no, depending on. What yeah, it's like, it's basically, like you, you have you have the right to go up and put that little piece of paper on their desk. Yeah. Uh, they just don't have to look at it or pay attention to it at all. Well, that's nice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what... you get to pop it down on the desk. There you go. Yeah, my my, uh... my country's shit. <laughs> my country's really shit. Come save Scotland, America. Jeez. Well, yeah, actually, we've got we've... we've got oil. We've got lots you of oil. You can have our oil. oil. <laughs> yeah, I like the I like the idea of just some like Scottish person just with standing next to an oil barrel and just doing like this <laughs> sort of uh lottery they're opening thing. up the like... barrels and pouring them all over the ground to try and lure america to come <laughs> in. please you can even drone strike our kids it's fine <laughs> you we set up like a money. bunch of straw children in a straw house like right there just <laughs> you know you love to it's do an, it it's an isis training camp get them <laughs> America agree, and they just saw like Scotland off of Britain and take them away. <laughs> just like, hey, we, yeah, we just take one of our amazing aircraft carriers and <laughs> hook a line to it and pull it over someplace. <laughs> well, I mean, uh, what what oh, would yeah. be like the next port of call if uh, if the European Court of Human Rights doesn't pan out? That that's it. Oh, okay. So that, I guess that's, 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 that's it. Story, then. Oh, yeah. Uh, next you, up would be God, he... I suppose. Wait, is, is Scotland common law? Is that right? Uh, we've got our own laws, but we're also based in common law as well. Like we've got we've got different devolved powers from England. Like, see, for example, in England you can own an air rifle. The only rule is you need to be over the age of eighteen. In Scotland, you need a license for an air rifle. Oh, man, that's fun. Did in somebody Venice, get arrested? An air rifle could kill everyone on planet Earth if you shot it. Yeah. All of their yeah, eye. isn't the no the air rifle takes the air out of the area, right? That's why it's called the air rifle. <laughs> no, it's just a, it's just in case we give someone a bad bruise, <laughs> you know. <laughs> For a second there, I thought you meant the rifle like takes the oxygen out of the area yeah. and kills people. Like that? No, no, yeah, that's it. it. Yeah, it's an yeah, air, that... air powered rifle, air powered rifle. But it's a case of, like, it's, it's like one of the the weakest like forms of. Fuck around and find out. Yeah. Ow! Ow. <laughs> yeah. You yeah. to bruise me. <laughs> you know how now far I away I can know. inconvenience you from. <laughs> Dude, now That's I just right. Want to know the story of this this gun that can suck the oxygen out of. The I know it's yeah, so man, neat. Man, <laughs> that would be cool, room, right? Sucking all the oxygen out, locking them in. It files. It files <laughs> air. It just sucks in the air for ammunition. 
It's oh, that like, would be cool it's, also. It's, it's basically the suck cannon from Ratchet and Clank 3. Alright. <laughs> just reminding me <laughs> vaguely of the fucking gun from Fallen Kingdom. It's like a gun that fires a laser that makes a dinosaur attached to the target and eat it. It's, oh. like, <laughs> it's a very strange gun. I wonder if a dinosaur could eat through Mando's armor. Probably not. Nope. No, no, it, 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 no, it's it, imbalanced. It's stronger it's than water. Just awkwardly it's drool on him. Than well, he could swallow Mando, and the acid in his stomach could oh, probably he can get like, swallowed by Mando, even if he has acid saliva, and Mando's fine. Mando is unstoppable, no. indestructible. Uh, hope, yeah, for those who are like, wait, what are talking about? That? We've got minis coming out; they're on the way. Four are done. You'll get one tomorrow, and then two next week. We'll be watching Mandala. You, do you like your Star Wars, Dankula? Did you just say Mandala? Mandala. Mandala. We're watching Mandala. We're watching Mandala. The okay. Mandala. I, I watched I watched the new V Mix like once each and walked away. Um, the Mandalorian <laughs> seems to be kind of all right. Like I do kind of like the Mandalorian. It's much more. Um, it's better than. It's better than the other one. Yeah. I, I, mm. I totally get why people enjoy Mandalorian compared to the sequel trilogy. Um, oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Be nice if it. No, were I think better. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, no, I think Mandalorian is like. Uh... You watch uh, it without critically thinking about it. And it's like, oh, what a fun Star Wars adventure. Then when you watch it again, oh, this was my favorite episode. Are and you then our guests. Hey, <laughs> no, no, no. I, I didn't weekend. say that. It's, it's. I didn't say that, man. What I, I said you did, was. I was asking if you did say it. <laughs> no, I didn't. Yeah, I just repeated <laughs> what you said in, in a slightly defensive manner. Is what I'm saying right now. Yeah. Go on. <laughs> Wait, what was what was my thought? Yeah, it's like, hey, that, that, that doesn't keep work. Keep straight. I'm not lying, you, you <laughs> fucking dog Bert. Wow, you're fucking you just... gaslighter dog Bert. You go straight to his species to say why he's wrong. Yeah. That is fucked up. Wow, yeah, fucking racist. What, what's an N-word doggo? Yeah. That's, oh that's my. God. <laughs> oh, no. What oh. the C-word N-word doggo? <laughs> <laughs> Digger. Hey, someone's spamming in chat. <laughs> what the what are, fuck? What are they spamming that you've been lying? Why you ban me? NY vo- Bro, if you're gonna spam, at least make it the correct spelling, right? <laughs> NY voice is too powerful. Whoa. Yeah. Really? Really? That's your spam? It's not even the Chinese, like, <laughs> Tiananmen Square thing. Really? Really, bitch? <laughs> are you okay, Weekend? Are you alright? No, I'm, I'm kind of like, I'm feeling, I'm feeling the heat. <laughs> like, oh, I'm um... t- like, you, want, you wanted to, to to slap chat, didn't you? Wasn't that something you were No, no, about? not today. Because oh. I'm leaving. Because, like, maybe next time. Oh. And chat, 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 listen to me. I will be back, chat. And pay attention to that. Okay, chat? Is be a, be a good boy, chat. Like a eh. No, I'm, no, no, no. It's just that, you know, I'm here. I'm having fun calling rags a C word, N word. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so. You, yeah, I think you, I'm ru- I'm running on adrenaline now because I feel sick. <laughs> the adrenaline's kicking in. Sweet. Oh, do you nice. have do you have the coronavirus? Yeah. I hope not. Fuck that shit. I oh. saw a tweet: ravioli, ravioli, give me the vaccinoli. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I mean, if that's like a spell, it should should work, right? <clears throat> Harry Potter's really really fell far. <laughs> it's the right. <laughs> Um, Harry Potter, can you give me the coronavirus vaccine? You, <coughs> your blood is the cure, Harry. Fucking Voldemort's just Xi Jinping. <laughs> <laughs> what virus? I'm, I'm a drink what is vi- There are no viruses in Magic Land. What are you talking about, Mr. Potter? <laughs> um, oh, oh yeah, I should probably ask before. Hogwarts sounds like a disease itself. Before chat explodes, uh, Count Ankula, what is better, Christmas or Halloween? Christmas, I'd say. Hey. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Another yeah. one for Team Christmas. In fact, I think, yeah, Metal and I are the only Team Halloween is here, which is okay. Oh my god. In our Christmas outfits. We're, we're among the sheep right now, Metal. I would get my guns, but we don't have those in Germany. <laughs> I'll get my air rifle. I'll suck it all out of the room. <laughs> oh yeah, I will a lot of air rifles. Uh-huh. Sure. No, Christmas is good because I get to hear all my really, really old family members be racist because they think it's totally fine. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> oh, you know, when you're 86 and you don't like the slant eyes, it's like this. You can't change them. Just let them do their thing. Oh uh, yeah. My this favorite one. So this happens with so many uh, people of like, I guess maybe 50s, 60s, 70s at this point. I'm not 100 percent sure, but. They'll, they'll be like, to be politically correct, they'll go, oh, it's the colored person. You're like, you can't say that. They're like, what? I, what? <laughs> oh, fine, the Negroes. <laughs> it's like just that. Like, the jury's still out on that one, Grandma. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the, have you seen the annoying trend on TikTok that has spread to Twitter where they're like, my face when I am a 1945 white person and my black friend is being arrested for being black. Oh, I, hate, and I hate that. I fucking like see cringe. I can't handle cringe. Like see cringe compilations. I can't watch them. I, I <laughs> yeah. cannot deal with cringe, which is why like, I see as soon as I see that, I just click off. I've seen screenshots yeah. of what I've seen. I can't watch videos like that. It's embarrassing. Wasn't there one, wasn't there one girl that fucking uh, painted herself like white and everyone pretended to be Anne Frank? Oh, oh, yeah. oh yeah! Oh yeah! Anne yeah. Frank another... in heaven. I saw that. Jesus Christ! Uh, <laughs> there was another one as well. Oh, Anne someone... like Frank's in heaven. <laughs> so, someone got banned from a uh, TikTok because they made a reply to it saying, "I'm at this is Anne Frank too," and they were uh, emptying ashes out the fire. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> <laughs> I think they get banned. For that. God damn it! Yeah, you don't want to offend Anne Frank. <laughs> it's weird how like TikTok's like hyper popular, right? D didn't it get? Yeah. Yeah. Is it is it banned yet? Did that happen or is it not? I don't know what's going on with it. I, I think it was. I don't refused. think it's gonna happen. I yeah. think it's good. It was refused. The ban was and refused. Since, oh, okay. And Trump is World. Trump is going out, so it's not gonna happen either way. Hey, Biden wants, might not so like TikTok. You don't know. I yes, imagine old people really hate TikTok. Word. Probably can't say the word TikTok. Oh my god. <laughs> Kit Kat. Yeah, let's call it Kit Kat. <laughs> I don't know. He hearing him misspeak is like the funniest shit. It's really funny. Yeah. <laughs> what was the What was the really old one? Turned on the the record player. It's like, dude, you're so old. <laughs> <laughs> That's not fair. Plenty of people uh, still use records. Hipsters. I'm gonna refill my drink. I'll be right back. At least Biden didn't go Pokemon Go to the polls or some shit. That oh, was like, oh. Uh, yeah. What do you mean? Yeah, that, he, that appealed to me. Pop. I thought to myself, I play Pokemon Go much like the Clintons do. <laughs> it's it's that—that's how you reach out to the people. Pokemon Go, yeah. shoot They're yourself just, in the back of the head two times. They're just like us. I, I too <laughs> assassinate billionaire pedophiles. I can imagine them holding a phone in a promotional photo and just tapping their thumb on it over and over and over again. They're like, "This is what they do, right? This is, yeah, yeah. <laughs> doing it, Pokemon." Why can't they be interested in normal things, you know? That's what they think of us. Us lowly normal podcasters. Like anime. Um, of, of which you're, you're, uh, you're very familiar with, right? Thank you. You, you like your anime. I do like my anime. Fucking yes. weeb. Uh, <laughs> I, I wear that as a badge of pride. Sh you know, share, your, out, um, share your anime coming hot takes. Out, coming out, uh, Steins Gate is one of the worst fucking animes ever. Everyone keeps thinking I'm oh, saying shit. that. It's, meme. That... it's fucking... Terrible! It's shit. Isn't that see, Yara's like popular. favorite anime? See, see, see if by Why episode did... eight nothing at all has happened. It's a fucking <laughs> shit anime, and everyone oh, keeps trying to go. But Dank, it's got a trap. It's got a trap in it. Dank, you love traps, and I'm like, yeah, there's a trap in it, and I still think it's shit. That's how bad. <laughs> I uh, I think no, I, I watched I, the first three episodes of Stein Gate. Yeah. I was bored. I was so I, bored. <laughs> I disagree, Dank. I disagree. Oh my god. No, we'll tell, tell, tell I, you what, I enjoyed then. it a lot. Yeah. I'll tell you what, then. What, what episode? There was one episode that I really enjoyed. How did it go again? Was yeah. The last one. Was, <laughs> <it did laughs> not, the last one where, where the time travel plot actually happens. No, they, what, what was it they did again? Yeah, they fucked around with a banana, turned it into jelly. The <laughs> fucking big, the big fat, the big fat guy said something creepy. The ginger-haired girl and the main scientist guy had an argument and fell out. Then the little cutesy girl did something cute, and then the fucking main guy has this little internal monologue about something that happened between him and her and her past. What episode was that again? Oh yeah, fucking all of them. Oh, right. <laughs> right. all of them. What the? It's a shit that happens in every episode. <laughs> I just described every single episode. Right, I think shut I do, up. I, it's shit. I, I, I do think I see what you're where you're coming from, right? Like. Where's the time? It, it takes a while before. Where's the time travel plot? What's happening? It's like relationship no, building, like, walking I'll, around with the trap. I will admit, like, like when the, the first episode, a girl. 
when the when the first episode happened with that fucking satellite crashing and shit like that, I will admit, okay, that looks quite cool. And then for like the next eight episodes, I was like, nothing's happening. I'm getting no answers whatsoever. Like this is so no, stupid. Th- th- I, I, I'm not watching. They're world building, Dank. They're like <laughs> setting up the time travel machine, and the name of that guy that is time traveling, but I forget his name right now. And... Okay, uh, Attack on Titan yeah. did world building in the first four minutes. Uh. <laughs> right oh, in the yeah, first because... episode. Get yeah, right. because they they talked about it, you know. Oh, Wall Cena, Titans, exposition time, you know. It's... Yeah, I mean, it stays great shit. It's not a I, I do, a mean I, I do shit. get that. I, I do get that why you dropped it. I, I disagree that it's shit. But I do get why you dropped it. Like, by the time the eighth episode rolls around, where's the time travel? And yeah, words, and then... Yeah. Some, I would say. <laughs> <laughs> Eight episodes is like a season. Uh, John Titor, thank you, chat. John Titor. I wonder oh, if he's more in those eight episodes than in Mando, though. That, that, Oh god. <laughs> Less time you, has passed. You know, I was gonna say, this totally applies to Mando, what you just said. It's like, what episode? Oh, the one where he meets up with someone no. who has information he needs, but he has to do something for them and collect a thing. And yeah, it's yeah. <laughs> like, oh, that one. <laughs> it's like, I hear you know where to find X. I know where to find X for a fight. <laughs> gotta help me first. Yeah, that is every episode, actually. <laughs> Good stuff. Um, Hooray, anime. Speaking of media, oh. so, so you like... Oh, oh wait a minute, oh, no. so they're probably going to be curious, actually. Like, what's your favorite anime, then? Yeah. Psychopaths. Oh. I do like Psychopaths. I've seen all the series. Oh, hell the yeah. As well. Because, okay. cause see, see how okay. I'm... I'm See how I'm the guy that's always like fucking screeching on about like dystopian governments and shit? Of Good course, job. my favorite anime is the one with, about a dystopian government. Okay. Good job, Dank. You've restored the social link between us. This is this is great. <laughs> no, psycho, <laughs> psycho <laughs> again. Did you watch the third season, Dank? Uh, not the second one. Second one's shit. Yes. The third oh, I'm glad you said that. I was about to say it. Okay. Is, the se- is the second one that's got the spooky boogie episode? No, I think. No. Wait, but, no, I don't. Spooky. Is that the first season? I, I, I think I can't spooky remember. Boogie. I, it's, it yeah. was. It, it's probably been about four years, maybe, since like I watched it all. But like, I loved it. I would. I probably would watch it all again. Spooky boogie. Spooky boogie. Yeah, there's a, there's a person with an online username in in this episode called Spooky Boogie. Oh, really? he, I know. We hear it. We hear it. Yeah, it's yeah. it's, it's, you hear in Japanese characters say that name, and they they never say it normally. They just go. Spooky boogie. <laughs> <laughs> Man, it's funny as fuck hearing that throughout the episode. Yeah. That's the first season, yeah. It's fun. And and the main villain is like this philosophical, psychotic guy that keeps quoting philosophy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but he's apparently... He's, oh, great. He, Another annoying anime trope. Wow. His, his psychopath is always at zero, so that their guns can't shoot him. Yeah, <laughs> and all that. Like, yeah, it's fucking funny. Yeah, he's, it's... he's like he's murdering people. He's murdering people like in front of the cops. But the way the cops' guns work is it it measures up their guns measure a person's psychopath. If it's I think it's if it's above one hundred and fifty, they activate like non lethal mode, where it just stuns them, and then they get sent to like a prison that's sort of like a Buddhist temple or some some shit like <laughs> to try and relax rehabilitate them, them. Yeah. yeah rehabilitate yeah. them so their psychopaths yeah. is lower if their psychopaths is above 300 then that means that you are irredeemable you're beyond saving so the gun goes into the dominata lethal mode but see when the person gets shot they swell up and explode like fucking yeah. it's gruesome yeah. and it's horrible. But the problem is and when you, it... yeah, when when you see horrible things and experience horrible events, like Oof. you, you it makes your pass goes up. Yeah, so that's why. So cops are basically like making people swell up and explode, and then they're like, "Why? Why does uh, all of our cops' psychopath levels keep going up? I can't yes, figure yeah. it out." <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah. Maybe we should we use normal bullets, bullets again. No, they explode so funny. Yeah, no, but it's a fucking. No, I, I would honestly highly recommend Psychopaths. It's fucking brilliant. Apart from like when when the people swell up and explode, there's also one bit that goes absolutely wrong with the people that were as it was the hostage situation episode 
where one of the, the hostage taker like brutally murders like one of the hostages in front of the other hostages. So the other hostages psychopath levels because they're so stressed out and they're going mental. Like it goes through the roof. So when they run outside, all the cops like guns all go lethal mode and just an- <laughs> and just annihilate all the hostages. <laughs> Like, I think nobody was... gets saved. Like, no one get fucking saved, and the cops are all like, "Good job, man." I think I was shown <laughs> that by somebody as like a fucking meme part oh. of the series or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's quite fucked. Um, yeah, we we haven't seen many anime over here. I've seen Code Geass. Have you seen that? Mm-hmm. Not Parts of it. That one. And I, I know the memes about it, of course. I, that that's the one I'm watching currently. Eee. It's a weird one. It's a really weird one. <laughs> What else is there? Uh, FMA Brotherhood? You must have seen that, right? No. Wow. wow. Call That's yourself a great weeb. Do you watch? Do you watch? A, you ever heard of Fully Cooley or FLCL as it's called? I think. I heard about that. Doesn't Chase Face it. love that show? I think. It's it's fucking. I love the fact that whenever you fucking like go on like any anime website and just scroll to the bit where it says plot, it will just say something like, "Quite frankly, we don't know." <laughs> 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 Like, none of it, plot like, exists. It, like that was the thing is I watched it all and it's fucking brilliant but like at the end of it like it, he unlocks some power where it's like ah yes it's, it, they're acting like he unlocks the power of the pirate king as it's called and he's sitting there mm-hmm. powering up like fucking Goku and then and then the entire like season acts like this this is what this whole, everything has been building towards this moment him unlocking the the pirate king's power even though it was never mentioned once throughout the entire <laughs> thing. And then, and then and then what was it at the end? Like I read up a bit on it and apparently the writer went, Yeah, the entire thing is an allegory for puberty. And I was like, How? Uh, <laughs> how? <laughs> how? None of that none of this made sense. Like I don't like puberty. Like he gets uh, this, oh. episode one, uh, a, a woman's going past him on like a green Vespa and smashes him in the forehead with a bass guitar. He puts a plaster over it, and then for some reason he grows like a lump where he get hit, and then the lump grows and grows, and then it just erupts. Uh, basically, a gigantic like nine foot robot erupts <laughs> out a ten year old boy's head, and then another one, and then the two robots fight each other, and then one of the robots wins. The robot that came from this little boy's head has no idea what to do with itself, so it gets a job in the little boy's <laughs> dad's bakery. That's episode one. <laughs> it's just well, it makes no fucking sense, but it's fucking. I, I like it. It's really I good. Need to see this. <laughs> yeah. uh, maybe, maybe it's just too high brow for you. I don't know. You know, you just don't oh, understand. No. It. <laughs> it sounds. It sounds very like like complicated thematically. I'd say layered, the kind of thing I that I would just love to watch. They just randomly change like animation styles like halfway through episodes as well. Oh. It's, it's almost like they, they lost a contract with like one studio, so handed it to another one, <laughs> and they just and then they just go, yeah, we're doing it this way now. It's just oh, oh, okay. What, what, well, what, if it's sti- <laughs> what if it's stylistically designed to be that way? <laughs> I don't, I don't know. They do it a bunch of times and ever as well. It just it makes no. And that's the thing is, it makes no <laughs> yeah. fucking sense. But I really enjoyed watching it. So we can. What's that mean from? What is the origin of that shit? The stylistically designed to be that way. I think it's a uh, Luke George. I think was the name of the guy. That... I don't know. I I fuck. I forgot. Oh shit! It is George is Lucas. Fuck! Right? I completely blanked yeah. on the. It was... <laughs> yeah, Luke George. <laughs> the problem is he's got so many George. of them. Like if you had said we just got to get Jar Jar working, he's the key to all this. I would have gotten it straight away. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Um, so yeah, you know, it, it, other media include, oh, you know what, this is this is going to tie in really nice. Did anyone know that 4K Lord of the Rings has released recently? Hooray! Ooh. Wow, that's not enough excitement. 4K ooh. Lord of the Rings should be like, ooh. Then again, oh, wait, I imagine all of wait. us don't even have a 4K monitor or TV. You are correct. Let's go! <laughs> so... <laughs> Yeah, uh, and and it's like not a shit remaster, from what I understand. It's it's uh, hell yeah. They nice. they took care with it, and people are happy with it, and they've released different sets of of things. And it's like, hey, remember good stuff? And it's like, yay, Lord of the Rings, killing goblins and stuff. You know, it's all it's all good. But um, what would be thematically oh, appropriate yeah. then is for us to cover a not even a second. How many Lord of the Rings videos have we covered now since I think it's like five. Three. Well, because oh, we got the one. With how many did we cover in in a hundred? Was it two or one? 
We covered... no, it was two, right? Two. I, yeah. Well, we did the we did the cinematic Venom one. We did the <laughs> weird guy, the weird psycho hey. guy. Oh wait. Uh, um, hey, Count Dankula, have you heard of like uh, this criticism? I'm almost certain you wouldn't have. So I'm going to enjoy this. So. <laughs> We covered someone who did not like Lord of the Rings, hated it, he thought it was really bad, and he had a review that goes over all three movies and all their problems, but there's, there's one in particular I want to tell you about. So, do you remember when um, the battle of Polenor Fields is over, and they're, they're thinking about going to uh, the Black Gate to distract Sauron from uh, Frodo and Sam? Remember that? Yeah. Remember, yeah. remember when Gimli says that, um, let him oh, stay no. there, let him rot, what a week here? Remember that? No. He's, they're, they're like they're concerned about whether or not they should go to Sauron, and he's like, "Nah, fuck it, we'll just stay here. Let him rot in Mordor." Oh uh, yeah, a little bit. I can kind of remember that. Yeah. Oh well. Um, I, the, think, the, I think so. The guy with, uh, who who was reviewing the film was like confused, and he was like, "Why does Gimli want to kill Frodo and Sam?" And that that that's really out of character for him. It's like a major flaw in the film. Oh right, right, okay. So, uh, <laughs> we um. It's one of the most confusing things I think we've ever heard on the show. It was like it's it's the kind of criticism you just you just don't expect to find except out in the wild. Uh, there is if you rewatch right. the films, thinking about how much Gimli hates Frodo and Sam, some stuff lines up. I will say, you know, <laughs> <laughs> just some looks, you know. The, the, the Gimli was actually Sauron the entire time. I oh think so. Maybe maybe the reason that Legolas kept beating him like in kill count is because Gimli wasn't really trying because he didn't want to kill his own soldiers, you know. I don't want to reveal my power level. Yeah, exactly. But I gotta look like I'm into it, you know. It's like, yeah, yeah, totally. Sauron's oh, actually only four foot tall and really hairy. <laughs> you just can't tell because from all the way up there of a tower when it's on fire, you just can't notice. It's actually a dwarf. The reason he wanted that woman's hair was for some dark magic spell. Here, yeah, this is start. This is starting to line up. <laughs> oh There's a lot of references that just sort of I don't know. It's, it's concerning. Like, who led them into that room where the troll attacked them? It was Gimli. <gasps> Fuck. Yeah, the, the, yeah. He, he said that they should go into Moria. And who slowed them down when they were trying to chase the Urukai? It was Gimli. He was like, oh, oh no, I can't run that fast. Like, sure, and Gimli. <laughs> and also, at the, at the very end of Gimli's life, he when, when he's just about to die, he actually gets taken into the east with Legolas. So that means he actually gets to go to the Undying Lands. He's um, he's infiltrated it now. Yep. Going to release COVID in the Undying Lands. Mm. <laughs> oh, he's going to finish. No, he's going to finish. He's going to finish what he started in Frodo. <laughs> I'll take in all these elves with me. <laughs> and then, you think and you've then, defeated Sauron, do you? Like, and then oh Sauron God. said, absolutely no travel unless for essential activities. <laughs> Wear a mask for, only for when you're going, going out. From work and invading armies. That was the main reason the elves attacked. They were joined in anyway. They were like, enough of this shit. We want to go outside. <laughs> Bored. <laughs> There's nothing to do in Rivendell. Let's yeah, get but to war, I guess. Then there was, yeah, I think that was they tried to start something with a horse called the SS Liberty or something like that. I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> none, none of you got that joke. Never mind. I was joking. <laughs> I'm kidding. Not. The chat will know. I was going to say you'll be alright. I know it's people. something that you should Google. No, don't, don't Google that unless you want to be put on a watch list. Um... I think it's too late for that. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say it's already too late, but we're on all kinds of lists. It's great. I made it into the partisan right uh, category on, on transparency on tube. I'm still not popular enough to even be on that one. Oh. I know they they listed my wife's channel on it as a right wing anti SJW when she bakes <laughs> cakes. She has, a, she, has a, she has a she has a cooking channel. And like she fucking like makes like cupcakes and like other types of cakes and all that and then like, people were laughing going right wing anti SJW and she posted she just she just owned the joke. She just tweeted out like pictures of caramel cake going, <laughs> Here is here is my caramel cake of hate. <laughs> <laughs> the ingredients are two two spoonfuls of racism. <laughs> oh, man, like, yeah, she, she just I did DM the guy and went like did like 
come on, like, why, why is she in there? And he went, oh, sorry, we've removed them now. It's just because they run an algorithm and it's because her audience and my audience have a lot of overlap. So that's, Can't that's why. I can't imagine why, you know. There's just no connection there. It has to be politics strictly. To the batter. Stir thoroughly. So uh, you, you're afraid of uh, jars of boiling jam, right? Like, is that one of your deepest phobias? No, it's no, it's not my deepest phobia. Um, it's it's just I I have experience in the past of pouring like very hot liquids into something that's very cold or vice versa, right? And like and on these occasions, like the container has exploded, Ooh. and when that, and when that container is like made of glass, it makes me afraid. So basically, she's pouring boiling hot jams and <laughs> boiling hot jam into these jars. Oh, but the, I see. But the jars yeah. have also been like hit up, like they've been heated up a lot in the oven. So to me, I'm looking at it like that's a nuke that's about to go off. <laughs> and she, that, she's sitting that pouring it, going, sense. "It's exactly." I, I was freaking out, but she's going, "It's fine. I've done it loads of times." But I'm sitting there like. Looking, I'm like, I'm, I can take it anywhere in the body, but not my eyes. So I'm like looking away from it, like as I'm doing it, and she's getting mad at me because I keep looking away. <laughs> so, um, yeah. yeah, some people confused. Uh, I got removed from the the website. Enough people complained. I think that he was like, oh, um, I think I got removed as well. Yeah, it's, it's just it's weird. Apparently, our algorithm is wrong at a chance at, at a worse chance than. Chance. Yeah, if they just flipped a coin, they probably would have been better off. But yeah, so, yeah. There was yeah. another person that made like a university paper where it's like they were saying, "Oh, these are we. What was it? We looked at all these like channels on YouTube and sorted them into like their various categories, and then it started at far left, left, liberal, libertarian, and these are all like a paragraph long list, right? And then it gets to f the far right section, and it's like four pages." <laughs> and it's just like everybody, like they had all the classic, classic far writers in there, like Shoe on Head and Chris Reagan. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, man, like, far writers. Yeah, yeah. yeah the right no. winger. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've, I don't know, man. I've I've hung out with them outside YouTube. You know, we have a few drinks in them. They say some shit. They say some. Uh, no, I'm I'm kidding on. <laughs> kidding on. They know. <laughs> they knew what Ghibli was up to in Lord of the Rings. <laughs> oh, they no. know what's up. Yeah, they knew. They um... knew. <laughs> So, Gimli, like, you're the good elf. <laughs> the one, you're, the, you're the one good elf. You're, you're the house all right. elf. How about side by side with a good elf? <laughs> you, won't, what? You, you won't be sent to the mines. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I oh, God. See, see there is a link for you folks if you want to pour in to watch together. We're going to check out a video wait. today. Wait, oh. are you leaving this weekend? Is that what you want to do? No, no, no. I saw a tweet where Brie Larson is hosting the Game Awards or some shit. What the fuck is that? Oh, oh Jeremy. What are these Jeremy, people it's... thinking? Hey, she's a gamer. Jer what do you mean? <laughs> if Brie Larson's uh, hosting the Game Awards, right, I, I just, yeah. in the distance, I just heard Jeremy Hambly coming in his fucking pants. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, I don't know what it is with him, right? Like, he fucking <laughs> hates Brie Larson anytime she does. I do a podcast with him every week. For those who don't know, Jeremy Hambly, it's the quartering. Right, he he fucking hates Brie Larson, but he gets so excited any time that she does something because then, <laughs> because, something. then because then he gets he gets to like make like ten videos on it and stuff, and I'm just like, why do you make so many videos on Brie Larson? And he went, she paid for my truck, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just like, fair, fair hey, enough, that, but that makes that, sense. Yeah, the fact no, that I... she's hosting the game awards, he's he's coming in his pants right now. Um, yeah. you know, I have to I appreciate. Think this... Hold on. I I missed all of this. What what were you saying? Mahler, uh, I, uh, Fringy, Brie Larson is gonna be the presenter of the video game awards. So what, that's like gonna for be the whole fun. thing, or like just add it for one of the. I don't know. It doesn't look good. I think this well, means I that the Last of Us. Mahler, um... you know what I think this means. What? I think this means that The Last of Us 2 is going to win Game of the Year in the Game Awards. That's what no, I think. What, what, uh, see, I, I don't think they will. I think that the I think the reason why that get I've seen somebody say this, and it makes a lot of sense to me. The reason why that game is nominated in so many categories is that it will get at least one uh, award. I mean, I, um, I wouldn't be surprised if it won. I don't see, like, like the outrage Yeah, you know how from... game journals are who choose this shit? Yeah, like, they're, they're so all disconnected from... 
players that like i never expect the well, i mean like... i i uh, the game awards as a whole is i mean ori and the will of the wisps isn't nominated for game of the year and it's like oh all right so this is what it is right action adventure third person cinematic story walkie talkie games that's what gets <laughs> you nominations for these things and it's so frustrating that that's like what we've now decided is like oh this is the high art category third person shooters with stories like that that's that's basically your surefire guaranteed way to get nominated for a game of the year award just convince people you have a good story yeah don't, don't, don't just, actually just have a good dark. story just yeah, make, yeah, just make it yeah. dark just kill people that means it's deep if you kill people <laughs> <laughs> you know if you kill people and feel sad about yeah yeah it. You, yeah. you have to yeah. uh, qualify after it. By the way, that was bad. You, you should. Oh yeah, yeah. Four you have, seconds you have to have... Like, oh, I shouldn't have done that. And then yeah, you're that. set and you're covered, and you can pick up your yeah, yeah. award on the way out. <laughs> what was yeah. I've I've not played that. I've not actually played The Last of Us too. Um, Thank. Don't, like, don't do it. I, I, no, I know. I've, I'll, I'll admit. You know, I'm. I, everybody knows I have a penchant for trans people, so you'd think it would appeal to me. Um, hmm. But but like, I'm, is it true that? The entire game you're playing it so that you can go and kill this bitch, and when you finally get the bitch, you decide not to kill her. Yeah, that's yes. Even, that, even though that, you, even though you murdered hundreds of people to get there. Yeah, exactly. It's you, about yeah. well, according to Donkey, it was it's about choosing the optimistic end or something, or getting an optimistic ending, and that means even that's not optimistic at all. What the fuck? It's depressing that she lives. Yeah. Oh, and well, the funny thing about the game awards, I. Sorry, sorry, Franny. Sorry. Oh, I was just saying, like, Ellie loses. It's, she didn't yeah. win anything. Yeah, she does. She, <laughs> she spends the whole fucking game losing things. Oh, dude, they got, like, yeah. heaps of, like, because Gal Gadot's going to be at the Game Awards 2 as a presenter. Oh. Oh, what does this well, mean? Yeah. They're not people in the video game industry. Well, like, well, you know what I mean? At least it's not, like, fucking Pokimane and shit like that. Oh, hell no. Well, I mean, oh, don't, the funny they, thing don't they sometimes you know, get, like, streamers and stuff yeah, I to think present? So. I mean, Boogie, no, Boogie I think, won, yeah. like, uh, Personality of the Year. That's aged, like, what? Like, <laughs> when? <laughs> I, mean, I, I can't remember when. I think it was before people realized he was a monster. <laughs> who's, who's, who's this? Oh, Boogie2988, do you know? Oh, yeah, I'm aware of him. Like, uh, <laughs> see, see, but see, see, because I'm, friend, I'm, I'm sort of friendly with him, but I'm also friends with Frank Hassel. <laughs> Like, oh, I, was, I, I, was, I was the internal mediator for like that whole thing where I'm like, Boogie, why did you point a gun at him? You knew that you, you, knew that you weren't in danger, Boogie, and Boogie, like, I shouldn't be talking about DMs out loud, but I have to say this because it was so funny. Right, I'm like, Boogie, you, you know you weren't in danger. You know he wasn't going to actually do anything. Why did you point a gun at him? And Boogie replies with, He said he was going to rape me, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and, I'm like, and then I'm like, do you, in your heart of hearts, really believe that Frank Hassel was going to come into your house and butt fuck you? And he's like, <laughs> and he's like he literally said that that's what he was going to do. <laughs> I'm like, but I, honestly, like I don't, I do not condone it, right? I, I am, I strongly, yeah. Yeah, I'm strongly that. against going to someone's house, right? But I will admit weird. that this was funny. But he's like, we've got Castle Doctrine, we've got Castle Doctrine, and then Frank just goes, Castle Doctrine means I get to come inside and butt fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I mean, it, it feels like, um, and of course, like you know about Dragon Lord because you made like two videos on him. It just kind of reminds me of that, right? Where you did the worst possible thing and have just exacerbated this issue. Oh no, I didn't. I didn't make any change to it at all. Like this, this is the thing. Is like all I did was brought attention to see people that are in like the UK and America and Canada and all that. Like I brought their attention to Dragon oh, yeah, Lord, yeah. but yeah. see, but see, and see, in Germany, everyone knows who he is. Like <laughs> everybody in Germany knows who Dragon Lord is. I mean, like. Yeah. They they have music festivals outside his fucking house <laughs> and all that and like and this is the thing is right nothing nothing major has happened in his life like recently right and there's been still loads of like trolling and people smashing his windows and like doing all that type of shit right there was he's been catfished six times and one of the catfishes <laughs> he's standing like in a park to like meet the the girl quotes. Uh, and instead, a bunch of guys run up and throw jugs of piss on him. Oh, <laughs> and, uh, oh but, like, man! But, like, That's the terrible. One, the, That's the so mean. One, and see, because, see, because you get basically banned 
from a uh, he's banned from streaming by like the Bavarian State Centre for New Media, which in German translates to BLM. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but, but basically, BLM uh, banned him from streaming. Uh, he ignored it and he kept streaming. And they went, okay, you've kept streaming. Here's a fine for nine, 900 euros. He didn't pay it. He kept streaming. And they went, okay, here's another fine for 2,000 euros on top of the 900 euro fine. He ignored that. He kept streaming, and they went, "Okay, we're at the point now where if you don't stop streaming, the police are going to get involved, and you're going to be arrested for like not paying the fine." And that was the last I heard about it. But to be fair, that was maybe about six months ago, right? Oh, but right. the thing is, like, Dragon Lord, he <laughs> can't even buy a new T-shirt. So how the fuck is he going to afford like two thousand nine hundred euros yeah. to pay this fine? So I think like the next big thing that's going to happen is. He's gonna go to jail. He's go he's gonna go to fucking prison and that'll probably be when I make the third video. <laughs> Ray <laughs> German yeah. representation, hooray. Yeah, like it's, um... it's it's fucking mental. But like this is the thing is it's not like Chris Chan where like Chris Chan is at least like actually like severely autistic and very mentally unwell where you can sympathize with Chris Chan and just do the whole he doesn't know any better like type thing like but whereas dragon lord doesn't actually have anything wrong with him he's just a fucking idiot yeah <laughs> he's just, that's why that's why you can't really pity him that much because like it's the thing is see if he just stopped replying and stopped like antagonizing these people if he stopped going outside whenever they come to his house all of it would die down but every single time like fucking Either, like, every single time someone sits outside his house and goes, Rhina, who are, who are Rhina? Like, he, come, <laughs> he comes out right away like, How am I? Fucking going off his nut. He gives, he gives them what they want every single time. Yeah, as long as he keeps yeah, doing that. Yeah. Every time. And I think like that's a, the reason. I've got, like I've, got, I've, got a, I've got a video of him beating someone with a broom. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the last one that happened. Uh, well, I think, uh, I think that's the reason why I mentioned the whole boogie thing because it's like the worst thing he could have done was what he did yeah he uh, did exactly giving what him they... a reaction and plus doing something that was super dangerous like yeah. firing a warning shot well like, I, but remember I, just, I, just, just to cut in me, on that yeah. he fired a shot it wasn't it near a school zone and when he was like confronted with this he was like nobody got hit <laughs> as if that uh, oh. yeah as if that <laughs> that's the point Cajun. Well, in yeah. hindsight, the bullet didn't land on a child, so I guess it was all right. <laughs> I think he said, like, it... if there were any damage, then it would have been reported by now, so there wasn't any. It's like, <laughs> wow. I, it. I feel like a lot of people forget, which is funny for me to say, as an Australian who d doesn't own a gun. <laughs> like, like I, I find it strange that people forget that bullets are, like, physical objects. That, <laughs> you know, like, that they do, they, they come down. Like, they don't just keep Ridiculous. going forever. Thanks to the old west, there's like a thousand thousand bullets all flying all over the universe because they just fired them up and off they go. <laughs> right the space, yeah. top. Uh, they do that at Serbian weddings as well. I've seen many. I've seen many a wedding get ruined on live leak. <laughs> just because I've got Uncle Frank leaned a wee bit too far to the left, oh. and uh, that's yeah, that's a five year old child gone. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's the it's the results. Um. But yeah, I did you any of you guys uh check out the um Monday Matt and, and Boogie's like big blowout <laughs> over, <laughs> over that Where thing? Was that? It was fucking hilarious. I was, see, but that, was that the one where that was that the one where Monday and Matt actually schooled Boogie? I cut well, was, they were both like it was such a bizarre they were scenario. They're just like having a contest to see who's the biggest loser. Like they, it, it, yeah, Monday Matt was trying like, to do Monday it. Matt. Because the whole thing with that was Monday, Matt was like, oh, I'm just asking questions, you know, like, I'm investigating. Like, <laughs> Monday, they both, they're both so crap. And it's like having these <laughs> two, two, it's like, it's like when Earth and the, whatever the moon was initially crashing into each other. Just like this implosion of, of. Are you implying that some... Boogie has a gravitational pull? What is that? <laughs> what do you think is the low end of the scale of when people say an uh, impossible Meets an immovable object, an unstoppable force. Like, what would be, like, a pathetic force meets a movable object? <laughs> like, and, and the, the the unmeltable ice cream versus the <laughs> broken hairdryer. <Like. laughs> That's pretty good. Like the mo the the un 
the the world's most manipulative person versus the most unmanipulatable i don't even know yeah it's, it's know hard to characterize work. you know because we just haven't it's hard to think, uh, well what was it the boogie was shouting like this is my life this is my life like that was the main thing this that is my life this is day. my life it's my life oh apparently my, uh, uh, i was a bit too upset it's a bon jovi there yeah, yeah. <laughs> um but i just remember it being funny the whole thing was fucking crazy and because i i didn't yeah. know about it before the memes so i was just seeing all these images of boogie aiming his gun at a camera and i was like what <laughs> what is the concept <laughs> the... at first I, I didn't really know what was going on and people were like boogie just fucking fired a shot like at frank castle that's what i heard at first you know man and i was like what and then they were like everyone's like yeah frank castle just went to fucking boogie's house and it all kicked off and i dm'd <laughs> frank castle and i went did you just go to boogie's house and he just shot at you and he just wrote back yeah, lol, what a fucking pussy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <lol. laughs> Like, that's the thing is, I think, like, see, see to anyone that isn't familiar at all with, like, Frank Hassel's content, like, I understand how, okay, you might be a little bit worried about it, but see, but see if you actually, like, watch his content, he actually has, like, strict rules, like, where he doesn't, like lay a hand on a person he doesn't touch them at all like there's even videos he has where people are like fucking punching him in the head and shit and like pinning him down against fences and he doesn't retaliate at all yeah hmm. i mean yeah he's he, he's got strict rules about that shit i think that was the asking questions thing that monday matt got in trouble for he was like was it performance was it all just to you know rustle up some views and and uh caused a major blow a battle of the titans if you will the mat versus the boogie. Uh, do, do, you then, want to know, do you want to know how it all started? It all, it all started because someone like said boogie was opening magic cards on a stream, and someone <laughs> said someone sent him like a photo. Shut up! I do that. <laughs> <laughs> that <was> someone <laughs> someone, uh, someone sent him like a super chat on stream, like mentioning Frank Hassel and all that man, and like. Uh, what was it? I can't even remember how it got mentioned, but like Boogie said something like, "Oh, Frank Hassel, that's a weird name," and that 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 was it. That was that it. Was it. Was <laughs> like, Frank, like Frank, Frank, Frank held about him. Frank came into the fucking uh, stream chat and was going, "I'm going to find you. I'm going to hunt you down. I'm going to certify and bimbofy you." And all. oh my god! <laughs> and he's like, "I'm going to." I, there was one where it was like it was all caps. Just I am going to fuck your arse. <laughs> and then what a what a Boogie's, strange person. Boogie, Oh yeah, Bo Boogie started like freaking out on stream, and there's the, the more and more Boogie spoke, the worse and worse he was making it for himself. Oh, that, I, oh yeah, that's Boogie. He's just the more he talks, the worse it gets. Yeah. Oh yeah, like 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 that time he was talking about the Holocaust, where he pure says, "Oh well." Oh damn. Due to oh no, wait, but this this one was this one was wonderful. Um, <laughs> Boogie one, said, yeah. <laughs> "Well, the Nazi scientists were actually doing a lot of experiments on Jews and the and the camps and stuff like that." And as a result of those experiments, oh, no. we actually yeah. we actually great we actually greatly advanced um, <laughs> a medical knowledge, which is where Boogie should have stopped talking. Yeah, that was that was <laughs> right. a point. Right. That, that, that that statement, although true, not nice. It's true, like, but you know, it's not a nice yeah. thing. But then we don't Boogie, talk about that. Yeah, but then Boogie decided to end it by saying, "So in a way, the Holocaust was kind of a good thing." <laughs> Oh, no. Oh, no. No. Oh, like, no. No, Boogie, no. No, don't say that. Boogie, you can't stop. talk about the Holocaust like that, Boogie. It's the big bad. That's still not even his best quote. It's easily the uh, the rape one. What, what does he say? The um, uh, at, at least, least Nazis and rapists stand for something. At least, yeah, at least Nazis and rapists oh, believe yeah. in something. It's like, or what do rapists believe in? For, yeah. <laughs> yeah, imagine comparing, like, people shit-talking you to, like, and saying that Nazis and rapists will be better. Imagine that <laughs> shit. <laughs> it's just oh, like I don't, I don't know what it is. I don't know, I, I don't know what it is. Babe. Like I, I, I still like like Boogie, and I, I, other people in the YouTube community don't feel the same way. But I, I still have like an element of like pity for him. But I, I think he's probably in the same situation as Dragon Lord, but he doesn't realize that the way he responds to these things is, is encouraging it. Mm. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, for sure. Well, yeah, well and that's I mean, that's yeah, the that's the constant talks. question, right? Like, is he doing it on purpose, Boogie? Is he just trying to drum up some shit, or is he just stupid, or or what's going on there? And that's what people wonder. But as it turns out, if you ask that question, Boogie will come on your stream and yell about how you're a terrible person. Which, and, to like, be like, honest, <laughs> doesn't help. <laughs> Does it? It's like, how fucking dare you ask that question? You're like, hmm, you're kind of supporting one side of the argument there with this. Just saying. Yeah. Um, and then of course I was just gonna say like one last one. The uh, was it three dollars is a lot for a person of color or something? Oh like my that? god. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh. He did not. He did not say I, I, that. I like, I like how. Uh, yeah, That's he did. Like, he, he... He did. He did. Oh, yeah. That, that, that reminds me. That reminds me of that fucking poster that got hung up in schools, like around England, and they all get immediately taken down because they said everyone should be accepted, everyone should be equal. It doesn't matter if you're black, brown, or normal. <laughs> well, oh, the sentiment was there. No, what the fuck? <laughs> It's off the counts, guys. Do you, oh, do you no. not know about that uh that quote, by the way? The I never the, know. I've never heard of that. The dollar one. It was on one. stream. He uh. Wait, can he, we he can we $3. show them it? Can we show them it? It's really. Funny. Oh, I know yeah, about the boogie the thing, not the poster it. thing. No, well, uh, I was gonna say if Tank hasn't seen the boogie one, that shit's fucking hilarious. Yeah, I I think I. Oh uh. damn it! <laughs> Must find. Also, there's uh. Five people in Watch Together. If anybody else hasn't hasn't jumped in, go right ahead. Uh, you've here. used Watch Together before, right, Dank? You know what it does. Uh, yeah, I have. Yeah, Maybe. we use it to watch <laughs> watch uh, porn. Watch. I'm kidding. Yes. I'm kidding. No, no, we don't. No, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> Porn's so much better with friends, videos. though. <laughs> no, it is actually. When I was in America, like me and a, me and a bunch of like subscribers on my channel, I actually watched Footaboo together. Oh, there you go. Yeah, Futaboo, I don't know how that didn't get drowned in Emmys. I think I found it. Hold on. Right, are we all in the watch together? I, I am. Uh, yeah, looks like six are here. All right. I'm here. Uh, Time for excitement. Oh. Yo. Sprogan, I'm glad to hear you're still black. And thanks for two months of support, man. That's a lot of money, I guess, for a person of color. Or what is it the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> you, know you know how he instantly says that, and he's like, oh, fuck. He knows what he's done. He's yeah, like, whoa, like, whoa, 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 whoa. Regret. He regrets it immediately. Like, <laughs> that, was, uh, that, was, that was like the, the pity pie realization. <laughs> Yeah, it came from there, like you know, the, the infamous <laughs> incident on the bridge where the instant Pudi Pie says it, he just yeah. goes, "Oh fuck, oh Jesus!" <laughs> you, do the, you do the full circle. You're like, in, in aid of being not racist, you come all the way back to racist. You're like, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll just roll it back. Is that, the... is that the little psychopath gun he's holding up? Well, yeah. so I was gonna say, uh, he's representing your show. How do you feel about that? If um. <laughs> I'll roll it back oh, no. if we play it again, right? It's just funny. Look at how he tries to distract his audience from what he just yeah, said immediately. It's, it's really funny. Go for I'm a too. black person. Sprogan, I'm glad to hear you're still black. And thanks for two months of support, man. That's a lot of money, I guess, for a person <laughs> of color, or is it not? I don't know. Oh, I have a gun no. that's also a USB drive. <laughs> <laughs> he, just oh, yeah. he just points it at himself. Dominator, <laughs> lethal mode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's his psycho level or whatever it is? Fourteen eighty eight, apparently. It's so dumb. Like, yeah. No, it's so dumb. He could have stopped that. <sighs> Thank you for subscribing for two months. He could have stopped right there. Yeah, right? he could have. <laughs> what? Oh, it's just a fuck? weird thing to say in general. What like, kind of black yeah. person calls you and just say so thank you dumb. and just like, oh, that's yeah. a lot of money for you. <laughs> Like, okay. You, you, you black person. <laughs> so a guy walks up to him and goes, hey, I got a job. And he's like, yeah, not bad for a black guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really proud of, you know, you in particular uh, for doing that. <laughs> you are not normal person. person of color. <laughs> oh, in fairness, apparently the following clip is the one we were just talking about, so they can, they can see it in context. I don't know if that you, Twitch. Uh, so bring it. But I want you to know... <laughs> I think you are the lowest of the low. I think you are the worst of the worst. I think that there are fucking rapists and Nazis out there who, even though they are rapists and fucking Nazis, they are more redeemable than you because at least they're doing something they fucking believe in. <laughs> I believe in rape. So I'm oh. going to go out and just rape. 
<laughs> you get shot by the cops, at least I died. <laughs> I believed in. <laughs> at least I died streaming World of Warcraft. I love the quote. <laughs> doing some, because doing I, something I believe in. I think he like he thinks it's like an ode, and it's just so funny. <laughs> like, why would you say this? Can you imagine like a rapist being in like his Twitch chat going, "Oh, thank you, Boogie. Thank you for representing us." Yeah, like, you just every... chat's like, 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 "Yeah, fuck yeah, fuck you, loser yeah. trolls." Oh, every yeah. boogie, every boogie insult is like Wiley e. Coyote with one of those contraptions that he thinks is really clever, but it ends up backfiring and like exploding himself. He pushes oh, the boulder right. off the cliff to hit the person. It swings all the way around and back into his head. It's just like, oh, well, yeah, because what happened with that? Uh, with that, that first. Uh, clip was like when Wiley goes off the cliff and he looks down. <laughs> and then yeah. like, oh. As soon as he looks. What a strange tangent. Love you, Boogie. Uh. You're coming out with these quotes. It's they're just wonderful. Uh, so yeah, the, the whole point of us actually being here today, we are an hour and 20 minutes of just not what we were supposed to be doing. Uh, which is what a shock. Classic e Classic um, EFAP. <laughs> We've been asked to check it out so many times, with the 4K release and with, with, with Dankula here, has apparently watched Lord of the Rings. Don't know if it can be verified. Prove it, who's your favorite character? Favorite character in Lord of the Rings? Yeah. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, maybe-, maybe At I'll least Sauron was doing something he believed in. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I yeah. Um, I don't know, maybe Aragorn. Maybe worm tongue purely because I threw a guy out of a club once that looked exactly like him, and he <laughs> like, and we were all, we were all, we were all like fucking making fun of him and shit like that, and I like he was arguing to get back in the club, and I went. I went and go back to Saruman thinking that I made like an excellent, amazing fucking joke, and nobody fucking got it. Aww, and I just, I just, I just basically made yeah, the bouncers a big fucking nerd. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, but, yeah, I know probably Aragorn. I would say Aragorn movie. I think that's a safe choice. I've, I think I've, I've seen the movies a bunch of times and I've read, I've read the books as well. Hey, full on, nerd. Nice. I haven't read The Cimmerillion yet, though. I, he I hear that's the hard one to get through. It's all boring. That's what I've heard. Hearing, hearing that Count Dankula has read the Lord of the Rings books, I want to do like a, a like when Boogie said, that's really great that a black person could give $3, you know? <laughs> but I just, I don't know if I could make it work with, oh, mean, like, oh that's really great, great that you're Scottish and can read and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's great that Scottish people can afford books. <laughs> books, I to argue pages read. together. That's really cool. Like, where did you learn how to read up there in Scotland? Look at you, big guy. Oh, wow. Re reading, the, reading them words. And so, you um... went straight from one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish to the Lord of the Rings. <laughs> <laughs> Slow down. But yeah, you, uh, you're you familiar with, uh, with good old Nostalgia Critic, right? Who doesn't know him? I've heard of him. Uh, I've, I've not really watched his stuff. A legend in the in the film criticism community. Someone, mm. I think, that just commands respect uh, mm. from any and all audiences. Mm. And so... Sure. Um, is this sarcasm? I'd, what? That's so mean. He has done so much. <laughs> He's like the guy who started it all, alright? So... I don't even know what is the the amount of years he's been going for. It's more than ten, right? Does anyone know the the actual count? Probably twelve, even more. And you I know, think. he still he still pulls a a healthy view count. You would call it, right? How's he doing these days? Is, uh... I think so. Yeah, he is. He's trucking along. He's like apparently since two thousand and seven. Wow. Like Google search. Thirteen. Wow. Years. Well, he's like he's like Elrond at Mount Doom. Yeah. Oh, he reviewed Krampus recently and Mulan. Somehow Krampus, Krampus has more views than Mulan. You'd think it'd be the other way around. Huh. That would be odd. You think people are still in the mood to watch people dunk on it? Yeah. <laughs> Did you watch Mulan? Dank. It was really good. The new one. No. Wow. No, I didn't. Nah. Is it? Do you? Do, it. do you hate women or Asians or both? I don't know. It depends. <laughs> uh, <laughs> depends. Depends on my mood. You know, um, if my, my wife's been annoying, it's women. Um, if I can't go to the pub because of lockdown, it's Asians. Yeah, that only makes sense. Yeah, the, uh... Chinese. Well, we're gonna Myers. we're gonna listen to what he believes are the top eleven dumbest things that happen in Lord of the Rings. Now, we could agree with these. He likes to go one way beyond, or whatever he says. Yeah. I don't remember. Oh yeah, that's that was his thing, right? He wouldn't do top tens; yeah. he always does top elevens because 
he He's... likes to go one step beyond or something. <clears throat> I watched him a lot back in the day, so I remember that shit. <laughs> Do you regret that time spent, or do you feel it made you who you no, are? No, I, I had fun. I had fun. I, I I should go back and watch one of the videos I really liked. If we get like the Moonwalker review, which I which was pretty funny. There was some funny bits in there. I don't know if I still find them funny though. He's very um. He's very high pitched. Yeah. That's 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 how I. That's what I come away with from his videos. I'm like, oof. He's very performative. Yes. So anyway. Oh God, my ears. <laughs> Oh god, <laughs> you're right, it just fucking blasted on the screen. Oh. Sorry about that, chat. You just... Here we all sorry, are in so, the hotel. Sorry, big, 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 big you saw Frank Castle there. I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you know that don't, make me, don't make me do this. Don't you know, make me do this. You know he that's how more... Boogie would have animated it as well? There'd be fire behind him and a, like a guitar playing. Like, well, that's what didn't... he thought. It, in Boogie's mind, when he whipped out that gun in front of his house, that's what he thought the imagery would be. He thought he was the coolest motherfucker who ever lived. And when in reality, I don't know if it, I don't know how it's possible to look so lame while holding a loaded gun. <laughs> 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 Who's uh, oh it was Resident Evil One, wasn't it? When uh Mila Jovovich holding the fire axe, we were all like, she looks kinda lame with the fire axe. I don't know how she did that. <laughs> like she swings it really awkwardly and you're like, Oh, that's you supposed that's like cruise control for cool. You shouldn't have that much trouble with it. I'm kinda sad we only have one of one of them to watch left. Yeah, I know. This one. Well, if you count Monster Hunter we got two, right? Alright. It's like one of the old school intros, isn't it? That's I think this is old. Yeah, it's pretty yeah. it's pretty old videos. <clears throat> Only the best special effects. 2015. Wow. Oh my god, like he... six guns were pointed at him. Yeah. It's a lot of guns. He has such a he long went... intro, holy fuck. But he's so cool, guys. It's pretty right? badass. Like you know, he you're in for a the treat. Gun. The gun does, you know. You need a gun if you're gonna review films. You need a gun I... and a red tie. And the baggy pants. Why does he have a gun? The, his <laughs> legs do look weird. There, you're right. One of them is clearly deformed, and the other is. <laughs> Oh, no, those, those are. I think those are baggy pants, probably. I no, know. those are those are just his legs. He's <laughs> not wearing any clothes. No, oh, no. No. That that bulge at the bottom of his left leg is actually the GPS tag <laughs> that he <needs> to wear. <laughs> <laughs> so he wrapped it around his cock. That's just where they what? put it. They didn't. <laughs> I like He's instead like... of assuming it's on his ankle, it's like it's on the tip of his penis. It goes all the way down his legs. That's how it makes sense. It lines up. But then again, uh, if he's fully naked there, what's the red tie rags? How do you explain that? Huh? Oh, that's just his. That that's just part of his uh, body markings. It's like <laughs> you know how leopards and stuff they have spots and stripes. Oh, okay. So he that's... he just has he's like you know a black widow has the little hourglass on its back. So hey. you have, you know, right here. It's the same thing. It it's incredibly deadly. You can tell by the gun. Do not approach. Is much like a black from... widow. The point of the hourglass to be like your time is up sort of thing is that what they're doing with that those those pesky little black widows because they're fucking with you sure i mean I've i don't know what you mean one. your time because <laughs> they kill right oh, they're poisonous aren't they yeah they're they're the uh, of yeah then north america we've got like i mean i know in our state we have black widows and brown recluses black widows are no joke um, no one dies from spider bites because it's 2020. I'm but, assuming like I heard it's incredibly painful. I'm assuming Black Widows are like child's play in Australia. You guys probably got a whole well, bunch. Well, of... I mean, I usually the funnel web is the one that's cited because people have been killed by funnel web spiders, uh, and also they're really freaky looking. They stand up on like their legs, so they flare their. Like... I wish to see hey. funnel web. Oh spiders. yeah, they're, they're terrifying. Um, they will haunt your nightmares. Yeah. Apparently, apparently the ones is huntsmen's, and apparently like they apparently they don't kill people with their bites, but they have actually caused like car accidents because apparently they hide inside cars, so and you're just you're you're, you're, you're are not incredibly uh, common, yeah, and then, yeah, uh, and like you'll just be driving, and then all of a sudden it will fucking crawl across your lap. Apparently, one woman went to pull down the sun visor, and just a huntsman just fell out of it and landed on her fucking lap, and they're pretty oh, big. Dude. The pretty big. The bite won't kill. The bite will yeah. hunt like fuck, but it won't kill you. But, it's not, but yeah, the huntsmen's. I think huntsmen's. There are their fangs are too small to actually penetrate. They're literally harmless. They just look 
really off putting. I was gonna say, you know, the funnel web. This looks like a classic sort of just spooky spider. Like this would be yeah. used in for anything yeah. that has a scary spider in it. It's just like because huntsmen's are just big. And it's just like ugh. yeah, but but that's a, well, funnel webs are big. Like they're big. I, I, again, I feel like the ones that concern me spider wise and the ones that you couldn't stomp on with a, a shoe and expect to kill. Like, yeah, that it might still be okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, because at that point, you kind of have to vacate the house. I would imagine. Yeah. This is why we um, need guns. You got to stop the spiders. Fuck that. Um, but I mean, huntsmen's are uh, no huntsmen's are everywhere. Uh, whereas like funnel webs are mainly just in Sydney. Uh, so if you don't live in Sydney, then you're okay. Sort of. <laughs> sort of, sort of. <laughs> well again it's it's really brown snakes are the ones you got to be afraid of not even spiders at all just brown snakes like uh in summer you need why to cut why your brown ground. fringy yeah, we'll <laughs> yeah um what do you mean what did you oh, uh, right, just... okay. no, look all right <laughs> because you've got you've got taipans <laughs> down there as well don't you that's another poisonous snake that's good. uh right. oh maybe i mean god damn, I think like, they're, they're only in central australia they are, yeah, they, they so are, they are very much fuck. Yeah. Well, yeah, they, they are. The, the, the reason why the brown snake is concerning is because it's the fifth most venomous snake in the world, and, like, it's not uncommon to see them in cities, you know, where people actually live. Uh, so the main thing is when it's summer, you just gotta cut your grass, because that's where they like to hide. Um, and if they bite you, you might die. Like, depending on how quickly you get to the hospital. Um... You guys want to see something pretty cursed? That's that's pretty <laughs> cursed right there. Why not? Fuck that. Yeah. Nope. That's, uh... and nope. Nope. <laughs> that's nope juice. Nope. <laughs> this is All supposed right. to be a Christmas I... fab, not Halloween fab. What's going on? Here? Uh, yeah. Every day is Halloween in Australia. Why, yeah. why show me this? <laughs> <laughs> We're all wearing headphones right now. You know how fucking it'll make you a better person, right okay? This Just means it. I'll have to either never take these off or I'll never have to put them on again. <laughs> you know, what the fuck? There was a picture that I seen today as well of a big fucking huntsman spider, but it was actually you know how like the handle to open the door of your car, see that little duke it? Yeah, like yeah. It, it was one of them just sitting like right in there. Uh, right in there, just waiting for your fucking fingers to come in. <laughs> oh man, thanks guys. <laughs> gonna have a great day today. I, I would have fucking PTSD living in Australia, man. Fuck that shit. Post traumatic hey, spider uh, disorder. I, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, while we're on the subject, um, Dankula, do you know what a do you know what cassowary is? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Do you know that they can kick through uh, steel plates like metal yeah, plates? they can. They've got a big yeah. claw. They've got a big claw on their foot as well that can fucking disembowel you when yeah. they kick. Yeah, they're dinosaurs. I, uh, <laughs> I, remember, I remember my first. Um, I I went on a trip to uh to Northern Queensland, which is where they live, and there was this walk through the rainforest, and there was a sign that said like there is one cassowary in this area, uh, and it had a bunch of information on what you have to do if you encounter one because like if you encounter one, there's a good chance it will kill you. <laughs> um, Very. so. You gotta be. I, I think they said like you know you got you stay perfectly still like don't run because it can catch you. I, oh, I don't no. know. <laughs> like, I think like they stay are still it can catch you. <laughs> oh my don't god! Run they do look like dinosaurs. You. Holy shit! Yeah, you gotta. Um, yeah. is my mic still doing the thing? It's funny because people are like get a better mic. It's like this is not a cheap microphone. This it's is not expensive microphone. Phone. It like from the sound of it, it's the connection. I don't know if that means the computer or the microphone at that you point. You probably have spiders port. in your Ethernet cable. That could be it. <laughs> oh boy. Crawling around. Yeah, it usually gets fixed once you take it out and plug it back in like a thousand times, so not too bad. Uh, I, well, I just unplugged it from the computer. Did that make a difference? No. Alright. <laughs> I'll go for a quick pee. I'll be right back. Ugh. Oh, shut up! That's right. I'll, 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 I'll figure. Is that is that better? I don't think so. Oh, wow! Shit! <laughs> All right. Uh, what? Uh, I guess should I just? <gasps> oh, oh should you just what? Should he, I? He should I just keep out. talking until what? No, I I unplugged <laughs> from the computer. Okay. 
<laughs> These noises. Uh, yeah, it's still doing the thing. All right, just randomly right. came down with a case of hiccups. Uh, now I'm just punching the mic. <laughs> so. I think it's just his voice. No, it's not. Right. No, his voice isn't naturally scratchy. <laughs> yeah, what kind of what like the, the voice is naturally coming through like with audio defects. I'm guessing that isn't fixed, right? No, it's still. So it's it's just gonna be an entire stream of listening to me try and fix my micro Xbox 360 mic quality. Jesus, um, it's not hmm. like it, I I could deal with it honestly. Like it's not I too bad. I can. Uh, it's not too but bad. It, All right. Chat will Everybody's probably continue to remind you in case you don't realize. <laughs> like chat, you can just you can put up with this, right? Chat, come on, chat. Yeah, we're gonna watch Nostalgia Critic. <laughs> like relatively, you should be okay with it. All right, here we go. I'm not even gonna wait for Mel. A piece of shit. Wow. Hello, I'm a nostalgia critic. I remember it so you don't have to. Knock knock. Who's there? Lord of the Rings is awesome. <laughs> After winning critical praise, box office praise, tons <laughs> okay. right. of awards, changing yeah. the way many uh, blockbusters are made. Was that the joke? <laughs> I mean, was Lord that of the a Rings, joke? Lord of the Rings is awesome. You know, I, I'll, knock, I'll agree with him. Fair. Yeah. Lord of Rings and being awesome. one of the best known film trilogies of all time, who the hell is gonna argue with that? Lord of the Rings went from being the story that could never be filmed to the best known film fantasy of all time. But that doesn't mean it doesn't have some dumbass moments. I mean, with 500 minutes. Scream. Uh, someone like, in his, there was just a woman in his room the whole time. <laughs> just there, wasn't, the there wasn't a yeah. woman in his room. Wow. Was it his cute scream? <laughs> Wait, are you what, suggesting what, that was a sound like... effect? I'm like, suggesting yeah. that was one of that was one of his bros. What incredible uh, production value that he could fake a woman's voice. But you know, you know. <laughs> they're gonna say what what incredible production value that he he built this whole city that looked <laughs> just post apocalyptic this and these guys in armor just for this review. Yeah, the man can film. Commit. Of course, there's gonna be problems here and there. And when you have a film series that needs to bring in back. a big crowd, you Hello. need to take big risks. Some of them pay off, some not so much. And hey, it's still good to look over the weaker aspects of a film because truly no film is without flaws. And it's fun to review the mistakes and creative choices that maybe in the future could be tinkered with more. Especially seeing how technically these films are still being made. And while on the subject, I'm not gonna put the Hobbit films in there seeing how they're still in the process of being put out. Wow, this is a while ago, huh? Did you say it was 2015 yeah. this was made? Oh. 2015, yes. Looking into Sorry, that. Ah. Re readjust my mic here. Uh, yeah. They didn't even have 4K Lord of the Rings back then. I hope he's evolved as a critic. I hope so too. And I'm also not going to draw too many differences from the books. It's an adaptation, things have to be changed, I get that. I'm only judging these goofy choices in the realm of the films themselves. As you so, let's look over one of cinema's greatest accomplishments by acknowledging its top 11 greatest downfalls. Why uh, top 11? Stupid fact, homies. This is the top 11 dumbest Lord of the Rings moments. Damn it, no, All I don't right. know what the right phrase was. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it, I guess, is it at this point you said it too many times so he considers you dumb if you haven't gotten it yet? I, I guess. All right. I'm sorry, that I grew so up. Mean. I'm not watching you anymore. Damn. <laughs> Metal's grown up now. I'm a big boy. I can't even read. Number one. I don't understand the music. <laughs> I, just, I don't get it. He's like, he's going, yeah, his... That actually ruined my day. <laughs> I want to see one of his videos in written form and then what it morphs into along the way. Just like he's scribbling blah, 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 down blah, blah, ideas blah. to his crew and none of them say no. They never say no to anything that he suggests. Uh, Don't bite the hand that feeds, right? You know, let's be like, yeah, 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 you're doing great. I feel sorry for them. I really do. And for him, because some of these choices are so strange. Just letting Gandalf die. Yeah, Dumbass. What? <laughs> <laughs> Dumbass. Just letting, just letting Gandalf die? I don't know if it was we're gonna have really to, up to him. We're going to have to wait until 
I don't know how you contextualize this. I, I'm, all right. Jack, nobody ever talks curious. about this one. Nobody ever talks about it. This is probably a reason. In the book, as well as in the animated movie, when Gandalf is facing the Balrog, the Balrog uses the whip to drag him down with him, causing Gandalf to shout, Fly, you fools, as he plunges to his death. Fly, you fools! <laughs> That's kind of funny, though. <laughs> yeah. Fly, you Fly. fools! What was that? Look at Frodo there. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, this was a time and a place when everyone had 70s hair, regardless of <laughs> it being a fantasy universe yeah, or not. It, it wasn't a time and a place when everybody looked like 40-year-old alcoholic <laughs> lesbian. <laughs> I just like the expression. He's like, oh. Uh, <laughs> sucks, I guess. That was an OP yeah, guy. Like, yeah, this. I, I'm mildly <laughs> concerned at the Balrog <laughs> dragging Gandalf into the deep, dark, endless black pit. Uh, oh, well. Uh, But in Fellowship, he hangs onto the cliff, most likely trying to make the line more dramatic. Fly, you fools! No, it's because the, the whip got his leg and tripped him. Yeah, you, you left that part out. Yeah, the, the, the whip got his leg, tripped him, he caught himself before he fell, and then for a variety of reasons, he went to go finish the Balrog. Yeah, I would say... ensure that the Fellowship didn't put themselves in danger trying to save him. Mm -hmm. uh, we got... The goblins are, like, right there. Arrows are already skidding on, like, fucking parts of it, I think we saw hearing them clank. Telling everyone to fuck off is good, because you won't have them coming toward you and risking themselves. Um, falling off yourself is pretty definitive, right? Like, let's pretend for a second that he might have been able to actually climb up if he was given a few minutes. Probably gonna get hit by a couple of arrows, and they might get yeah. hit trying to help him. And he might not even be able to make it. And then, of course... Um, I don't know if we can be definitive on this. I don't know if Gandalf wants to kill the Balrog or he simply it, thinks, it, I he, will kill he him. Does, he does in a little bit of background. See how, like, I'm trying to think. I, I can't remember the correct terms, but see how Gandalf being, like, Gandalf the Grey, the wizard himself, he's considered, like, an ethereal sort of being. Like, he's above human. See how you get different levels. Like, in Lord of the Rings, the god is called Eru Iluvatar. Yeah, he's like an angel, then, right? The wizards are angels or whatever. Sort of, pretty much, yeah, but basically, um, see the Balrog, like, see when it comes to the levels, like, in the hierarchy of celestial beings, like, Gandalf and the Balrog are actually on the same level. Hmm. Even though it, it doesn't look at, well, well, well you find out, because Gandalf actually fucking manages to kill the Balrog. But yeah, Maiar, thank you, chat, yeah, he's a Maiar. Uh, basically, like, Gandalf's a Maiar, and uh, the Balrog is also, like, a Maiar. So they're the same level, that's why Gandalf knew he could kill it. But the others, like, couldn't. Um, the, the yeah, so I think you could infer from the scene that uh, there's plenty of reason to fall off, whether or not he could have gotten up. Like, it's not, and the idea that, because he's pulled back, isn't he, Frodo, by, um, Boromir, is it? Or is it Aragorn? Boromir, I think. And if, if you were like, why are they doing that instead of saving him? It's like, I don't know. Probably because of all the arrows. But then again, I, uh, let's, let's see what he says. I don't know. But the question if he's hanging onto the cliff, why is everyone just looking at him? Nobody what thinks to run this? over and actually pull him up. Go I mean, there's actually not that much time for him to do that. And they're it's being. Little, it's also really dangerous, different. just for many reasons. <laughs> the fucking bridge was just broken in half. Mm hmm. I don't know. I, I I respect Boromir's decision to pull back the, the little hobbit from sprinting over there. No, no Mother, he's they, right they there. just let him if... die. They, they do not have enough die. time to get to the bridge. They're actually, yeah, yeah they're decently far away. Don't get yeah. time, you little idiots! No, I take it back. Frodo does. It's one of the few times he actually tries to take action. But what do they do? They hold him back! Well, yeah. Because it's dangerous. It's really dangerous. He's a ring bearer, you dumbass. Oh, no. If he's in danger, then the mission's over, you dumb. <laughs> oh. Goblin just shags Frodo and takes the ring. They're like, yeah. fuck. Uh -huh. It's mine now. Finders keepers. Hey. Precious, bitch. This... I think th all the people that complain about this scene don't remember the goblins firing arrows at them during well, maybe, this time. Um, right? Maybe he'll show a shot of it now. And at that point, I'd be very surprised if he didn't account for it. Hey. There's no reason to! I suppose if you wanted to go out on a stretch, you could make the assumption that maybe the orcs are firing at them. Look how f goblins, and look how far away uh, they I mean, are. Maybe the orcs are firing at them. There's an arrow. I mean, maybe. 
May Maybe they don't want to get shot with arrows, I guess. Blurry screenshot? Is that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12? It might be 13 goblins, some of them might be stones, I don't know. With but more on the way. The fucking lot of them. It's, uh, it's like between 10 and 15, I would say. Yeah. You can't, like, you can't acknowledge this and then be like, there's no excuse. It's like, hmm. But hell, you're just going to stand there and look at him anyway. The very least you could do is be a moving target by walking forward and picking him up. It's in slow you're mo. You're, you're not a moving target if you're running directly at the archer. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. So, yep. <laughs> moving towards or away from. I don't know if you've played a video game. Yeah. If they walk yeah. towards if you. Someone's you, running towards you. you. It's, it's not a moving only, target. Worse, you run directly at the shooter. <laughs> it's, worse than a, it's worse than a stationary target because if you're moving towards them, you're getting bigger and bigger and bigger. <laughs> oh, dude, imagine like. So you're, Boromir was just like, we're gonna come and get you, Gandalf, hang on, and he just gets shot by an arrow, like, Gandalf in the back, and he's like, oh, <laughs> they're like, hang on, oh, Gandalf, yeah. we're coming, he's like, oh, <laughs> like, please. Well, Aragorn, get the ring. Just let me fall, it's like, no, Gandalf, we gotta save you. <laughs> but, uh-uh, Boromir is like, no, no, he's gone. Bullshit, I am, I'm right here. He's never coming back. I haven't even left yet. We must move on without him. I can hear every word you're saying. What's funny as well is that this happens over even less time than is shown, because it's in slow-mo. Yeah, like, this is a pretty quick moment. Say, so, remember yeah. he told us to fly. Yes, fly forward and grab me, please. You will live forever in our hearts. I'd much rather live the real. It's time way. to stop the joke. Is... It, it's too long. It's time to stop the joke, bro. Is this... it's, it's, it's... Was that a trope of his it's, videos it's... when we last covered him? Was it that he yeah, draws yeah. his jokes out? Y'all don't, don't y'all just don't appreciate the incredible humor. It's pretty. It's pretty funny. <laughs> yeah. I think there's an undrafted version that's like three times the size. <laughs> it just keeps yeah. going and going. <laughs> God. Oh fuck this noise! Tell Bilbo I never liked him. No! It still makes no sense whatsoever. What the only idiot. justification I can have for this is that, well, it did give us a cool intro to Two Towers. What? <laughs> what? Okay. <laughs> but if if you were right, that wouldn't. Okay. I mean, come on, that opening was awesome. Even if they did land in a giant lake and somehow ended up on top of a mountain. In fact, they fought for a long time. I mean, you can move from a, a lake. Lot of places. You know, you don't have yeah. to stay in the lake. Also, it's got wings. Who knows what happened? <laughs> Why were they concerned for him if he could survive a fall into a lake and yet still have the strength to walk up to the... Wait, what do you mean, why were they concerned for him? They don't know about all this. They yeah. know that he's a Middle Earth angel, right? At this point in time, they don't know that. They know yeah, he can die, and they say like this Balrog is also, some pretty, pretty human, dangerous stuff. Whether or not humans, he can survive, they, you still don't want him to fall down a fucking hole. The, humans actually like, never understood the extent of Gandalf's power. That was the point. Like, see all this shit, like summoning lightning and his sword and all that stuff. <laughs> like, they like that stuff got kept secret from the humans. Yeah, they were fucking blown away by fireworks. Yeah. I don't think they knew about this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think yeah, if most people works. look at the Balrog and they look at Gandalf, they're like, "This seems kind of one-sided." I don't know. And they would, they would yeah. also be like, "Is this CGI?" Like, I don't believe it. <laughs> How could this mm. possibly be happening? But yeah, um, whether or not you have this a god person on your team, square. I would care if they fell down a big hole. I would. I'd be. Yeah, exactly. I'd be like, "Oh no, a big hole! Don't fall down!" And they go, "Ah," and I'm like, "Oh no, yeah, that, this could be bad yeah. for you." Even if they can survive a big fall, they're all the way down there now. <laughs> that's no good. <laughs> but that's my review. Also, hi Fringy, how you doing? Uh, is that better? Does it sound better or...? That does sound better for now. It does sound better, yeah. Uh, what did you do? I, I, I reinstalled the drivers. Oh. So, do, oh. Well, I'm hoping that that'll have remedied all of the problems <clears throat> so I don't have to deal with this well, shit. Well, so far, so good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Alright. Welcome back. Um, we, so, the first I'm, argument... I'm now wondering... Yeah, Maybe you just can't talk about good. spiders. His first argument <laughs> was, why didn't anyone save Gandalf when he was hanging on the edge of the of the bridge? Um, how... They, what, they were really far away, weren't they? Well, Yeah, they were. Yeah, there's a lot of reasons. I guess we just went over them, so um, I'm just letting you know that's that's where we're at. It's very high high quality so far. Alright, that's reason 11. We're on oh, time. okay, great. On our way to reason 10. Top oh. of the ah, I need to pick this one up. Plummer, you fools! You called us a nitpick yourself? Okay. Crap. 
Oh, oh God, God. he's oh, right. I I, I, I don't he want He must have thought this was a real banger. He We're kept doing this, it in. For yeah. We're doing this for every one of them. <laughs> it's so funny the way that I'm making these noises no, with my mouth hole. Please. Why is that afraid that swaps it? Why would you? Oh, is he doing that for everyone? Like, oh, of course he is. Those bajillion endings. Oh no. No, 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 no. No, no. This is a bad this is a bad one. This is a bad oh. one. These movies are like eleven and a half hours and the ending's about twenty minutes, exactly. The endings uh provide like closure on what what is it how the way I think it was because I've I've recommended this before with I think when we were covering cinematic venom. Just right before he made shitty videos, he made one about Lord of the Rings' many endings. Talks about how important all of them are, and what parts of the story they're all cl closing out, and how the plot of destroying Sauron may be over, but the story of what happens to all the people, you know, as a result of all of this, is still going. And people who want to leave the cinema, fuck off. Just go. Yeah. Pretend the credits roll. You don't need to stay if you don't want to see what happens to all of these people we've been watching mm -hmm. for the past 12 fucking hours. I do. <laughs> like, I'm very curious. Yeah. Um, <sighs> This is such a, like, overdone criticism, but okay, let's see what he's got. Yeah, this was coming. On the one oh, hand, no. you can't blame no. <laughs> these people for having an ending that goes on forever. I mean, it's wrapping up three very big, very long movies. Lots of characters and stories need closure. So, all right, I feel like so that already counts as his whole point. But... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Two plus two is five. I know it's four, but but <laughs> <laughs> but that's not what I necessarily take issue with. What I take issue with is the fake outs. Every other second, it looks like the credits are about to roll. Instead, they keep the yeah, plot. That's on calm. you. That's yeah. That's a you problem, buddy. That's yeah. on you. You just assume credits are gonna pop up when we still have things to resolve. I'm yeah, see, see, see how that, see how that bit there with the zoom out for minus ten. If see if it actually did end at that point, I would be really mad. Yeah, there's I, I would, left. I would actually be like, that's it. <laughs> Aragorn is king. It's like, what happened to Evan? <laughs> at first, it's gonna end with Sam and Frodo together on the volcano. But then... if it ended them on the vo oh. <laughs> <laughs> And it keeps going. That, that, that would like have end with mass affected the fucking franchise. <laughs> See if it just <laughs> ended with him on the mountain. That would have totally <laughs> ruined everything. Did they? Didn't they? Well, you know they did if you go and read the fucking books that have been out for about 70 years. Them reuniting, <laughs> but then it keeps going. Then it looks like it's going to end with them in Minus Tirith, but then it keeps going. Minus Tirith. Minus. <laughs> minus <laughs> Tirith. Uh, uh. Going. Frodo and the Hobbits. Friends on top of it. There's so many goddamn fade outs in this film, you could confuse same. it. So the con the criticism is Brought literally off. that things fade and then they yes. come back in. That's it. Okay. F funny thing is, if they would have stopped at any of those, people would complain. I don't know what happened to these characters. What the fuck? And if they were to hard cut instead of fade, would he really not have this on the list? I wonder. Wow. For the ending of Clue! Here at the end of all things. They think they're gonna die. God, that was a long clip for copyright. Yeah, also, Frodo, the... Frodo thinks that he's going to die. Does this they think, seem... They think done. Does this seem low res to any of you for 2015? Yeah. Uh, good don't... Hmm. I don't know how YouTube was back then, to be honest. <laughs> better um, with resolution. It was better than this. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I, uh, okay. I say back then, it was like five years ago. <laughs> Oh, he's doing Clue Joe. He mentioned uh, Clue. He's doing Clue. Okay. Hold there. <laughs> this is gonna take like two minutes, isn't it? It doesn't help either that ending oh, 1.2 oh. okay. looks a whole lot like a curtain call. Ladies and oh, gentlemen, uh, I, do, I don't. <laughs> People Scooby entering just... a room, what of it was. Of course they went to see Frodo. Like, the whole yeah. reason they went on their quest was because of the ring. Yeah, like, right. of course they, they want to get together again. They walked but into the room that, one by that, one, that, though. Oh. 
Yeah, see that bit right there, right? There's a whole quarter of the book left after that point. <laughs> you can't just go, nah, fuck it, just give up halfway through. Fuck it, it's fine. We're just, we're just like, gonna finish. Yeah. Yeah. His criticism was that they, they end to like a roll call instead of all at once or something. It's just like, I don't fucking care. Why do you, yeah. why can't they all be appreciated one at a time? What's wrong with that? What's wrong with you? Yeah. By the way, Scooby just, just said that this, this is a re upload from 2013. Um, that's more excusable. <laughs> I guess. 2013 was the also, dark time like, of resolution. The door is only so wide. What if they, they all tried to get through the door at the same time to see Frodo and everyone's just like, ah, oh, stop, stop, die, die, and get Also, you know, there and weird would be getting around to all the different people that Frodo has woken up. You know, they might be doing different things, coming in at different times. Billy Boy and Dominic Monaghan as Barry and Pippin. John Reese Davies as Gimli. Orlando Bloom as Legolas. Vigo Morganson as Aragorn. This isn't very <laughs> funny. Well, you know. <laughs> yeah, comedy is subjective, yeah, not, yeah. Comedy, uh, comedy is subjective right. should be the name of his channel. Comedy <laughs> <laughs> as hey. Sam. Big scary eyes as Frodo, and Sir Ian McKellen as the always enduring, always heartwarming Gandalf. Ah, that is fucking terrifying. Please don't show that again. Uh -huh. I'm just glad I'm two drinks in already. I mean, yeah, this is just. I don't have any alcohol. You know what I got you recently? Out just grab some out of my fridge. I picked up these little. They're like little little mini drinks, but they're like encased in a in like a a, a bottle that's made of. Chocolate and they lie small. They're really neat. There's alcohol yeah. in them too. So it's oh. you know that it's good that there's an industry for combining chocolate and alcohol. That's, <laughs> that's my commentary for the day. Thank you. You need to get those when I'm over next time. That sounds kind of delicious. Mm -hmm. Like a shot's mm -hmm. worth in there. Well, a little bit less, but still. Anyway, wait, wait, wait. Ah! My Jesus, that's gonna haunt my nightmares. Stop that. You're the one looping it. A lot of people, these yeah. Endings are so it doesn't look creepy at all. I put it pretty... He doesn't like old people, I guess. Oh no. He's gonna be one one day <laughs> if he doesn't kill himself through laughter. Old oldest. Yeah, piece of shit oldest. Low on the list because honestly, I actually do like the endings. What? I mean, yeah, there's too many and they fake you out too many times. No, shut up! You just said you like too many. This is so <laughs> weird. You started by you. Be <laughs> Presents Everyone counter, counter, countering his own point, then goes on to claim the point, and then says, "Oh, but I like them." It's like, oh, okay. I don't. This is what I mean. Fucking it's hard to follow this. Worthless. Like. Absolutely worthless. Themselves are very poignant and kind of touching. So on the whole, I can't be that angry at them. Maybe just a little angry. You're just desperate to get to eleven. Yeah. Seems like it. I mean, at least th these are in order of like most potent, right? Let's hope. We're gonna I get don't better. Know if he, I, oh, I mean, do you think number one is gonna be the whole eagle thingy? I mean, the eagles are uh, definitely I'm, gonna be in this list. Yeah, I've got a feeling that's gonna be in here, and I've got, I've got a reason for it as well. Oh, yeah. but, I always uh, forget so we, the uh, reasoning. Yeah. I know there is one, but I always forget it. But well, I, I'm sure we'll get to well, it. Well, yeah, we'll do it when <laughs> it comes up. But there's there's book and film references for that. And a little terrified. <laughs> Stop it! I hate. That. <laughs> Oh my god. You're that, see, that, you that, that, that's terrifying. You're not as attractive as Ian McCallan, I'm sorry. You can cast spells. Uh -uh. Oh my oh god. My, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that's triggering me. Why, why is that making me so dude, angry? <laughs> dude, you, you got another eight of these. <laughs> uh. Number nine. Gimli's idiot moments. Uh, what? Wow. Idiot moments. Gimli's great. Fuck off. Gimli's fucking great. How Gimli's probably Gimli. my favorite character in the series. Literally, he's and, fantastic. He's funny as hell. <sighs> so, again, when making an adaptation as big as Lord of the Rings, you can't go into quite as much detail as the books can. So, a Except good chunk of the time, characters them. have to be simplified. Understandable enough. But good God, what did you do to Gimli? Oh, He's lovable and fierce. Yeah. With little hairy He's drunk. <laughs> He's drunk. 
you're not yourself when you're intoxicated, oh, or so. Oh I've no! Heard. Oh no! A drunk dwarf, how out of character! <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> what? That's what they call him back home, Gimli the sober. Uh, yeah, <laughs> he's like he's like a Puritan for dwarves. Why reference the most justified like funny moment from him? Not that maybe you wanted aren't. maybe maybe you wanted something actually funny in this video. He wants to eat, drink, and be merry and kill orcs. Yeah, he's a fucking wonderful character. How dare you? At first, he started off okay. He was simple and emotional, but still had a sense of honor and dignity. What? He still has from the movie. He was simple, emotional, and still had a <sighs> sense of. De de I just I. I... So so the, the 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 journey for for Gimli is just that we don't know him yet. You can clearly tell that he's like standoffish because he's with a whole bunch of people, including elves that he fucking hates. Um, but like as the story goes on, he's just more open and fun because, uh, and he also cares he's about the fucking fellowship. Now. Yeah, he this is you reference the scene where he's just found out that like many of his people have just been killed off without him even knowing, and their 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 home has it's been awesome. desecrated. It's also his uncle as well, Balin, like who like Gimli like was pretty much raised by him as a child. Just, it, it, like yeah. I understand, like. Yeah, he was really upset here, but he's still pretty boisterous. There is one dwarf yet in Moria who still draws props. But as the movies went on, he just got goofier. <coughs> and goofier. What do trees have to talk about except the consistency of squirrel droppings? And goofier. Was that clip out of sync? It looked like it. Must have started sinking. <laughs> Not <that>. sure. <laughs> But how is any of this out of character? Yeah, that's like, what I mean. Oh, because he's stupid. Does he expect Gimli to be cracking jokes at Balin's tomb? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Balin! Oh, finally, something he's good at. Jumps up, jumps up on the sarcophagus and just fucking dabs. <laughs> <laughs> I've always wanted to dab on the dwarves. <laughs> oh, classic dabbing, Gimli. More, yeah, yeah more like less of yeah. flavor of badass and just Fuck silly off. comic relief. No, he never stopped being a badass. This was yeah, pretty yeah, neat yeah. about he Gimli. beat Legolas here at Helm's Deep. He, he, yeah, like, yeah, that's it. even that bit for Helm's Deep, yeah, there's a little goofy moment where he goes, You're gonna have to toss me. And yeah. then he goes, Don't tell the elf. But then, <laughs> but then Aragorn tosses him, and then like one swing, like Gimli takes out like ten orcs. Yeah, <laughs> fucks him up. <laughs> yeah. Watch the scene again. Gimli's fucking great in Helm's Deep as soon as he's actually. He's, he's like, send them to me. It's fucking great. Oh, Why yeah. would you even like. Oh, he's just comic relief. It's like, no, he's also awesome as fuck. The. The part in them against the Wogs where he, he's just stacked up with. Because that's simultaneously uh, him being really strong and him being uh, comic relief. In that there's. What is it? Like two orcs and a Wog are on top of him. He, he kills the Warg and then. Uh... A an uh, an orc looks over and then he snaps its neck and then it falls and adds to the pile and then there's a third uh, or a second warg and then someone shoots it and then it falls on the pile and he goes oh because it's very heavy. I don't understand how. So this... he axed a berserker in the balls. That's correct. He did. <laughs> he did that. Could have picked a better spot. I could have jumped the distance and have to touch me. Not the man. Even he seemed to realize that his whole race merely existed to get a chuckle out of the real heroes. It's true, you don't I don't know, if all the dwarves were like him, like, fucking hell. No, the dwarves, uh, the dwarves think... are fucking more ancient than humans, by far. You need you need some comedy when, when the dwarven women all look like dwarven men, you know? You're just like, it's just weird, women running around and- All dwarves are traps. Just, yeah. <laughs> They're often mistaken for dwarf men, and this in turn has given rise to the belief that there are no dwarf women, and the dwarfs just bring out of holes in the- So he makes a joke, this is bad. <laughs> you can't be doing this. You're not allowed to be humorous or jolly. Don't believe me? Just watch this scene and tell me if the punchline music doesn't write itself. Oh, tell me about punchlines. <laughs> this guy <laughs> i like this is like the anti-comedy where his punchline his joke occurs and it just becomes silent as the grave non-midi it's non-midi non-midi yeah like what rich evans says <sighs> it gets less it's funnier the that... more he tells the joke 
Well, you would have to wait for a prequel to actually get a dignified dwarf character. What? Give me Bell and all the characters in the Hobbit. I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah. Are yeah. there characters in the Hobbit? Thorin fucking like, oh, I hated it in the cinema when he goes from being like crazy power drunk king to like normally back back to normal in like one scene. Because he dreams about drowning in gold or whatever. I remember just being like, ugh. I find it really annoying in the films because he's really he's super melodramatic about everything. Gim how could you Gimli's fucking legend? I'm outraged. <laughs> no, but in time, we only had Gimli as the dignified representation of the dwarves. What is, what is this weird obsession with, like, you need dignified dwarves? Like, what, how do you how do you decide who is who is and who isn't, and then uh, wait, why do they have man, to be? Wait until this guy hears about Merry and Pippin. Oh, no. <clears throat> Salted pork. <laughs> the fucking face he makes. <laughs> His like, face is already dreaming about salted pork, man. Mm, salted he's pork. already off. It's like first it's like surprise, and then it's like, oh my god, heaven! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Give me. Yeah. He had his badass moments in there too, because if not, I think this would be Middle Earth's interpretation of dwarf blackface. What? What? Um, I don't understand. All right. <laughs> Yeah, that one. All right, then. The stereotype is that they're funny. Maybe that's what he's saying. Uh... Yeah, it's fucked up. You portray a dwarf as funny. That's... Yeah. <laughs> I'm so confused. All right, then. <laughs> I don't know. It's a little bit across the chest. Stop it. Stop. God. Because he's shorter really... than what it normally is. Yeah. Nostalgia critic thinks he's more funnier than he actually is. He thinks he's funny. He thinks he's Gimli. hilarious. Yeah. Hey, remember that time when Nostalgia Critic cancelled his show and tried to do sitcoms, but that <laughs> sucked too. Mm. Hey, they were very funny. So he went back, and he went back to doing Nostalgia Critic. Now he's trapped. Trapped, he's trapped forever. Yeah. In a tomb of his yeah. own making. He tried to be funny. Salted pork. Fuck off. <laughs> 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 Legolas's is perfect moments. If one character can be okay. too flawed, then another can be too uh. perfect. Again, Legolas started out as a very precise, somewhat advanced hero in the first movie. But as the films went on, you started to wonder why he couldn't just fight this war himself. Uh, so, no. <laughs> okay, right, right. Elves, elves are also magical beings. Like, in the book, see how the, bits, the scenes where they're going up mountains and stuff like that, and everyone's, like, knee-deep in the snow? Elves are actually able to walk right across the top of snow without mm. like their feet going into it because they're sort of magical. And this is the thing as well. Why is he such a great warrior? Why 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 is he able to like do these amazing fucking sick shots with his bow and arrow? Well, <laughs> when you've been practicing for literally three and a half thousand years, <laughs> you, you tend to get extremely fucking godlike good at the, what you're fucking practicing at. Just shop. Thank you. I mean, there's a reason proud why of this everyone incredible wants... Photoshop job of the dabbing Ghibli. Yeah. Have you seen what actually makes it? Yeah. The extended like... edition. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> 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 yeah. I mean, there's a reason why everyone wants the support of the elves in any war. I mean, yeah, they're, they're pretty good. Uh, yeah. And Legolas is, like, particularly good. Even with with elfy people, uh, the idea that like the only one of the things that he does in the, all of the films that ever struck me as interesting was the um this this scene and uh, but going over it and applying that he's like super light, uh, I don't think that it's an impossibility that he does what he does. I'd have to look at it again. It's not like the fucking um you remember the the Hobbit one where he's climbing on stones as they fall or whatever. Yes. Yeah, that was that was one where I felt like okay, Legolas is uh, <laughs> he's jumped the the stony shark, you know. I like straight out of Devil May Cry. He's jumped the Balrog. Look at this bitch! While everyone's doing Don't their best to Legolas fight off soldiers on ground, yeah, Aragorn's like, hey, Legolas, would you mind bringing down a five-story elephant? No, I think he just said, watch out. Aomir brought down two of them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fucking Aowen and Mary brought down one. I, I don't like. It's not an impossibility. Elephant, 
Come on, you can do that in your pointy-eared sleep. But the bizarre thing is, he can! Without even batting an eye! Is there even I a mean, it looks kind of Clearly puts some effort into it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> clearly put some effort into it. Yeah, he, he, he definitely gave it a, a really good try. Um... It doesn't really... <laughs> Why is it there was even still a struggle at Helm's Deep? At first it looks like all the humans are gonna have to fight, but then look, they suddenly get an army of giant dinosaur elephant killers. This battle should be over in ten minutes. They're not all, they're not all no, yeah, yeah. There was a I lot of elves Urukai. are the same. Elf yeah. races. It was, yeah, it was ten, of... ten. It was ten thousand to Urukai, and that's about like two hundred elves. Yeah, so it's not. It... Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the scene here. Their fighting skills seem too good to be true. That's like a lot more else. Wait, what as well. do you mean too yeah. good to be true? Yeah. This that's also this doable. was three thousand years ago. They're firing arrows. Why is this like? Yeah. Oh, that's just too, it's too good. good to be true. It's too good to be true it's that they fire their, true that their I arrows. Pull back the string and let the thing go, <laughs> and it hits something in a crowd oh, of like ten million orcs. What are these <laughs> yeah. strange stick throwing devices that they have? <laughs> Oh my god, that's a dumbass. Yeah, that's essentially uh, a wall of flesh. If you fire an arrow directly forward, you're gonna hit something. Gonna hit something. <laughs> yeah. No, this it's is the kind this of is. If you don't hit something, that's the kind end. of sorcery yeah. only the elves could unlock. You know. <laughs> Aha! We knew they would come at us in descending order from left to right, resulting in this cool ass shot. Everything. That's not. That's Shut not up. descending order from left to right. It's not. No, it's from also the middle out. out. From the middle is the middle out. Yeah, oh, yeah. There we go. Look, it's the yeah. middle out. <laughs> Are you, can you not do this? Is this a problem that this happens? Uh, yeah, yeah if, you, if you look at no. it, as, as the middle arrives first. Like, see yeah, how the yeah, wave is the green. Yeah. yeah. I have used. How come? Next generation twenty twenty technology to highlight. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Does he want this, what is this relatively magic? disorganized group of just random running orcs to all arrive at the same time? Yeah. Otherwise. It wouldn't be cin He's saying like, oh, they did it in a way that was cinematic. It's like, okay, makes sense. Uh, they also did problem? it in a way that <laughs> I, it already I don't, does it. I, I, I don't think he even would call that a criticism. It's just like I'm gonna point this oh, out it's because like, it's, it's a joke. It's well, a joke. Well, well, but no, funny. But even well, if it's a joke's not funny, and if it's a nitpick, like he's saying it's valid, it's just small. I'd be like, no, it's invalid. Fuck you. <laughs> That's not yeah. a criticism. <laughs> this cool ass shot. Everything is coming up. Oh, but even with all these badasses on their side, oh, I love this speak, shot. Even <laughs> yeah. Legolas has to show off. Like, even when there are loads of people on his team that are good at fighting, he still has to fight. Like, he's not showing uh, off. It looks cool, but like, if he's light-footed and he can slide down, it means he doesn't have to be running down the stairs. He can be. He can be still atop the moving object. Yeah, I feel like yeah, it's he beneficial. He can walk to on him. snow. Yeah. They have hollow this, bones, like a This bomb. is super good for balance, it's actually really, it's really clever. Elves are, Elves are like cassowaries, but fantasy ones. Fantasy cassowary. They will kill you, you cannot run from an elf, they will catch you. Sure, that was essential to taking out those five guys you could have just as easily killed walking down the stairs. Does he not understand what's being achieved here? He gets down to where he wants to go, but he also doesn't have to focus on running, and he can just shoot. Mm -hmm. That's the idea. Yeah. It's all yeah. like... So running down a staircase and also running up a staircase it takes attention yeah so you don't fall yeah. Yeah, he's also trying to get to gimli as fast as he possibly can wow oh my god that was awesome yeah it was cool yeah, but you're, awesome. you're making it as if it's not <laughs> also like that it can't work well, in yeah, the uh, scene to remind everyone this is considered one of the dumbest things in lord of the rings apparently it's like okay yeah, of the eleven things, one of them is that. <laughs> oh! <laughs> yeah, Legolas is cool. The like, yeah. You know the thing people constantly complain about. Can't wait he's to... too cool, Mo Rags. You know he's just showing off. Enough of this bullshit. We need to see him, you know, miss and and choose bad things. In fact, I'm surprised Legolas didn't just end this whole war in one. Keep saying that. I don't think you yeah. understand. This. Yeah, you've said it again. But like, unless he has ten billion arrows and can just teleport everywhere and fire them all. Ugh. One foul swoop. He's so freaking perfect. Wait, sorry. What did you just say? One foul swoop. Sounded like it. 
No, because he's a cassowary. So one foul swoop. Uh, uh. In fact, I'm surprised Legolith didn't just end this whole war in one foul swoop. He wow, he did! He, he said foul, foul swoop. Foul swoop. Is that... Do people say that ever? That's new to me. One foul swoop. Nice. Freaking perfect! I'm sure he could do it! Legolas. Oh no. Oh, oh we got the skit. <laughs> Well, this was before the era where he was doing it way more, so we should be okay. It's spawning in Mordor. Fear not, my flawed mortal friend. Oh, Christ. I handle this. Oh, he made the joke. That, oh. Well, yeah, that's the well, joke. All right. That Oh, that was really funny. God, oh. I can't take it. Yeah, like, like John Marrow. It. Oh, the people, people in chat are like, oh, I think he was saying fell swoop. It's like... Well, he said foul swoop. I know, what he, I know what he meant to say. Yeah, that's why we pointed it out. Foul, because we know what foul jokes swoop. Are. Like a motherfucking boss. Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> oh sweet Jesus. <laughs> Look, I know you said you didn't want to see any cringe, and I'm sorry. Oh, I, I just, well, that, that, <laughs> we're doing it. That actually hurt. That physically fucking hurt. <laughs> we're doing it. Oh, Jesus Christ. My nose is bleeding. <laughs> Legolas, you're too good to be true. And that is precisely the problem. Oh, you've done it again. Did it again? It's this thing again. Mm. He combined the audio with that clip. So. <laughs> What a strange it wasn't funny video. the first time. It wasn't it's not funny this time also, guys. How dare you with we're not how dare you with your jokes? You're not hilarious. Just stop pausing it and just get past it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let it yeah. linger. It's like a band-aid, yeah. just rip it off. Well, it's just like <laughs> if you take the stabs, you know, in succession and you get to heal a little bit, I feel like you might be better off than just one straight, like, oh. <laughs> Those close-up shots. I've what? mentioned this before. What? 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 Close-up shots? Close-up shots? What? Or how a lot of movies and shows back then felt they needed to get a lot of wide-angle close-up shots. This would be fine if the idea was to create an uncomfortable scenario, but uh, for- It just fills the screen with the emotion. That's the yeah. point. You, you really get what this character's feeling. I don't understand. Like, this is- What's happening? For a while, it seems like a lot of directors did it just to be different and artsy. And here, it's no exception. While this decision did tone down big time in the show? other two movies, and oh, thank really? God for that, we had to put up with quite a lot of it in Fellowship of the Ring. And don't get me wrong, so... sometimes it's called for. Like this scene where Frodo's about to put the ring on at the Prancing Pony, which... You could justify any of these. You just have to yeah, appeal to what they're feeling. Like that scene there we get by Samwise, that's because Gandalf was like right in his face. Yeah. That one, yeah. He's uh, essentially interrogating him because he's worried about the ring, like anybody. Yeah. But also, we have no frame of reference for the ratio of close ups to all other shots in the film. So like he could say, Oh man, look at all these close ups. It's like how how much of how how much of the the screen time is this? How well, much is too much? Yeah. What is we're not dealing with uh, that last episode of Game of Thrones where it's like 70% is walking, like characters just walking around. This is, I'm well, sure this represents terrifying. like 1% at most. Yeah, honestly, the yeah. Way might not be the best name for a place like this. I look the at the Prancing atmosphere Pony? and I feel more the decaying mule. <laughs> oh. I, 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 yeah, I, so I, the, the I, problem I, is that if you put that on the sign up front, <laughs> a lot of people might not want to come inside. Yeah, mm -hmm. people might find that off put. I don't know. Well, I'd I mean, rather, you could I'd have much rather sign, come inside but... a prancing pony than a decaying mule. I feel like if you wouldn't it wouldn't it be interesting if there was a bar that just had a dead mule on the street in front of it? It's like well, oh, that's nowadays we think mule. that was like eccentric and like I feel goofy like and funny. Like oh, it's avant garde. What, uh, what is this? The avant-garde mule. It's uh, it's something from the cursed EFAB art guy. For some oh, reason, Discord won't cool. load the pictures for me. So. <laughs> it's not to click on it here. Yeah, it's really good. Oh my god. Delete <laughs> <laughs> something, even if it means sacrificing everything. <laughs> <laughs> 
there you go. <laughs> the, Ni the Nike swoosh is <laughs> Nedwood Johnson. <laughs> what does the number mean? I'm sure it means something. I'm assuming it's just like a prison. I don't know what it's a reference to if it is one. Maybe it is. I don't know. I feel like there's too much talent on display here for it to be just a random number. You s you seen this image, Dank? The fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> That's our cursed EFAP guy. Believe in something. Like rape. Ah. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> now I understand. Was it obvious, duh? Idiot. But like it's here, it's supposed to be a little off and uncomfortable. So the close-ups work. But come on, when Bilbo is just talking normally, do we really need to- What? That- no, he's not, no! no! He's not talking normally! <laughs> not he's not normal! He's about to make himself fucking disappear! <laughs> he's about to end his life in Hobbiton, he's fucking leaving. This is the end- he, he's so stressed out in this scene. Yeah. Talking normally, my ass. ...be this close. <laughs> Even yeah, when Gandalf is saying nice. goodbye, look at that! You can count the wrinkles under his eyeballs! Why is What's that a problem? problem? I mean, he's pretty close to Frodo no, there. That, that is him literally saying, keep it secret. It's secret, keep it yeah. Yeah. Oh, the very important. Uh, nostalgia weird. critic. Does he understand the language of cinema? Does he, does he not? So, like, all, all the all the shots he's complaining so far, especially for Bilbo and Gandalf, those are like, important movie uh, moments. So, that that is the reason why he, they zoomed it in. Yeah, a, a zoom in shot for a really serious scene when a character is saying something very serious is absolutely fucking normal. It, it, yeah. It, we have no other distraction. They're making, this is entirely focused on the ring. Keep it secret, keep it safe. Keep, just keep that in mind. At all times, you'll need that right up until you drop into the fucking volcano. Mm-hmm. How would you like it if I filmed conversations like this? Oh no. Oh, no. Please, no, don't give me a close up of your face. No, no don't do it. Skip, skip forward okay. a bit 30 seconds, please do it. Hey Mel, <laughs> did you hear they might be getting a new judge for American Idol? Yeah, I heard they might be getting a new host too. Oh really? You mean they're getting rid of what's his name? Yeah, what is that guy's name? It's not boss boss. I'm just gonna say something. What he's saying also is kind of let's say let's buy this fucking stupid scenario that it's about American Idol. What they're talking about is also important to American Idol. That that the zoom in actually makes sense for what he's talking about. This is I so dumb. It, I like, think this is a little, a little this just, is, just mildly amusing. You can justify zoom ins in a lot of ways. The idea that you're like, I was uncomfortable, therefore it's bad. It's like, oh, all right. The guy's name again. Is it Seacrest? Is he safe? Okay, that, I, 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 I get. I there uh, there was a joke there. There is was he, a joke is there. He, is it Seacrest? Is, yeah. is it Seacrest instead of Secret? Is it, see, here's the thing. That's the little the little nugget buried underneath all of the 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 rest of the thirty two minutes of this movie. <laughs> see, I I can appreciate what he was trying to do there. To feel close I, to the curse, but good God, we don't need to be this close. <laughs> Is it secret? Is it safe? You can't use this as an example. Oh. It's a juxtaposition. Uh, this is yeah. before he knows about it versus after he knows about it. Look at the difference. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> no! <laughs> Number six. You, you, all, you all invited me on here just to make me really fucking angry. <laughs> A lot of guests say that. A lot of guests. Say that. <laughs> we, we, how, how many times have you said that weekend, Rory? I, I remember EFAP 93 very well. <laughs> that yeah. was the first time I got really mad at watching a video. This is just mildly. <laughs> no, actually, I hate it a bit. Yeah, I hate this one too. Yeah. It's, it's not funny. The points don't matter. It's kind of like his YouTube channel right now, so... Oh, shit. Wow. Also, oh number God. six, Denethor. Just Denethor as a whole. What? Why is this bad? <laughs> He's a bad guy. What are you supposed... I don't understand what the fuck... Okay, let's hear his vapid point. <laughs> wow. You don't even think he's going to make a great point? What is wrong with you? No. You're so mean. No. <laughs> just... No, I don't. Just Denethor. If there's any character I think was more over-the-top simplified in these movies, it's this one. And I know a lot of you may disagree, but I got some serious issues with this guy. Okay. Everyone describes him as a Shakespearean villain, being very complex and very sympathetic. Really? 
I don't know that I've heard that from many people about Denethor, that he's... It, not many is people say he's sympathetic, no. I mean, is that true in the books? Dank, mm -hmm. you read the books, right? Is that true? Like, does he have layers? Or, no, or he was, like an he ogre? Was just, no, he was just basically a man that had just been driven mad through, like, mm -hmm. various other things. It was, like, the death of his wife, the fact that nobody wanted him to be the fucking guardian in Minas Tirith. It was just, uh, the people hated him and all this shit, and it was just basically a... But the only thing, the, the things that drove him mad were complex, but basically by the time he appeared in the books, he was just a nutter. Mm. Yeah, he was, he's just basically seriously, like, fucking mentally ill. He's, um, that, that, was, that was it, really. But, like, he's pretty well so, characterized in the movies. He's, like, obsessed so, with maintaining Gondor and the world of men to the point where he's lost his mind in terms of, like, strategy. Yeah. And he's obsessing over Boromir's death, and... Yeah, well, the dynamic Favorite between been to the other, the the their family, like the dynamic between all of them, is fucking great in these movies. I find it odd, that, like I I don't have any Poor. criticism of Denethor's functionality except uh, uh, he probably wouldn't have made it to when he jumped off the, you know the, the minister is like the top of it from where he yeah. started getting burnt. That's probably the only thing I can think of. Well, I'm glad you guys saw that, but for me, I just saw a crazy asshole. The whole time. Yes. I mean, he was a crazy he asshole. He a crazy asshole, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Time, he seems to have just two settings extreme jerk or extreme nutball. Yeah, when he's not frowning and, or Yeah, slobbering. angry asshole. Yeah, he's a. Uh, crazy, angry he's asshole. quite, you know, far along in terms of his. Oh, yes. or shaking his I, head I, I, I'm really disappointed that they portrayed a man who had been driven mad as a jerk and a nutball. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this, yeah. look at what this is doing for the mad community. Like, it's making them look yeah, terrible. Yeah, a representation here. <laughs> Ugh. Okay, so the, the dwarf has to be, like, noble and dignified. That leaves very little room to actually feel sorry for him. Which I'm told is the intention they were going for. You will not take my gun from me! The line has ended! Condor is mine! Abandon your post! Leave my alive! I don't understand that people were telling you that you're supposed to, like, sympathize with how he is happy that his whole city is about to fall apart because he's given up. Like, mm. uh, I, th I think we're supposed to feel he's antagonistic. Like there was supposed to be a real tragic element to him. Like, he used to be a dignified steward and has gone mad with power. But there's just so little dignity you can see in this guy. And I know oh, the that, idea- That's the point. <laughs> I mean, we I don't- don't I, I don't think it was mad with power. That's not what- he's not mad with power. He's just mad. He just went fucking Crazy. mad. Like, see if someone goes mad with power, you don't then order your men to set you on fire. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, true. He's, <laughs> he's mad with fire. He's, uh, his big concern is losing all of Gondor, right? Like, that's, he's just, because he, he, he thinks they're going to lose, that's why he's going to fucking burn To be fair, himself. that room was full of faggots. True. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I get it. Is yeah. that he's supposed to lost all his honor, but you're supposed to give some idea that there was some honor there to begin with. And you don't really get that. I would say he's, the point is that he's lost completely and that we see a glimmer of, uh, what he used to be right before he dies. And also, we, we we have the... And this is one thing I think the film should have cleared up, the whole Palantir issue with Denethor. Oh, I think that, yeah, if they'd added that in, um, it, would, it would be much more satisfying to know that he's got access to information that has essentially driven him even more further yeah, along in terms corrupt, of fear. He, yeah, uh, Sauron has corrupted him and helped dr to drive him mad. He, and that's he had the Palantir. That's what it yeah. was. You see the black orb ball thing? He yeah, had yeah, one. and they just do a very... Yeah. Yeah. They don't do a good job at sort of illustrating that and elaborating on it. It's just sort of like implied, kind of. But that's sort of a big deal, and that would explain a lot. Yeah. The only time I actually had sympathy from me was when he found out about Boromir's death, and oddly enough, when Pippin is offering his services. Until my lord release me, or death. And I shall not forget it, nor fail to reward that which is given. He does actually seem thankful and somewhat kind in this brief moment. And I'm not saying we need a When ton someone of is that. pledging their servitude to him, he's kind. 
Hey, man. Yeah, that, that <laughs> slates in pretty neatly to the character, yes. But we just and he just fucking than... hates Faramir, no matter how hard Faramir tries, and how he sets Faramir up for failure and then blames Faramir. I can't believe my son became a furry. I fucking love <laughs> furry mirror. That image. Furry, furry mirror. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He he'd go in parties and be like, "Oh, it's Boromir and my." Is other this why son. your brother started calling himself Baromir? <laughs> he calls he calls Faramir Dave. He like forgets who he is. Bar Boromir shall lead my armies. What's my other son doing? Busy being a wolf breed other kin. <laughs> You He's cannot shit. wear that costume into battle, Furrymir. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an elephant. <laughs> uh, oh man, Lord, Lord of the Rings would have been so much better if everybody was in furry costumes. Make it happen. Lord of the Furries. Lord of the Furries. What we got. But no, we need obvious symbolism to show that the decision makers in their ivory towers don't understand the fragility of life. I mean, at this point in the film, he's already f pretty much convinced they're gonna lose, like, overall. It's part of what, like, all of his motivation is that he's terrified of Mordor. Really? Hold on, hold on, right. The reason that Lord of the Rings was written was while Tolkien was in the trenches. It literally, it literally is a giant allegory for how greed and power is bad and war is bad. Also, it, it, that... it's going to be a requirement for more specificity because they do defeat a large amount and win a lot of battles via war. Like, you know, the, the, it's the, the complexity of, of just war is bad. It's like, all right. <laughs> yeah, but he, he, wrote, he wrote it when he was in, he wrote part of it when he was in the trenches. Like Tolkien was in World War One, like that. I was right. He's sitting there in a trench, and he wants to be, basically write a book, putting children off war. That's the point. Um, I'm pretty like, sure the, uh, the, the they wasn't there. There a controversy over um, the Tolkien biopic or whatever that uh, it was. He he wanted to make it clear that war wasn't, or at least World War One wasn't influential to Lord of the Rings. He wanted them separate. I've heard that they were not related. No, I've, the, way I, the way I understood it is like if, I don't know. Was it was it the Hobbit he was writing? I can't remember. I just know like that I've I've never heard that. I heard that basically like him being in the trenches did influence part of the war is bad message. I mean, I I just I don't know. I don't even really agree with war is bad as a a, a top. Like there's there's way more to it than that. And I think Lord of the Rings does a good job of showing there's more to it than that. Especially that this, yeah, and that, this scene to that me is scene... Uh, more important to the Faramir Denethor shit that's going on, as well as like the state mm -hmm. of Minas Tirith right now. Oh yeah. And I don't know, the execution of that scene is great. Well, he's just nitpicking. What, what a f <laughs> what an F. Yeah, his criticism here is that I found the message too obvious, like, alright. Yeah, so, okay, I wouldn't have you. I wouldn't have said the point of this is to say war is bad. I would have thought this was between Denethor and Faramir, and that's what it was about. Well, I, do, just... I, I do think that you see the comparison with the, the rich person in the ivory tower sitting. Yeah, I can see it. Yeah. yeah, I can see yeah. that. I can yeah. see it. Still going, huh? Of course. Yeah. Ignorantly benign! Shut the fuck up. No, he's not even benign! <laughs> he's not even benign, he's psychotic and mad yeah, with I don't... rage at this time. Like, yeah, I had to pause there, because I'm like, benign? Well, that's not true. Benign? He he deliberately sent Furrymir to die. Like, that, that's benign. the point of the scene. Gentle like, and kindly. Yeah, no, it's not. It's that's not, not that. Did he He's mean like, he... a different? I, he, clearly, he meant a different word. <laughs> Maybe. I just don't know what to make of that. That was uh, it was painful. Poor furry Mia, indeed. Disgusting. That's much more of Gimli. <laughs> Even his death seems over the top goofy. Just when they're about to give him something close to a remorseful moment, what do they do? 
What is this? No. Ah. Cool, so. oh, that's the consequences of his actions, yeah. Mr. Critic. Yeah. Like, Why? <laughs> him stand on fire isn't goofy. Yeah, yeah, yeah I would not. scream if I would be on fire. Yeah, so there's not I, very, I, not very three stooges. That or anything, you know, a, a man's on fucking fire. <laughs> like, yeah, it's time that's to not laugh. the normal state of a man. <laughs> Normally, men aren't yeah. on fire. And when Gandalf says, "Here lies Denethor," uh, so goes Denethor, son of Denethor's father, what, whatever the fuck his dad's name was. Yeah, that was pretty somber. Uh, it's not funny at all. It's not goofy. Um, he gets thrown on the fire. Oh, a wise guy, eh? <laughs> wow, whoa, what a what a funny. <laughs> Trying, trying to burn your son alive, huh? What, what, this isn't Lord of the Rings, it's a fucking itchy and scratchy cartoon. Oh my god, he actually committed to saying that it's a comedy. <laughs> I mean, man, if he's specifically talking about how he managed to run from there, all the way to the edge of the, the cliffside, whatever you want to call it, um... Yeah, fine. that specifically is weird. Mm -hmm. I, I imagine being on fire, uh, I'm, I'm no expert here, but I imagine that that would make make, make the body's adrenaline kick up a notch or two. Sure. <laughs> like, <laughs> and I could picture him running for X amount, I just think that he runs really far, if you remember how far away this is from there. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's for drama. Like, of they course. didn't play the scene up for a joke. I don't, I don't get how no, he this got... This isn't meant to be funny. The, yeah. Gandalf says, and so passes Denethor, is it son of Ecthelion, I think? Yeah, it's, it's, so it's, it's yeah, it's very like this is a result of his own actions, and now he's gone. Yeah, and the music that's playing is not like <laughs> it's not like yeah. that. <laughs> 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 oh, 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 it's like it's not <laughs> supposed to be goofy. It's your oh. problem if you don't see the scene like that. It's it's one thing to say I didn't find it. Uh, the drama didn't catch me. It's another I'm thing to completely like... misread the scene. It, Nostalgia critic watching Saving Private Ryan and the, the boat explodes and all of the soldiers run out. He's just like, ha, 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 that's funny. Like, <laughs> what world are you living in? Hey, man. Man on fire, funny. Make me laugh. You still get it, okay? You still get you it. You see, man not usually on fire, but now man is on fire. It's mean yeah. funny. <laughs> man not in natural state. All I gotta say is, if you were looking to create a sourful Shakespearean villain, my sourful? guess is you need a- Yeah, whatever. Sourful. I think he said sourful. Is that a word? Hold on. Sour I think sourful he said, might he be said, a word. He said, he said, he said, uh, foul swoop earlier, so I don't, I don't uh, know. Uh, no, uh, okay, so, like, I'm pretty sure sourful isn't a word because Merriam-Webster, as has been Oh, uh, wait, no, that's in a- That's not out yet. Episode, <laughs> yeah, um- you cite Merriam Webster to look smart, and I just looked up sourful, and I, there's wiki dictionary. It just apparently it's an adjective comparative, more sour. This isn't a word. No way. <laughs> I, I can't find anything here on like definitions. Springy refuses to accept that this is a word, folks. All right. He's spoken. It is full of sour. You might even say Some sourful. You're, be you you're being be sourful. Sorrowful. Yeah. Sour on full. <laughs> Sorrow. <laughs> Sorrow. A little more dignity than this. Why? That part's fucking awesome, shut up. Yeah, yeah, this is great. This is Gandalf basically just saying, yeah, fuck this guy, we're defending the city. And everyone's yeah. like, yeah, that sounds like a good idea, I guess. Like, yeah, back. Well, just, like, that was right after he'd done the whole, flee, flee for your lives, like, fucking, but, like, what yeah. was, what was, Sarah, what was, like, he's supposed to do, just Gandalf, just go, ah, oh, just leave him. Doesn't he's not, they... he's not being a problem. He's just demoralizing the entire city's <laughs> defense. I consider, I consider this important, not just to get him out of the way, but he needs other people to see him do this to this person. It's like, this person's a fucking idiot. Yeah. This dude's crazy. <laughs> We'll be back in a bit. Until then, let He's the dumb. emotional weight of this scene. What does he mean? We'll be back. What is? It, what is this like? A he mm. thinks he's like a TV show, where it's like we'll be back after this commercial break. <laughs> this is a YouTube video. What do you mean you'll be back? What he's, do you mean? He's he's doing an ad, an ad, probably. Break. Yeah. yeah. God fringy, you so mean. It's not supposed to be goofy, you dumbass. That's not meant to be funny. I th this is very dramatic. I'm not sure why he's saying. Look at this shot! Does he think this is like a comedy shot? 
in All his right. mind, yeah, this is hilarious. He finds it hilarious, yeah. What can you do? No. Oh, he had he has an ad break. Good job. Yeah. Braid shot no, this wasn't made yet. Alright. <laughs> Nothing oh, happened. <laughs> Nothing <laughs> happened. I guess it was just a normal ad break. That, yeah. Okay. This was just. This was just you. It's in for TV. Wait a minute. Yeah. Is this, is this back in the day where like you used to get your ads in the middle of a YouTube video and you would actually announce it? What is what is this? What's he doing? <laughs> who <laughs> who announces their YouTube ads? I think Maybe back they're... still on Channel Awesome. I think they they rolled an ad in there. If I remember well, correctly. Well, this probably has an ad at that point on YouTube. If, yeah. Because Watch Together doesn't play ads, so. Yeah. Because it would be... I don't know. I think it's just an artsy thing. It's just a, a faux I, commercial break. Oh, it's break. not an artsy thing. I think, it, I, I think it's entirely cynical. You know, it's like, oh man, look at us. We're like a real production commercial break. Well, that, that's, that's, what I'm, that's what I'm saying. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. Must be um, so awkward when your video gets demonetized. <laughs> <laughs> just come straight back after nothing happened. Yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. Number five. No. <laughs> I was hoping Still we weren't gonna get funny, one of these. Bro. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like Dang. funny just because of its absurdity. There's a saying absurdity. that nobody ever really dies in TV. That I'm there's always a way to bring a heard of that. character back. Well, the same definitely can be said for Lord of the Rings movies. All right. First, they think Gandalf is dead. Think. So Gandalf is Gandalf the Grey is gone. Gandalf the White's not entirely the same. He, he yeah. makes a point of that. It's gonna like re -bomb. And They think Merry and Pippin are dead. What? I mean, oh, this uh, is such a dumb. Oh my God! This is such a dumb. So this is I so wouldn't dumb. even. Mary and Peppa never were dead, though. Yeah, but I would. I wouldn't say that we Gandalf, thought they really. were dead. We thought, holy shit, what happened? Yeah. That's just. Yeah, and did it? Like, yeah, we're we're gonna did find it? out. That's so, like... the, his uh his analogy is along the lines of you know on TV like nobody's dead because they can bring them back. What what that generally means is that the death is really vague. It's something that isn't concrete or definitive, like seeing them get shot in the head. And then they can bring them back. fall That's... down a massive shaft and explode. Yeah, or like crash into right, yeah. the ocean, or um, or I don't know, go to hospital, and then I don't know, maybe they die off screen, car crash, stuff like that. Not like this, I don't see how that compares to anything in these films. Yeah, like if someone was watching it with me and they were like, "Wow, they faked out um, Pippin's death," I'd be like, "No." They they showed that something bad could happen to him if that scene were to continue in one particular way. Yeah, yeah, because it leads to them going for this whole search and chasing uh, the group of... Was it Urukais or Orcs? Urukai. Yeah. Well, Urukai and Orcs, yeah, but was... then, oh, meat is back on the menu, boys! Like, yeah. seen happen, but then, yeah. Yeah. What about them? <laughs> That <laughs> guy, so honestly, like, see here in that fucking orc, sound like a fucking extra for me, Stendhal. <laughs> I like that. Uh, leg, they don't need those. I remember when I first saw the film and it cut to that orc, I was like, oh, Jesus. <laughs> I mean, you know, you must take this seriously when I say you are ugly. <laughs> He's like, wow. It is you who are ugly. Aragorn is dead. But he wasn't. So he fell off uh, the ledge and there was water below. He landed in a river. So, so yeah, that's, just, no, the, that's just suspense no. building. That's all, that's all that is. Yeah. Like, movies have always done it. Oh, is he dead? Is he alive? Oh, who knows? Oh, he's alive. Also, are we not counting all the people who, who did die? Are we just ignoring them? Like, no, they don't come back, so they're not useful for this point. No, I, and I think the analogy for TV is wrong because, like, in the in the olden days before the internet, you you had to wait a week before you know what happens to the characters. Like in the scene he's showing, like with Pippin getting stomped on by the horse, that was like Aragorn doing detective work, right? He's trying to find out what's happening, and then at the end of it, they realize that they they fuck off to some treants or some oh, shit, if I recall oh, correctly, I'm... right? They're investigating. Oh. And, and in this in the scene for Aragorn, we, as the audience, you actually find out that he's not dead. It's not like 
it's not like the movie's baiting you to for the sequel to find out he's alive, right? Oh, it's, it's not like that. Hasn't it already shown that Merry and Pippin are alive at that point? Yeah, I also... Yeah. I can't remember. It's, well, it's I just... This is a weird... Like, I need him to be more clear. Like, what, what's... Are you upset that you thought they were all dead and they weren't? Is that what you're saying? I'm sorry. Or is he upset <laughs> because they're doing the TV thing? What What is his problem? Then they think so is dead. Good God! No, they say right there he's alive. Yeah, no, that's, Sam that's, that says is not, you're alive. If you call that a fake out, it lasts like no, it's the the orcs, half a the minute. orcs who come in. They like no, this one's alive. The thing is, if you pause the film from the moment that he he says, uh, well, like opens up the face and he looks kind of dead, it's just like, is he dead? I'd be like, well, I, I don't know. What is what, what does she loves Stinger do? I don't know. He makes some limp as a bone fish. Yeah, and once someone tells us, we're like, ah, okay. Like I'm sorry, that's on you, buddy. Like I don't know what you would do. Uh, the, the idea Dab that, on like, the bone fish. How is it a bad thing for a writer to find an event that can make the audience be super concerned for the well-being of a character, but it's all consistent within the narrative? Like, why is that bad? I don't know fucking any of it. But the ending had too many fake outs. This is like a new world record. Hell, this thing was set up. This... Yeah, that was. Again, it's on you. I don't know what to say. Yeah, that was set up. You knew he had the he mail. He was referencing the, the with Frodo, right? The mythical, yeah, yeah, the Mithril. We yeah, knew he I, was established that... that he had that. Yeah. Yeah, that's like oh, Chekhov, kind of Chekhov's <laughs> armor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mouth of Sauron scene from Return of the King because it was twice that they did a Frodo death fake out. We already knew it. It's this not point, even a fake. No, but we don't. It, but we don't know that Frodo's dead. And it's not even a fake out. It's not. It's the, like you, know, you could. Re we it's know not Frodo's a fake alive. Out. It's the characters yeah. who think that he might be dead. How can you call this a fake out when it's just the characters' experience? We want. I'm happy to see how these people react to the knowledge that Frodo is dead, because I want to uh, like. For all they know, that's true, and it's sad. No. Aragorn fucking takes no, except... his head off, and then he says, "I refuse to believe it." It's just like, fucking no, awesome. Gimli's, hi Gimli's hiding his massive erection because Frodo's fucking dead. <laughs> like... Yeah, legless is in front of him, going, "What's that? What the? What's happening?" I'll oh, I'm my sorry. Axe. Oh, and then my third uh, axe. when when Gimli finds out that uh, Frodo is alive, he just has this face again. <laughs> you lied Frodo. to me. You told me he was dead. I have spoken. I was bidden to show thee. Know that he suffered greatly at the hands of his host. We've done this. We've done this already. The whole spider oh, killed. No, oh we. God. Oh my God. I, I see his problem. He's conflating the TV fake out with the movie fake out, and the problem is the audience actually knows. That Frodo's still alive. It's not like a fake out in TV where the audience thinks the character is dead. It's I not would, like that. I would argue that it's really yeah. neat that all of the heroes of this story are fighting because it's the right thing to do, not because they see a victory in sight. So when, I think that's also a good way to look at it. When you find out that Frodo but might what? actually have died and they have the ring, it's like, fuck it, we're doing this anyway. Oh yeah. man, I'm going back to some cringe fucking clip. Fantastic. You missed it. It's I, so good. I think the I think the black guy is funny. <laughs> yeah, the black guy's funny, yeah. I think that the the no dialogue of him just standing there with the hair and the beard and the helmet. I think I think in the axe, so I think it's I think that's funny. Alright. It looks like he doesn't want to be there. <laughs> Honestly, we just want you to open your gates for a moment. I go last. But you... They, didn't but even they have, don't have the ring. They don't have the ring. They didn't have, they don't have the, the ring. ring. This joke doesn't make sense. Unless it's... he shot the eye with a normal arrow. Is that the joke that Legolas is so powerful he just kills Sauron with an arrow? I, I guess. Okay. Oh! <laughs> no, it's still not funny. Oh. That still only counts as one! Oh my Stop god! It. Fuck oh. off! Stop! Oh, it's not funny! Any, any, gotta get that It'll never be funny! Shut Doug the fuck up! Paycheck. Jesus oh. Christ. Oh wait, wait, that face though. That I just saw this so and an impulse went through my body to scream and I just barely could hold it in. Uh, like, wow. How can he how can he criticize the film for doing something already? Oh. I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> 
So, uh... <laughs> yeah, Mahler, I was gonna post that too. <laughs> uh, I just, I like it when you crop it this way, because it just took his face really long. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta go all the way up. You gotta go all the way up to the top. All the way up to, you gotta get that nice, nice and long. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I hate, I hate it. <laughs> Looks like a wobbly face. <laughs> <laughs> wobbly face. It looks like a cartoon that you draw, uh, like a Pixar character. Yeah. I'd probably be his dream to be a Pixar character. Well, he's already a cartoon. In fact, I think the only reason Boromir never came back is because Sean Bean has it in his contract that he has to die. die every movie. Yeah, yeah, you're the first person to do that joke. It's hilarious. Yeah, this so was 2013. Funny. That was well, top tier comedy. That was old yeah. in 2013. Yeah, it was. That's true. Oh, boy. The role that he's in and stay dead. But everyone else? Eh, death is just a roadblock to pass. It's like they. No, uh... they don't die. Yeah, yeah, they don't die. die. <laughs> Notice how they do things like take cover and deflect blows so that they don't die. And not run to a bridge where, where orcs are shooting arrows at you, you dumbass. Fuck me. Jeez. They listen to Nostalgia Critic more than might have died, and that's all he wants. No matter what, these characters are fucking invincible. Look at this. How many times do they throw themselves into an army of killers and never even come out with a scratch on them? The yeah, they're fucking is good. Probably this one with These are like really, people. really. Why do you think they sent them as part of the fellowship? They're really good. Yeah, these are these are top tier. <laughs> yeah, these are. That good. is fucking ridiculous. Yeah, plus all these urukai were born like yesterday. A week <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like they don't. They haven't had like any training. They just figured out to walk. It's like, yeah. oh shit, bridge. Yeah, the skill yeah. of like swing the sword at the men. Yeah, they're strong. Like, oh, good. Right. Yeah, man. Yeah. Fucking tits. I, I hate men. That sounds great. <laughs> this long line of killer monsters all being taken down by two men. One of them has. Okay, so it's still a choke point, and they still have to run away, and they're only buying mm -hmm. time, and it's a surprise attack, and they're both very good at killing, and Gimli has an advantage of. Kind of being awkward to hit for a lot of them. Mm -hmm. Before he hits them. The size of the rest of them. Even in the final climax, they know they have nothing to fear. Listen to how they talk. Certainty of death. Small chance of success. No. What are we waiting for? So that's no, that's Gimli fuck. commenting on that's how crazy. a lot of what they've done has been incredibly yeah. dangerous. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I don't it's think adding... that's him commenting on some supposed plot armor he thinks he has. This is also oh, after yeah. King Theoden is dead. Yeah, it's, it's Dead. also like <laughs> kind of the way that fucking yeah, this is... dwarves like this act is... though when I was like, oh, is there a thousand of them? Get my axe. Like fucking that's yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he said that, right? I'll take the three hundred on the right, you take the three hundred on the left, something like that. It, this is Gallo's humor. This is like adding light to a very dark situation, trying trying to win against insurmountable odds. Oh yeah, I, I get the impression that he would consider it and you know glorious to die in battle sort of thing yeah it's like it's come on what bro. a goofy like, character yeah what a goofy character come on burp for us gimli blackface yeah. dwarf yeah. <laughs> we've done a million times even if we die we're bound to bounce right back they Hell, don't die don't... in <laughs> they've work. never died before though <laughs> you and and they, i think they know that they're not wizards what an, what an excellent pause I, did. I almost said it i almost said it i, 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 I held myself back he's got coronavirus <laughs> oh god an oh, no, of dead people it's like having a cold you're out of commission for a bit but you come back swinging Nothing like walking through the Jesus. valley of the shadow of death when that valley is just the size of a thimble. What? Oh, he thought that was a good line. He thought that was a that was a good line. He said it so seriously. He's jealous. That's He's really awkward and it. weird. I don't that even understand is the fucking point. Fucking ridiculous. Oh, what is it? Is it? Oh. <laughs> Get only only another three times after this, okay? <laughs> Stop. You can do it. You can do it. Hang in there. <laughs> Every single time. Clench yeah. your butt and think of the queen. <laughs> Double in my eye. <laughs> Alwyn's life is now no, tied to oh the ring. Okay. I think he takes this literally. Yeah. So I think he takes this literally. First thing I'd want to 
point out is that she sacrifices her immortality uh, to be with Aragorn. Meaning, mm -hmm. if Middle Earth is overtaken by Sauron, she's fucked. So the the ring has to be destroyed. That's that's the whole thing. That's why why Dad Arwen Eric, Dad said it. Like, and if the ring gets back to Sauron and he gets it, Aragorn very possibly could be dead, and so it's going to be bad for her. Things will mm -hmm. work out best for her if Aragorn succeeds Remember, and the ring is destroyed. Elrond is like, lol, you'll outlive him, so it's going to be really lame for you. And she's like, oh yeah, that, that's true, I'm going to leave. And then she's like, wait a minute though, it's going to be really great. And then uh, Elrond's like super upset because he realizes that after a choice, it means she's going to, like, she doesn't have the immortality of the elves anymore. Yeah. So what they're going to want uh, the best for her, which would be fucking she's like Elrond is obviously concerned about Arwen staying behind I don't I don't really this isn't hard but let's and you know, it's let's... best for her if the ring gets destroyed and now there's no doubt that Arwen's role has been expanded in the movies and to be honest I really don't mind it's a bit of a sausage fest in here anyway and hell even the woman who okay. does join all right okay <laughs> Okay. The fight it has to pretend she has a sausage. War, but... So having her do more stuff, I think, was a welcome addition. But then we get this really weird nonsense. Arwen is dying. The light of the even star is failing. Again, uh, dying to elves? It's not even supposed to be... That's not even a, a thing, right? Because immortal beings? Yeah. I, I, I don't know. This is... I I guess... Even after they die, they go to the undying lands anyway. So I guess he's interpreting this as like she's just she's got a poison now that's working through her for as long as the ring isn't destroyed or something, I guess. So it said no rags. If the ring is destroyed, Arwen marries Aragorn and will thus die. No, she didn't she give up her immortality to save Frodo. I thought she gave up her immortality to be with Aragorn. Yeah, that's what I thought. I too. I think that would mean she she stays in Middle Earth, but she doesn't go to yeah, I think that, I think that's what it is. Like that's what, the elves are leaving; they're going to uh, the 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 boat shit at the end, right? But if you stay, um, you don't you don't get the immortality. Elves can die of sadness. Oh, no. <laughs> As power grows, her strength wanes. Uh, how the hell did that happen? We get something about the light of Bruhaha that's now somehow tied to Sauron growing because I have no clue. It was made up for the movie, I guess, as a means to give Aragorn something else to fight for, or maybe keep her more out of the way so that their being reunited would mean more? I'm not sure what the intention was, but brother does it make no sense. What is that light thing she gave up? If it makes her mortal, then how come none of the other mortal people in Middle Earth are dying? Because they're because all mortal. They didn't have to give up. Mortal means we are dying. <laughs> yeah, we. <laughs> I hate. I hate it. I hate it. He's you gotta understand, like the, the elf POV. Like they don't. They're not humans. They're not man. Multiple in people have said because Arwen's dad is half is half elven blood she gets a choice to make between becoming mortal or living forever she basically she gives up immortality and sort of like becomes human or like she she basically gets to choose do you want to be human or elf because she's like half and half for some point or she's not fully elf <laughs> you see that picture <laughs> 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 It's terrifying. <laughs> make it go away. If it does make her mortal, then how come they were talking about how much it's gonna suck when she stays immortal in that other scene? In fact, yeah, that was what Elrond told her to spook her. Yeah, he yeah, said, that's... yeah, you're just gonna fade away and it'll be miserable, it'll be shit, and you'll just be sitting here and it'll be just fucking awful. You should come with me, it'll be the tits. Yeah. Hell, they made immortality look like such a bitch, she'd probably be welcoming death by this point! In most cases like this, she you just have the line that... where she says, I choose a mortal life. She fucking, she's sad that her husband's dead. What? Like, immortality cures your, your grief over people you love dying, I guess. <laughs> like, whatever. Yeah, ob Doesn't... Obviously, right? <laughs> so, oh, I guess someone... I'm still alive. <laughs> so someone's saying, no, all elves are losing their immortality in Middle-earth, that's why they are leaving. 
Oh. Which is why if she was if she was gonna stay, then she would die because she'd have to be with Aragorn, who's the king of Gondor. So if she left him, she'd get to live forever, but she'd be without him, who she loves. And of course, she's gonna die uh, along with everybody if they don't beat Sauron. And it's explained, but this was a new scene and talked in very little detail about it. The more I think about it, maybe it would have been book? cooler if they wrote it that she went to fight with the rest of the army. She was originally filmed in the Helm's Deep battle until they edited her out. Wouldn't it be nice to give her a little bit more battle damage than a branch from a tree? Ooh, look at that scar! It shows she's would tough. Would it be? And... I, don't, I don't know that... I mean, I don't think necessarily that's the case at all. I mean, I, I think Elrond would have some pretty crosswords to say if she went off to Helm's Deep. I mean, she's just not as major as the other characters, I'm afraid. I don't know what else yeah. to say. Yeah. It pushes on after battling character. prickly leaves. I don't know. If you're going to expand the character, at least do it in a way that makes sense. Until then, look pretty, cry, and don't cut any hedges. Uh, the, the perfect <laughs> woman, right? <laughs> <laughs> the perfect woman is not cut by tree branches. Eh? Yeah. La 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 la, I'm going to hear it. Ah, la, Number la, three. La, la, la. Hello. Fine. It's fine. <laughs> Sam and Frodo's gayness. Oh my god, no. <laughs> we're doing it. No. No. We're doing we're doing it. it. All right. Boys. I've, seen, right. I've seen people saying this video inspired cinematic venom, and it's like, well, oh. I feel it's, it's pretty obvious now. We have arrived. Oh my god. So, before we see him uh, explain this, I just find it amusing that you've got dumb moments gayness. <laughs> Like, what? I've... Wow, this video is really from YouTube in 2013. <laughs> yeah. Gay is gay. Oh, oh, oh. Gay? You're dumb. Oh my god. What, what are you, gay? This is yeah, definitely I hate, a... -word. I hate this N-word video. <laughs> Some things about Lord of the Rings. Number four, the homosexual agenda. <laughs> Gays are trying to take over Middle Earth. Oh, Bother, like, yeah. yeah. Like, oh, I, I'm, I'm, gay. I'm, or like middle I'm girth. A quote, I'm a quote skeptic. Guys, is showing affection gay? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Stop being so gay. Yeah, so, it's, not, it's not gay to kiss your homies goodnight, though. That's just being a good friend. <laughs> yes. On the dick or on the mouth? <laughs> Either. Either, yes, I agree. Yeah. Uh, but these these are like actual oh, points he's making, right? So what exactly is... Do you think, what do you think his point's going to be? I w I they imply imagine. a gay relationship, but they don't do anything with it. Maybe. Yeah, Fro Frodo and Sam are, are pretty gay. Like, like yeah, they are a little bit. Like, Sam used to be like words of encouragement and stuff like that. Yeah, he's always <laughs> talking about how you're great and I love fucking potatoes and things <laughs> like that. And... <laughs> yeah, like if I was lying, like, oh, if I was lying, dying like at the side of a volcano, and my friend said stuff like that to me, I'd be like. I Shut up, you poof. Yeah, what are you doing? Fucking talking about fucking strawberries, you faggot. When Jesus he was Christ. Yeah. When he started now talking about putting things in a stew. Seasoning, fuck off. <laughs> Look, the most gay part was when he said, share the load. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't think they're gay if their whole quest is to, to, is to destroy jewelry anyway. Yeah. Well, they're, 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 again, they're, they're destroying a ring, so. Yeah, they're trying to destroy gay marriage. <laughs> it's a massive it's a it's a huge allegory for how men have to destroy the concept of gay marriage. That's what the ring stands for. This is what a Discord said. I'm not gay, but twenty dollars is twenty dollars. <laughs> I mean you can't deny Listen, it. I, I, we're not gay, we're in a fellowship. It's different, alright. <laughs> okay, now one thing perfectly clear before anyone has a heart attack. If Sam and Frodo were actually gay in the story. I wouldn't care. Hell, it'd be cool. Maybe they'd be the first gay kid. It'd be cool. <laughs> it'd be cool. I don't care. It would be cool. I'm picturing it. Why wouldn't it just be neutral? It should be neutral. You know, yeah, but like he, he's just watching it with a little flag that has gay on it. He's like, yeah, gay. <laughs> they ride into battle with a horse and it has the gay pride flag sticking out of its ass. They oh. ride in on unicorns and they're hair is like <laughs> and the unicorns colors. shoot again rainbows out of their eyes you know just... all, all, all the elves at antifa and all the orcs that are... <laughs> I, I got all the elves dressed up in black and i got masks on fucking so sauron the, the eye just has a big fucking maga hat on 
It's like little piles of rocks <laughs> anywhere neatly aligned, ready uh. to throw. Oh, what was what that? The, oh, oh, so the realm of men gets to protect their borders, but I make a black gate and everyone loses their mind. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what was that fucking meme that went around a while ago when it was a play on Trump's speech? And it's like, when Mordor's sending theirs over here, they're not sending their dead. <laughs> <laughs> they're sending arcs. They're sending Urukai. <laughs> some of them, I'm sure, are very fine people. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of Mordorians are, are probably wonderful, but your orcs and Urukai, not the same. I'm just saying, it isn't orc doctors who are who are sneaking into Gondor, okay? <laughs> I want to. I just want to see an orc, a, a, a doctor orc. I need an orc Gondor. Doctor orc. I want to see an orc gate Gondor. Just got ten feet higher. <laughs> Characters. Denethor's pyre oh, just got ten <laughs> But that's not what bothers me. What bothers me is that the intention was not to show the power of love. It was meant to show the power of friendship. Yeah, which uh, they nail. Yeah, what a, yeah what pretty good job. Ab yeah. Absolutely nail it. Yeah. This, this is one of the like, quintessential examples bros, of friendship this being is, portrayed yeah. on screen. This is like the best bro down in the history of film. bro down. The, the point nice, is like yeah. Sam will do anything because he cares about his friend for his friend. I mean, like it's yeah. No, God no, damn, that's so many lying. <laughs> there's so many lying. You helping your friends out? That's kind of gay, bro. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, that that's what does that say about you? Is what I that's f slur shit. But come on, <laughs> you have friends, <laughs> fag. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Bet you guys talk to each other at night, you fucking freak. Yeah, I bet you talk about your problems. What a, f what a f <laughs> friendship and being in love are two different things. Yes, no exactly. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> Thanks, Sherlock. You know, I, oh, I do like this. It's just Thanks, hey, Sherlock. nostalgia critics gonna explain love, guys. All right, <laughs> nostalgia <laughs> critics gonna tell us about love. He starts exactly. a show. He's like the love doctor. Oh. Oh, I, I hope he does it with another skit. I hope. Oh yeah. oh, yeah. Nothing conveys true love like a nostalgia critic skit. Mm. Or a oh, yeah. to live the rest of your life with, but there's also the love for a determined person who will always have your back and be by your side. And the reason that bugs me is that this relationship, while I do believe unintentionally makes them look more romantic than friendly, is that it's obvious Tokyo uh, wanted to show no, the strength no. of friendship. For Which reasons the of film does immensely well. So he's like, what making... is this weird thing with him that he can't have people like? Does he think that if they were romantic, that they wouldn't also be friends too? Well, yeah, those are two different things. Right? You, you, most people don't say, "I get to marry my best friend." That's not something anyone's ever said. They, they always yeah. say, "I have my best friend," and then I have the other one. That that one's for sex. And then I have my wife, who like she cleans my house and cooks my food. <laughs> you know? That's it. <laughs> For, um, for tax purposes, I'm married to a woman. However, my heart belongs to this man. <laughs> it, it's, it's super I think he just wanted to watch... He just wanted Lord of the G-Strings. That's what he wanted. We all want that oh, to a degree. It, it reminds me of the cinematic Venom defense. Or, oh, I don't have a problem with gay people, but these... And then these, they play a scene. I get... Yeah. And then they're like, ew! You're like, um... Yeah. Seems like you got, you got some issues there. I don't know. So... <sighs> I find it super interesting though that like of all the things to to target with it, it's you've failed Tolkien's vision. That that's what he's going with right now. Wow. So he's... someone said it jet. Then I have my wife who looks pretty, cries, and gets hit by bushes. <laughs> <laughs> Top tier wife. I hit her bush. Ability oh. oh. <laughs> ending rather than lust or romance. Lust and romance is fine, and we see it everywhere in big- Thank you. Lust and romance, it, thank you, Nostalgic We critic. have the <laughs> approval of Doug Walker <laughs> that we can thank, have lust and God. romance. Thank and God. Thank God. God. <laughs> Epic stories. But that's not what this is about. This is about two people who care for each other as the closest of companions. So what's yeah. your problem? What is, what is this? I don't know. Right. <laughs> what is his problem here? Is it- I, I, If I'm getting it right, we've got a few premises. One, you can't be friends and lovers at the same time. Uh, two, Tolkien wanted them to be friends, so because he has interpreted them as gay, that somehow means that he's, like, that, that this is uh, unfaithful. Jackson has undermined the integrity of the Lord of the Rings. I don't think Nostalgia Critic has any friends, and that's why he doesn't know how he works. <laughs> if he didn't pay those people, they wouldn't do skits for him. 
Dude, yeah. it, it's one of those things where you're like, hey, uh, hey, Doug, you want to hang out? And he's like, whoa, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not, not gay. You know, uh... <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> Like, hey man, well, the, the new fucking what what movies? He watches everything, so just the new movie's out, and he's like, "Whoa, not gay." You're like, "Oh, okay, oh. <laughs> that's fine." That's well, a only review. A few popular stories I can think of that really dive into that. You don't often see two people. In that incredible like, friendship between two people. He felt he had to show references for other shows or media that has presented friends. That's a very uncommon concept, you see? There are shows that have done a better job of such thing. Very... It's very informative. The same gender give up their life for the other just for the reason of friendship. If it's opposite genders... What do you think happens in war? Almost always hook up by the end of the story. What is, what is oh, happening man. right now? I, I'm waiting for something... He, well, that, that tells me why it's bad. It was he. He's saying it was supposed to be a friendship, and it's it's a love story instead. So they fucked up. What? That, that's the whole point. So that's, that's why not even an argument, though. Anyway, no, it's not. That was true. It's not an argument. Friendship element was played up more than a romantic one. Why? And again, I don't... What are you? T what is he? Uh, it's so wrong. <laughs> All the Sam quotes. Was my drink. About how much she's gonna look out for him. Nah, they're all I gay. Uh, <laughs> all right. I think it was intentional, but it's still hard to ignore that it comes off that way. I've never, e I never even thought to I, think about no, it like that I, until no. people, the, the memes started. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I can appreciate the memes, but yeah, they were just really, really good friends, and it was cool to see. Yeah. And so much of that comes from just how friggin' lame these lines are. Oh my Let's god. Let's just look at some of these scenes. Oh again. no! Don't oh, do it. Very courageous, wasn't he, Dad? Yes, my boy. Most so what's awesome about this is that Sam has been the POV of receiving stories about heroes that he knows about, and now he realizes that they're on a journey that will essentially generate those kinds of stories being told to people one day. Yeah, so yeah. he's using story. this to cheer up Frodo, and then also to say, like, what he says after this. Remember, it's partly and then... like culture as well, that they all farm during the day, then at night they all go to, like, the whole village, they all go to the bar and tell stories. Like, Doesn't he call yeah, it it's, point? So and it's okay, right? He, he's <laughs> referencing this exchange, but I think it's kind of one of the best in the trilogy. It's great. Where where Frodo says, yes, if Frodo couldn't have gotten far without Sam, and Sam's like, you know, you shouldn't kid like that. And Sam, Frodo's like, oh, oh I'm not. And and I think because... it's a really great exchange. It's really, really well done. There's lots of little hints as no, well it's gay. toward this sort of idea that, that the storytelling is important. If you remember when, I think, is it when Frodo's vaguely trying to wake up after he's been hit with the, um, Mogul Blade, Sam is like, look, Mr. Frodo, the trolls from Mr. Bilbo's stories. It's like, hey. Hmm. It's very quick. And of course yeah. you see that actually happen in The Hobbit. Or read it, either way. Hobbits. In a law. <gasps> You've left out one of the chief characters. Sam. Also, I'm going to be careful of copyright here. I don't know how he yeah, managed to enough, yeah. nail it. Why is the brave? I want to hear more about Sam. Whoa, oh, fuck what? you! What? Oh. <laughs> You think this is bad? Your opinions oh, don't count. No, it's clearly it's gay. Clearly. God damn, they're dude. trying to play. They're they're trying to be like, yeah, you're really great, and the other one's like, yeah, you're pretty great too. Couldn't have got far without Sam. No, Mr. Frodo. This is soon after Sam saved his life, by the way. Yeah. So just just Frodo's very serious right now. He's like, yeah. Whatever. Why is it gay, though? I don't understand. Why is it gay? Good question, Will. Uh, why is it gay? How do you see that scene and go, Oh, they're totally fucking. Like, what the <laughs> fuck? Is it, is it literally as simple as the fact that they both look each other in the eyes? Like, is that- And, and they share that... their feelings. That must yeah. be gay. It's like, wow, it When tracks. addressing another member of your gender, you must stare at their shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> Never at the eyes. Curious. So was I. I'm just waiting for Gollum to roll his eyes and say, Oh Christ, just prepares a rubble. Gay. <sighs> how come, like, legally, how does this pass for comedy? It doesn't. Yeah, it, it doesn't. Uh, it's not yeah, I know with that... present company, I shouldn't advocate for laws on humor, but, like, <laughs> the Stalter <laughs> Critic is really pushing me that way. <laughs> I'd, like, I'd like to I... say I've, I've actually changed my mind on free speech. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Whatever you've done, Doug. I think, uh, 
an independent there needs to be like an independent government authority that vets jokes you know like you submit the script and there's just this <laughs> dude reading through it just like oh you thought that was funny huh you got in jail I buddy <laughs> Yeah, I, I do like the idea of dragging them off if the jokes are particularly bad. I, I, what would be an example? Like, I guess any number of jokes in this, you see Doug getting, like, dragged into a dark corner of the room. He's just like, no! No! Like, clawing at the... Like, uh, that scene in Spider-Man 2, his fingernails are just dragging. <laughs> pulling off all of Fucking the... Fucking screen uh, trap. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Okay, oh, rage. Slash romance doesn't always make sense. Frodo sends Sam away because he thinks he ate the last of the Lambus bread. Fair enough, he's possessed by the rain being manipulated. Lambus bread. <laughs> Lambus bread. Also, I like, like that he's saying, pie. He's saying this is inconsistent with how much Frodo loves Sam, like in the gay relationship, that he shouldn't let him go just for eating <laughs> the bread. <laughs> So, he definitely isn't being corrupted by the ring, and he definitely isn't being influenced by Smeagol. He convinces nah, him that okay. Sam is after the ring, and that he's essentially, like, eating all the food for himself. And Frodo's paranoid enough because of the ring that he believes all of this. Like, that that's that's the thing is as well with, like, Sauron. Like, it, it's not just, he's not just some big dude with a, a big fucking mace and, like, armies and shit like that. Like, see, before he does anything, he sows, like decades of corruption he has a magic it was his magic apparently can reach in and influence like the darkest parts of the human soul and shit things like malice wrath fear schizophrenia like all this type of shit that's what he does and Spoiler. that's what he's doing to frodo there so fucks with boromir yeah it's what that's what fucking done boromir and it's what fucking done denethor in. like i it's just partly what fucking sauron does yeah Manipulated by crafty but Sam actually starts to oblige until he makes this little discovery. What exactly is he supposed to there? So he knows from this that he's been sabotaged rather than it being a misunderstanding. Yes. yes. That is the point of this. I've seen this complaint before that people are like, why is Sam changing his mind now? And I'm like, I hate humanity. Because he knows now that he's being manipulated by Smeagol. He knows it and he has to go back and save, save him because Smeagol is going to kill him and take the ring. Mm-hmm. Boo. Remember, so you're not you when you're it. wearing the ring. Oh. Wouldn't his return have been a lot more powerful if they didn't show this scene? If Sam just said, fuck it, he's my friend, I'm gonna go and fight for him anyway. What? Okay. <laughs> wait, 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 can, can we roll this back? I'm confused. Sam was he's saying rot all the way down. He's saying it would be better if we didn't see him pick up the bread and realize he'd been sabotaged because then we'd be like, oh, he came back for him regardless of anything because he's his friend. The reason but, he came back- so the reason he left in the first place was Frodo- Frodo essentially banished him. Yeah. But once he finds out that Gollum is f gonna fuck- uh, I need to set Harry up. This is because of fucking stupid <laughs> cinematic Venoms with Harry Potter references. Uh, Frodo up. <laughs> that, oh, no. uh, yeah, he's, he's, he's like, he's gonna fuck him over, I'm coming in. And the best thing about this is Sam walks in expecting to possibly fight Gollum. He sees an enormous yeah. fucking spider and he doesn't even flinch. Yeah, he's just like, I need Sam's to like, like, oh yeah, my friend. This is why when people pick Sam for their favorite character. No, 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 no homo though. This is why when people pick Sam for their favorite character, I got nothing to say. I'm like, yeah, that's fair. Yeah, Freaking he's, legend. he's great. That would have been a lot noble. But no, he had to realize that he didn't eat the bread that he realized already he didn't. Shut the fuck up, you didn't understand it. Eat. Huh? I well, know I that Mr. Frodo is being a... intentionally sabotaged by this little gremlin, and I have to go and save him because Smeagol is going to kill die. my friend yeah. and take the ring. Intentional, but the more cheesy these scenes are played out, the more you can't help but think of a corny romantic novel. If you say so. I mean, if your mind goes there, then your mind goes there. Imagine mm -hmm. thinking that The Lord of the Rings is a corny romance novel. Imagine <laughs> being that wrong. What I don't get is, like... Why couldn't- why would this be a flaw? Why wouldn't this just be your additional reading that you enjoy? Yeah. I don't- I don't understand why this has to be something you hate. You're like, ugh, gay. <laughs> like, I can't be out of that. <laughs> yeah, um, the Cinematic Venom video was hilarious because he kept trying to walk the line between gay is bad and this is bad because it's gay. He was like, no, 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 that's not what I'm saying. 
but it is disgusting. <laughs> like, wait, what do you, what do you, what, what's? Oh, okay. He's, oh. It's actually like the uncle at the dinner table. I'm not saying I don't like them, but <laughs> I don't. Yeah, I'm fine with them. I just don't think they should be able to get married. <laughs> they also smell bad. <laughs> what is it? Is it wrong to think it's fucking foul? You're like, uh. It's alright, uncle. You... Plan. Anal is something that should be held sacred between a married man and a woman. A man and his donkey. <laughs> oh no. Man and his man and his horse. So you're surprised at the comparisons. And I think we all know there's plenty of those. Granted at the end, the yeah, there relationship are means, does yes. work. Sam gets married. Granted it does work. Okay. When you granted it does <laughs> oh, work. All right. Granted, yeah, the way married, that it was written like, oh, well, does work right. perfectly. However, eh. I However, guess... this is the third worst thing about the Lord of the Rings. <laughs> yep. Which, but, oh god, we've guessed, so Eagles is going to be 201, what do you guys It'll reckon? Eagles, it's going to be yeah. one. Yeah, it's going to be one. I think it will be Eagles will be one, one yeah. So what's, what do you think number two will be? I don't, did hmm. Cinematic Venom have the Eagles in his? I don't, I think, I don't we, think we, we, we said, like, we were blown away that he never brought up the Eagles in his yeah, video. Yeah, we were shocked that he did the Gimli thing and everything else, but he didn't have the Eagles. Kind of Frodo amazing. goes on his own path, and they do share a connection you legitimately believe in. Okay. Yeah, they're friends. Just maybe you believe in it a little more than what was intended. No, that I was can't just carry you. For you. But I can't. He's. Did it just cut out audio yeah, wise? That did just cut out for me as well. But um. Yeah. Oh. You oh, really want to cite this moment as clearly they were fucking. I can carry you up this mountain of death. To plunge just... you into the hot, steamy insides of me. I don't know. Dude, that would have been great if he had carried him all the way up and just threw him in. <laughs> we did I it. I can't throw him in the volcano, but I can throw you. <laughs> uh. Uh. Oh. oh, you think he had to cut that out because well, he got yeah, married? I only, only get one more to go. One more to go. Sarah. Who? There is oh, no doubt. Oh, no. Oh, um, no, what? Is, oh, it, is it that they Number cut? one gonna be the eagles. Is it, is it, it would be, yeah, it has to be at this point, but Saruman was cut from the, uh, his death was cut from the theatrical, I guess? Yeah. Yeah, I, I, think, I, I yeah, think I think that the book was cut, but in the books he doesn't die, he actually invades the Shire. Yeah. yeah. Like, after, after everything's gone down. But, um, yeah, I, so, there are, I just, when I judge Lord <laughs> of the Rings' movies, I'm judging the extendeds, I'm not really hitting the theatricals, they miss out on way too much. Yeah. Oh yeah, I think because I, I didn't watch these in theaters. Um, I, the first time I watched it, I must have watched the extended cut because Am I, like, I absolutely remember. Am I the only person here who did? Dank, you would have watched it in the cinema, I right? Watched oh, I watched yeah. them all in the cinemas. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> I was yeah. like, why am I so old? I think well, the um, you... the, the the extended editions have essentially replaced the originals that I saw before. Mm -hmm. It's yeah, I mean. It, yeah, remember... Generally, if there is an extended edition, I will always kind of use that as the default, not the theatrical. Yeah, like really. Batman yeah. and Superman, awesome edition, you know, which is so much better, isn't it? I, guys? No, when, whenever I decide to rewatch Lord of the Rings, it's always extended. I always. Yeah. And now, that's the default. Now it's always extended 4K. Otherwise, you're not a true fan. <laughs> um, I I really do want that 4K Blu-ray. So when I was. Uh, like, when I first seen it, <laughs> the extended versions, I was kind of blown away. Like, every single time there's a new scene, it's like, oh, Like, what's gonna happen? What is, what is it? Oh my god, new content from Lord of the Rings. And then you watch the Hobbit films, and you're like, okay, enough. That's fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you to a character, King, when Saruman, the only human villain you have throughout any of these movies, was completely left out of the king. He's not completely yeah. left out. You, you have Denethor, you have Grima Wormtongue, who's in this scene, oddly enough. You yeah. have, to a degree, Boromir. Oh, but the, fun, the funny thing is, is that Saruman, Saruman technically isn't human either. Yeah, I was, that's, that's where I was confused. Uh, also, so, the theatrical visions are functional. It's just that when you see this scene in the extended, you're like, holy shit, they should have kept this in. Like, it's, it's really strong. Oh, There's yeah, loads of really good moments. Um... Yeah, everyone in also, chat is like, he's not human. Uh, so people, two people have asked, what about Ghostbusters Extended, and what about the extended version of Ghostbusters 2016? It's like, that's the version that we watched. That is the version and we if watched, any, yeah. 
use them, and if people are going to defend them, I expect them to use the extended versions. That's the like whole. I always, the, the defaults are the extended versions, and I apply that to everything. Yeah, I've always said it. I'm just just tell me which one you're talking about. And if someone asks me, should I watch the regular or extended version of Ghostbusters 2016? I'd be like, so neither. But if you have to watch one and you want to get what the creators were gunning for, yeah, I guess the extended has more... Uh, is it more functional than the original? I can't even remember You're anymore. Dead wrong. How? Because they're both horrible, but... How am I dead wrong? What have I said that's incorrect? Yeah, I don't... Well, I'm can... default to the ex... I guess it's that interesting I'm wrong to think about... To Someone said I my mic is... default to the extended cut. Right. Yeah, I always do for, like, everything, as far as I'm aware. Someone asked about what, like, what Blade Runner I go with, but I'm not familiar I, enough with the different that's, versions. To... Yeah, that's yeah, a, there's a couple. Of different... yeah. And... yeah. Um, well, that's, that's the thing. I, uh, with uh, Dark Souls 2, when I was reviewing it, I had to choose between um, Dark Souls 2 or Dark Souls 2 Scholar of the First Sin. And when I looked into the, uh, the, it was described by the people who made it as the definitive edition for Scholar of the First Sin. So I was like, all right, then, I'm judging that one. Hmm. Yeah, well, I, I use the games, fullest like... version of the thing that exists, essentially. Um, it, it, like, I don't, I don't blame chat for having a bit of confusion. Like, it, it can get complicated if you have, let's say, theatrical extended directors and final. Like, if all of those cuts yeah. exist, I'd be like, I don't fucking, like, what the hell? Yeah, we can discuss individuals if you want, but and I guess, um... the rule that I use is the, the extended editions. Like, just because the, the theatrical is not the automatic default that I will use for something. To be honest with you, uh, uh, theatrical is like the last version I want to use if there's multiple. Yeah, basically, yeah. Because those well, things are, they edit it down for, like, time and shit like that. And But, but yeah, the, the, the real proper version is going to be the extendeds. I'm not saying it's necessarily the... better, but, um, yeah. It's not about it being better, yeah. It's just about whichever one... I guess that can be defaulted to that has the most context. Though I guess uh, when you yeah, get I'm to something like yeah, I'm fine with people using the version that's strongest for their argument. I'm totally fine with that. Even if it's a movie that I'm attacking, I would expect someone to defend it with that movie's strongest version. Yeah. To clarify, if yeah. there was a flaw present in the extended version of Ghostbusters 2016, and they were like, "That's not present in the one that I'm reviewing," and I'd be like, "Yeah, okay, that's fine." All right. Like, yeah, uh, it, it, it's fine. Yeah, it's not really that big a deal. Someone said, "What about Star Wars special editions?" <laughs> <laughs> Those are weird. Um, so, yeah, that's uh, that's fair. Like, it, so I would, I will definitely say that if if that's George Lucas's real vision for the films, and that's really what he wanted to actually do, okay. But again, I don't have a problem with you using either. I just default to the extended editions. But I don't think they add any scenes, do they? Uh, it's just maybe like it is yeah, 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 the, thing, right? Like uh, Hans deal with the uh, Jabba that that scene isn't in the original cuts, I believe, right? It was uh, it was in the first yeah, cut, then it was not in the theatric. I can't remember the history of this, but because Jabba it was, was shot. a guy, it was the scene that was shot and it was deleted. Well, no, no, no. Scene, so the the, the, the version that came out in theaters, I'm pretty sure had the scene where Han Solo talks to human Jabba, like the earliest version. Is that like, I'd have to check the Wikipedia oh, okay. for the exact specifics, but they I'm pretty sure that scene got cut out because Jabba became a giant slug and it doesn't work anymore. But then George put it back in when he'd like made it so that he put CGI over uh and the best part, I don't know if you guys know this, but Han Solo walks behind him and around him when he's talking to him in the original version, but when he's a slug he's obviously got oh, the tail, so Han steps on his tail right. and they like CGI him above the tail and back down, it looks awkward as fuck. Oh, you're right. Yeah, he was just yeah, a regular that, dude. Yeah. I look at it, someone said false, oh, Mauler. Like what I said <laughs> cannot be falsified. I said I don't know. That So, <laughs> good luck yeah, with that so one. This is the app when we don't know something. It, it, we, I love it when they do that. They're like, you've given out false information. It's like, I haven't said anything definitive, so that's impossible. Except for the fact that the scene exists, which is true. I know that's true. Um, yeah, I think I remember seeing that, yeah. It's weird. I remember when I first saw it, I was like, what the fuck? And, um, I think it, there's, um, there's videos of, like, George Lucas looking over the CGI of it, I remember, and just watching that. I don't know what cuts and what specials and stuff, but... And if you, and if, and if we were going on the attack on one of the Star Wars movies, and the person defending it said, we're gonna use the originals, I'd be okay with that? Yeah, uh, they can judge whichever one they want. Despecialized, I think, is 
the best version of the OT. Could be wrong yeah. on that as well. Um, yeah. But yeah, I find this all very interesting. And the Lord of the Rings, if you wanted to criticize the theatrical versions, I would just ask you why you're gunning for them, not that you'd be incorrect. Yeah, I would be curious. I, I would want them to try and justify what the extended editions, what they add that takes away. How does it make it worse? Why are you not using what I would say is very clearly the superior version? Which is weird to call this like a dumb moment of Lord of the Rings rather than the dumb moments of Lord of the Rings theatrical version, right? You... Yeah, it's, it's a very strange decision they made to have in the theatrical version this very important scene with closure of the villain of the second movie, essentially. Mola says murdered. Epstein killed himself. Uh, I, he did in the theatrical version. I'm saying I got a lot of questions. <laughs> did did Epstein kill himself in the extended version? I don't know. I haven't seen Epstein the extended version. 100,000 Biden votes in his cell. The Java scene was cut out of the theatrical uh, cut and re well, this is the thing. Like I said, I could I just know the Java scene exists. I couldn't remember which versions it was a part of, which one was it cut out, and then which one it was put back in but replaced Java with CGI. It's it's hard to keep track of all that shit. You know who will know is Hello Greedo. That's the one thing he's probably useful for in terms of his channel, is telling you the differences between each of the versions. So there you go. Go check out Hello Greedo, right? We we recommend Hello Greedo here, right? No. Oh. Alright, anyway. What the hell? He doesn't even make an appearance, a wave goodbye, or anything. He just doesn't show up. This is the guy that was the center of the poster in the last film. Okay. <laughs> but, uh, but is... So I guess we're not... Uh... So we're using the theatrical version as the issue. Yeah, but I just and like, it, I like the logic of he was the main poster person in the... This is clearly the villain poster, by the way. Yeah. Um, yeah, this isn't like, the oh, I gotta find out what happens to Grima. But like, since, that one arc, since he was the on the poster for the second movie, that means he has to be prominent in the third. I just feel like that's an interesting leap you made there. What if he died in the second one? <laughs> what do we do then? You're a main villain second to only that giant eye thingy. And he doesn't even get a little wave goodbye? What a ripoff! Yeah, he does now, in the extended cut. He does, yeah. I... If I was the Star Trek critic, then my 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 issue wouldn't be with the movie. It would be their editing decision to not have this in the theatrical versions. Yeah, and I agree with it. Uh, I'll really call this a dumb Lord of the Rings moment, though. And he does say, yeah, uh, the dark. filth of Saruman is washing away. I believe that's in the theatrical version. So, like, his name is used. Is, and, and this is the thing. When you're in the cinema and you see that, you're like, oh, Saruman has been defeated. And I think Gandalf says something like he's he's up in his tower. He's nothing he can do now or something like that. Yeah, he has no power anymore. He's essentially just an old man yelling at clouds. Which, that's that's the fate for all of us one day, guys. Well, yelling at them clouds. We're all going to be ex-wizards locked in black obsidian towers yelling at clouds. In one sense, you could make the argument that Sauron is really the villain, so you don't need to spend a ton of time with Saruman anyway. Saruman's really important. Who, who's making these arguments? Saruman... He, he is. <laughs> Sauron is the main villain, so you don't need to spend time with Saruman. It's like, who said this? Who are you talking yeah, to? Like, what the... <laughs> but there's two big problems with this. One, the excuse that they give oh, yeah, is name not three. to go after him. That he's too harmless now to do any real damage. Fucking what? Well, let's just have his head and be done with it. No. He has no power anymore. Yeah, there you go. That's the theatrical vision, which... In terms of story, it's still functional. It's just that when yeah. you see the scene, you're like, holy fuck, they should have included this. Yeah, Gandalf is not a vengeful sort. Yeah. The filth of Saruman is washing away. Yeah, he's learned his lesson. That's not what That's he not means. What they said. Yeah, it's, yeah. You see all this water everywhere? That means that is getting washed I don't... away. I don't expect Gandalf is thinking that Saruman's learned his lesson and he'll yeah. come out as a better person in the end. He's like, no, Saruman's <laughs> just going to fucking stew up there, but he's not yeah. going to be able to do anything. Just, just come strutting out his tower. Okay, my bad. <laughs> Sorry. Bad. Sorry, yeah. lads. My yeah. bad. This is the thing. Gimli it's would probably chop his fucking head off and Gandalf would be like, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I, I, there's a lot of weird, there's a lot of cool stuff you could have done. It's not bad the way it is in the extendeds, but 
a lot of weird, cool stuff you could have done. Yeah. Like, how does the you know what if Grima really did have his little redemption arc and sacrificed himself to save Theoden and something like that, or a lot of, a lot of stuff that could have happened. It would have been very interesting. I mean, come on. What are the chances of an ancient evil that we don't kill all the way possibly coming back and biting us in the <laughs> That doesn't count. He's an eye. Okay. But Saruman's like a dude now. He's so dumb. He doesn't have, the, he doesn't have these powers that, Sar, uh, that Saruman had. I, and I think it's established early in the trilogy that Saruman can never hope to be as big of an evil or big of a threat they, as Saruman. As his industry Sauron. is dead. The trees have fucking nuked Isengard. It, all that's left is him and his tower now. No, he, see, that means he could still be bad. He's going to cast spooky awesome. spells. <laughs> like, oogledy boogledy. <laughs> Oh no. I the oogly Spooky boogie! <laughs> oh no, Saruman made my hair green. <laughs> <laughs> and second, I had a perfectly good scene of him shot and edited already! Yeah, so... Shot why and edited. You, what, that was the, 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 the proper edition of the film. Yeah, I don't know. Like, what, what is this? Like, so clearly... The, this is something that was going to be in it. They chose not to have it in it. This is obviously a choice they made. You can say, like, oh, yeah, there's reasons why I think it was a bad choice. But, like, why did you spend so much time saying it's bad without it? And then you recognize that it exists. Yeah, um, you got to choose an edition and stick with it. And if your point exists for an as an editing point, that's an out-of-movie criticism, which is totally fine, I think, here. I think it's a really bad decision that they made. But... I mean, what? It's just... Stupid way to approach this. Also, anyway, I have to use the little. I'll be back. Oh wait, did not come out properly? Cause yeah, <laughs> only see gay cloud PNG. Gay cloud PNG. Dude, I'm a cloud chill. Why are you gay? <laughs> Can clouds be gay? I don't know. Then who is gay? So while we have this this uh, little break, uh, where is it? You sharing memes? We got a we got a squad, uh, which is very accurate to my face. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> it's a battle squad. Jesus, he looks <laughs> vengeful. Is he crying blood? I think so. That's what happens when squad grows up. Got himself a beard. <laughs> he's 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 a part of the gaming scene. That's Ooh. terrifying. <laughs> wow, you're saying my face is terrifying? Fuck you. Wow. I'm saying that the blood coming out of your eyes is terrifying, but if you Wait, want that to doesn't happen to you? Well, just, just <laughs> could you imagine <laughs> just being the person who's just ah, oh, there I go bleeding again. That's me every morning. It's like oh, that's ah, oh, okay, that's what my face. Oh yeah, oh, someone just said as well. I have more nostalgia. Could have used the mouth of Sauron from the extended, but then he ignores the extended for Saruman. Like this is the thing. He's using this as criticism that they didn't involve this scene, and then he's oh. used it as criticism that they involved the scene prior. But it's like you got to pick one, man. No, I don't. I can do what I can pick whatever things I want to criticize in whatever way I want. Yeah, the extended edition, it's right there, right at the very beginning. It ties up all loose ends. The connection between him and Grimer, a final send. He has a very high pitched voice. I, yes. I did mention this. I warned you guys. I don't know what else I can do. Well, he also said Grimer. Like, good. that's a Pokemon. <laughs> so true. But the question is, does Grima or Grima have more dignity? Which, which one? <laughs> <laughs> Off between him and, G and yes, they don't just ignore the big evil genius who could obviously cause trouble later. He's killed off. And in a pretty then... cool way, I might add. Pausing for copyright. But, um... Mm, yeah. Yeah, just, just... I'm just waiting for him to get to number one, I guess, at this point. Well, I'm sure he can survive that. Maybe not. I guess oh. this scene was cut for time, which normally I would understand for a film this long. You don't want to overstay your welcome. But it's 
the second scene in the I'm movie. I'm pretty sure the, the reason they have to cut is not because they oversay their welcome. That is because uh, they have that's to. A non -tech I guess they just have to because for, I don't know, contractual reasons or something. I don't it, know how it, it works. Doesn't, it doesn't really matter what the guess. reason is, right? What he's what he said is like a total non sequitur. It's the second scene. It's like, what What, what does that mean? The well, second it, scene can't be cut from a film? If it were the, I don't even think it is the second scene if we go by... Like, I guess he's counting all of the Isengard event as one scene. But, you know, fine, I guess. Um... But, like, cutting things from anywhere is possible. The idea if it's first or last, or anywhere yeah. in between, doesn't really matter. Nobody <sighs> is bored by the first few minutes! That's not oh, really do you think any- That's not- uh, did, 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 That's Wait, not hold on. Why you have what to cut it? it. If, if we're talking about length, in terms of cutting things down for length, it would be that you'll get bored later on, or, like, tired. What, what's it got to do whether or not it's at the beginning of the end of the movie? This is a bizarre argument. Yeah, you can cut stuff at the beginning out of concerns for length. You, you can definitely yeah, do that. Yeah, of course you can. The, <laughs> well, yeah. He was gonna watch this and be like, oh, this first two minutes isn't grabbing me. That's not how that works. I don't know why you're making that out. Yeah, That's so exactly. weird. If you, I, I mean, think and also, could... if you're in the theater at this point, you're probably not leaving just because yeah. the scene <laughs> hasn't grabbed. If you're watching the, felt, if, the Return of the King in theaters, you're... I doubt that you're there like, oh man, you know, this scene, it ain't really getting me. I guess I'm done. See you guys. <laughs> I'm, I'm out of I just, I, I think you could have framed this argument better, though. Like, I, I think... Yeah, there's, there's an argument in here. There's a very obvious argument yeah. in here, but he just fucked it up. Yeah. Um, and what are these weird qualifications? Like, if we have a five-minute discussion scene between two characters, and we're like, right, we've got to chop it down to three minutes, and the first thing you tell me is you can't chop anything from the first two minutes because nobody's going to be bored in those. Like what? What? Be like, what? What? Uh, what? what? Um, that, no, that, no, that made sense. Who are you? <laughs> what, what's happening? I'm sure the next verse will be more eventful. God, if it's a time issue, why didn't you shorten one of the other kajillion endings that you had? Oh. Mm. Oh. oh. You're, you're so dumb. Mm. Oh. Reese, uh, mm. All that is disappointing. Give me one more. The, the Eagles. I could. Yeah, let's yeah, just get to the Eagles. That's where right? people started to bitch and moan. They didn't need to know every single detail that went on after the war was over. But we no, did that's need you. to know what happened. <laughs> that's you. We don't get every single that's detail. You. We just I'm get fine. The I want to. Yeah. I, I, I yeah. want to feel so badly that I went back and read the books. <laughs> like, that's <laughs> what I wanted to know. Like, I was, I was like, well, well wonder what happened to everyone. Like, Jeez, that's the thing with the the true ending of things. What you see in the movie is like a quarter of it. There's so much fucking shit happened after all of that. Happened to one of the biggest villains in the entire film series. Of course, we always want to see the bad guy get the short end of the stick in the end. But next time, try letting us actually see it. Because that short end of the stick can impale pretty nicely. That that was a. You were really proud of that one, huh? Wow. Mm -hmm. This is like the thimble thing, and it's shit. But so he thought it was really clever. He had short end of the stick on his page, and then he was like, "Also, Saruman dies by getting impaled." There's a joke here, and he tried, didn't work <laughs> out. <laughs> Gandalf, do you still have that two-for-one coupon that could get you an extra life at the pearly gates? Sorry, I already used it. Oh, crap. Funny. Oh, my God. That... Oh, oh, God, I paused right before. Oh, <laughs> That's just great. <laughs> Last one. Last one. Last one, guys. We can do this. Brace yourselves. Mm -hmm. We got it. Don't and the it. number one dumbest Lord of the Rings not doing it. Oh, oh. Dude, done it. Yes. <laughs> it's the eagle. It's the eagle. Those it's eagles. eagles that could have stopped. Yeah. 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 yeah, we did it. You did it. You did it. Fucking called it. Oh, Shit. here we go. All right. Uh, surprising literally nobody. So we've got... It's funny, EFAP's had a bit of its own arc with this. This was first brought up in like one of the earliest EFAPs. Could be number four. And I think I was the only one that showed the most opposition, but even I conceded like the it's not, it's not enough of a problem. You can't actually prove it to be a problem. You can only say that they could have done more to be clearer about it. That's the best argument you could make, but even that one's not that strong. At this point, though, we've come across this so many times. Let's, let's, I guess, well, let's just do it. Who wants to go first? We got a lot of arguments to go through with this one. Well, do we want to go through as as he says them, or? Well, let's present our arguments first, I suppose, because we've also got. I'm assuming Dankula's going to want to do some uh, book references, and then we'll go strictly from movie as well. 
just to account for both. Um, all right. Like, well, so like... when it comes to what? Uh, I just I don't really fully remember. I know I've seen the videos. Like a bunch of people have made videos debunking the whole eagles thing and explaining that. Like, that's before they went into Moria, that's where Gandalf was actually leading everyone. He just didn't tell them about it. And then the whole fly you fools was him telling them to use the <laughs> eagles and, you know, all that, all that stuff. So, yeah, get like, um... All right, so, eagles, right? So, you've got the ring. You have to drop the ring into this big spook volcano. All right, now, the ring, you can't use it. It corrupts people who are around it, and you cannot let Sauron get the ring. Sauron gets the ring, Game over. You're, you're screwed. He becomes super powerful if he gets that ring back. So you have to make sure that you do this all very secretly. That's why you send a fellowship of people, for instance, and not like a huge army to do it. You got to be very, very, very sly and on the down low. So the problem that the eagles would have is that eagles flying around... Uh, Mount Doom, which is right next to Barad Dur, they would obviously be seen. And if they're seen, they would be killed by arrows, or most likely the Nazgul would take them out, because those things are no joke. And if that happens, then Sauron gets his ring, and it's basically guaranteed that he's going to get that ring back. Yes, yeah, so we're looking at. So that's why you can't just send eagles into Mordor and just have them fly in. All kinds of arrows. Uh just weaponry of any kind that can hit at range and and the the fell beasts that's a big concern another one is the gambling aspect being that yes you might if you're super lucky get right in there and drop it in but at the same time if you fail at any point if you fall off the eagle of any any way or if you, you die like th that ring is fucking lost that's falling into either a place filled with orcs or a place where you, you have to work really hard to find it again um yeah you, you, it's a better chance for you to take it slow and steady and be sneaky and try and get in that way. Then we have uh, the this the eagles aren't a taxi service. That's that's one thing. Along with how they are very likely, uh, since they 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 beasts to a degree or at least a different. We don't know how the ring works with them. Is kind of where I'm getting at with that. Uh, as you know, Gandalf is like the kind of person who's like fuck. Keep that ring away from me. It's like super, supertism magic. Um, eagles might have a lot of trouble with it too. You don't know. Big risk as well. And these are things that could be made easier by um, like one quick conversation about it. But they're also things that you can infer from what we've seen anyway. So it would be what what's it what how I imagine it would play out is that Sam, knowing the stories that Bilbo would tell, he would say, Well, what about the egos that Mr. Bilbo used to get to da 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 da? Like, can't we fly them in? And someone just says, Oh, and have the Nazgul Nazgul, you know, swoop us out of the sky and take the ring for themselves. No, we must be more sneaky. We have to be more guileful than that. We have to you, you have to sneak inside of Mordor. Which would assist his character and also explain why it can't be done. Because Sam yeah. would say something like that, maybe. Um, I feel like that's all the major ones. Yeah. And there are... Uh, is there a line in, in the movies where he says... Uh, this, some, someone controls the skies? Someone like that? Something like that at some point? I think so. I think so. Oh yeah. It's a meme to use this one. And the sad part is that people use it as an example of how plot holes don't matter. They will say, look at this plot hole. Therefore, plot holes don't matter, because, like, Lord of the Rings is good, and this is a valid plot hole. It's like, no, stop! It's not, though, is it? <sighs> everyone in the world brings it up, and of course, so am I. Why well, don't these creatures in... of awesomeness just I don't care how many people bring it up. To... Yeah, it's wrong. The amount of people who bring something up doesn't mean anything. Hey, he gets to do it now, too, okay? He gets to be wrong, too. Drop this is my moment in the sun. It's obvious that if they wanted to win this war quickly and more logically, they would have used these damn things from the beginning. And every excuse that people throw out in terms of the movie never holds water. Oh, like what? eagle gods who don't want to get involved in our world affairs. Well, that doesn't stop them from interfering one, two. What do you think the elves are literally doing? They're fucking off. Yeah, but they also helped at Helm's Deep, therefore that's not an argument. They're clearly not fucking off. It's like but they some, still only are. some did. Those were the those were the clear exceptions to the rules. Well this is kinda of what I'm getting at. Like uh the argument that the Eagles don't want to necessarily get involved, however they gave 
uh, Gandalf a ride at some point, and they help out in the end. It's just like, we just don't know enough about the eagles. That was a long definitive. time ago. Are they the same eagles? And besides that, whether or not that argument is, is true or false, it doesn't account for the rest of the arguments. I'm curious if he's going to go over them. We've got, we got a few minutes left. Two. And other times in all of this, well, they wouldn't be able to get very far. The evils of Mordor are just too great. Oh, I don't know. They made it to the gate. They seem to be fighting yeah, off those getting to the gate is you can walk to the gate. They got to the yeah. gate. Good job. So th this is how gates work? Things pretty good. And even if they didn't, you could have Gandalf night light reflect them off like he did before. He doesn't seem he like He doesn't Mordor have a staff anymore. I actually fucking love that scene. I actually love that scene. That's <laughs> one of my favorite scenes in the movie. Um, this is before he was Gandalf the White, by the way. Like, I'm assuming he's making this argument, because those, Frodo was separated from Gandalf by the time he's Gandalf the White. Not to say that he couldn't cast this spell as Gandalf the Grey, but, uh, I don't know. Just saying. Yeah, there we don't many know. many of evil flying things. Well, much like Gandalf, they would have been tempted to use it themselves and become evil in the process. For what? A two-hour flight? If what? It doesn't do you see how fucking quick Boromir fell to the fucking ring? Yeah. He, felt, he fell at the original like fellowship meeting. He was yeah. like right away going, "We should use." Yeah, it's a gift. Yeah. Frodo can resist for days on end. I think all the Frodo okay, so is Fro clearly shown to be special. Frodo and an eagle are not the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> a hobbit's well, a bunch of humans. Apparently, like Gandalf yeah. went into it about how hobbits are able to resist the ring's corruption. Much, much more innocent. Yeah. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Are are the eagles like magic magic people? Like, do they appreciate artifacts and whatnot? Oh. Like, you don't have to appreciate the, the artifact itself. It's it's a corrupting influence. This is the thing we don't. That mm. could easily be a problem. The ring is corrupting. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I just, I just find it interesting that it's just like all this effort being made to say like they could have done the eagles. It's like the chill. It's not true. <laughs> hmm. Gods can hold out well and shit. How the hell are they gonna put that ring on their claw anyway? Well, they stick out too they don't much. Have to put it on. Sneak it doesn't need to be on the claw. Yeah, Smeagol didn't have it on like ever. Frodo has it around his uh, around his neck all the time. He's yeah. just dismissed the whole thing about the eagles are really obvious targets. It's like, yeah, they are. It's not like they could just waltz in Mordor. They went at the best time because the, the armies are collapsing. Sauron's dead. This is so dumb. Like, Much more sense grand scheme of things. Really? Because how many times do Sam and Frodo get spotted, captured, and injured? That's not what they intend but, to do. So... Yeah, so they were captured by... They were captured once by the enemy. Actually, wait, how many times do they get captured? Zero in the Fellowship, right? Yeah, not in the Fellowship. They get captured by Faramir in the Two Towers. They mm. get... Well, one of them gets captured by the... Um, by the... Uh, which, 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 which isn't really yeah. fair, yeah. because... That's Sam a result of being left on the ground because you're assumed dead. Like, calling that being captured is like, okay. Like, referring to the, um, the Kirithon Gol one. For every day it takes them to walk on foot, thousands of lives are probably being lost. Yeah, but it's way fucking- what if they lose the ring to Sauron? Then what happens? Yeah. Yeah, well, and eagles, uh, yeah, Fringy's right. These, these are fucking big eagles. They're just gonna walk in the door and not. Oh, okay, we can't shoot at the eagles, I guess. So what the fuck is this argument? Our Nazgul aren't gonna take them out. Yeah. Or Let's the ice it, It's beam. only by pure fucking luck that this plan worked at all. Even Gandalf, think it was several luck. times in the movie. Everyone's acting in character is why what happened happened. Yeah, and the Big Golem thing. The golem thing was foreshadowed in the first movie. Like he still has a part to play, right? I, I, what? Come on, bro. Come on, come on, Doug. <laughs> Dougie. Was probably the dumbest strategy they've ever come up with. Nope. I've sent him to his death. Oh, why the hell did I do this? I should have used the eagles. I think all of us know how the ending of this film really should have gone down. Let's no. go back. He's gonna use, leg he's gonna use Legolas again. 
Yeah, yeah, he's gonna yeah. put Legolas on an yeah. eagle. Probably. Oh, Mario, which sound effects are you gonna use? I have a token. I was yeah, yeah, yeah. To Legolas. Oh no. Really? The dwarves say Merry Christmas. Oh my god. Oh my goodness gracious. Motherfucker. Thing I've, uh, that's the funniest part of this whole they don't, video. They don't have the ring, so the joke doesn't work. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this whole thing doesn't work, Rags, by <laughs> the way. This, this whole thing, this doesn't, whole thing work. doesn't work. Whiskey. Oh my god, fuck's sake. This is really funny, okay? You just don't get it. Well, it wasn't even open. Even the series, yeah, how it's just gave their take <laughs> yeah. on this. Even how it should have ended did this, okay? Oh, well, then I guess they can't be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, then, if they did it. I guess someone else said it, so... Uh... Well, that was incredibly easy. Yes, it was. Can you imagine what it would be like if we had walked the entire... Very funny. Very... Very funny, yeah. I away. Yeah, this is Bojack Horseman. Oh, oh, fringy. <laughs> That's still a wound. <laughs> you can't just imply that it's not funny at all. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Can you imagine? You can make up whatever excuse you want, you can say that- You can make up whatever criticisms you want, doesn't make them valid. Uh... Some way or another, this was the right thing to do, nope. but for me, this is by far the dumbest Lord of the Rings moment. Well then, I guess it's, uh, school's pretty high if this is the Riddle. dumbest thing. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah, this doesn't even check out. So Outside of gayness, good. you know, they're doing pretty good. <laughs> down the most awesome Lord of the Rings moments. No, let's not. Oh, wait, we okay. can't. Because there's too fucking many! Hey, it's that crazy. doesn't save you, right, buddy? Like, <laughs> can't you oh, like... No, he, oh, hey, he's doing this the movie's before... awesome. Whoa, he's doing the wall up. thing. He's doing the wall thing, where he shot on it for like 28 minutes, and at the last two minutes, it goes, oh, every review is fine. It's just an opinion. What I mean, I don't... The fuck? I don't care if he likes it or not. I just It's just his Christmas was shit. You know? Like, yeah, exactly, exactly. It's like, he's like, oh, but I think all the other stuff's awesome. I'm like, okay, I don't even trust you to tell no, me why it's good, let alone why it's bad. He's trying to, like... Well, he's, like, trying to, like, uh, extend an olive branch, like, oh, guys, those were bad moments, but but some moments were good, too, bro. Like, most of it was good. <laughs> like, he's trying to be, like... He's trying to save face. It's kind of like, yeah. the, don't get mad at me. I actually do really like also, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, the, way, the way it paused in my screen makes it look like she's got yeah. a fucking third eye. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. Fucking David Blaine shot. <laughs> oh my god. Problems even more that exist. It doesn't change the fact that Lord of the Rings is one of the best film trilogies of all time. It gave what so of? much, it changed so much, what and of? as much as we like it to is. poke fun of it, there's still just too much poke to like. Poke fun of it? What the hell? As for me, I'm off to partake in Foul the sweet. ancient Middle-earth art of dwarf tipping. I'm the nostalgia critic, guy. remember? Okay. That you was don't funny. have to. He thought that was funny. He, he dwarf had, tipping? He had such a, oh, he had, I thought he was talking about, like, if a dwarf is your server and they give really good service, you should give the dwarf extra tip. But I guess they're referring to like cow tipping, except mm -hmm. with dwarves. Mm -hmm. He thought it was so funny, so his talk. smug reaction. <laughs> Directed in it. Okay. Directed. <laughs> Directed. Oh. oh, they didn't edit the script then, if they were the ones who wrote it. <laughs> with Rob Walker. Yeah, this is post-editing. Wait. I'm standing up, guys. You can't, you can't see it, but I'm standing up. That oh. was great. Well, that wasn't good. That was yeah, that was a journey. Do so they Who's have a? Oh. It's not funny. It's nice. not funny then. It's not funny now. And word. It was a blooper. You have no heart. <laughs> was the animated Lord of the Rings done by Ralph Bakshi? Yeah. Yeah. You bet your ass it yeah. was. It's what fucking amazing. Fuck? <laughs> have you ever seen it? It's that. it's great. I've I've seen Coontown. <laughs> <laughs> What's hey. that? <laughs> like, I, I want to see it. Wait, that. hold on. Wait, you want to go, on. You want to go down a rabbit hole? Just, just, just look at the things that Ralph Bakshi oh. has made. He's, Fritz he's, the cat. He did that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Fritz the cat. Absolutely. He oh, did. Hell uh, yeah. I think he did. Uh, he did wizards. He yeah, did. What, I don't know who what, did Allegro and Tropo. Um, wizards was a fucking strange one because you hear oh it's great i love it army of gnomes and you think oh this is obviously some some like 
children's movie yeah but then you watch it and the gnomes are like literally wearing swastikas oh yeah there's they, they bring in the nazis <laughs> and you're so... like damn no it wasn't ralph Pike. that was a uh, maurizio nicchetti careful you almost did a hate crime well it's, it's it's the italians you know but yeah wizards <laughs> is great we should watch it sometime um, that's 1977 but yeah that, that movie's a so... trip as you can see, consistent thing. with everything else we've seen, uh, people are really good at criticizing Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Oh yeah, they do a great job. Unstoppable, yeah, you might even say. So, uh, yeah, I was hoping... Um, oh my god, that's not what I wanted to do. Sorry, chat, you're gonna see something spooky for a second. There you go. Oh no. Oh wait, I gotta bounce smaller. No. Like, <laughs> okay, I saw that. Like, <laughs> Rex, I saw it. Do, oh my you, goodness. do you have to abandon this? I got you, don't, you don't even want one round. Yeah. One round. Nah, I'm good. I, I, I really feel. I'm really uh, feeling it now. Like, I, I need to go as well because I was actually in the middle of filming like a fucking hour long mad lad. Ooh. <laughs> I've still got. I've still got on my cap. I was. Well, have you ever uh, played any Jackbox games before, though? Because it would. I think uh, it would be interesting to see you check this one out. It wouldn't take that long. Like, like twenty minutes, half an hour. Uh, fuck it, go for it then. Sweet. Uh, yeah, but I fe I, I'm feeling it now, Muller, so I gotta go. Okay, well, do you want to yeah. tell people where to find you and what you do before you vomit all over the podcast? I'm not going to vomit in the podcast. <laughs> uh, I will try to aim for the toilet. Uh, I'm Weekend Warrior. I do game and video game reviews on my channel. It's not the first thing you see that has a frog. No, it's not. It's the cute one with my face. The, the face of the cute man there. So th that's it. Uh, this was fun, except I really feel... Oh, Do you like I that really I keep bringing it. you back for Lord of the Rings videos that are really bad? It, it's, fi <laughs> it's fine. At least I, I think this was better than, than the other guy because at least this was like only 32 minutes. Jesus Christ, I hate... Fucking hate the other guy, <laughs> even more than this. Well, but I hate Doug Walker's video too. So there you go. So uh, I've been told, by the way, that the other guy is releasing a documentary on himself about his why, behavior on the internet. Why and, would you do that? That's so arrogant. And well, one of the, all the clips in his video are of people shitting on him, and he has one clip relating to EFAP where he says, "My response, I responded to EFAP like a little bitch." <laughs> So, no idea what's happening with that one, uh, but, you know, interesting developments, as they do. Uh, but yeah, it's been fun, Mr. Weekend Warrior. So, it's always a pleasure. It's always been fun. Except um, for the, it's always fun, except when we talk about the videos. <laughs> <laughs> Unnecessary Have a good fun. one, lads. Yeah, bye, you're man. Yeah, bye. bye. I'll see, see you, you guys. What a nerd. Um, yeah, so... Sorry? You always do that. What? It feeds people when they leave. Because it's funny. Yeah, so the, the, the idea is to make other people laugh. As well as myself. Ah, uh -huh. See? Rags had a fucking ball there. He was just like, oh. Yeah, yeah. it was great. Uh, so, all you need is a browser right now, people in call. Uh, I will boot this thing, and we'll just have a little bit of fun before um, the rest of the night, it. where we catch up with them super chats. Uh, where are we? Uh, I'm gonna go for a quick pee though. So you start that game up. Shut the fuck up! I'll be back in a wee second too. Yeah, yeah. Everybody can you know, do whatever they want to do. If you need a pee, Fringy Rags. I think I uh, I saw somebody in chat earlier say, Huh, funny, Fringy thinks he's right about Bojack still. I am, alright? <laughs> Have you rewatched that show? Uh, no, I wasn't actually offended by the joke. Like, <laughs> As for Bojack, though, um, no, I am definitely right on that one. All right, rewatch the show. Think about it. All right, it's not funny. Um, well, you, you, we did lay out our issues with it. It wasn't like, you know, we weren't fucking around in terms of like, yeah. oh, it simply isn't funny. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it, it really, like the well, the humor is actually a huge problem, but. But the the more the more frustrating aspect of that uh, show was just the fact that they wasted a lot of their drama. Mm -hmm. Yeah, did Rags is on the stream. I am out. But that's every EFAB. So I don't know why you're. Sh 
<laughs> I don't know why you're showing it. That's like saying, oh, Mauler's here. <laughs> Fuck this. Yeah, I've been on... I don't think I've been on... There's only one I haven't been on. I can't even remember which ones you're not in. Like, this... this it doesn't really Just happen. the one. It was ages ago. It was like over a year ago. There was one I couldn't actually... That was back when, like, Wolf was, uh... Here and some other people, but yeah, it was ages ago. That was the only one I missed, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So I don't know why they'd show up and be like, oh, the guy who's here 99.9% .9 of the time is here. Fuck that. <laughs> I don't even know why he clicked on this link, honestly. Wait, what, what is happening? <laughs> well, in Fairness Rags, they would have clicked a few days ago or whatever when I was racing Metal on Portal. That's probably what it was. They were like, oh, sweet. One of those EFAPs where Rags isn't around. Rags wasn't on the Spider Man debates. Yes, what? What? You were, weren't you? No, one? oh, you. Was, you were on the one first it? one. I think you were on the second one as well. You didn't come to the third one, I think. There was a third one? Yeah, this is, that's called the Spider-Man arc. We had three debate streams in a row. Maybe I missed one. Okay, so I missed two? Okay. The point is, I'm here 99-something percent of the time. I don't know why he'd show up if he can't stand me. Also, I'm fucking amazing, so you're wrong. Wow. Got yeah. Fringy the ego on this guy. Can you believe it? The horror it? games aren't scary. Yeah. yeah, I think that was the early one that I missed. Oh, you missed the that one? Fuck. That was a that was a journey. Um Alright, I guess I gotta cover this up so that people can't take you guys' places. Uh-oh. Uh oh. oh. Schwombo. You're wrong, Fringy. I man, you know it's funny, I feel like I'm easing up a lot more on criticizing people for bad grammar. Though admittedly, by me mentioning that, I've kind of identified in your quote that there was bad grammar, so maybe I haven't improved <laughs> on that. Maybe that's something I still need to work on. His opinion of Bakshi is trash, but Bakshi is really, really talented, and he makes very interesting movies. Who, sorry? Ralph Bakshi. I, I really, I really like his animation and the the style that he sort of presents, the way he does things. I, I think it's really great. And I've seen Wizards, Fritz the Cat, and um, Lord of the Rings. I might have seen word that he's done. I'll have to double check. I probably have. But those are the three that always come to mind. Yeah, I haven't seen his stuff for the most part. We'll watch uh we'll watch Wizards or Lord of the Rings sometime. Coonskin. Fringy should learn humor. Bojack is genius level. I do hope you're joking. Oh good um, god, calling that go genius level. And... I, I really hope you're joking, alright? <laughs> Just... Also, like, I the episode I saw was probably the one of the few things I wanted to not finish. I'm back. Oh, well, um, the, yeah, it's, I mean, the, the, oh, there's the jackbox, alright. Right. Which one am I supposed to play as again? I forget. He's a big fucking naked fat guy. Me. Oh, uh, yeah, so go to your browser, type jackbox.tv. And then uh, I use the the password that you can see in a little group. Then game shall begin. Oh, the code is Wombo. Why would you tell people that? Why would you do that? Was I the first one in? Do you need to reset the thing? No, I'm the first one in. Really? Mm, who should I pick? A chicken? Oh, uh, it did. Oh, Christmas okay. Tree? Or a head. Oh, someone took my Apple Wrestler. I'm gonna oh. take the Christmas tree for. I guess oh, I'll be the fish this time. Oh no! Hey, boop! I, I'm gonna be the chicken instead. Chicken. Someone in chat is asking if we ever brought up the fact that Rebirth is locked at 60 FPS while Soma was capable of 120. I don't know if we did. Uh, I don't. I didn't even. But I definitely it. noticed when I was playing it that it was for no reason. Locked was... at 60 FPS when it's fucking 2020. That's the thing. A lot of that game felt like it was just from a fucking older time. Yeah, I have no clue why they decided they would lock that game to 60 FPS on PC in 2020. I've never understood 60 FPS locks in general on PC. Like, why not just have an uncamped frame rate? Oh, give me a second. Surely it takes more effort to put in a cap, you'd think, anyway. Mm hmm. Yeah, uh, so the way this game works, uh, I'm assuming, because you said you haven't played it before, right, Dank? Um, it's, you, you grab, uh, you go your, your browser, it'll give you, like, a little, um, canvas with, uh, one, like, a small pen and a big pen and a bunch of colors. You draw 
a champion to battle based on the sort of recommendation they give you. For example, it could be like the, the champion of strength or the champion of cuteness. And then the following round, you'll be shown a champion someone else drew and you have to draw someone that can beat them. And then they will fight and the chat will vote on which one would win the fight. Okay. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Not too complicated. Yeah. I'm muting myself because I'm eating. <laughs> yeah, that's all good. Uh, I think Rags took a call, so we'll wait a uh, second. Oh, I, I like. I can tell from the click that you have a Blue Yeti microphone. Yeah, he does. Everyone <laughs> was making fun of me for that today. Going, this peasant still uses a Blue Yeti. I have mine still in my in my. Oh, yeah, my it works. Shelf. That's the one I used before the AT AT. They're good microphones. I used to use that. Yeah, it's not bad. The video I uploaded tonight was demonetized. Don't fucking pearl shame me. Oh man. Uh, <laughs> I, I've just seen many people point out, which is now that they've pointed out, I do remember this, that some games tie the physics in game or, or systems in game to the frame rate. So, like, if it goes above 60, it uh. Wasn't that. I remember Total Biscuit made a video on, like, Need for Speed Rivals, where if you uncap the frame rate to 60 FPS, it runs at, like, double speed. <laughs> it's unplayable. Do they use that yeah. in speedruns? I wonder. Well, I feel like you're probably not allowed to use that in speedruns. There's like a million um, categories for every speedrun. I'm pretty sure there's one for uncapped frame rates. I uh, I see I see some of these speedruns and I feel bad for the developers. Like I saw those ones for Ratchet and Clank where like you could you could basically jump across the whole level, and all mm -hmm. I think is like, man, they put in so much work and you broke in it <laughs> to get. <laughs> To get all the way to the end without having to do anything. Uh. I know that uh, Super Mario 64 had one where, like, I think I think there were glitches where you could clip through like the staircase and get to the end of the game in like 13 minutes or something. Oh, as uh, someone just highlighted, Dark Souls 2 had weapon degradation, and it would double in speed if you boosted to 60 FPS. <laughs> but you. You guys probably do this first game without me. Uh, I have to take care of something, and then I'll probably be back right after that. All right, yeah, okay. we'll, we'll catch when you're back. So carry on with your game, and I will be back once I can. All righty, no right. worries. Right. Yeah, see you in a bit. Okay. It'd probably be like 20 minutes or so. Also, uh, before I go, someone in the chat said, uncapped frame rates can produce bugs that don't exist in lower FPS. <sighs> and do you want to know whose fault that is? Devs. Consider Joel. that for a moment. As you, as you just, I don't, I don't know. Just, I just, just consider that. <laughs> also, we're gonna have to, uh, <laughs> Rags. If you can, you drop out. Does it let you? Yes, I can. Yeah. No, like drop out of the. the yeah, he's the still game. there for me. Do I have to redo the room if he? Because I, I close the browser and everything. Hmm. Eh, that's all right. right. It might be Tizzy, right. I'm gonna have to reset the room, but also we'll have to open it up to let four lucky contestants in chat to to fight with us, I suppose, because oh, no. I don't know if four's enough, you know, as is. This is no. Enough. Room not found. Don't fucking lie to me. But yeah, give me a second, I shall repost. No worries. And yes, don't panic, people. Mandalorian is on the way. We have <laughs> watched one episodes one through five. We have not seen this new episode, as people have been talking about. Well, I hear there are blasters in it. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't mean to spoil it. Alright. If you four in, or us four in, rather, yep. uh, I will open it up. Chat, are you ready? You gotta have jackbox.tv open. And as soon as you see this room code, you gotta type it in and join. Alright, here we go. Let's see how fast they join, I'm curious. Desperate to draw, draw probably splat. Oh god, Fringy, you're gonna get so much flack for this. Someone said, thank you, Fringy, I finally have a reason not to watch BoJack. I was always skeptical of the show. Well, I mean, you, you know, you can watch it if you want. <laughs> like, don't... <laughs> Yeah, you know, I'm not commanding you not to watch it. I just don't think it's very good. Um... <clears throat> really, someone had to name themselves that. We get fucking bad. <laughs> uh... That's 
why we can't have nice things. <laughs> Maybe oh, just anyway. a smelly knee. I don't know. Oh, yes. Imagine having a smelly knee. That's cray cray. Yeah, that's. Uh, <laughs> I hate when that happens. You just wake up the. Oh, my knee. Uh, yeah, I hate those Welcome smelly knees. No, man, no, I'm not going to. No, I'm not going to. Still wrong, Friggy. No, I'm not. All right. <laughs> Stop arguing back. Wow. Wait, what they can are say the same thing you. What are, what are you allegedly wrong about? No, Jack. Oh, yeah, I don't care about that. Wow. <laughs> Go so, to college, Freddy. Bojack is brilliant. Is right. Go to college? <laughs> a college degree? <laughs> like, you need an undergraduate to understand Bojack Horseman. Alright, so you got two minutes starting now. You would have had your prompt. Okay. Draw away, folks. What if I don't wanna? What? If if the prompt isn't that helpful, just draw whatever you want. How much time do we have? You have 1 minute 25. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, it's probably worthwhile to pull up the stream at this point, because you'll not only be able to see yeah, yeah. the stuff, but the time will be up there. It's like a 10 second delay or so. seconds. Alright. I feel like I've ruined mine by, uh, <laughs> overdrawing it. I kinda want, like, a notepad for this game alone. <laughs> Seconds remain. Players need to name their character. You have 15 seconds. Find a submit it. Eight seconds. Seven. Six. Five. Oh, you're running out. Better hit go. All the right. trainers are now moving on to creating a challenger. These characters will be the underdogs a variety because of characters their creators the will see who they're competing against, out. but not what the contest will be. So they must analyze their opponent's oh, right, unique he's skill it. set. My bad. Okay, so this one you'll be—you'll see what someone drew. You gotta beat it. <laughs> what? It, what do you mean beat it? Oh, just draw someone okay. that can kill it. <laughs> you take your fist and you beat up your monitor screen. Uh, <laughs> All right. I, oh, this one scares me a little bit. <laughs> I have tried this tactic before, hopefully it'll work. How are your drawing skills? Thank you, like a full artist. Um, <laughs> it, it rhymes with artist. Um, <laughs> oh, <laughs> you just said artist! <laughs> Nah, I'm, I'm fucking, I'm fucking shit. Nah, right. I'm trying. All of us are really good, so it's gonna be awkward, you know. We're just next level artists. Oh, I feel like I've already ruined it. <laughs> Got 50 seconds.
but I'm, I'm sitting here giggling like a wee boy in my stupid <laughs> fucking drone. It's always a good sign to be honest. Oh yeah. Alright, 20 time seconds. To name those characters. All right. Show your artism skits. <laughs> <laughs> just sort of change just wrote that in chat. Wait, who wrote what? Show your art artisms. Oh yeah. Alright, again, if you want the stream up. Here comes our first Check him out. Alright. And in this corner we've got Long Bendy Man fella. These two <laughs> this is Big Bendy. Big Bendy, oh no. Of low expectations. Correct. Oh my god, is that his spine? Who will draw blood first? I don't think he's that bendy if he's cracking the spine. I'm going with Big Bendy. As a champion of low expectations, low bendy bad bend fella. Oh wow, 21. Nice. In this corner we've right. got... He's, he's, he's a good... He's a liar. We'll be facing thing. off against... <laughs> We'll decide once and for all who is He's also hacking his uh, spine. What? <laughs> Maguire Paperboy. <laughs> First is Angus the Kid. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I need to vote for Angus because this is literally what he was born to do. <laughs> like... <laughs> Fucking Angus. Champion of the oldie times. This is an ugly scene here, folks. <laughs> <laughs> now entering the ring. <laughs> oh, we got a nuke. This. Be... <laughs> One of them will be crowned. <laughs> oh, God. Why is that up here? <laughs> 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 it was not a good It's good. <laughs> I don't know if you like the. I don't know if the nuke is the champion of being out of touch, though. Dean is oh. beating the nuke. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> His wiggly arms. Dude, don't fuck with Dean. Dude, how, did, how did this fucking. Child with like a Wellington boot for a lower half. <laughs> be, a, be a fucking nuclear missile. <laughs> Kicked it right out of the frame. Uncle Yortus versus Yeeti Boy. <laughs> yeah, Yeeti Yeeti Boy has a <laughs> it's a Dominator pistol, and he's got level and he's got level four plates on. So fucking good luck. Well, Uncle wow. Yortus has a big hammer. <laughs> Uncle <Okay>, Yortus <laughs> looks so angry as well. Oh shit, beat, beat him. Uh oh, Uncle oh, Yortus is coming out on top. Oh. oh, I can't believe Uncle Yortus went. Versus he had like the, the deathly, deathly <laughs> little gun. What even is that? <laughs> Why, of all the people to have chosen for a nemesis, the game chose that one. What? <laughs> Clearly, it's the smelly cactus. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with that cactus. It's terrifying. I know. It's like a Lovecraftian nightmare. But you know what? <laughs> it's Alex, un Alex un unconceivable. Oh, it capitalized the L. I did like a really funny. I only capitalized the X and then like a small L. Well, that kill was really it. suitable, actually. With yeah, it cut it in half. Only one of them can be. <laughs> The champion of <laughs> Is that yours for you? Which one? Ballot Baby's man who is also one. a crocodile. Well, <laughs> 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 I, I can't. I can't stay. Alright. <laughs> wow, not even Baby Spot is cute enough to beat out the crocodile man. 
Looks no, like baby sport hey, look, has, a, has a white beard. Alapan, who's also a crocodile, makes a scene, alright? Baby Here's sport, you know? Competitor. Nobody gives a fuck about him. Versus... These two are competing to be... <laughs> champion Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> oh, this shit had him yelling about it being raw. <laughs> Too salty! <laughs> Come here! <laughs> I would have preferred it if you had him yelling about it being raw, but you know what, Gordon Ramsay. Uh, raw! Oh, hey Rags, you back? Now. Yeah, I am. I'm seeing back. these funny Hello. drawings. I am. I am seeing them. <laughs> oh, salty boy lost. Whoa. <laughs> oh my god, Sir Arthur the Violent versus a sewer drain. <laughs> That looks like that looks like a diamond axe. Ooh. Yeah, that's pretty yeah. powerful. Can he defeat the pipe? The champion of smells. They both smell pretty bad. Also, the drain. I want to make sure everyone understands that the drain has suck. There is suck there. And something else written in white that I can barely read. X Y U something. Again. Probably means right. something. At the halftime, Fringy's winning. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. <clears throat> Damn straight. Alright. So, you get the, the, the same thing, but uh, going forward you will be able to use your past drawings as tag team to help your <laughs> new ones. <laughs> Prompt I got, that's fucking awesome. <laughs> My prompt is pretty normal. Oh my god, I've had a, I've had, a I've had an idea. So far. Done. I think I've just committed a crime. I'm a thuggery. Oh, you're right. Shit, I gotta work. Oh, 15 seconds. Two seconds. One. I'm looking. I want to see who fights the one I just drew. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what this is. <laughs> I love Analyze my one. Analyze your opponent. You really got to figure out how to defeat your opponent. I could love this game. How am I done already? Mad skills, yo. 
55 seconds. Oh, actually, yeah, I finished really early in that case. Damn it, I'm, I'm done. I don't know what else to do to it. Yeah, that feeling when you're complete, but it doesn't feel like it's complete. The joke works. That's all that matters. Alright. Warning. Fruity Name doesn't have characters. skills, otherwise you'd have a good upload schedule showing them off. Hey, listen, alright? Buddy, alright? Listen. <clears throat> hey, you said listen, then you didn't say anything. Yeah, yeah I was kind like, of on board. Yeah, I was I like all excited. All right. You should have you you paid more attention, alright? Wow. To the thing you didn't say? Here we go, guys. I mean, if that, that's oh, one shit, way. Here we go. It's the but, second hey. half, which means it's time for the tag teams. Each matchup will include a... All right, you can tag in your old heroes. So we got Boyga. This is Spot Eat. Who is Spot Eat? Champion of Gluttony. Champion of Gluttony. I guess that makes sense. Still on the screen. Oh, there we are. Uh, Boyga versus Spot Eat. <laughs> Champion of, well, I mean, Spot Eat, I guess, right? Yeah, because the burger's not doing nothing gluttonous, he's just chilling. Burger's not gluttonous, he exists, alright? What are you implying about burgers? Well, all burgers are fat and eat loads, that's fucked up. Yeah. Oh, it's changed the champion of having it all. Baby Spot versus Spot Eat? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> spot Eat, so. I guess, yeah, Spot Eat consumes the baby. Kinda fucked up, but, you know. So baby eat baby world. <laughs> a solo victory. What a feat. Gay.exe is the winner. <laughs> Two new fighters enter the ring. Who is the <laughs> champion of bad attitudes? <laughs> Give me a headshot. Baseball. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to appreciate Shadow's weaponry and the slogan above him. <laughs> Baseball Roger. Uh, I mean, Edgy the Hedgy, I'm fine. Edgy the Hedgy fucking wins, okay? There's nothing yeah. stopping him. He has a dark saber the and a machine level. gun. Dark oh. saber. What's straight out of Mando? There's nothing stopping him. Anybody who votes for the yeah, wrong Edgy person is wrong. <laughs> Look at how well he's colored in. Yeah! <laughs> but see, he's little colored outside the lines because he's edgy. He doesn't follow the lines. Did you just, oh, yeah. did you just call him a little colored? Whoa. Oh no! He's not a little color, he's a lot colored. Get it right. <laughs> Fappy McFap Fap. Blink <laughs> 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 into good old Baffy back back up. That's fucking this wonderful. I love it. Could swing things. The champion. He <laughs> <laughs> got his tissues there. Yeah, man, he's coming prepared. Oh, he's against the sewage raid. Uh oh. I feel like that's only going to amplify Fappy McFap Fap. Yeah, yeah plus, plus it sucks. So. Getting the suck. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna regret it in post net clarity, but hey, you gotta do what you gotta do, right? Who needs a teammate? Not the spider. <laughs> nice one, Fringy. It's <laughs> a good drawing. It's time That's for his cum our face. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. Ooh, this is fucking great. I don't want to live, man, versus lifeguard Luigi. <laughs> the expression on lifeguard Luigi's face. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. There's, no, there's no confidence there. I think like that's going to cost them dearly. Yeah. <laughs> Will the trainers do? Oh, that poor Let's dude. <laughs> Concerned, okay. I'm voting for life on Luigi dude. every time. That man yeah. deserves some hope. He's trying, okay? <laughs> Look, he got the, the little life preservery 
the, the sickly thing. <laughs> I forget the names. He got that. You gotta appreciate him. Oh my god. <laughs> there you it go. is the fate. It tells it really well. <laughs> he's very. He's mildly concerned. I think he realizes it's a lost cause already. <laughs> yeah. But he'll try. <laughs> I finally tried to save someone who didn't want to be saved. <laughs> this is the hate crime, isn't it? <laughs> Boy who fought the Jew, who Terry Jew. <laughs> Dude, that guy, he's got a he's got a ten pack. <laughs> His oh, neck boy. muscles are as big as his pegs. <laughs> I feel like, was the neck drawn as the body and then you just went, no, fuck it, I'm gonna make another body. Well, I... <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna a lot of toilet, so... Yeah, I think Terry Jews is gonna clog the, the world's toilet. This boy who fought the Jew, I don't know, he don't, I don't think he's got what it takes. No. Yeah. Terry Jews has a fucking Death Star laser, by the way. You Titan. <laughs> oh, he's powering up. Oh shit. Oh jeez. <laughs> My secret move. The Let's champion eat. of gloop. <laughs> oh no. Oh, that is such a baller drawing. I'm so happy you got mine. <laughs> I would have ever no other way. <laughs> Again, when you get Chumbo, it's a better way to get it. <laughs> <laughs> looks so small. <laughs> Flombus looks so scared in the second. <laughs> Chumbo, Eater of Wills. I just love that it gave me the prompt champion of Gloop. <laughs> and then it passed it over to me, that's just, that's fate. Yeah, that is fate. <clears throat> oh no! Moopshly versus Susan Wojcicki. <laughs> He's gonna ban me. Ban! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that anyone would ever vote for her. <laughs> it's not gonna happen. The champion of owning stock in Mountain Dew? She probably would beat me on that. Oh, would, but I will I beat Gordon Ramsay? Gordon Ramsay. Gordon Ramsay, you know, it's the best seasoning there is. Mountain Dew. <laughs> you cook your turkeys in Mountain chicken, Dew. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Some people did actually vote for him. Fucked up. Yeah. One of them will be <laughs> Just any person with this. a gun. <laughs> oh shit, there's more. Basically, Jay. One pound is not even a pound. Thin. <laughs> Just any person with a gun. The champion of dropping. The champion of dropping out of college. college. I feel like a person with a gun could drop out of college. Decision time. Would probably do something else at college. Mangus, the kid who beats newspaper bad, would probably drop out of college. Mangus <laughs> <laughs> one? Oh, jeez. Mangus, like, you know, helped Jay out in that little, uh, Tag team. <laughs> Jay did okay, an folks, angry emoji. Final scores <laughs> and. Uh. Oh shit! I won. I think that's the first time I've actually won. Damn. I thought I was out. Oh. <laughs> you came second by four thousand uh, dollars. Damn. All right, Chumbo Eater of Worlds really put and pushed me ahead. I think. Yeah. I think that, yeah, that helped out. Yeah. <laughs> He's a thick oh, I boy. Got fifth? Bullshit. <laughs> it's time. Um, would you would you uh, dank me up for one more and then I allow you to leave? 
Yeah, I'll do one more. I'll Yay. do one more. I'll allow you to leave. <laughs> Yeah, no, he actually beats me if I don't do it <laughs> and stuff, you know. Oh my god, what's happening? I know, right? Terrifying. Oh my god, he's adding two people. Help! Coom! Hey, Jay, did you like that round? Jay! Fix your mic. Idiot. Hello! Hello. Warm. Warm. I'll let you know that I actually do have one ab, so... Whoa. Chugs on you, whoever drew that. Oh, hello, M. This. Hello. Mr. Moriarty, hello. How do you do? I'm very well, thank you for inviting me. Nice. We got almost a full cast for this. We'll have one lucky person from the audience will jump in, I reckon. I hope it's not a smelly knee. The smelly knee? That would be the <laughs> worst. All right, here is your room code. I don't want it. Boop. Yeah, what if I don't want the room code? Yeah, I'll just use another one. All right, then let's get the definitive answer. Yes or no, chat. Is this a Christmas modifier for Jay's avatar? Does it count? What? What? No, there's nothing Christmassy about it. That's that's what I think too. Yeah, direct. It's Jay, not how, Jay, Christmas how do you powers. feel that your ideas of Christmas are being being trampled on by the world? I don't believe in Christmas. This Wait, you think Jay? Christ. Jay doesn't actually think that's a Christmas avatar, does he? Um. <laughs> <laughs> No, this was something I, I I had anyway and put on as an excuse for Christmas. <laughs> All of chat is saying no. <laughs> That's a lot of no's in there. Oh, there's one guy said yes. There you go. Mm. Wow. Thank you, fat guy. <laughs> <laughs> wow, who's not chosen their avatar? You're holding up everyone. You crunch Wait, lord. Not... Uh, did, did you Me give right, the code out? Oh, Fringy. Wow, Fringy, what oh, the fuck? Okay. Hey, I did. I thought I. Oh, somebody picked mine before I could. Damn it! All right, chat. One lucky person gets to jump in. Here you go. It's Hvd. Hvd. <laughs> and of course, uh, people in chat, you won't be able to vote unless you rejoin. New code as as you do. Oh my God, the person who joined is called and I'm Rags. <laughs> oh well. Wow. Oh my wow. goodness gracious. Oh, it's a Rags. It's a phony <gasps> Rags. Good day. All right, let's start it up. It's a lie. Here we go. Color in your characters with a thick marker to really make those weirdos pop. Thick. I'm gonna make you fucking pop, bitch. Oh, that's not you. Oh. Make the bitches pop. <laughs> Remember when we drew the, the banana from the opening? That was Moriarty, right? <laughs> That was me, yeah. I did that. What did, did I draw the counter to that? I can't remember. Was it like a banana killing you thing? Will you think you grew a guy squishing it to death? <laughs> <laughs> I found I found your drawing really appealing. Oh. 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 All right, gentlemen. <laughs> two minutes and go. All right. I already like my prompt. I like my prompts a lot. I don't know what it is with this game, because the prompts in Quiplash always fucking bore me. But this one's funny. I guess because it's drawing instead. <clears throat> One and a half minutes remaining. <laughs> I'm just so terrible at this, man. Like, it's so shite. It's your ideas that count, not your ability to execute them. And this is the only place that that's true. Can you not change the name once you've submitted it? I don't think they let you, do they? I actually don't know. Forty seconds. It's time to 
20 seconds. <clears throat> I love my drawing. <laughs> Have fun with that. Can you, can you uh, oh, Four, two lights three, to mine? two. Yeah. What's your question? Oh, there's too late to edit mine by the time I asked. Oh, do you want to ask it anyway, though, or in case of future? Well, can you edit your picture? That's what I'm asking. Can you edit the drawing? Yeah, well, so your only option is the top left is an undo button. Oh, <laughs> God, okay, what is right. this abomination? <laughs> Sometimes you get like something that's like, what the hell is happening? <laughs> Maybe mistakes have been made. Maybe. <laughs> I like mine. <laughs> <clears throat> you have one minute. I fixed my avatar, by the way. I was gonna say, it looks way better. Christmas avatar. Thank you. He said the thing. Something. Oh Mel, you fucked it up. I did really. Oh my god. No shit! Oh. Stop deleting my tisms. 30 seconds. Oh and I have to do really weirdly. Oh. Name those characters! 15 seconds. Oh god, I had to rush the end of mine. I'm sorry. But it doesn't even look like what I called it. Five seconds. So I was drawing like a longer line, and then I accidentally hit the right click, <clears throat> and it deleted the whole fucking thing. Oh shit. <laughs> oh, no. Right click deletes all of it? <laughs> I don't know what happened. I think it was something. I, I did something weird. And I have just to quickly do a blah blah blah. blah. Oh my goodness. This is gonna be tough because it really depends on the stability of, or I guess, the density of like the, the gumball machine. Like, can it take a hit from a bat? That can be more hit. Why does that kind of look like me? I figured that you can only get one hit done before the gumball machine is gonna fuck you up. Hey, look, I'm just saying, the man who's with the baseball bat who eats gumballs is probably really good at beating gumballs. Uh, <laughs> do, do you agree I with this, Ryan? I was say, the winner is whoever writes themselves to be the winner. Oh. <laughs> yeah, what if the gumball machine I mean, has a gun? I mean, that is pretty much true with, like, guy who pisses on Gondo. That is pretty yeah. much what happens. Oh, yeah? Well, my guy is the guy who pisses on Gondo. Yeah, yeah. the physical smooth. I have, I have the armor that is impervious to specifically all your weapons. Invisible <laughs> smooth! Invisible smooth. It's just a little white dot at the, the bottom just, right. It's just unfair to just vote for the, the one that had no effort put into it at all. Oh, it's not going to win! <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, Jay, you dominated in that fight. Invisible Smeef just killed. Don't no fuck with Invisible Smeef. <laughs> I don't want to take away from both. As, it was quite a good one, but Smeef. Oh. I like it's a champion of unearned confidence. It's so fitting. <laughs> Metal in a parallel universe. Poo. <laughs> Receptive oh, cream oh, come on! <laughs> Receptive oh, cream cone. Okay. For shit talking invisible sneak metal. Yeah. I voted for invisible sneak. <laughs> Fuck invisible sneak. I can't vote Smeef. for something so low effort. I fucking hate invisible sneak, but not really. <laughs> oh. The cone one metal. You aren't a poop. 
Yeah. Fucking better. Hey, Plus, remember, you are you are Jay drew me as a poop, you piece of shit. <laughs> Jay's like, my strategy is I'll draw, I draw, I'll draw nothing and then shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, MJ. <laughs> It finished the game. It's been out for me for a while. The man who has no life. Who do you like this? Sorry, I don't know when I did. Good old Saw and Samson. I mean, he's still got okay. head. <laughs> yeah, the joke was originally gonna be the man who had no limbs or head. <laughs> like, I wish I'd done that. I wish I'd done that one. Also known as body. Hmm. Yeah. I still can't believe Smith. Hey, am I gonna get a fancy food. animation? Oh, oh. Versus. Just a, a kick with your torso. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, with my blood splatter, all right? This, this well, one's not me, it's a man who haven't no lived. This so. one's tough, what do you guys reckon? Eric the schoolboy with a glove on. <laughs> 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 this is what schoolboys wear. They wear their hats with the colors on them. This is schoolboys, you know. The glove makes it. Oh my God, it's Eric won. Who was the chosen man? The IRA. Uh. <laughs> Only one of them can be. I want appreciation for these drawings. I've been the fool. <laughs> Underneath that kid's bed? Oh my goodness. That's, that's oh, a big ass bed. Uh, I don't know. I think What's the name of the monster under your bed, Galathar. little Timmy? He says his name is Gelathar, the skin eater. <laughs> He's my friend. Galathar. I am happy Gelathar won. <laughs> And it's not just because you made him up. Versus <laughs> Ivan the Flesh. These two are uh. to be the champion of beast mode. Mola defeated the IRA 2020, yeah? With Eric the schoolboy. <laughs> Where the glove on. <laughs> where of the where hog? Yeah, where like, is he? Like, That's right. Where? Where is the hog? <laughs> No, it's French. For, it's it's German for the bar, the. What if oh, the what? the hog the? I I follow that joke, but also if it's a silent W, it's the here hog. Mm. Here hog <laughs> here. The here. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. I like it. The here hog. <laughs> Frank the bearer of the peen tar. <laughs> Harp of peen slice. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I like the bear. I like the half face. His his little frowny face sitting there. Yeah, I think that's he knows it's really important. important. I like the right, Rags. You drew him a little box to sit on. It's very kind of you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I want him to be sitting comfortably. <laughs> oh my god! He's playing on the peen slicing wire heart. Wait, what? It said 32, 52 for me, and then f I'm confused now. <clears throat> all right. Hey, I'm winning again, all right? Next set. So, uh, I guess I'll have to make Ooh. Galathar a real thing if I ever write a story about a monster under the bed. <laughs> This is a hard one. That's what she said. There you go. <laughs> this is a Christian right. dream, Mutal. Shut up, Coom Lord. No. Damn. You never silence me. Well, I just did. Oh, I'm I'm not silent. Oh. Oh, I failed then. Mutal, I feel bad that I drew you as a poo, and I want to apologize. <laughs> no, you don't. Wait, you feel bad, but you won't apologize? I feel that bad, I won't, but I won't apologize. apologize. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't feel that bad. Not yeah. that bad, yeah. I just like to pretend.
You have 20 seconds. <clears throat> Name those characters! Thirteen seconds. Oh, oh, there we go. Got it. All right. <clears throat> Five seconds. Oh, Odin told me to check my Twitter. What's happening here? Do you wanna? If it's a meme, just save it until uh, we get to the end of this round. Because it's, uh, yeah, it's yeah. weird for me to get stuff on screen right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> what? Okay. Okay. They just let you write any words, right? There's no... <laughs> Why do you write it? Damn it! They actually said I'm not allowed to write that one. Okay. Ah. Oh, now you're gonna have to use a different character and and yep. cleverly get around the system. Literally replaced an A with a four and it worked. Good stuff. Oh, oh I know what I you were writing. What? What? You were writing Fant Four Stick. Oh no, sorry, Fantastic Four, but now it needs to be Fant Four Stick because <laughs> they wouldn't let you put that in because it reminds people of that terrible movie. Wow, that movie was great. Do you know I never watched it for ages, then I finally did, and I was like, wow, that was really bad. And, yeah, <laughs> that's my story. I feel like that movie is just so forgettably bad. You know, it's just, it's, it's whatever. Like, yeah, it's bad, but it's not upsetting, you know, it doesn't make children cry. <clears throat> I don't know, it might have made some children cry. <laughs> okay, three <laughs> seconds left, guys, hurry. Didn't they, didn't oh, they the thing geez. that it's clobbering time was what the thing's brother used to say to him before he beat him? Yay! <laughs> was that? Oh my god. <laughs> I can't remember anything about that film. Alright, what are our challenges? Alright, you can tag your chisms in. Oh my goodness. Will be cumulative. Up next. You guys you confident in your challenges? You Flood for Mario wins. Sunshine for but some reason versus Punko the Glob. Punko the Glob. Fluid from One Mario Sunshine. I think Flood for Mario Sunshine has a good chance. Just saying. Yeah. He could probably do a lot. <laughs> that Molotov that is not going to be able to, you know, it's do its job. Yeah, but Flood's going to fuck it up. It's kind of unfair, right. actually. My right. money is on Punko. Think about it. God damn it. What does Punko's sign say? It's, uh, uh, nothing, because I ran out of time. <laughs> well, it looks like it says... <laughs> it says death. I, think, no, I thought it, it said it death. A, it was supposed to say bad things bad, but the thing is just bad so bad. fake. Ah, uh, yes, the, the glob motto. <laughs> Come on! I don't want to lose. Lose. The man who lose. had no limb is a disappointment, alright? You, 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 <laughs> you, 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 you won, Frank, good job. If you win your next <laughs> one, I think you've got the game. Oh, bullshit! Yeah. Yes, the fucking <laughs> legs and arms! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to be fair, neither did you. Alright, this is the champion of meeting their the parents. <laughs> Wow! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Kids die! Oh shit, I can sub someone in. Oh, Galathar! Get in there! Galathar, <laughs> go in there! Eat their skin! <laughs> Eat the skin of the furry! Eat the skin of the furry! <laughs> Come on, Galathar! You're my boy! I will leave you, Galathar! Oh, so close. Oh shit, I was fighting Dankula as well. It makes sense. 
I'm <laughs> 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 afraid Galathar consumed the fairy. Uh, you had 69 votes there for a second, that's very I think. Too much fear. Not for Galathar. <laughs> Not for Galathar. <laughs> So this feels like a throwback to a previous one, but hey, Adam the Daisy, who is also a rapist. <laughs> Jim, dead of girl, raped by Daisy, 17 times. <laughs> <laughs> Adam the Daisy, who is also a rapist. <laughs> Wait, hang on, so you're not allowed to say rape, but you're allowed to say rapist? Yes. <laughs> yeah. uh... Let's Damn, I couldn't get my voted in time. Hey. The IRA versus Jim. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Jim's on the warpath after what happened to his dog. Be careful, IRA. Like. <laughs> <laughs> Daisy looked rough, though. <laughs> Jim really hates a fucking Daisy. <laughs> I don't even understand how a flower could rape my daughter that many times, but it's gonna fucking die. You bet your ass I'm getting revenge for it. Jay, Jay is involved in this. I know it. Oh, I want to see what it is now. Mistaken. <laughs> 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 That like the little old steak peen. <laughs> you stole my joke. <laughs> As you'll find out soon enough. Oh god. That little stick man reminds me of the ASDF movie. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. The champion of puberty, well. I... <laughs> I knew it, but with piss. That is such a J thing to say. <laughs> <laughs> I understand the, the meta of this game. <laughs> it's 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 J this is the most for me. Spotsy versus Rocket launches Spot. <laughs> the champion of gamers. <laughs> 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 I like how there's just a little bit of white on the rocket. Yeah, I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> they drew the rocket first, I guess. <laughs> Shut up, that didn't happen. Oh, dude, shameless self promotion, that's the spot scene. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe sports is gonna claw it back this one. I don't think there's enough time. Invisible Smeef. Oh. Oh, God, no. You can't beat that, apparently. Invisible Smith's hard to beat, but Rocky Launcher's pull out found a way. Yes! No! No! <laughs> Dude, Rocket Launcher's spot is a beast. You don't Dang, have to be too Dang accurate must be so confused by this plot. I am. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 get, I, get I get the impression that it's a recurring <laughs> meme. Uh, <laughs> you like yeah. Do you like him? How do you feel? Do you like Spot? It's important to us that you know your opinions. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Technology. Technology. Yeah. I feel like technology is winning. Oh my God! Uh, Karen, Karen's winning. Karen's winning. Karen with a no, K. Yeah. Don't let Karen win. It's Karen with a K. That's right. It's important because Karen can be spelled with a C as well. I guess. <laughs> oh God! Karen the werehog. Bad account. <laughs> I feel like Karen would call the Werehog's manager in fitness. <laughs> <laughs> Werehog is the manager. Oh. Of technology. It would be interesting to see Karen versus Galathor. Or Galathar. Yeah, Karen dominated. <laughs> As Karens do. Domination. Moving on. Champion of future... Oh, this is gonna be stars. funny. Future Hollywood stars. <laughs> Somewhat attractive. <laughs> <laughs> but real. I'm what attractive <laughs> sport for real. The real? I have no idea. Whoever drew the, the first one on the left, I don't know what you were going for, honestly. <laughs> this is a weird Michael Jackson looking monstrosity. No that does look like Michael Jackson. <laughs> 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 oh, what? What's with the... Are they oh. Ready for the couch? oh my 
god, somewhat attractive. Extractive squad is getting dominated. It was Undyne Rags. Probably, probably, probably into that. They gotta see a laser come down from the sky and obliterate it. Dude. Oh, chopped to pieces. Dude, if you just change the li label there to uh, to Michael Jackson, that could have won. <laughs> That's true. Your name. That's, is that Jay again? One of these is Jay again. Is there piss or poop in it? Guy with big braid but pisses himself. <laughs> Both of mine have already been, uh, have been shown. All of them have been shown? You inspired <laughs> someone to the piss? Hey, look, I, I would say that... You know. But the thing is, guy with big brains' a t plan of attack isn't just piss related. So why is the piss hungry commode gonna be him? He can't control his piss. If he could, yeah. he wouldn't be pissing himself. Exactly. He's that's not. That's not how he attacks. He birthday entertainers. Sorry, who we is? Know who wins here for birthday entertainers? All right. Who? Who? <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. No, I don't think we do, Fringy. The guy who pisses himself. <laughs> 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 That's well, so... Friggy, the guy who is a toilet beat you, so I don't know what to say. Aww. And he's very happy to take all of his piss, and it <laughs> gives him strength. Hey, folks, that was the final his the power level increases the with the amount of piss. <laughs> and he is a threatening super villain, alright? And Mom was not threatening, so... Oh shit, Moriarty won. won. Hey! Uh, really? Hey. Wow. I've never even come close to winning! <laughs> oh, and I beat That's Fringy. Good. Fringy, I'm dominating you in the funny drawings competition. Oh, but I'm beating everybody else though, so, you know. Oh, that's true. Third place. Everybody I, cares about I third do, place. How do I get fifth place, like, almost every time? <laughs> very, very middling metal. Slightly yeah. below average kind of guy, man. Yeah, you know. If I had to describe you, I would say you belong in fifth place. Wow. <laughs> that's so offensive. It's still... Galathar's my favorite drawing, I think, of all time. It's the little, <laughs> the little dude on the bed who's looking down at me. <clears throat> Are we are we getting a shirt for Galathar the skin eater? I don't <laughs> think so. <laughs> <laughs> well, on that note, Magic. I'm gonna need to do and I need to film for like another hour. Uh, it's like before you go off, do you want to uh, tell the people of the EFAP world what what you get up to on your channel and where they can find you? Uh, you can find me in the local police station. <laughs> <laughs> nah. You're in all of them. Yeah, in all. I'm Count, Count Dankula on YouTube. Um, I make, I do a series called Absolute Mad Lads where I talk about mental people from history. And I also make jokes that get me banned from Israel. So, cool. Wait, really? You're no, the, the, ban, the ban get lifted. Oh, <laughs> oh. I, wa I was banned <laughs> at one point, but then the, when they realized that I'm not actually Super Ultra Mega Hitler, they kind of went, oh, and lifted the ban. Those <laughs> fucking pussies won't even stick to their fucking guns. <laughs> <laughs> um, honestly, and like, oh, it's okay, you can come now. And I'm just like, well, I wasn't really gonna, but okay, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Count Dankula on YouTube. Check out the Mad Lads series and uh, Mad Lads is pretty damn funny. Links yeah, in description it. and it in chat. Tough. And of course, uh, thank you so much for uh, hanging out with us. And we'll uh, we yeah, gladly have you back if you'd want to. No, this, is, this was fun. I'm I'm down for that. I had a laugh. Good shit. Very man. nice. And uh, yeah, Hooray. good luck. Have fun with whatever it is you're up to with your filming. That's the next big mad lad that's probably going to be an hour long. I might shoot myself nice. in the fucking head. But, <laughs> but thanks for having me, guys. I'll see you later. Yeah, man. See you yeah, later, man. Catch, dude. It's been see great. Well, and that leaves us lot. Do you guys, uh, two choices here. We, we could we could go with one more round of Champed Up or I, or I move on to uh, the Super Chats. What, what, what is everyone, what's everyone oh, feeling? Oh, come on. I'm okay with uh, doing Super Chats. Wait, really? Either is a okay with me. I mean, um, we probably Rags have a bunch and, of people and... chats to catch up with. We do. Well, uh, but at the same yeah. time, well, is, I mean, is I everyone I'm, I'm cool with either. To be honest. Yeah, we'll 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 just vote. If is every who here wants one over the other? I would prefer another champ up. Is everyone else on the fence? Because I am also on the fence, which means it goes. I'm to I'm on the fence up. as well. All I'll right, just then. put the, I have just, such power. I'll just put this in the chat <laughs> just for for later. Oh, oh my uh, let's see. <laughs> Fuck, I... How do I show the... Oh, yeah, there we go. So, well, oh, this is Terry... Terry Jews? Terry Jews, yeah. Oh, uh, I guess. <laughs> it is Terry Jews. 
Uh, oh, by the way, I just want to, so on the topic of Boogie being an idiot, so he uploaded a video, <laughs> <laughs> he, he uploaded a video called PlayStation 5 versus Xbox Series X, where he's like comparing graphics, and one of the things he compares is a pre-rendered cutscene from Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, <laughs> saying wow, they God. look identical, they are identical, it's pre-rendered. <laughs> wow, well, well, to be fair, <laughs> Has he looked at the pre-rendered cutscene on his PC as well, just to measure up? Oh, <laughs> okay, right, right. Okay. It's pre-rendered and he's like, oh, Ronald Reagan looks the same in both. Yeah! No it's shit. almost like it was rendered on a It's like it's just computer. playing a fucking video file or something. Yeah. <laughs> That's some special shit. Uh, wait. And, and I like how he qualifies saying, I watched it, you know, 4K HDR. It's like, the cutscene's not in fucking 60 FPS. Why are you saying that? Like, it means anything. Oh! Like, the most God. worthless thing you could do to compare consoles is comparing pre rendered cutscenes. Yeah. Instead of, like, well, do, do you guys play? remember the days where people would. Like... Uh oh. I accidentally showed it, so we're gonna have to redo it. <laughs> well, the problem cool. is, what happened is he didn't. He didn't like, do any research. Ow. He saw somebody post the clip somewhere on the internet, and then just pulled it for, like, he didn't actually look into it. I also want some technology Wait, that, content. Because uh, we can't, like, get gameplay and then compare render distances and clarity and anti aliasing and resolution and all that stuff. No, yeah. no. Yeah, I... I... I remember the, like, we're talking real early, like, this is around when I first even got, what the fuck? um, a PC, but I remember the discussions over pre-rendered cutscenes as if they were in-game graphics. Like, that was a thing that people would say. They'd just be like, oh, it looks so good. It's like, why do you, why would you even, it's nothing. It represents nothing. Fucking yeah. bullshit. Uh, did, did anyone play the Wolverine X-Men, X-Men Origins Wolverine video game on Xbox 360? Did anyone play that? No, I, I didn't. No so, it's a game I wouldn't mind being able to play again, because I remember the, the core gameplay being relatively fun. It's not a great game by any means, but the fucking trailer for that game was this pre-rendered cutscene where Wolverine is just fucking ripping a bunch of, like, army dudes to shreds. And I remember a friend of mine being like, I can't wait for this game. And I was like, that's not the game. That's just some movie. <laughs> oh, Invisible Smith. You may as well have just showed a clip from the film. Yo, they wouldn't lie to us, dude. <clears throat> Well, because the kind of like conversations would be... Oh, sorry, the joke is... <laughs> Invisible Smeef art, and it's a white page. I'm not going to change the setup so people can see a white page, okay? <laughs> didn't intend you to, but I just found yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> the conversation would be like, Oh, that looks amazing, can't wait for the game. That's not the game. Yeah, but still. It's like, there is no still. Stop. There is no still, yeah. But isn't it weird how no one pronounces the P? In Simpsons. In Smeef? Shut in up, you Smeef. made me watch the Dalek <laughs> oh, TV by the show. Way, um, something that, I again, in this, in this video that frustrates me is Boogie says we're reaching the point of diminished returns. We are not even... When it comes what? to, like, graphics in video games, we are not even close to, like, photorealism. Diminishing I think you gotta, returns. like, look at what a real... How I think we gotta look at what a real... Well, yeah, I mean, considering, like, nothing in a video game looks as good as, like, Thanos or, like, Alita... It's not even close. Yeah. Like, there's nothing in a video <laughs> game that's that level. Of... It, I think a more apt thing to say would be that in terms of feasibility, we're probably getting to a point where you can't do the amount of work on individual characters that you would need to do in, like, a video game production cycle to do photorealistic. That might be something worth saying, but diminishing oh. returns in general, you just gotta, I don't know, man, you gotta, like, broaden your scope of media or just life in general. I think technology um, is going to develop never... so, uh, to make the, to make making those things easy. Yeah, dude, we'll yeah, get to I'd photo. Never we'll call get to modern like... gaming diminishing returns at all. No, dude, I mean, yeah, the only time diminishing with... returns really comes into play is when you talk about like high-end GPUs and things. Yeah, but that's a very specific context. And ultimately, like with mo like movies are still shocking us with with the top budget. How shit. did they get? Yeah, and that's the thing. It's not even just recreating photorealistic stuff. It's creating stuff that looks like it's real but we know it's not as in like well thanos was a good example i guess thanos, yeah. where we're just sitting there like what the fuck i can see his 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 stubble i think it's all about tangibility the idea that you look at them and believe that they could exist wow Fring, you didn't even join you piece of shit 
I did join. I'm looking at a black screen that says champ dub. Re Try hard. Re just a redo a browser. Man. Redo uh, browser. Like, right, hold on. Let me just, uh... Did you use the second code? I, I did. Ah, there we are. Alright. I was wondering why we weren't doing anything. Oh, the pink just to, Nikos did a, to, did a Gimli dab. That looks adorable. Um, how do I get this to where I want it? In I technology. don't know. Copy technology. link. There we are. I have three different devices accessing Discord right now. It gets complicated, okay? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Those are rookie here. numbers. Just get more screens. Boop. J. Okay. There's that. Wait, why isn't it sent? Did I just send that to you the wrong group? You put it in the EFAP 113. Yeah, one of, do you mind one of you just copy it over to I'm this on one? it. I'm on it. I'm on Thank it. Thank you. Wow, Michael, you, you go so underappreciated. Really, this whole thing would be like collapsing if it weren't for you. Lies. For who? Definitely would. Aw. He's talking about the gym, I, I, like, I, think, uh, I think my favorite part, again, of this boogie video is how like it's pretty clear that he hasn't taken it upon himself to do any of this work on his own. He's just pulling videos from like elsewhere and then mm. cutting them in. Um, you, this is, uh, right, this is going to be making a boogie for ages now, like using GameSpot footage for his, or, yeah, it's even got the watermark in the bottom. <laughs> I, I, I even like, oh yeah. yeah, of course it does. Um, I even like Gimli's, uh, belt buckle belt has, has a dab, dab on it, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's pretty great. great. Oh, shit. That's a good one. Dabbing on Balin. It's, uh, it's the way we remember him. Anyway, uh, looks like, yes. oh wait, looks like we got Pleb and the Massive have joined us. Oh boy, the Massive. Oh, hello. It's not Massive Man, though. It's Remember right. that clip from my stream? Here we go, Here everyone. Prepare yourselves. Michael, don't about your stream. Shut the fuck up. Whoa. No, you. You guys are way too toxic. I don't like it. Shut the fuck up, Mumblo. Oh my god. Even me? Uh, yeah, you too. Especially you're probably you. the most toxic. We were trying to enjoy Resident Evil films, and you're just sitting there shitting on them. <laughs> like, oh, you guys can't like stuff. <laughs> like, that's really fucked up, dude. No, that was a comment on the Mando. Oh, like, we're, we're watching The Last Resident Evil tomorrow. Are you guys excited? I'm very excited. Yes. I haven't seen this one. Oh, shit. I know that uh, I've seen it. I can't remember much at all about it, but Ian Glenn is in it, and that's the important part. All right, everybody. Get drawing. That's drooling. two first names. That's not allowed. Ooh. All right. What the fuck does that mean? I'm gonna draw something pretty monstrosic. Monstrosic? That's what they call it, right? Monstrous. Monstrosic sounds mm, yeah, more made sure up though. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's monstrosic. Yeah. Jay made me aware that there's a monstrum too. Coming out soon, by the way. Anyone ever play Monstrum here? No, I've seen you play it. <laughs> I, um, Lots. I don't know how I feel about it. I'm like, do I do I want to check it out or do I not care? I don't know. Well, you can always check it out and then decide you don't care afterwards. I guess so. It is cool. <laughs> you, you gonna play it with me, Jay? Sure, I'll do that. That's so I have such a dark sense of humor. <laughs> You gonna beat out Terry Juice? Oh, uh, what? <laughs> I don't know about that, but. <laughs> My drawing doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I drew it too high, <laughs> fuck. <clears throat> I didn't- I didn't put any piss in mine, I'm already <laughs> gonna lose. Do you think, um, the ch the chat and us, when we vote, don't- should- Like, should we compel ourselves to pay attention to the Champion of modifier? No. Uh, I mean, no. trying to pay attention to that. Because I do- I like some of my drawings really do try to- that's like, I'm- my goal is to win that modifier. As someone yeah, who's just point. ignored the modifier and, uh, drawn my own thing, I say no. <clears throat> Well, I might look at it for, like, inspiration, but then I will promptly throw it out as soon as I get whatever. <clears throat> no, I, I feel like the whole point, though, is to have something that, in context, is really, uh, <laughs> I had funny. to rush the ending of mine. It looks so stupid. I oh, needed no. another minute for mine, honestly. I was making a good one and everything. Oh my god, another cursed <laughs> EFAP art. 
by definitely cursed. Have there any, have there been any genes this round? No, no I genes. Put it in the Discord already. Oh well, uh, I'll put that on screen once we're done. Yeah, with yeah I just I just put it there so I don't forget. <clears throat> um. What am I supposed to do with this? <laughs> <laughs> I like that response. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's how I feel. I don't even know, man. You have one minute and 20 seconds. I should get started then. Oh, why is it a fucking red? Yeah, I know. You have to use like the weird pinkish one. There's one that's close-ish to red. Like if you want red, there's an obvious choice. To yes, use. it works. Most people detect it as red. Yeah. Wait, where's the white? You're not allowed to ask that. <laughs> Alright, fine. I will improvise. God damn it, I'm at like that point where I, I'm not sure if people will get the joke if I don't explain it, but it, explaining it makes it clearly less funny in the title. Oh, Jesus Christ. The duality of comedians. 17 yeah. seconds. Eight. Six. Four. Two. Well. <laughs> Are you listing oh. ages that Netflix would sexually exploit? Yes. Oh. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> very good. Uh, I went very low effort, so I'll probably win. <laughs> nice. Someone in chat said Jay is racism. I agree. Jay wow. is racism. I, I, I'm, I'm literally racism. Margarita Bill. So you got... <laughs> <laughs> big ass margarita man. Uh, he doesn't I seem really very big. Like that, like, worm. that glass Jimmy is the... like... Yeah, it, it actually seems like he's really small. Yeah, I think he's lying. I'm going with the worm. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to have worm. to go with the worm. No, no, no. Maybe the margarita is what's big. Well, that's Jimmy, not what the title is. The no, champion like... of Margaritaville is Stan Marsh, right? Mark, also, the man who has big ass mar Marit Margarita. The worm won, so clearly Mark was lying. The worm's well, head okay. was not colored at all. Wow, hard. Metal, you lost a viewer. <laughs> Wait, what? What What does this have to... <laughs> the champion of Instagram likes. Shushy. Shushy. <laughs> Orange man bad, wrong. <laughs> Orange man bad. Orange man banned. I guess it would be oh. Chussy, right? Like TikTok. Surely Chussy was Orange this. man banned. Oh, yeah, I see. Oh, the orange man banned. He tried to ban TikTok, so all those chussies on TikTok would be in trouble. <laughs> Are there chussies on TikTok, or is that Sure, why not? Thing? How did Trump win? <laughs> I don't... Yeah, how did <laughs> Oh, God. This is... Yeah. I think this is what you meant by dark humor. What has Horny Kylo got to do? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. She didn't call me back and I ain't my job versus Horny Kylo with four seal <laughs> Like Adam Driver. It's a spitting image of him. <laughs> Just like Adam Driver. <laughs> it's just like an Easter Island head ass. <laughs> uh, oh my god. <laughs> Horny Kylo got it. That blade, by the oh, way, man. it's just like the movie. It is. <laughs> and it's just like the guy. This fucking face oh, and everything. Lame. All right. These two are facing off to see it's rigged. Champion of spacing out. <laughs> Presentation is <laughs> <laughs> dank about sport. <laughs> Dude, Diff has a gun. Does he? Is that a, a gun? Peen. He also has a little peen, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, he has got a little peen. <laughs> Derf. <laughs> it's a funny name.
Dave. <laughs> Oh, narrowly edging him out. I know, this battle's that close. Peen, that little peen made the difference, I think. <laughs> Angry Genocide Man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Angry Genocide Man. <laughs> now, obviously, a small meal would defeat a normal person. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> The real question is... I like, I like that there's four hot burgers. dogs that keep getting bigger. Because <laughs> <laughs> we're getting closer to the viewer. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's art. Away. That's perspective. Yeah. This is an art master. <laughs> Someone who recognizes things closer are bigger. I like how he is a circle. You know, he's not even... He's just a circle. <laughs> Wait a minute. Offensive <laughs> Rubik's <Ripping> Cube. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I like the offensive Rubik's Cube. It I like just some guy, you know? He, he, it says he ginger. I'm sorry, right. just some guy can't can't beat offensive Rubik's Cube. I feel like just some guy needs to win. I am for him. I'm, I'm oh, there. Got, oh god, Fring, you got god, no chance. Rags well, just jumped $7,000 <laughs> ahead of you. <laughs> I've performed quite poorly. This, this round. <laughs> wow. I could see that. I could see that being a cube worked out. I could see that being a rejected emoji. I should not have supported you as some guy, man. <laughs> Bad vision of chicken. <laughs> Is that young Colonel Sanders? <laughs> that was when he was in his prime. Yeah, he's looking pretty fly, man. He's gonna wreck that chicken, turn him into a. <laughs> back when he had the, Back when he had the plantation. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, Moriasi, you've been beaten out. <laughs> I'm actually curious what the Strategically, I don't know if I'd put bad version of as the leader for my time. <laughs> Colonel fucking Sam. Alcohol, but it's just bleach. <laughs> <laughs> Shooting range, Spartacus. Alcohol, I don't understand but it's this. The champion of good times? I guess alcohol, but bleach. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather go to the shooting range with Spartacus than drink bleach. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, it's alcohol. <laughs> oh, I'm getting oh beat God. by bleach? <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> I, I voted for you, Metal. Don't Thanks. worry. Metal defeated by bleach. <laughs> That's a bullshit. That's all right. Dude, the <laughs> two, two randos have beaten all of us. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Oh man, I'm doing really badly this time. No, no, you're not. I am. I'm coming. You guys should know that for that Kylo drawing, I googled a reference image. <laughs> of course. How could you get it so accurate otherwise? <laughs> One minute and twenty seconds remain. One on up, one up, one up, one up. I've drawn guns in mine, and I hope Rags can not only appreciate them, but explain the value of all the attachments. <laughs> 20 seconds. 20 second warning! <coughs> I think mine's pretty funny this time around. If I don't win, I'm gonna be really upset. Ten seconds. You know what's annoying is I'm they added like a little yellow flare to the 
the weird drawing to, to let you know. <clears throat> Why not just put a timer? Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I, a timer would be great. Well, I guess you're supposed to be playing it in the same room, so the timer's got to be. Uh... They know. Well, then why put the yellow on it, Jake? Come on. Why would you have the Jackbox.tv as a thing you could even do? Oh, jeez. Oh, Man, I'm going for it with this one. You have almost a minute. Thirty-five seconds. Thirty seconds. Oh, I don't think I've got this one. Did you involve piss? <laughs> no. It's time to name those characters. I could piss on my drawing now. No, don't do it. Ten seconds. All right, just in the nick of time. Five seconds. And zero. All right, here we go. It's the second half, which means it's Don't forget to bring in helpers if your drawing is all shitty. No, you. Wow. You will decide who <laughs> Smooth <laughs> finger pumbo. <laughs> what is that? Sh Shmil Shmilbazorb? <laughs> Shmilbazorb, eater of fingernails. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh god, Pumbo's gonna beat me. So that's either a third leg on the that's back or a That's a big finger, though. That finger might be able to... Can smooth finger Pumbo's nails really stand up to Shmilbazorb? <laughs> I don't know. No, no. No. <laughs> no. That is one Cthulhu level face right there. Mm. Oh, Horny Kylo comes in. The champion of gentle lovers. Shmilbazorb <laughs> <laughs> is obviously gentle. gentle with everything but the fingernail. Oh, he'll just tail just eat your fingernails. It's not so bad. Alright. Shmilbazorb came through. Yes, dude. I, you know what? I'm not gonna lie. I saw Shmilbazorb eat your fingernails and just thought, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Shock and pads versus shock and pad, but fancier. <laughs> he has a sweater vest? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm really interested. <laughs> I was trying like to go with this one, I'm curious. RP <laughs> shock and pads. <laughs> You're not I like quite the simplicity of shock and pads. It really depends on who's brought in. Oh, Colonel Sanders versus a small meal. Oh no! <laughs> what happens now? Chat, tell us tell us the end of this story. <clears throat> it's a close one. Well, well, I guess a small meal doesn't age very well, you know? Like, either it rots immediately or it turns into... Well, McDonald's food doesn't Sanders rot. Sanders probably rots once he dies. Yeah, and, and McDonald's food, it, it's, you know, it'll stay forever. It's drenched in all of the things. Formaldehyde. Have you guys seen that video of, like, a 24 old, year, uh, 24 years old McDonald's meal that hasn't rotted at all? Yes. <laughs> so this is a high level, uh, is it a frug? This is... Frug isn't a funny it meme, nostalgia critic. Nostalgia <laughs> critic. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> 
Like they drew this and thought, I could add one extra person on the left there. I have enough room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, like they've that. subbed in mob, <laughs> but people are still frowning, you know, they're still saying boo. Alcohol oh. is what we need to get through a nostalgia critic video. Here's a margarita. This is what, this is what fifth place feels like, Metal. <laughs> <laughs> I literally, my meme was calling your meme bad, and it got voted in, Metal. How do you feel? Oh yeah, that was really funny. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, I know what I'm voting for. I'm very offended. <laughs> <laughs> you see, I'm upset. I'm like, you shouldn't be drawing things other than piss and poo. I like your <laughs> fucking old as hell PC there as well. <laughs> <laughs> He subbed in Diabito. Oh, if you subbed in Diabito, well in that Trump case... Trump versus Diabito, holy shit. Uh oh, it's oh, done. God. It's fucking over. Everything... Oh my god, this is... <laughs> this is the end game, everyone. <laughs> no, you took everything from me. I don't even know who you are. <laughs> Trump beat Diabito, which I think is canon, by the way. Whoa, you like drawing yeah. desks, Rags. <laughs> I do. A lot of... I just like desks, I guess. <laughs> Enjoy my Trump and Jay at desks. <laughs> okay, this is uh, this is definitely something. <laughs> Autism. How <laughs> the hour points? <laughs> uh, I like the Gene Squad. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is good, the champion of escaped sort of convicts. Would the wait, tequila wait. worm like... or super gene squad have a have a better chance? I don't know. Mm. Oh, it's close. Mm -hmm. <laughs> super gene went rags. I think I think you're gonna win, buddy. Oh wow! Work so hard on my little drawing. <laughs> <laughs> Super Gene Squad. Who is so, Mr. Bob the Banana Thrower versus Guy with Good Balance on Balls, except not? What a weirdly specific thing to draw. I'm very curious how that came to be. Are we implying sabotage from the Banana Peel Thrower? I think, yeah, I think so. So, okay, wow. this is important. The narrative was <laughs> that everyone thought he had fucked up his banana, his, his ball balancing, but it turned out it was actually a banana peel thrown by Mr. Bob. Mm hmm. Hey, useless. Mr. Bob's a cock. A so, honestly, like. Balls, not, yeah, this know. isn't fair at all. I think that the, the ball balancer should win, and he did. Dude, well, we have, yeah, we have fuck anything I have to fucking <laughs> lore. Fuck off. This is the worst round I've ever played. You know, <laughs> I, 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 that's really good. Really <laughs> Fuck you. Blorko versus Pontrek Walton. I don't care. I wanna I wanna I wanna rig the election all of them. <laughs> I, don't even, I don't even understand <laughs> this. <laughs> the words plot hole spelunker are enough to get me a vote. What will the Pontrek Walton's plot Waltons? <laughs> You're exploring caves wrong. Yeah, if anybody thought there is a better Jackbox game than this one, they are wrong. Watching Palm Trek Waltums fly down from the sky, that was pretty cool. <laughs> I'm just about to see it. <laughs> Curtis, Curtis Longgun Silverson versus man who can dodge anything. <laughs> he don't miss. What are these weapons he has? <laughs>
laptop games have such good fucking lore. <laughs> <laughs> hey, come on. Listen, don't he don't miss. He don't, he don't miss. miss. <laughs> <laughs> He's killing a guy who commits suicide. It's wonderful. Now finish the job. Yeah, let's do the double tab. Forward and back. Thank you so much for subbing him in, Freaky. That's funny as fuck. And I still lose. Bullshit. I mean, you were already dead. Yeah, but he needs career counseling in the afterlife. I feel like... Oh, man. Oh my god, Plab 1. Really? It's it's with the, the nail eater and the bleach. <laughs> and the fancier shark. <laughs> and the fancier shark. <laughs> hey, Fringy, Fringy, at least you beat metal. I'm not lost, <laughs> get fucked, M. Oh, wow. <laughs> 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 also, I would. You don't like understand. To I went up against pleb metal. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah, that worked out for you. What? <laughs> so, I uh, I need to go pee quick. So you guys entertain yourselves, okay? That'll be M's crowning achievement. Oh, oh, make sure I got onto it, the E map and I won. <laughs> I won. Yes. PL pleb. PL pleb. PL three B. Is is pleb in chat? Oh yeah, well, he must that. if he got the code. Yeah, I was hoping my I, I was hoping my inward Rubik's cube would pull me through, but Creed genocide, man. Uh, wait, you mean that didn't say ginger? Wait, yeah, what? Well, it Sorry, my internet's cutting out. It's okay for me. You didn't miss much. <laughs> okay, <laughs> guys, we're supposed to be entertaining the people. Mutually is important. Peeing. Yeah, and, well, uh, we're we're supposed to be doing a lot of things. I'm well, just watching these desks roll by and going, wow. Yeah. Right. Watching these desks roll by. I like to imagine that, like, in where, wherever you are, there's literally just, like, some desks chugging along past you. It's, like, down a, down a gradual it's, slope. There's a lot, a lot happens when you're just at desks. Desks are places of magic. Mmm. Boom, boom. Fucking fancy shirt. I like the person in chat being like, has Dank shown up? You can you can scroll back in the stream and see his picture for like four hours. Probably even more. Yeah. Belch. Desks better than floor gang. That's a poo de pie morm. It is. You guys you guys watch PewDiePie, you gamers? Yeah, I'm, I'm such a, I say the gamer world all the time. Dude, I love being a gamer. Have a gamer. bridge moment. Oh, I, I love it when Pontrick Wollums is on the screen. He's my Pontrick. favorite. He's my favorite of my creations. Pontrick. They say you shouldn't pick between your kids, but uh, I like Pontrick. Desk gang is superior. I agree. I have two desks in my in my in my living room. Well, okay. Yeah, sure. Big old show off. Yeah. Or you just like, uh, you bring people home to your house and you're like, hey, look at all my fucking desks. Look at all those desks. Now suck my dick, whore. <laughs> <laughs> you like big desks? <laughs> yeah, I got all the desks. Those what kind of desks are they? Big ones. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> There are people I know that actually think pewds is resist. That's uh, that's from chat though. Ah. Yeah, I do not believe that pewds is resist. Metal, are you shittiest racist? Metal, are you going to play Fortnite next? Not a Kratos has been added. Fuck no. <laughs> what you got against Fortnite? Uh, yes. Why are people asking me about Fortnite? having children? Having them what? <laughs> <laughs> Don't answer that. You're on the live stream. <laughs> Careful. You should read the regular chat. I mean, I, I look at the chat sometimes. 
Also, we are going to move into Super Chats now. So any of you, literally any of you, including those in chat, may leave. All right. This is my this is my opening to be like, hey, if you want to fuck off, all right. So I will I will do that. Wow. Because I wasn't here for any of them. That was actually a test yeah. to see who's a true friend. Yeah. Well, it's not me. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right. well, there you go. Um. Okay. <laughs> I suppose, since you only jumped in for a game, I guess you could be like, you, you, do you want to mention who you are, where you're from, or do you want to just go, you know, fuck it around? Yeah, no, I mean, you know, I'm good. I'll just, wow. I'll just peace out, man. Well, right. it, was, it, was, it was nice having you, man. Thanks for your joins. We'll catch you around. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. I'll right, see you later. Hold on. Bye, my, bye. my internet is really playing up. I, like, can't hear anything that anybody's saying. Bring it, oh, can't no. hear you. Oh, no. Ringy. Should we try oh, going to Singapore? Singapore. Maybe really? don't worry. Better. Send us to Singapore, do it. The exciting journey. There we go. Frank go. Can you hear us better now? Front go yeah, on. Way better. It was the server, clearly, because Singapore is working great. Oh, then. Um, yeah, does anyone else want to hop out before I figure out how I'm No, I'll, I'll, I'll chill. I got some I'm, time still, yeah. Sweet. I'm weirdly super awake, even though I. Had like normal wake up time today, but I'm I'm good. Well, see, if it wasn't for I'm super chat, we would probably watch the new episode of Mando. But ugh, you know, ugh. Uh, Not with Jay though. We would, we would ask Jay to leave. Yeah. Jay, have you noticed Jay ruins Mandalorian? No, nobody agreed with that. All right, I guess nobody disagreed with it either. Hmm. <laughs> Also, I, uh, I guess the last game I played was Clone Wars. We have to figure out what, what I'm playing next on the old dual fan. Ooh. Oh, yeah, and I saw Pleb in chat. Congratulations on your victory. Good job. Oh, we can hear you. We just don't care. What? <laughs> what are you talking about? No, Jay was saying he's, go he's about to leave. Oh, is he? Yes, he said it twice. <laughs> Jay, if you wanted to go, you could have said. <laughs> and still nothing. Where did you, how did you know this, by the way? Mm. Wait. Mm. What? Is, is it like... What's, what's what? happening right now? A voice is I fucking up or something? Jay. Yeah, I is cannot voice hear actually Jay fucking up? No, it... That, I haven't heard anything it, for ages from any of you. <laughs> Hello? Really? Really? Mahler? Oh god. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna listen to Hello, the Hello Mahler to be sure. Wombology? I'm trying to get Adam the uh, Daisy who is also a rapist on screen. Hello, 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 hello. I can hear metal. Can you hear me? Oh. We can hear you, Mahler. Thank goodness. Yeah. I can. Christmas is saved. Well, I can hear myself on the stream, so my detective work is. Why did you off. say sore okay. instead of so? Oh um, yeah. <laughs> To, uh, to accommodate for the frogles. Are you, uh, are you heading I, out, I want to make it feel more at home. Yeah, I'm heading out. Alright. Thanks, thanks for on my video. Glump in your piss. That was very good of you. Mm -hmm. and we'll, I'm we'll... always happy to come on your stream and glump on my piss. To come on my stream nice... and to glump on my piss. That's... Yeah. So much. You drew some nice piss, Jay. Good job. Thank you. So, the, no the trick, Mattel, uh, just, just uh, as someone who wins to, to you, um, the trick is yellow. Can I can I can I kick him here somehow? No, I can't shit. Yeah, thanks for the tip. No, fuck off. Um. Oh, I'm I'm so I so do love hearing those words. Fuck off bye. or piss. <laughs> <laughs> What's the difference these days? Oh, okay, bye. Uh, yeah. So this is Adam the Daisy was also a rapist, and this is another rendition. Uh, it also zoomed in for a moment there, which adds to the creep factor. But yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know that this is the true version. This is from the account on Twitter that's just like, I draw cursed EFAP art. <laughs> that's it. Wow. Cursed EFAP art guy. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much. That's quite cursed. It is. Um, yeah, e you know, EFAP is just a constant source of both hilarity and horror. And distress, yeah. Oh no. Emotional distress. What do you want? May as well uh, hang here for 20 minutes. What? Why? I've got a render still still in the oven. Ugh. Ah. Is it a render queue? No one's gonna get that except me. 
That's that's good enough for me. <laughs> <laughs> Some people in chat. Anyone in chat know what what metal is referencing? And there's like one word I'm looking for. If you know, all right. I'm curious if literally anybody knows that reference because I don't even know if that's an active meme or just a meme between us. It might only be between us, <laughs> which is fine. You know, I, I can take in-house memory. Yeah. Do, 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 do. All right. In house also, um, I'm running out of GameCube games that I want to play because I know them versus like, and they're entertaining to watch to a degree. So we'll be moving over to PS2 soon. Shocking, I know. Ooh. Oh boy! Oh, Epically. Wow. Mola, do Jack and Daxter, please. Who is James and Trinity. Daxter? Um, that these two little 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 clown boys. <gasps> Also, what's what's with the? Why don't you? Why wouldn't you be like? Oh my God! You should be doing X Y Z on GameCube. Why do you hate GameCube? Uh, I don't have. I've never had a GameCube. Man, you missed so you out. You never had a childhood. All right. You never had a childhood. <laughs> yes, I mean, Rags isn't wrong <clears throat> with saying that. But it's about time I play this one. Just saying. I what didn't have a GameCube, GameCube myself, but I but I borrowed one from a friendo at some point and I played first all the games. Console. My first console yes. was a PS2, and I got it. Uh, well, I didn't get it. It was my parents when I was four years old. It was your parents. Go on it. Yeah, well, I, my parents are a PS2. Oh, Metro Prime. <laughs> Fucking. Ooh, I want to delete good. the save file, and I guess I did it wrong because pressing A on it to access its options just starts it. It's like thanks. <laughs> I must have missed an Metro option. I will try again. Dude, I played that like a million years ago on stream, didn't I? I and mean, the second one didn't work. Awkwardly, <laughs> this is what I claim to be my favorite game of all time. I just don't play it regularly enough. Not the same way like, as my yeah. favorite films and TV shows of all time, which I rewatch within the year. Metroid's mm -hmm. a game that I don't play enough. I feel bad. Sorry, Metroid, you deserve better. Metroid is really good. It's I really, really enjoyed that good. game. It's amazing. I, uh, I feel. What, what, I mean, what is your list of favorite games? Like, if you had to. Oh, uh, uh, I think I give a list on my. Um, Amnesia video, I can't remember which one it is, but uh, all I can do, the best I can do right now is give you a couple, because I won't remember all of them, but Resident Evil 4 is up there. Uh, and see, I'm already blanking, even though there's like a hundred. Dark Souls. <laughs> um, I, I tend to find that it's hard as well, yeah. And this is strictly favorite, not best, so like, Mario Sunshine is on there, and Luigi's Mansion, even though like I don't think they're like amazing yeah, right. games or anything. <clears throat> Everyone starts saying them, so I can also go, yeah, that one too. Uh, I I tend to default to them. I, I I've stopped putting them in ascending order. I just sort of have a big blob. I'm much better. I, like I'm much clearer with my movies at this point. My games, I'm like, oh fuck, it's so many. Yeah. Um, because usually I default to like the PlayStation Two trilogy. If I'm being charitable, the all four of them. Uh, Crash Bandicoot Two. It used to be three, but I uh, I think two is probably the one that is. That was my first game I ever played, so I'm extremely <laughs> biased in favor of that game. Um, and Super Mario Galaxy, I think, often falls up there too. Yeah, I'm Galaxy's amazing. Galaxy, uh, and then uh, I again I kind of collect all of the PlayStation Two Grand Theft Auto games in a big. Like sort of together, so three Vice City and San Andreas all together. Um, a lot of PlayStation Two era games I'm noticing. I never really, I never uh, had a PlayStation or really played on Playstations. See, to me, but that's never really had. Everybody had stuff. PlayStation Two. Everybody I knew had a PlayStation Two. Well, apparently, not all of them did. I guess the friends, I guess the friends of mine, they all just tend to ha tended to have like Xboxes. Well, uh, Xbox is more popular in America, but like PlayStation 2, I'm pretty sure to this day is like the best selling console of all time. Which is pretty funny because, yeah, close. Xbox is the only one I never got and barely played. I never had an Xbox, but I did play Halo 1 and 2. Halo 1 was the first like shooter game I ever played. So I'm glad I started off strong. I think, yeah. uh, I think the first shooter I ever played was called Operation Desert Storm 2. Uh, from PlayStation 2. Um, I don't remember it being very good. Someone asked if I ever played Metroid Prime Hunters on my DS. Oh, and I played yes, the demo. I did. I, yeah. I I had the real game, and I do remember the demo as well that came with DSs. Oh, I, um, damn, that Hunters demo. 
So, like, the DS is fucking insanely good. Like, what a what an incredible system. Mm -hmm. What an what a what a huge lineup of great games. Yeah, there's shit tons of people had DSs in my school. Yeah, everybody had a DS. I got, I got a um, I my loved friend my DS to death. Got the original one, and then he got the DS Lite, and he let me have his old one, and it was just like you've unlocked fun. <laughs> Thank you yeah. for that. Yeah, I, uh, I, I had an original DS, but I also eventually got a 3DS XL when those came out, and that thing was fucking I. tight. It actually kind of worked a little bit. It worked enough to be like, hey, that's cool. I eventually bought one of those. I ended up breaking it, and it's, uh, it's, it's, it's it was really funny. I sat it down on a table, and it like, broke. Oh, damn. Literally that's just, just put it. A friend of mine was there, and, and he was watching me. I put it down to. I think it was even to show him something. It was like, just look at the screen. Put it down, and half the screen, like, displayed, you know, fucked graphics, and it never worked again. And I was just uh, like, um, okay. Uh, <clears throat> I think it was one of those things where it had fallen at many different times and taken damage in different ways, and that was the, the straw that broke the cat's back, I guess. Right. Bit of an edge climax, really. Yeah, no, it was, it, I was just like, really? Okay. <laughs> this is so Spent lame. a lot of hours on that DS. I, uh, playing Advanced I actually had more Wars hours on my PSP. Animal Crossing, Elite Beat I Agents. think I had, uh, I definitely had, oh man, it's because Game Boy Advance, like, I played the shit out of that. Um, and PSP I played a lot of too, Vice City Stories. I would like to know my hours in Monster Hunter Freedom Unite on PSP. I played that a shit ton. Monster I, Hunter uh, on PSP was played... fucking awesome. Remember, uh, Pokemon... I, I had a... Oh, sorry, go ahead. Go ahead, actually. Yeah. Oh, okay. I, I had I had a Monster Hunter on PSP when I had one, but I never understood the game, so I didn't I had play it at the time. I had four other friends who bought it. We all played... The fucking multi... That was, like... I was... I even remember at the time being, like, I feel like we're ahead of time with how well this multiplayer works and how amazing this game is. It, on PSPs as well. So we could do it in school, which infuriated teachers, but, I mean, you don't learn anything in school, right, guys? Man, I, I didn't. School is for the gays. Ratchet and Clank 3 had fucking good multiplayer. Like, it was a base mode, so you, you had a, another enemy base and you captured control points on the map to, like, unlock vehicles and spawn points for minions so that you could attack the other base. It was really cool. Um, a little unbalanced, though, because all you need to do to avoid the, the, the turrets outside of some of these bases is just straight jump. And then you win, but still, that was good times. I uh, I really miss the PS2 days. I really do. <laughs> that was like that was some good shit. Yeah, um, that was fun. I remember I was always like really impressed by just games in general at that time. And then like the PS3 came out, and it was kind of mind blowing. And Xbox 360 as well. It's just like holy shit, this looks so real, and it doesn't look <laughs> real at all. Yeah, I remember when I first saw COD 4 and I was really impressed. <laughs> yeah, COD 4, I, I remember that. Um, though I had a friend who said COD 4 kicks Halo 3's ass and I never really accepted that. Mm, I, I never... Just, yeah. For us, it was never a versus thing. They were just so different. We never really uh, yeah. compared them head to head. They were just totally different. Now, if I was going to be stuck with one, it'd be Halo 3. I'd pick Halo 3 over COD yeah, 4, even just though the, I had more wow. cold. Yeah, Call of Duty 4 is really good, but Halo 3 just gives you a lot more options. I remember the custom games on Halo 3 were fucking great. Oh yeah. yeah, Halo 3 was insane. I, uh, I think, I, I remember, um, I, because I didn't play Metroid Prime when I was, like, a kid. Uh, I played them a lot later on. I remember I, I thought Metroid Prime 3 looked really cool and I bought it and I couldn't figure out how to beat the first, first boss. So I returned it and got, uh, The Force Unleashed instead. <laughs> Forza Unleashed was good, so... Um, yeah, yeah, I played it on Wii, believe it or I not. I played that on was... Wii, yeah. yeah. Um, when it came to Metroid, I did not... I never played the first one. I got into it with Metroid Prime 2, Echoes, which yeah. I played and beat, and I liked. And I, I played the third, but I don't remember liking it. I never, like, finished it or put that much time and effort into it. In Echoes? I like three, but oh, in three. No, I liked Echoes. Yeah, three is the one I just didn't care for, and I never finished. It was funny. So um, about it, I just didn't like it. Mentioning that along with uh, Force Unleashed. Force Unleashed. Do you, do you ever have this sort of um, man? If I had a YouTube channel, I was making videos back then. I would have made a video on this particular thing I'm talking about. Force Unleashed two fucking pissed me off. Like I really liked the first one. The second one not only is like a downgrade 
mechanically, but the story was written by someone who didn't give a fuck. It was just like, even, there's probably problems in the first one, like, uh, I've, I've, it's been so long since I've played it, but the second one was just like, let's just do it again. Even though the first one's, like, story tried to fit into, uh, the Star Wars sort of timeline. Mm -hmm. Um, Remember when that was the thing? Yeah, like, you know, Mass Effect 3 would be an example, I suppose, like, of something you guys would probably have made a video on if you had channels going. I don't even know if you, maybe you did have channels going at that point. Nah, not really. Nah, not yet, I didn't. But, like, do you have any of those sorts of examples where you're like, oh man, Wait, if I was, was if I was doing um, the tisms. <clears throat> oh, let me see, I'd have to, th let me think, um. Like, a game that really pissed me off. Well, I guess uh, it could be applied to movies, too, I'm just curious. Um, I've, had my, I've had my YouTube channel since 2011, so it's always more just like, oh, if I had, like, the understanding uh, of editing and, and critique that I do now, back then, that would have been great. Uh, when it comes to games, games are pieces, man. Um, I would have, I might have said something about Resident Evil 4 and Resident Evil 5. Mm -hmm. Like, what's with all these weird changes they made? What's going on with these characters in the story? Like, they clear this is just, you know, it's it's a downgrade in a lot of ways. Why did they? They, they improved on some things. Why but... did no fucking Resident Evil game keep the inventory system? Yeah, like yeah. the thing that Four is praised and beloved for, they just never did again. Probably because it's work to have to make games. I guess so. Yeah. I don't know. There's so much balancing would have gone into it, unless they were just really lucky with how everything worked out, which I doubt. <laughs> If there's really anything else I would have talked much about in terms of stuff like I hated that really pissed me off. I mean, a lot of stuff yeah, I don't I even remember you. until I, like, like Force Unleashed 2, for example. Which, by the way, was a really short game, too. Ooh, down with Force Unleashed 2. Like, five hours. Force Unleashed 3 got cancelled. Starkiller was going to team up with Darth Vader. Holy fuck. <laughs> Maybe it was a good thing that it was cancelled, right? <laughs> <clears throat> Maybe. Though, and I think I mentioned this before, I can't remember if it's the first Force Unleashed or the second, but there was an achievement to uh, pick up a Stormtrooper with the Force, throw your lightsaber in them, electrocute them, and then throw them into something explosive, and it was called Paul Bob. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate that. Poor Bob, indeed. Yeah, man. You gotta, you gotta reflect. So, anyway, I guess I'll start with the Super Chats, uh, unless there's anything else. Fine. Does anyone want to say anything about anything? Uh, you know, the, uh, we, we better not, or else go on this huge tangent about stuff, we'll never get any Super Chats answered. Very true. Don't want to uh, do too much the negativity. Tangents will come. I deactivated the turrets and then I destroyed the turrets. I am very good at this game. Use the turrets to destroy the turrets. <laughs> Why aren't the space pirates trying to run away? This ship is gonna blow, guys. Maybe they don't know. Well, they're like, aren't they like crippled as well? These dudes. Maybe. I can't remember the story. Yeah, the crippled to crippled, me. Guys. crippled no, people don't run away from danger. Crippled people. Uh, crippled, rarely. Crippled people. Crumpled, they rarely horrible. run or jump. <laughs> crippled crippled <laughs> people. Crippled, crippled, crippled people. <laughs> so, the first one is High Rags. Oh, hi there! Second one is Mola, you gay. Alright. Yeah. <laughs> Super chat spitting facts. I was gonna say, <laughs> what can I do against this? I'm getting annihilated by truth, logic, and argumentation. So glad to see you lads. Have you seen Fat Man yet? It's probably the Van Helsing of Christmas movies. I'd highly recommend it. Also, I can't wait for more. Fat Man? I don't know what that is. Don't know what that is. Yeah. I'm a fat oh, man. Like a big chonky dude. Skip it over the better book. The big chonk. The movie. Yeah, I'm a scandal. Uh, you know, I remember. I think my first exposure to that was um. God, this is like going back to 2006. Um, Whoa. I remember uh, there were people who were making like uh, they were making Machinima, but in Super Smash Brothers. One specifically, the first one. Okay. I, I just remember like they, there was that, and every time like Mario fought some enemies, they just play Scatman while they were just playing a standard game of Super Smash Brothers, while putting in these subtitles as though it's a story. 
I remember I was like really impressed by that when I was a kid. I was like, oh man, this is like a, this is like a movie. Um, and then obviously Halo 3 comes out and then Machinima kind of just takes a massive leap forward. And plus, finding Red vs. Blue. Yeah. Back in the old days. Red vs. Blue not being the chief, man. Yeah. Uh, I do like Harvey and the Chief more than Red vs. Blue, though. I mean, I'm a weird one. I I, I was never really taken with Red, Red vs. Blue. I always thought it was fine. It was okay. I think, uh, I think Red vs. Blue haven't, haven't found it very enjoyable since, I think, Season 6, I want to say. Reconstruction, I think, was that one. Yeah. Um... I like that one. I don't think I really like them as much since then. So basically, I haven't been a huge fan for like a decade. <laughs> yeah, and most people I think have gone off now, right? Because Rooster Teeth is uh, autism. I think so, yeah. Well, yeah, Rooster Teeth's been in a lot of uh, controversy lately. Nothing's the same anymore. Really good. Well, Rooster Teeth is now like a huge company. I mean, I think they were. I think Full Screen owns them, and like Full Screen is owned by some other massive conglomerate. Yay! Uh, Business. I, that, that happened to Machinima.com as well. They got bought by Warner Brothers and then shut down. Oh, good investment. Yeah. yeah. Well, it was yeah, terrible investment <laughs> overall. Uh. Howdy all, I hope it's a good one. I, I hope so too. Oh, me too. Yeah. I hope so. Uh, Poonis. I guess that's a reference to Jay oh. ahead of time. Oh no. What? what? They said Poonis. But, like, what else could I make of that? It's made into like a nice sculpture. Hmm. I saw Nostalgia Critic in Lord of the Rings. My, I temper my sense of decency in anticipation. Yeah, it was, uh, it was a ride, to say the least. Oh, this will be an interesting EFAP. Well, I would hope so. <laughs> hope you had fun with it. Daddy Dank has blessed this podcast. My life is complete. Aw. Uh, Mr. Enter has a terrible negative review of Rick and Morty episode Pickle Rick. EFAP it. Is, is this... Ooh. Do you know about this, Jay? Uh, I think I saw it come up in my sub box. Not my sub box, my recommended. Uh, is it the one that's like, Pickle Rick is bad? <laughs> Pickle Rick is bad, well... Pickle Rick bad, um... I mean, it's like, a lot of the arguments against Pickle Rick involve, like, it's not funny, and it's like, okay. Oh, Animated Atrocities Pickle Rick, is that the video? Perhaps. I mean, I don't find it funny. Yeah, but like, it's, good though. it's really well written that episode. It is good, yeah. It is. Really well written. I've never seen the episode, I'm just aware of apparently there's a, there's a, Rick turns himself into a pickle or something. Wait, hold on. So, but you've it, not it, seen it, it, it? that video, Animated no, Frosty's yeah. Pickle Rick. How can you say uh, I, I've funny? never seen a Rick, I've never, because, I mean, like, the idea of Pickle Rick is not, it's oh. not a funny idea. See, well, when you understand the nuance and intricacies of the character <laughs> and, uh, and particle physics, yeah. it'll be funny. Yeah, like, if yeah, someone maybe. said, I, I don't I, find yeah. the, the idea of him becoming a pickle uh, funny, and that was the, like, <laughs> review of the episode, I'd just be like, okay, well, there's a lot more going on, so I don't know really why, like... Yeah, I've yeah. never seen uh, the episode. Yeah. I haven't, I've yeah, never exactly. seen a Rick and Morty episode. I think you'd probably like it if you gave it a I reckon Rags would like Rick and Morty. Yeah. I very well might. You like pickles, right? Um, Somebody in chat. No, actually, I actually Morty despise pickles. Sorry, I got a, I got a gun for you now. I'm sick of people just defaulting to, oh, Rick and Morty. You know, it's not that good. It is good. It's really good. It's Don't really let good. the fact that there are a bunch of memes and like that the fan base is kind of shitty sway you from like recognizing that Rick and Morty is actually a very good show. It's very good. It's not just okay. It's not just oh, it's kind of good. It's very good. All right. I like that that's the conversation right now, and then suddenly Dio Brando, Shark T was pretty hot in The Force Unleashed. <laughs> 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 Alright then. <laughs> I, like, I like the idea that we're all in like a, a room in a circle together, and that is what's literally said in the in the conversation by people who are all present. The like third pause, series is bad. The third series isn't bad. In fact, the third no. series has some of the best. Like no... the Citadel Rick and Morty episode is the best episode of the the, the no... entire Which show. One is, sorry? There Which is one no one bad is? season. There's just bad episodes. The Citadel Rick one. 
Oh, it's good. I have, my money's that would be on my pick for the train one, though. I, I think Citadel Rick one is better. I don't know, Freddy, you achieves. said similar things about Bojack. Here's the difference, though. When I was saying how great Bojack was, I couldn't have given you a lot of references at the time because I'd only watched most of that show once and a lot of it a long time ago. Whereas with Rick and Morty, like, I've seen those episodes several times over. I, I like how... The characters in Rick and Morty, like, minimum, the character work is incredibly strong. Which put already puts it above yeah. most shit getting pumped out these days. I just, I just yep. like that they're calling um, into question your like credibility. We're just like, I'm sorry, one thing that he liked previously and now thinks isn't very good. As if, as if all of us I don't do like have that. how that erases all of the It's literally an ad home. <laughs> well, you get, you, yeah. well, I bet most people in the chat think that the, you know, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny we know something that you don't. <laughs> It's, it's, there's a reference to this in one of the Mando videos that Metal Seed is quite funny. Uh, it's still oh completely mysterious, though. You have no idea what Rex is talking about, but... We'll drop hint. This is gonna be, so... One of these days. As you guys know, EFAP has seasons, play. arcs, and stuff. This is one of the, uh, the big mysteries that doesn't get revealed for another, like, few seasons. It's crazy how, uh, people will be like, well, uh, Fringy, you think Bojack... You thought Bojack was good once. And then we'll be like, yeah, but Blind Manor is bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right, alright. Yeah, why don't you just say that, chat? Oh, we can't trust any of you because you think Bly Matter is good. There you go. And I can't, can't trust, trust any of you because you think Bly Matter is well. I shouldn't speak for all of you. Some of you think Bly Matter no, is bad. No, what the bad. fuck are you talking about? Chat is one, like, homogenous entity. Yeah. <laughs> Bly Matter is bad because the, that is because the opener is black. In yeah, that's right. <laughs> in fairness, it is kinda woke. You guys have to agree. No. Yeah, I mean, it's not like there's such a thing as black people in the United Kingdom. <laughs> like, that's a foreign concept. They didn't have to make them black, though, so it's kind of woke, don't you think? They didn't... They, I, I do like that sentence, they didn't have to. It's like, what are you... What, <laughs> what <are> they, <laughs> Friggy is so oversensitive to things he likes being criticized. Hey, look, I'm sorry, all right? If you're sitting there, like, saying, Oh, Rick and Morty is mediocre. What do you expect? Like, oh, that's cool. I respect your opinion. Why are you here? <laughs> like, that's, I was gonna say, that's, that's isn't anything, that the whole that brand that we, we, our whole thing is like being belligerent about the perspectives we have because we feel that we have references that can prove it. Mm -hmm. And that's okay when you do it to the things I don't like. I do, mm -hmm. I do like that in the ideal world, the conversation about video is, I like X. Oh, cool. I, I don't. Oh. And then that's the end of the conversation. <laughs> Like, well, I, I, the, I wouldn't want people to be like, wow, that's a straw man. The realistic version is, because I've had plenty of these in real life, I'd be like, oh, <laughs> fucking, you know, do you, let's just take Interstellar. It's like, oh, I really liked Interstellar. Do you, do you not? And you go, no, I don't really. It's like, oh, why? It's like, well, I just think that, um, like, this, the science in it is fucking absurd and nonsense. And then they're like, oh, well, in fairness, I guess you don't know this, but, like, um, Neil deGrasse Tyson said that the science is kind of on point. And it's like, oh, well, pretty sure Lawrence Krauss said it was bullshit. And uh, the, all Neil deGrasse Tyson said is that if you were to enter a black hole, what you see in the movie might happen in real life. I... Uh, <laughs> I guess, well... I thought, was, uh, I thought it was about just uh, relativity being portrayed on screen. Uh, like, relativity and time time dilation being portrayed on screen for the first but time. if you go into a black hole... didn't say anything about the rest of the film. Well, there's going to be more to it, but what I'm talking about yeah, is like a conversation cool. that happened in real life. This is a thing that actually happened. I don't know exactly what's true, but the point of this conversation is that they went... Okay. Well... Uh, I still liked it. It's like, okay. And then they're like, what else didn't you like? Like, just, what, what's, what's wrong with it? It's like, well, so the plot is fucking garbage. Like, oh god, this is lagging like hell. I might have to swap the video codec, I'm not sure. Um... But oh, the, the, the point is they were like, oh, I really loved the characters. And then I was like, okay, so... All the decisions many of the characters make make it impossible for me to fucking get endeared to them. Except maybe Matthew McConaughey to a degree, but he still enters a black hole in the hopes of getting back to his daughter, which is hilarious. Um... I, and then they'd be like, yeah, okay, well, I liked it. Yeah. And, and you're like, wait like, a minute. Why are we even having a conversation? You, well, it's, it's just like, wait, did the conversation change? Something happened. Like, it, 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 we were discussing it, and then we just, it was, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to. I, I just overstepped a bound. And that's fine. If you don't want to talk about... Because, because right, like, every, we've talked about this before, but, like, everybody has a reference uh, for what they liked about a thing. And if it's a misunderstanding, it can get really awkward, right? Because then it calls into question yeah. whether or not you did like it. 
do you, do you still like it if the thing is all gloopy? And before anyone's like, wow, you think you fucking you're killing art and ruining feelings, be like, no, this has happened to me. If, if I like like a thing, and then people, it's happened recently with Spider-Man too. I'm not sure how I feel about that movie anymore. It happened to me with John Wick too. I was well, did you just, did you just break out the Spider-Man two? Might not be very. Where have good. you been, Jay? The Amazing Spider-Man two have debate been, happened. Actually. Oh, did you say that uh, Spider-Man 2 might not be very good in that debate? I said that, uh, I think Rags, myself, and Fringy all said, like, South Pole's raised some really good points, and we're not actually sure anymore. Yeah, I, I, the, the spike in the octopus arm is kind of like a massive I like to, problem. To, you can, like, hear your brain searching for the words on what to call them. Yeah, the octopus, <laughs> the octopus arm. arm. That spike, <laughs> also that spike kind of ruins the movie. Yeah. It's a big problem. They never should have included that spike. Though even then, you have the problems of Spider-Man should be able to knock Doctor Octopus out with one punch. Remember, Spider-Man is super-powered, and Doctor Octopus which he delivers is quite guy. handily several times. Yeah. And this is the thing: uh, when you put that to test, you might, you might automatically go, "Come on, guys, we don't do this with fight scenes usually. Why are we doing it to Spider-Man 2? And it's like, well, we kind of did a lot of the time with a lot of things. And to be honest with you, why wouldn't we? Like, it's worth exploring. Yeah. Um, I honestly thank God for TLJ in terms of it rely being reliable as a uh, a standard to refer to. Um, <laughs> that's the only thing it did that was good. Because you can most all profit from a bad example. Yeah, most of us, especially in this community, uh, will agree that the things we've discussed are pretty fucking bad in TLJ. But uh, if they prop up in other things, you're like, uh oh, we'll crop up. Uh, Spider-Man is always pulling his punches. Mm, not a good defense, my good, my, my good man. When you're dealing with someone who's potentially killing civilians, I think Superman, uh, Superman, Spider-Man should be more than on board with knocking someone out. And besides, all we have to do is find a reference where Spider-Man does something that is easily lethal to a person, which uh, probably happens a couple of times. At least well, could like be lethal. Throwing, well, remember he threw that clock thing. Uh, yeah, the, the the pointer right at Doc Ock. That That's the kind of stuff I'm talking enemy. about. Like Spider-Man will <clears throat> put great effort into you know responding to his enemies, and in the same way as Batman, uh, I'm not claiming that Spider-Man's looking to kill in these moments, but certainly looking to do damage, and this damage could lead to their maimed. death. Yeah, yeah. Oh, also, it's pretty weird that Doc Ock threw a car at Spider-Man. <laughs> uh, oh wait, no, he threw it at Peter. <laughs> And he, sh he thought Peter was a regular Dude, guy. Uh, you should, he didn't have Spider-Man powers, he would have killed him. You should watch the rest of that scene. Like, honestly, pull it up on YouTube right now, and uh, get to the end where he's he's told Peter he what he throws, wants. Yeah. yeah. And then throws the way he, he throws human Peter at a wall, and like, it fucking takes a chunk out of the wall. Do you know how hard you have to push someone to a wall to do that? Yeah, that would break all of your, like, rib bones and puncture your lung, probably. That's it for you. But, uh, um, and this is the thing, so but, I guarantee you someone's going to be like, uh, excuse me, he is essentially Spider-Man in that scene, he's got his powers back. It's like, it's not, that's not actually the point. The point is... Uh, I feel like if somebody says that, it's like, are we, uh, what's happening Are you not here? listening, or are you, you're not, are you listening, or are you just waiting for your turn to talk? I mean, yeah. I, I would argue at this point, I guess, is part of our job to put up with this. Like, we get it all the time, so it was like, clarification is just a part of what we do, I guess, but, um... Doc Ock does not know that he is Spider-Man. That's the point. Mm -hmm. But he needs him alive, that, and yet he does two things to insta-kill him. What, what does that mean? What difference does it make if he doesn't know he's Spider-Man? It's like, well, <laughs> a lot. A lot of difference. <laughs> well, Doc was just um, being a little, you know, he's handling him a little hard, what? And so, and so what that leads us to is the ultimate conclusion is Homecoming is probably the best Spider-Man movie. Oh, it is. I guess uh, the, no, wait, it, the it is the live-action one. Spider-Verse, Spider I With, feel, is yeah. uh, fucking excellent as well. Have you rewatched it recently? Yeah, it was just a couple of days ago I watched it with uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Southborn a couple Spider of people. Spider-Verse is really good. I will happily show Rags it eventually, and then we will maybe... Have you yeah, not seen have Rags? I haven't yet, no, I just haven't seen it yet. Yeah, yeah. you should. I think I've made good. Rags watch all of the Spider-Man movies now, except, obviously, he watched the Raimi ones on his own. But, uh, making him watch yeah, the I've Amazing Spider-Mans was mean, I know, and I understand, I'm sorry. Yeah, he made me watch those two movies, they're, they're catastrophes. <laughs> no, they're not, you no, know, they're, they're, not. they're, they're good. Oh. <laughs> the fact that in the music, when Electro's fighting, he hates so many, 
he lied to me. <laughs> it's the backing music. <laughs> Kino, That's shut up. No oh, funnily enough, the next super chat is how did you like Spider Verse, Long Man? Uh, excellent. There are a couple of issues. Assuming you, I'm, I'm assuming when someone asks me this, they want my perspective on like writing. So, a couple of issues, a few things that might not have gone the way that they would have if not for a bit of luck, but uh, scoring extremely high, and they do an excellent job with the amount of time they have and how many characters they're balancing. It's uh, very impressive, and I'm very concerned for the next film because it's different writers and director. Is it different um, writers and directors? You can, guys, like, people who love Into the, Into the Spider-Verse, kiss goodbye to that fucking sequel being good with how they've completely changed the creators. And obviously, well, that's not a guarantee, was, uh, I'm just saying. I'm just saying, well, be concerned. I think, I think, because it was Phil Lord and Christopher Miller, and they did the Lego movie, which is also really, really good. Really well written, yeah. So I would, I would say at this point that those guys are just really good writers. Alright, let's see who who's doing it. Uh, I checked it yesterday. Engine. The writer is the same writer as Wonder Woman 1984. So. Okay, well, I've... Uh, now... You know, I've, I've read the plot synopsis for that, the leaked <laughs> one, um, and I am 100% confident that, like, that is the film based on the trailer, and, uh... Well, we're gonna watch so... it, so we will find out, and if it is dog shit, which is what I'm expecting, um, be very afraid for Into the Spider-Verse 2. It is, it is funny how there are no good DCEU films. Wonder Woman isn't a good one either, guys. <laughs> Wonder Woman has I... such huge issues. They just call it good because it's not the other ones. Well, they did the same thing for a fucking Aquaman. Aquaman, and Aquaman is a disaster. Like, Wolf annihilated that film. <laughs> it wasn't even Aquaman close. Is an abomination. But hey, it's, but it's fun. But it's fun, yeah. <laughs> TLJ was fun. It, well. <laughs> Uh, so, so, yeah, so, the, the guy who was directing, uh, Into the Spider-Verse has worked on Justice League Unlimited, Avatar The Last Airbender, The Legend of Korra, and Voltron Legendary Defender. Bad news uh. all around. Do you remember <laughs> when we were all talking about the people writing Rise of Skywalker? It was just a collection of disasters. Oh, and also, the guy who, who's, so the guy who's writing, uh, the Spider-Verse sequel wrote Mortal Kombat movie that's coming out like next year. Mm. Uh, he wrote Zombie. Great. He wrote he uh, he wrote Shang Chi and the Legend of the Ten Ring, which is coming out next year, I guess. Um, he he wrote God. No, the story of Godzilla, and he wrote the screenplay for Expendables, Ooh. and he wrote Doom 2005. <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> I don't understand why people would keep like. Is it just? Do people just employ him because he's around? Well, I, I the way make that money, it often right? works with, The way that it works with a lot of screenwriters, I think, in Hollywood, is you're just hired for the project. Like, you don't have an original idea a lot of the time. You are hired to write for a specific thing. That seems to be the, Unless you write a spec script Surely it's and like actually get picked up. Partially to do with who you know as well, right? Oh, probably, yeah. Like, if they know you and you, you're quick, maybe, as well. Like, yeah, I, quick I remember, probably uh, helps, yeah. I have a DVD copy of Transformers 2. <laughs> and, uh, How'd you manage I, that? Why well, I got this, like I said, uh, I, well, like I didn't say actually, I <laughs> I got this when, um, I think I got that when I was like 14 or 15, uh, which explains that, because I think that movie sucks ass. Um, and I remember watching the behind the scenes thing, and that, that film was written during the Writers Guild of America strike uh, in like 2007. So the writers got, like, they, apparently they wrote it in four to six weeks, I think. It's like, yeah, it, it, it shows. <laughs> Writing a whole movie um, in four weeks. Someone said, I feel like you guys just assume that people like one thing more for not being like other things that are bad. I don't know, I'm, I'm not entirely sure what you're referencing there. Yeah, what do you... I if it's Mando, being more charitable by saying that they like it because it, they compare it to other things, not because they're actually that stupid <laughs> that they can recognize all of the issues and still think it's good. Yeah, maybe it's Mando they're referencing, in which case I am almost 100% certain that uh, people like it because it's not as bad as the sequels, not because it's good. Because it's not. Yeah, because I think you walk through the problems with people, like one by one, step by step. And it just it falls apart at basically every level. There's nothing good. The plot's bad. The characters are bad. Everything's basically bad except the. I, I can't. Like it. 
money. Spider-Verse was garbage, the story was uninteresting and forgettable, there were barely any uh, character development. The, it's... The whole film is Miles' development, I don't know what to say. Just, people still are, are people actually arguing against Spider-Verse? Yeah, this is the thing, I thought that Homecoming was the hated one, but Spider-Verse actually has people who don't like it. Can you believe it? <clears throat> Spider-Verse is really cool, because uh, this is the thing, it's not just- I say this as if it's not tied in, it is, but it's not just the writing, the fucking animation is awesome. It looks very cool, yeah. Um, but yeah, I guess there are people who think Spider-Verse is, is poopy. Recently, uh, Southpaw did a debate with SK Comics, who I believe considered Spider-Verse once upon a time to be bad, but he now thinks it's very good. He gave it a 9 at the yeah. end of the conversation. Ooh. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. And I, I, yeah, so, um, I think the most loved Spider-Man movie is probably tied between Spider-Man 2 and Spider-Verse. They seem to be the most loved. It should be Homecoming and Spider-Verse. Okay. You should focus your efforts on Bly Manor at first, you know? That's, like, hated. The Bly Manor should be the most popular Spider-Man film. Someone said season 2 episode 6 of Mando is definitely the worst. We're at Batwoman levels now. We're already at Batwoman levels. I heard that season 6 was the really good one. Episode 6? Season and yeah, six. that's what I've heard as well. Well, I've heard episode 5 was great and see... Fuck, you got me doing it now. Episode 6 is the uh, the one that outdid even episode 5, so... Yeah, we saw 5 and it was pretty bad. Yeah, the, well... <sighs> I consider it average. Yep. Like the, the action scenes yeah, were bad, but the average. story yeah, was, was coherent. Like... So whatever. I don't know yeah, what it is it with very... Mando. It can't do action scenes to save its fucking life. It was very boring. We're we're constantly bored of all the action scenes. They're terrible. They are very dull. There's no stakes involved. We know that Mando is indestructible. He could do anything. He's just impervious to all damage beyond reason. Yeah, it's fucking annoying. Relevant meme I just saw. Sorry? Uh, I, I feel like this is true, but not for the posting it. Not for the reasons they think. What are you referring to? This was an equal meme. I just, the meme I just saw on equal memes, which is like prequel memes, but for all of the stars. Oh. Yeah. So we, let's, I'll put it up a sec. Yeah, there, there, I mean, definitely seems to be, statistically at least, a consensus that Mandalorian is really good. It's not. <laughs> it's uh, really someone not. Told me, someone told me, uh, a, a friend I have in real life told me that he thought Mandalorian was the best piece of Star Wars media ever. Oh, God. And I haven't oh, seen, I haven't seen it, but I was just listening to him like, Fuck it's me. okay. It's okay to be a normie. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> It's okay. That's all I can say. It's all not your say. fault. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. <laughs> Who did this to you? I just, yeah, I mean, better than Empire? Oh my. It's hard enough to argue that it's not well written. Arguing that, I, I, I think they're just too far gone. Um, Dankular on EFAP? Yes, Dank. Go on, Sitchin mm. Adam. Maybe he will. Maybe. Who rightly knows? Um, if Mr. Thought, referring to Thought Theater, I think, was to make a video on TASM 2 as he's gone through the film and believes he can counter your claims, would you cover it with him? Uh, well, we had the we had the first debate where we pretty thoroughly went through a decent amount of it, at least. Um, I don't believe he has good counters to our points, especially after that I don't discussion. believe you can make good counters to Electro, first of all. That's just fucked. Electra's power levels and the way they defeat him is all fucked. Which isn't small for any movie, by the way. Her antagonist, just none of it functions. And I'm still not willing to, set, to like, concede that his motivation is strong in any way, shape, or form. Like, it go, it, it's, it's, Max feels hard done by, by the system. He sees hope in Spooderman. He thinks Spooderman is, is attached to the police for no good reason. He then, once he gets tortured for a while, th through means I am not willing to fucking ever understand, he is shocked in for- like, they- it's fucking stupid. 
And then he jumps to, I want, I want a world without mercy. I want people to understand what it's like to not have Spider-Man. And so I'm going to turn the power off. What, what is that? I'm going to go. Wait, bye. Yeah. Oh, okay, bye. All right. Well, he's gone. Um, so yeah, uh, Electro is like non-functional. Uh, so if, if it, it, like, already, like, without addressing all the other things, I feel like Tasm 2 is, 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 is broken. Um. And we think the first one's worse. Yes. Uh, I'm already forgetting the main problems with it, but, uh, I kept notes if ever it's relevant, but Tasm 1 is even worse. Which is, is that's our hot take, by the way, Ranks. I guess, yeah. All I hear about is how terrible the second one is, but I legit think the first one is worse in terms of its plot and everything. Yeah, fuck all makes any sense in Tasm 1. Oh wow, he died quick. That was a boss? Someone said what difficulty I got it on. Pretty sure there's no difficulty choice in this. So, um, yeah. Hopefully I won't have too much trouble. So, um, as for whether or not we would cover his video, I, I can't confirm either way. I don't know that I really want to talk more about Tasm 1 and 2. They're really bad. Uh, hope theaters somehow survive. The theatrical experience can never be recreated at home. It makes me sad that Warner Brothers is doing it, though. I get it. It doesn't make me sad. I'm happy that there are two options. Um, yeah, I don't want to see the death of theater. I'm glad there's no, a second I option. But I do like the option of doing it. As for you, cannot create it at home. Untrue. You could probably get damn close. I mean, yeah. yeah, like so. Forgiving extreme examples, like a billionaire literally creating a fucking theater in his house. Um, having like a surround sound system and a 4K TV that's like a hundred inch or some shit. Like you can, you can, you know, like and, and then and then further down the line. I don't know, because to say that you can't recreate it to imply that there's like some major thing you're gonna miss out on. The cinema also comes with drawbacks. Just saying. Like, other people. Other started. people. <laughs> other people just drawback for life as other people. Yeah, people ruin life. But every year it gets it gets easier and more affordable for you to make a home theater system. Like this kind of technology we already have doesn't get more expensive. It just becomes more affordable over time as technology does. And then, like so, the big I want to have point. yeah, and, and and then of course, um, you cannot undermine the value of the the choice of like new movie comes out, we can all go see it in a theater, or if say for example, I know this is a crazy thing, but what if you have a friend in Germany, one in America, and one in Australia, and you all want to go see this film because it's just come out, and you have to wait months to to watch it because you can't go see it together, and you also maybe don't want to go to the cinema for whatever reason. Well, that'll never happen. Um, yeah, that's insane. Then it hit coming out on streaming at the same time means that that selection of people can can watch it, be in on the conversation, and they could do it all together. That'd be pretty neat. And it's like, yeah, but that'll cause the death of cinema. It's like it'll cause the shrinkage of cinema. And I mean, maybe cinema will will head toward its its place it where it's going to be now. Yeah, maybe it should find it maybe it should settle into the natural size for itself this uh this kind of does feel like the i i think it was a debate in new york where they wanted to keep uber out because it would you know completely cannibalize the taxi market to which my immediate thing is if it's gonna do that already maybe it should like yeah maybe, maybe it, it should happen maybe it should that's just how maybe taxis work, are right? an archaic model that well, yeah it's, it's super free just... market right yeah like don't release the oven it'll fuck the the stone oven market <laughs> and i'm like if if you're really good if you've got all this taxi experience and random people can take over your job you probably work a shit taxi it reminds me of um, like if just some random dude can do your job better than you can and that was specifically your job to be a taxi driver i don't know maybe your job just doesn't need to exist maybe there's no point in it existing and this is the thing i don't want them to go. I want people who want them to be able to get them, but uh, the idea that they're going to shrink yeah. in size is just like, I guess that's inevitable. The market needs it's supply and demand, right? If, like, if not enough people want to do it, the last thing we want to do is like start petitioning people to start going to the cinemas to make them survive. It's like, well, that'd be artificial. Just, just let it be the way it is. 
I like the cinema. I just don't um, always want it. So, for example, Wonder Woman coming out on streaming is awesome because I'll probably check it out. If it was wasn't doing that, I don't know that I would have gone to the cinema for that movie. I, I just I don't think so. No, no. I don't want to, because I have I would have to. Like, I know part of the experience is also kind of part of what some people like about it. But yeah, if I just want to see a movie. You know, 90 minute, 100 minute movie. I gotta get dressed, go out, get into the car, drive there, get in line, get a ticket, and then I'm there, and I and my brain wants to spend even more money. Because it's through that, 20 minutes. Wait, let me. Before someone trip. fucking so straw mans you, um, obviously Rags isn't saying it's hard to get dressed, he's just comparing it to watching it on streaming. Yeah, this isn't The Amazing Spider Man 2 where it's difficult <laughs> to get dressed or undressed, okay? So, but yeah, it's like sometimes maybe I just don't want to put on shoes and socks and clothes and not that I normally do anyway because I'm a dog, but I mean, theoretically, mm. why would I want to go through all that? Especially if it's like winter or something like that and it's just like cold as balls outside or if it's raining or something like that and you just don't want to put on the jack and coat and go outside when it's all nasty and shitty. And then you go in and maybe it's like part like the theater I'd normally go to was in a mall. So you'd go in, you'd, you'd park someplace and it would never be closed. So you'd have to walk in there and then you go inside and then you have to get in line to get a ticket. And then the ticket's like 10, 11, 12 bucks. Like fucking hell. That's a lot of money for not 100 minutes of entertainment. Jeez. And then if you want something to eat, well, that popcorn that you just bought, that's another fucking six bucks or whatever. Like, Jeez, they're fleecing you. And then you finally go and you get to the thing and you go inside and you sit down and you find a seat hopefully it's a good seat mm -hmm. right hopefully you get lucky well, and you get a good seat yeah that applies to whether or not you book ahead of time a seat because the seat might not be available yeah and then this is where this is where we start to really gamble right is how many people are in the theater the closer the number is to zero the better uh so it depends on luck if it's busy then you're probably just gonna have people munching on their fucking food dude and chatting and being it's on their gotten phones so and bad kids whining and in recent and... times where cinemas sell like fucking hot meals to take in and they yeah. stink up the whole pl it's like what the hell are you doing like, and and you see yeah, these people like, i gotta have my burger and my my fries and i gotta have my chicken and my... they come in with like a fucking they need like I don't know, like a retractable table, and then they set it all, and you're just like, why, why did you go to a restaurant first, please? <laughs> and then, and then you're like, all right, I'm ready for my movie. Well, guess what, asshole? That might be the case. However, you got to sit through 20 minutes of ads for films that you're probably not interested in at all, and and the ads are all shit anyway, especially if they're comedies. All the comedy ads are fucking horse shit. Uh, uh, and then you got to sit through the ads for non-movie stuff. Ads like, oh, thanks for coming to Regal is. Theater. Maybe yeah. you should buy our app to purchase this and get our rewards club so that you can popcorn. I'm Marina Munoz or whatever. And blah, 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 blah. And it's like, okay. It's like, and, then the, and then the theater finally starts. Then the movie finally fucking starts. And no. maybe if, if you're lucky, if it's not you're getting through the whole fucking... Maybe, maybe the movie is... Oh, I wasn't even doing that, but that's also part of it. But first off, maybe the movie isn't terrible. And if the movie's terrible, then you have all of that misery, plus you're poorer. Uh, <laughs> it, but this is also assuming that all the other people in the theater are just well-behaved, okay? And then after the movie's done, and this is doubly worse if you hate it, because you're just going to stew. Uh, you got to walk out. It's going to be dark now. Uh, you go out to your car, you get it, you go into the car, you drive home, and now you're back. And like it's like, what a... Can you see why people don't want to do that to and, go see a movie? Like, I get it. I get why you'd want to go out and do stuff, you know, but like to go see a movie. Like, eh. Remember, this uh, is why I'd never go see a movie alone. Rags, I always have to be a social thing. Rags isn't advocating for the destruction of theaters, just that, hey, it's cool that we have the option now. And it's like, you shouldn't resist that, I don't think. It's weird that people are on Twitter, you know, like, oh, really man, strange. Wonder Woman deserves to be in theaters. It's like, what? Are you doing? Okay. <laughs> well, I can see people making it, that wait, argument for um, Godzilla and versus Kong. It could be like, that's supposed to be in the theater. Seen, Something like that. I've seen people say that for Black Widow as well. Like, oh, her first, you know, her movie shouldn't be on Disney Plus as if it's like inferior that it's released to streaming. Like, what a weird backward mindset. So, um, let's see. Uh, 
I'm trying to make it run better, so by the way, Chad. It's sad, it's sad that with COVID keeping me home, what Rags is describing sounds nice. No, 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 no. You're just fucking desperate. Is what's happening. You're like, man, all that shit you describe that's terrible, that sounds so good. That's because you're desperate. Well, so yeah, there are a lot of people. This is what I mean. It's, there's, there's the choice element. So there's people out there who are like, I hate being at home. I like watching my movies in a theater. I should be like, okay, yeah, go for it. I'm just saying that the idea that a whole bunch are releasing on streaming is just neat because I have a preference for that with a lot of movies that I want to see. I don't really want to go to the theater to watch certain movies. For example, and, and um, Endgame I mean, would be one also, that... Also, I can, I can guarantee you if, you, if you, like, I'm just looking at my room right now. It's a pretty big living room I have. I have, like, space above my desk, uh, desk to put on a big screen, which I will do in the future. There's a couch behind me. If I have the opportunity to watch the new movies on this screen, on my couch, with my food that I don't need to pay 15 million euros for, I'm gonna stay on my fucking couch. <laughs> Oh, and, and let's remember, let's say you go to that theater, you've got your sodi pop and your poopy corn, right? And you're munching and sl slurping and all that good stuff. If, if you have to pee, which you will, uh, well, they ain't pausing the movie for you. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, tough shit. You got to find a time to go pee. Um, whereas at home, you can pause whenever you want, take as many bathroom breaks as you want. Hey, you can even. have whatever you want. You could, you could cook for yourself a proper meal and then eat that as you watch it. Or you can have any choice of beverages, which will be guaranteed far, far, far less expensive than what you can buy at the theater. Metal humble bring about his room again. One, I never bragged about my room before, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Two, I would say the same thing as this room was half the size. You can have it's, it's cheap places with big living rooms. One room being big <laughs> is not like, okay. Yeah, and also I can just say to my friends, like, yo, you come over to my place and we can just watch it here. We don't need to go well, to the cinema. Me sitting at my desk is way more room than I get with my one chair at the movie theater. Oh, yeah, being a tall person in cramped fucking seats when you go to the cinema. Oh. Oh. Yeah. I like so, I mean, my personal space as well, and so, it's just in the cinema. <laughs> if someone said, um, mention. <laughs> if someone said I could have watched Endgame on streaming and I didn't have to go to the cinema, that's one example where I'd be like, I I'd like to go to the cinema for Endgame. I think that'll be mm -hmm. something I'd like to do. And that's all I mean. It's the choice. If, if I had a friend who was like, I fucking hate cinemas, I don't even have legs, I don't want to go to the cinema. And I'd be like, okay, uh, I hope, and someone says, Endgame's coming to streaming. I wouldn't react like, oh no. It's gonna make it so that less people oh, go no, to the cinema. Oh no, it won't make as much money on the box office specifically. Oh no. And, let's say that you fucking love movies. Be happy for less crowded theaters. Oh yeah, that's actually a, a really yep. good argument that I, I think I've seen High Top make, funnily enough. Um, and, I can't remember who else it was, but... The idea being, people who really want the experience of theaters are now gonna be the only people left going to the theaters. So that's a good thing because there's probably not going to be people out of my yeah. And I I don't th theaters are not going to die. Some will, right? Some will that well, just can't. They just won't be able to support it. But that's just that's just nature. Someone mentioned. I, um, I don't think that the desire for going to movie theaters specifically for the movie experience there is going to die. Someone mentioned I in a super that chat that on. um they might go the way at least toward what the current state is for uh. Theater productions, like plays and stuff, and it's like, they're still around. They're just a niche Yeah, thing. like, plays are a very... I don't think plays are gonna go away. I don't like think the, so either. It offers something that's very unique that other forms of entertainment just don't give. And that's the same for theaters, and I'll be glad to go to... If, if the one in my area, like, stops, and the only way I can get to one now will be like a... Let's say, let's say something absurd, like a three-hour drive. That would probably put me in a position where I'd be like, okay, if I've got the option, I'm probably not going to take it as much anymore. But I mean, it's still my choice. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, why does the, why does the theater have more right to exist than any other thing that could be there? It's because you're used to it. Yeah, I think yeah. so. Just and like I, and taxis. I, I We've just been around, so we have more of a right to exist. And I understand the, 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 the thing people think about and what might be lost, but it's just like... The times are changing, folks. I don't know what to tell you. Coming from people who have seen a bazillion movies in theaters, by the way. 
seen a lot of movies in theaters, and I don't. <sighs> hmm. I don't even know if I'll take so hot right now. <laughs> I don't know if they're hot, but it doesn't matter because it's true. So there. I for one. You know what, EFAP fans, you should be happy that you'll be getting us reacting to Wonder Woman 1984 fucking straight away. You don't have to yeah. wait for that one. Like, when, when The Rise of Skywalker was coming out, like, we had to... I had to plan, like, a month in advance the day I was going. I had to buy tickets in advance. I had to get... The seat that I got was the seat that I got. I had to sit... Belch. I had to sit in a fucking theater full of people who were just... I mean, they weren't exactly enamored by the film. But it was, mm, I, d I don't want to do that again. Yeah, I don't want to have to book tickets a month in advance for a movie. Yeah, fuck that. These takes seem neutral. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, I, I, I don't think they're, I don't think they're unjustified. I don't think we've really said anything spicy. Well, on that neutral take, I have to hop off now. Well, oh, oh, really? A lot well. of fun. Racism. I'm staying. Right. I sort of I have a new drink. Sweet. <laughs> um. Yeah. Bringing tell people what you do on your channel and why they should okay. subscribe. So I'm now actually making videos. <laughs> so fucking uh, hell. That's <laughs> the arc. Uh, yeah, the arc of hey, I'm working on something and then it never materializing to hey, I, I made a thing. So um, <clears throat> that's all I got for now. I'm make trying to make videos. I don't know what the next one will be quite yet. I got scripts in the works and. Maybe some more stuff. Who knows? Well, I know probably nothing. <laughs> but hey, still, there's a couple of videos, so you know, go and watch them. And if you like them, then that's good. And if you don't, that'll make me very sad. So use, I just want you to know that. All right. Use the subscription bell, and the... oh yeah, that's right. And 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 also, this video was brought to you by Raid Shadow Legends. Yeah. <laughs> you know, without Raid Shadow Legends, this video wouldn't have been possible. Oh my god, it's so awful. I wouldn't epic. have done this if I didn't get paid. <laughs> this thing uh, is that it's free. Yeah. Hey man, it's, this, this, that's a game that won't be forgotten. Not because it's infamous. Well, generally, no. the best thing about something is that it's good. Ooh, yeah, not that it's free. That's a weird qualifier. It yeah, like the fact that it's free is like a consolation. Hmm. Well, whenever yeah. something's free, it should just raise an eyebrow. You're like, wait a minute. Free? What do? You, how do? How do you? How do you make this a s sustainable business model? Well, it's oh, like, wait, what are you trying yeah, to where do, do you get here? Your money? <laughs> what, are you trying to bamboozle me? Is that what you're doing? But uh, um, but yeah, uh, it's oh right, what? I was gonna say the the classic phrase of what's the catch comes in. That's right. What what is yeah. the catch? What is the net that you're gonna catch all the fish in the uh in the Bering Strait? Oh wait, no crabs. Uh, anyways, it's been fun. All right, catch, catch more fish in the crabs. We Later. shall see you around, Frungle Dungle. Yeah. See you, chat. Bye. Bye, bye bye. Nerd. Um. Boo, 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 boo. Holy crap, how did I not recognize the Trap Daddy King himself, the Keeper of Pringles, Slayer of Boosie, Count Dankula? It's gonna be a good show. I think so. I think it was yeah. a good one. Dankula was a fun man. I'm always happy when new guests enjoy themselves. That's the Me best too. time. He stayed for two whole games of Champed Up. You know he was having fun. He was. Oh. Uh, do 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 do. Good luck with this one. I've seen it already. It's not the worst thing, even for him, but it's not good either. Have a nice weekend afterwards. It was pretty bad. No, I think it was pretty bad, yeah. It was like one point <laughs> yeah, that I think we were okay bad, with. Yeah. I can't remember. The Arwen one was like 50-50. And that's about it. I don't know, now that I don't think about it, 2013? I might have even seen that video back in the day and I just don't remember it. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Uh... What do you think of yeah. Mysterious in Far From Home? I guess they mean Mysterio. Um, I think that he's uh, pretty well motivated. Um, I like that he's jealous of Iron Man having taken uh, his technology and made something of his own with it. And like in a deranged fashion decided that he wants to try and take Iron Man's position in the world. 
and using his skills as well as those of people who have also kind of been scorned by, uh, you know, uh, different things that have happened in the MCU kind of works. But I, like, the exposition in that scene is a little awkward, the dialogue they use. Where am I going? Mm. Uh, and I like him, I, I really like his, um, oh shit, I have to do it all over again? Damn. The, all the scenes where he's, like, battling Peter with the, um, the mind fuckery were pretty good. Um, but there are problems in Far From Home. Undeniably. Um, uh, Mysterio is not as good as Vulture. Yeah, Vulture's Fire great. the drones now! I like Jake Jingle, Jill, Jill, Jill and Hall, though. He's fucking great. Jake Jingle Balls. <laughs> that is what he prefers to go by. By the way, I, I checked out the Hell Diver uh, tutorial mission at least. Uh, I can totally see that being fun in co op. Okay, oh, yeah, now. it's really good co op. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I read uh, interesting mechanic with the with those drop-ins that you can do that you need to use yeah, the yeah. WASD buttons with the control. I've never seen that before. That's pretty cool. Yes, I think it works pretty well. It really rewards good uh, muscle memory if you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Muscela memia. Yeah. I'm only not playing it at all because I guess I want to just keep it fresh until we play it. Maybe. I mean, yeah, I I'll look into it. Uh, we got to figure out more. EFAP gaming yeah. things as time goes on, right? Yeah. So they'd be good. Yes, can't wait to watch you destroy this video. I hope you guys would cover it. God bless you guys at EFAP. Aw, it's nice. No. Oh, thank you. Um, Molly, your critiques are rich, and I have never been more astute with the power of objectivity. Oh my god. <gasps> my critiques are finally not poor. Power. I gotta say it all epically. Unlimited cloud. Oh, that's, that's cool. That, that's a lot of cum. Mm hmm. Uh, you guys want to go play in the snow? Uh, <laughs> as you can see, EFAP has been snowed upon for this very occasion. This ongoing occasion. Snowed. Which, by the way, uh, Omega and Axel, if you guys are listening, fucking great work. Love Absolutely. the Crimbo. Look for EFAP. I hope you guys in chat like it too. Why is it Crimbo this year, by the way? <laughs> I don't know, fucking. I just accepted it because that's a funny word. But I was just like, why is that? Why, when did that very happen? Very good. Very, that's a very good look. Yeah. I approve. Crimbo. Do you want to build a spot, man? <laughs> a Crimbo man. Spot man's a good touch. Oh, yeah, the little bouncing spot is awesome. These these fun little memers, they know what's up. They know how oh, it's done. Nice. Da -da. Um Muller, oh wait. Uh you guys Grandma got ruined by rags. He was coming all over her Christmas Eve. You might even say there's no such thing as that doggo. But as for me and grandma, we believe. Hi Raggleton. Gene forever. Hello. Also table gene forever. That war still Ooh. rages on. Bonjour, Rags. Oh, bonjour. Uh, hello, Commandant Metallique. Oh, hello. Uh, Fringy Aiguria de Fin de Semen. Don't know what no. that means, but I'm sure he'd say nor. Oh, oh, oh. Jamais le décor de Noël Molleur. Tu devras le garder plus souvent. Completely agreed. Ah, uh, yeah. oui, oui, forget. There's just no way I could deny it. incredibly racist. Well, of course. Racism is the only way, my son. Playing with my Rubik's Cube. My, my controversial wound. Uh, have you massive seen the new video from CV? Looks like he's pulling a shinobi. Got into a debate with one of his friends and they think that insults are the same as death threats. Okay, so they're not. Oh, okay. well, most people are dumb. <laughs> people are really stupid. Yeah. So if I call you stupid, it's the same... Then I was saying oh, I will tell, tell come you and, to, and I will put kill a you now. bing bang in your bum bum. Oh no, that's that's sexual. Don't point a gun at me. <laughs> <laughs> stop it, Boogie. No, stop it. Stop now. A Christmas themed EFAP? It's like all my Halloweens have come at once. Ugh. Can a Halloween come? What does that mean? Definitely. Is it black and orange? They come pumpkin spice. Oh yes. 
Merry Christmas, you bundles of sticks. Aw. Well... You two. No you. Uh, collecting vids for the holiday. Best not named so I can make farm family watch them. Need Mola's reaction to The Last of Us Bow Chicka Wow Wow scene. We'll make a nice gem. Oh, you're gonna show them my reaction to that? In fairness, I wouldn't want it to be understated that Peepo was really the hero of that scene. <laughs> Save me. Peepo oh, Unchained. Peepo. Just saw that a Lord of the Rings TV series Peepo. is on. What about Peepo? I was about to make a joke saying I've never seen a Peepo on a horse before. I have. Peepo Haw. Oh, Peepo okay. Haw is definitely one that Peepo owns a horse. Peepo Haw. Uh, just saw that a Lord of the Rings TV series is in the making, and my first thought was, dear lord, why? That's been in the making <laughs> for a while. Once it arrives, you bet we'll be covering it. Oh shit. Oh, I mean, yeah. <laughs> And to to, to to be doing stuff like that after the 4K announcement and release, like, gosh. There's, they're, they have no shame. Mm -hmm. um, let's see how many points Cinematic Venom copied from Doug. I already, uh, I'm already afraid. Also, hello, Raggleton. Oh, hi there. Um, I, I, I would have to get someone else to confirm how much he did or didn't copy, because to be honest with you, I can't remember outside of Frodo and Sam are gay. <laughs> He definitely got inspired from that video. Um, Such a weird point. Daddy Danky has graced us this evening. We are truly blessed. Aw, he's so true. Oh, thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Daddy. This podcast is officially dank. Um, can you objectively criticize food? Totally. Like, yes. There's so much to food. This is the thing. I'm not the person to ask about this. But, like, I know the difference. Like, we already... Extreme temperatures would be, uh... Easy to, to sort of quantify, right? Like, whether or not burnt or frozen. And, uh... The standards would relate to ed edibility. Which can be quantified, I'd imagine. Um, hmm. But again, not a, not a sheaf, as they're called. I think Gordon Ramsay would probably have a lot to say on this. Ramsay? Ramzon. <laughs> um, but obviously, whether or not you like the taste, not much you can do with that one. Uh, this is already infinitely more interesting than the Nostalgia Critic. <laughs> we had, what was it, like an hour and 20 minutes of uh, intro this time around? Yes. Very nice. It's what we do. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Hot take Lord of the Rings is good, but it's boring. That's not a. That's nothing. <laughs> it's just <laughs> there's always someone who finds a thing boring that's just you know what that's boring uh, dank on efab just became officially based and you have made me one happy crusader uh, axis thanks you for this gift that accent makes me miss my home oh well yeah we've been trying to get uh dankular on for a while he'd been Asked if he'd come on EFAP before, and he was like, okay with it, but I, I think he, like, didn't even know if it was a thing. He thought it might have been, like, nonsense. Like, come on EFAP. It's like, eh, very funny. Even though the, <laughs> he's just like, what even is the joke there? I don't know. But, uh, yeah, and if he's up for it, we'll totally have him back someday. Should get him on for a, for a gaming one. Oh, yeah, that'd be good. Dank on EFAP, my body is ready. Oh. <laughs> Hopefully your body survived. Thank you, you absolute mad lad. Good to catch you guys live for once. Painting up some Astartes, listening to lovely lads. Hi, Rags. Oh, hi. No. Oh. Paint them well. Oh, this is meant for Weekend Warrior. Fuck, Mary, kill, or rank. Gura, Corone, and Pika. Also, hi, Rags. I guess we'll Who? never know. Well, uh, guarantee you that I guarantee you those are VTubers. <laughs> oh, they probably are, yeah. Gura, what what is it? Gura? Uh, I'll post it for you. Rags will have to supplement Weekend Warrior. Gura. Gal Gaur Gura, virtual U YouTuber. It looks like a shark and some chick in a shark hoodie. 
Oh, then yeah, um, that, those are all V2. V2 next then. is Corona. Corona. VTuber, I guess. Images. The, the, the only Our, reason I know already this way better than the shark one. is because of Weekend Warrior retweeting all the stuff they do. <laughs> it's just on my timeline all the time. Oh, uh, Corona is the definitely the most attractive. Definitely Corona. In fact, it's not even close. Mm. It's actually kind of kind of obvious. Mm. It's definitely Corona. All right. Oh wait, you have to fuck Mary Kill. Oh, uh, fuck Corona, Mary. Uh, when you want to marry Corona? Well, I assume like here's the thing: if you marry him, I assume it's like oh, a be... lot of fucking. Right. Because if that's the case, I'll fuck Pika the once and then discard her for eternity. And then I'll just marry Corone and I don't know, get her with whatever she likes. She looks like she's the fun type. And then fucking kill the Gura shark one. All right. Is it because she's a dog rags? I, that is something that I noticed after I determined she's the most attractive. But I did notice that. That is, our, that is legitimately a coincidence. But it certainly helps. She's like a dog girl. Like one is a shark girl, one's a dog girl, and the third one's just blonde, I guess. Ugh, blonde Pika girls. V2. She looks like um. Yeah, she just looks like a chick. Uh, glad to see so, the count yeah, show up. Go. Thanks for getting me through the rest of my workday. Merry Christmas, you massives and mad lads. Also high rags. Oh, hello. Hmm. Hey guys, just want to say I'm a big fan of Nostalgia Critic, as I am of you awesome dudes, so whatever you say, still love ah. you all, stay awesome guys. Oh yeah, you bet. I'm uh... Glad you like, uh... You know? I'm sure stuff. there's things Nostalgia Critic says that are uh, either interesting or entertaining, right? Absolutely. There's He had to get to where he is somehow. Yeah. Uh, Mercury Nimbus Massives. Please define these terms for future reference. Objective, good, bad, logic, logical, convenient, contrived, plot hole, and sunder. I mean, I don't know if we're going to be able to go through all of them. That's not... I don't know if that's reasonable. <laughs> I'm not detecting any commentary from anyone else on this topic. So, well, are we... We can go through the list really quick. Um... If you want, are we looking I'm at fine with going through the list? Like our understanding of these words, I suppose. Uh, so so what's first? This is objective. Uh, doesn't have to do with opinions or biases. It's removed from those things, or not relating to those things. Well, people will take issue with that because of objective opinion, right? Not influenced by personal feelings or opinions in considering and representing facts. There you go. Yeah, just all biases. And you can have out an objective window. opinion. Yeah, like if someone shows you two plus two is four, it's your objective opinion that two plus two equals four. It's it doesn't matter how you feel about it, or what your opinions are on it. It's something that's been demonstrated to you objectively, and so it's an opinion that's not based on your personal preferences. Um, the next one is, well, so good and bad. Uh, how something relates to a certain standard is generally how we're going to use it in describing things, unless we're talking about morality. In which case, does it does it even? But even then, that even adheres count, to yeah. you know a stand. Yeah, that's even the same thing. So some yeah, of these bad. The broadest definition is the, the standard of good moral moral. Good would refer to a, a high achieving of the standard, and bad is just lower achieving of the standards. It's the broadest fucking way. But as mentioned, morality is the most common usage for good and bad. I think. But yes. all kinds of ones are because, used. like it, as opposed to like wellness. Like people say, you know, how are you? And they're like, I'm good. Is like, well, I mean, you're well, but generally, you're, people are probably not asking about your moral state when they ask. In that. the same way that like you're hammering a nail, and they're like, oh, don't use that hammer. It's not. It's not a good hammer. And you're like, not a morally good hammer. And you're like, that's not what I mean. It's um. Yeah, and you usually can tell from the context of the sentence what people are saying, but sometimes you have to clarify, and that is fine. Next is logic. Logic? Logic. Um, 
The logic would be like... How would I define logic? Um, let me see. A proper or reasonable way of thinking of something. Unless, it, which is how most people do it, unless we're talking about like the science of logic that deals with rules and processes. But even then, that's still related to the first thing. Uh, then logical. Logic. I mean, of our relating to logic. I, yeah, I mean, I just I, the I standard of logic. Yeah. Um. Then convenient. Which is just like a, a and a something something circumstantial that happens for the benefit of something. And yeah, and it's like going to be in the context of luck almost every time with what we talk about. Yeah, like a a convenience means that it is a, a coincidence that essentially works in your favor, happens to work in your favor. Inconvenience would be uh, one that's out of favor, and then like a neutral one that's just an event occurs that is now going to. Um, I don't even know. I'm trying to think of what is like a neutral, unlikely thing to happen. A so, neutral, unlikely thing to happen? Like, like in stories when something happens, but you can't call it convenient or inconvenient to the character. It's just going to be... It's now presented. Something that appears to be chance-based that is just acceptable? Well, like, to a degree. Uh, Vulture being uh, Liz's dad in Homecoming isn't convenient or inconvenient to anything necessarily. Like, it's inconvenient that it's a stressful car ride for, for Spider-Man, but it ultimately really doesn't do anything for anybody in any way, because all it does is remind him of, of the choice he's making between his life as Peter and his life as Budiman. Compare that to, you know, you're about to die, and then, uh, like, I don't know, at some point in some way a, a, a gun fell on the floor, and you can now use that to kill the person who's about to kill you. It's like, wow. Um, or just like people, I bet a lot of coincidences are things not happening. Like characters who both live in a city not happening to bump into each other. Like, it makes sense that they wouldn't. It's likely that they wouldn't. Which is why we don't mention it when it plays out that way. That you would just randomly bump in. That's what we call out the opposite. It just so happens that these two people just sort of happen to bump into each other at oh, yeah, this time and this place. And... People saying coincidence, like, yeah, I guess that is what I'm talking about, because all of them come into the umbrella term of coincidence, but then it's like, is this coincidence convenient to a particular character? Sorry, I think I'm I'm, I'm missing uh, forests for trees or trees for forests with that conversation, but yeah, that should be clear. Uh, contrived It's just something that doesn't come across an as anything but artificial, really. Like yeah, essentially an artificial convenience constructed for generally for the furtherment of the plot. Yeah, because we're assuming it's these are in relation. Very, to very work. unlikely for it to happen. Like the beginning of a new hope is contrived. And we're just assuming these are relating to writing at this point, rather than just general definitions. Because of course you can just look on yeah. Google for a lot of these. Um, plot hole. So. Oh, and uh, inconsistency. In, in the, the broadest way, um, an impossibility. This shouldn't happen. Yeah, I would, I would separate that into two categories: as I uh, implicit and explicit. Um, where I would, which is really, they're both the same thing, but slightly different. If that's a good way of phrasing it. Do you want to give examples? Um, I, an example of an implicit plot hole, I'd probably say, would be like the hyperspace kamikaze in TLJ, right? It makes absolutely we. It, it's imp, it's an implicit plot hole because the reasons we give are obviously, if that's something that you can do, everybody would be doing it all the time. It would create huge issues for the world if people could do it all the time, but it happens. So apparently it is possible, and yeah, it doesn't and the like, either explicitly but... contradict anything. However, based on the information that we have about Star Wars, we are led to reasonably believe that that is not a valid tactic, uh, except it's just introduced here. Yeah, so it's still a huge problem, but it's implicitly so. It's like, is it impossible that she's the first person who came up with it? It's like, I mean, essentially, yes. <laughs> like, it's not... 
Because that's the argument, right? Uh, for a lot of people, but like, she's the first person to think of it. You're like, I... <laughs> yeah, which is not true at all. There's no way. Um, it's just not possible. Uh, yeah, you're, that, that would be like, that would be an Occam's sledgehammer, which <laughs> is something I want to start. Oh, it's a phrase I want to use more. Just the opposite of Occam's razor, where you have to try and come up with the most ridiculous explanation that creates the most amount of assumptions possible in order to try and explain something in a movie as a defense. Yeah. Uh, TM Occam's Sledgehammer. Uh, but like an explicit plot hole would be like a breaking of the laws of like logic or reason in order to have something happen. Do you mean like this gun has like, six bullets, you fire five and they're all gone? Like... Um, it would be like, I would say that most plot holes are probably implicit ones. Um, probably if I'm just guessing off the top of my head, knife. an explicit plot hole. Yeah, that would be an explicit plot hole. Because it's basically saying that a thing can just randomly stop existing due to editing. <laughs> in a universe like there's there uh, or a um when when Yzma and Kronk arrive at the palace before Kuzco and Pacha mm -hmm. right and they just they by all accounts it doesn't make sense like that's an explicit plot hole yeah and I this isn't that's... something I've thought about much maybe if there's a better way to phrase it let me know because this this is an idea I have not thought about too much it's still in its relative infancy but I think uh, even though they're both bad and you should never do both, well, they're just a just a categorization thing. Another example, I suppose, of. would be we point out that uh, Finn has information and then doesn't have information, or rather, he doesn't and then does in the beginning of TLJ. And uh, the it's not an ex you you could call it it's not an explicit plot hole yeah, because he his he memory have... failed him. Yeah, it, it could have been that he just happened to have forgotten that against all reason. Uh, so that would be an implicit plot hole. Still an extreme... Yeah, and one's not even... I wouldn't even say, like, one's necessarily worse. I guess an explicit one is technically worse. But it, it's just such a... It's a distinction without a difference, essentially, at that point. Um, but that might be one way to think about it. And I would say most plot holes are probably implicit. Uh, because we look at them and we go, well, that doesn't make sense, and then we reference prior events in order to establish that, even though they're not might not necessarily be explicit, or the way that we gained that information might not necessarily be solid. Um, like, if, if something contradicts, like, the title crawl, right, I'd say that's explicit, because that's out-of-universe information that's established as fact, um, a, a fact of that universe. Um... Someone asked, for the fobs ruin the Star Wars movies, how are we judging that? Well, based on what the capabilities of the fobs are and the problems that they would cause in the other movies if they were actually used and the fact that they aren't used. Because they, they didn't exist until Mandalorian made them up. Mm -hmm. And it's not technology that you want to just introduce into a universe like that, especially when you treat it so cheaply. To the point where so far in season two of Mandalorian, we haven't ever <laughs> seen them be referenced or used. Like Very they, sneaky. dare I say it, probably wisely, just fucking just shut the fuck up about them. And they didn't mention them ever again in the hopes that people would forget. Because every time you're, and this is assume, and I'm, I'm, this is assuming you have to be ta uh, captured, and like tagged, to have these things lock onto your biorhythmic signature. Yeah, but I want to highlight the amount of times people are captured in Star Wars like that would create an a, a yeah they have their signatures Leia would be one of the greatest examples of the Empire being fucking stupid if they have Leia they can get her signature she's never going to be able to get anywhere near the rebels ever again without endangering them and yes. we have to pretend that that's not Neither a thing would Poe. yeah you would get an early warning detection system whenever anyone you tagged comes close to anyone of the trackers it's something they would absolutely use it's an insanely useful tool and, um, and there doesn't seem to be any way to undo them, because they never mention they in the, in the season, first season of Mandalorian, they never even suggest the idea of getting rid. And I'm pretty of, sure, uh, uh, in our conversation with Shad, he was hoping that they would explain how they make sense in season two, when the prediction Rags made at the beginning of our watch of season two was they're going to completely fucking ignore them, and they have, from what hmm. I understand, in the first five and possibly six episodes. So. Yeah. Good job, guys. Um, you wrote something to make something easier for yourselves. You didn't think of the implications, and you didn't have any creativity to be able to make it. So that it was actually easy for you to just make a fucking competent bounty hunter. 
And now look where we are. You have to forget they exist. So, someone said because each one's affected differently, the movies. It's from no real change, like A New Hope, to completely destroyed in Revenge of the Sith and sequels. So, they're all kind of tied together. If you have Leia getting captured in uh, uh, New Hope, then she's, ta she's now tagged for life. The Empire can always find her. You can never get away. All you gotta do is, as we know, we've established this, that the Empire can send out probe droids to all the planets. You can never get away. You could never hide. One beep and it's done, and they know where you are. Um, Mando and so says that establishes this, by the, way. the issue. I've got this in our edit um, so that people can see it. And you know what? This will be nice so I can be on record before it goes live as countering this potential stupid counter argument. So, Mando is operating as though fobs don't even exist anymore, even though in season one he says to Cara Dune that they're never going to stop until he kills the imp. But we find out that the imp works for another guy who is desperate for uh, Baby Yoda, which yeah, means... I don't I don't killing, know why killing the client would. I'm get willing rid of to accept fog. that if Mando's convinced that the imp is the only is like the top of the chain, and that once you get rid of him, I don't know why he'd think that. But if he thinks he's the top of the chain, he's the only one who's interested in Baby Yoda. Then getting rid of him means Baby Yoda's safe. It's like if he believes that, what it doesn't even. I agree with you. That's dumb. But uh, he knows from the imp getting killed for no reason by um, what's his name? Moff Fucking Gideon. Moff Gideon. Yeah. Uh, that Moff Gideon's interested in Baby Yoda, which means not killing him or his bosses or the people connected and tied to all of it, the, the, the remnant of the Empire or whatever, that means you're still in serious danger. But he just doesn't seem to give a fuck. Because the Empire's not yeah, gone. Yeah, and they don't. Like, they're willing yeah, to... the Empire's clearly gone. They, 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 they seem to be getting stronger as we go along. Like, the Empire is clearly <laughs> well, not gone. They've got secret bases all over the place and access to TIE fighters and all sorts of stuff. In Venus ranks. They they're, also they're making all clones pristine, and troopers. Pristine, pristine trooper armor that's not old and shit. Yeah. <laughs> all just really nice and dandy and really clean. But is it stated they were created in the timeline? So, for that question, the first time we see them... <laughs> is in the Mandalorian. And it is not presented as new technology. It's just, this is just, this is accepted tech, right? Mm -hmm. Remember the first time we see the um, carbon freezing chamber used on a person? Lando is specifically like, oh, we've never used this before on a human. It's like, da, 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 right? But everyone knows what tracking fobs are. Cara Dune knows what they are. They're used as like identifiers of, oh, I saw you had a tracking fob. I assumed you were with the guild. Like, even people outside of the guild knows what these things are. Like, these, this is apparently information that people are privy to. It ain't new. It ain't, if it ain't new, the, in, as extremely useful as they are, the idea that, like, organizations wouldn't use them to track down people, also especially being, as prisoners. Being new, by the way, not that anyone's going to care about this, but they still fuck with the sequel trilogy completely as well because of Rey getting captured. Oh, yeah. And remember, if you, like, think about this from the perspective of, like, soldiers in a war, if you're prisoners, you can never exchange prisoners now. Because that prisoner, you can never have a prisoner exchange now because you'll know that there's the chance that some of those prisoners that you've been getting back, they're tagged. Which means they can never go to your bases because they're always going to be findable. You can never use them for ambushes. They always know when you're coming. Like, it's just, don't do it. We already had a little bit of this early warning detection system that made sense in the form of when ships leave hyperspace too close to something, you get a little bit of an early warning. We see this both in Rogue One and in uh, Empire. Um, so that's not a bad rule to have. That's a pretty That's a pretty good rule to have. If you jump out of hyperspace too close to something, they will know that you're coming and they'll have some preparation. Which gets rid of one of the issues that you could have with hyperspacing, which is just, why don't you just arm your cannons, instantly jump next to somebody, unleash all of your guns on them, and then just blip away, right? You need to have some limits and some rules on things so that your fights aren't just fucking lame. Yeah. And if you're going to go down that avenue, then it needs to be the tool around which space battles are, like, built around. Like the whole, what was it, um, like, wing commander? Where at the end, they... 
the, like the whole idea is you can't communicate through portals, but portals are the best way to travel. So if you know that enemies are coming through portals, you destroy them one by one as they come through and they can't radio backwards to let everyone know that it's a trap, right? I mean, I is Wing Commander a game? I think it's I think it was like a, a movie or something like that. Maybe someone in chat can uh, um, I'm pretty sure Wing Commander was a, it's like a really old game. Cuz I think it's a game, but I also oh, think no, they a, made a movie based around yeah, it. Yeah, it's both. 1999 uh, Wing Commander. Because I think the whole thing, like the ending of that was like they found out that the alien faction was going to come through a certain point portal wise and why that was really guarded like a military secret or something. Because oh. obviously if the enemy knows where you're about to jump through and they set up an ambush, your fleet is just fucked. And I guess to cap this off, because we, we just saw it, but the end of episode five of Mandalorian, they established that they've now got a tracker on uh, Mando's ship, which is fucking hilarious because they already have mm -hmm. a way to track him. Yeah, they've completely, like, this is so. evidence that they have completely forgotten about the fobs. Like, I don't yeah, even I know guess what, like, how you defend that. Like, what what, what do you even make up at that point? They all collectively forgot what fobs are. DN the DNA of Yoda has changed, so it doesn't fucking work that way anymore. I don't know what you argue. Yeah, this is not, this is not, you gotta be really careful when you add tech mm -hmm. of a certain usefulness to your... Uh, series. For instance, like in episode 3 of the first season, when they just casually establish that Mando Scope can both see and hear through walls, <laughs> and he never uses that ever again. Like, wow, holy shit. Um, Despite being someone who uh, regularly moves around corners and immediately starts shooting stormtroopers, because that's one of the most common things they know how to do in that show. Yeah. One limit of hyperspace travel is out of way to travel. It can't be used for precision jumps. Like, yeah. But just it's just it's just like basic sci-fi writing uh, 101, and it's the same thing with fantasy stuff. When it comes to if you're world building a fantasy world or if you're world building a sci-fi world, be careful the spells you put in and the technology you put in, because if you write something that's too good, then everyone should be abusing it, and if they're not, then you got to come up with a reason for it, because you don't want to make everyone in your universe look like a bunch of idiots. Because o omitting that people do things can make them look like idiots based on the information you have, or they have, a, they should have available to them, but and they don't act on. Mandalorian season two episode one, where we're all yelling at the screen that they're not doing the most obvious thing, and then they do it right at the end. <laughs> and then, well, like the Tasm two thing, where it's like, you guys' suggestions, you know, a scientist might not do the logical thing. No offense to the, the, the people making these kinds of arguments, I just mean that uh, if Rags and I can come up with them, and a scientist can't, I have concerns. Yeah, I mean, because we, we came up with these things, like, instantly. And, like, Mando not being able to come up with, put bombs on a banther and feed it to the, like, oh. Oh. I just, I feel like I, my, my expectations for someone trained as an elite Mandalorian warrior since childhood are a little higher than the average bear. So I saw some people discussing this in the Discord. They were like, I hope they have an episode where Boba Fett can teach Mando some things. And it's like, Mando's really fucking... He's not young. <laughs> Mando shouldn't have... Like, obviously you never stop learning. But I feel like Mando should be kind of at his plateau. Yeah. He where he be... has been trained so much to do this that he's sort of at that area where he doesn't progress much at this point. If he's going to be trained in something, it's not going to be Mandalorianing. Like he's that's his whole life. He'll be teaching other people how to do it. Which, by the way, that could be fun. Who knows? Um. Oh, the last one was Sunday. Thunder. S U N D E R. Thunder. Sunder? Oh, to tear? To rip apart? I guess so. I don't, I don't know why they'd be asking that in relation to those other ones, but... S-U-N-D-E-R? That's what it says. There's no... Yeah, it means, like, to, to rip something apart or to split it apart. Like, if you if you sunder armor, you, you, you put a huge gash in it or you tear it apart. Hence the phrase, tear asunder. There was a level in Dragon Age Origins called Mages Asunder. I think it was a level of the Fade, and I will do the obligatory fuck the Fade in the first Dragon Age Origins. First mod I ever installed for a game was Skip the Fade mod. I love Dragon Age Origins to death, but fuck the Fade. Um, 
Um, and yeah, that's it for him. Alrighty. Primba's theme looks professional as hell. It's great to see Daddy Dank on EFAP, also High Rex. Hello! Yeah, man. The, really happy with how these, the Halloween and Christmas ones turned out. And of course, EFAP 100 looked awesome as well. Absolutely. We we're very impressed. Very happy. Uh, this just says, no! <laughs> Classic. This is how you doing. I'm doing all right. This is how you doing. I'm frustrated that Metroid is not running as well as I'd like it to. I'm going to have to try a different back end in, once I find a safe spot, but... I might not carry on with this game if it, it runs like this the whole time, because there are, there are parts where I'm going to have to actually be able to function properly, and if I can't do it, you know, it's not happening, but... Uh, how, how are you? fine, though. I, I remember playing it uh, without any issues. At least the first one. The second one was the one that gave me issues. You know emulators are. Down to uh, the yeah. difference PC, it can fuck up completely. Fair enough. But it, uh, it does turn into a slideshow a little too much, and I don't like it. But, uh, how are you guys doing? What? I'm doing good. I'm doing well. I'm, I'm just chilling. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you, Mel? Chilling? Kinda really? hanging out, answering questions, going into details about things. Yeah, just 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 zipping away on my on my Dranglish here. zip do da How do I tell which way was the opening, which is... Oh, okay, good. It's about to be 4 a.m. I didn't even notice. <laughs> 3 a.m., actually. 4 a.m. in Nazi Germany. Ah. Wait, what? <laughs> um... Good to see you on Dank. Since EFAP and Normies when it comes to anime, watch anything new. Also recommend Gundam, IBO, Haikyuu, Haikyuu, and Golden Cam That's how I describe Kamui. how smart I am. I have Haikyuu. Excellent. And, um, I mean, we, we, had, we talked about anime a little bit, you know. He got, he got his hot take out there. He and ER can go on an arc of talking about Steins Gate, I guess. But I've always known it to be one that people recommend for good time travel, but uh, I, I know Which, nothing about it myself. Mm. Um, hi, Rex. Hi. I saw you once on a stream with Steve McRae. How do you know him, and what do you think about the current lawsuit over Non Sequitur Show? Thanks. Yeah, um, I need to see how he's doing, hop on a stream of his every once in a while, but. Yeah, we met because I can't even remember how it is that we met, but we just hit it off fairly well. Um, but I hope that he gets, apparently he got screwed over uh, by, I, guess, like, I think his name was Kyle. Uh, apparently he got screwed over out of like rights and everything to the non sequitur show, a podcast that they were running that was doing pretty well, if I can, oh. uh, if I remember correctly. So hopefully that is legit something that could be settled because it seems that he really was kind of screwed out of his half of stuff. Uh, yeah, hope justice is done, and it seems to be that he deserves, like, money and rights and stuff. But I hope he's doing okay. We haven't talked in a while. I hope we can. He's a smart man. Mm. He's a philosoph He's a philosophism guy. Can't go wrong with philosophisms. Also, hi, Rags. Hi. Hmm. Uh, Lord Longman of Mubschlington Abbey, would you ever consider doing a YouTube audiobook? You velvety voiced massive. P.S. Hello, Wags. Oh, hello. I think you've, this person may have sent this before because it sounds familiar, but uh, I am on board with the concept. I just spend my time making the, the videos, and so. Uh, I don't know what context it would come up, but of course, I did that short readout of uh, something Wolf wrote, so that's like a fun side project, and it means that, you know, here and there, some things maybe, some things maybe not, I don't know. No promises is the ultimate thing, but I'm not against it. Uh, played through Hatred since 111, episode 111, I guess. A solid 5 out of 10, decently challenging, survival mode equals good replayability, noir aesthetic can make it hard to target slash navigate, has objective target highlight key that you might rely on too much. Alright then. Um, that's the game that was super controversial, right? Yeah, 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 everyone made a big stink about oh, it. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. Um, 
But yeah, I never played it, but it would be funny if it was good. Like, and it's just not anything like... Because I've, I've just always known it. Oh, the, the edgy game about killing everything. Uh, Rags, why you no upload, man? Um, it's in the works. It's in the works. And then I got things planned for after that. Uh, just all kinds of reasons. But do not you worry. Uh, stuff is on the way. I know it seems like it's taking forever, but it is a big project, and I really want to get it right. This is definitely the biggest thing that I've ever worked on. You know us long folk. It takes some time sometimes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Ringy, what is your reaction to recent discovery that platypuses glow in UV? No. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what he would say to that. <laughs> also, Merry Christmas Month, Mola, Rags, and everyone. Merry Crumbalombus. Oh, Merry Christmas. Merry Crumbus. Metal and Dankula equals doodle sack. It's doodle sack. Excuse me. Oh, what does that mean? doodle sack. All right, got ourselves a doodle suck. Come on, Mel, give me the answers. What is doodle suck? Is that when you suck a dude? Uh, it's bagpipe. Oh. All right then. I was expecting doodle something else. I'll be honest with you. Bagpipe. No, doodle suck <laughs> is bag of pipe bag. I w I think the German <laughs> pronunciation is like bargain poopen, isn't it? No, I just I, I I just said the word. You asked bargain me for poopen. the word. I no said pronunciation. I didn't say translation. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> bargain pooping. No, it's he not bargain pooping. <laughs> even though I really want it to be. <laughs> we all know the correct can you pronunciation. Play the, can you play the bargain pooping? And if you can't, why not? Yeah. Sweating boring. heavy in Americanism. Oh, Gene. And that's table Gene as well. It's the same person did it last time. Rags, what do you think of EDCing 10mm auto? I don't see why it wouldn't work. It seems a little much, but I don't see why that wouldn't work at all. Yeah. I mean, if you think it works for you, if you're comfortable with it, man, go for it. Get Count Dankula on EFAT. Wait a second. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Oh. Hi. Hey, hi. What's up? Uh, check out Screen Rant's Lord of the Rings pitch meetings. Uh, pitch meetings? Perhaps at some point. That's the, um, the meme with that is like, I've seen some of those videos. It's like, for really shitty movies with shitty plots, the guy will be like, we're gonna have this thing happen. And then another guy is like, why would you have that happen? That sounds like it doesn't make sense. It's like, we want it to happen. And then they move on. Like, they're, they're, they're pretty funny. Mm. Oh, okay. Uh, where's Ra? He'd love this guy. True. <laughs> Ra would love Dankula. As a Jew, I find this highly offensive. Nah, I'm just playing laugh myself. I thought it was really funny and the people who found it offensive are dead inside. Oh my god. <laughs> Thoroughly changed in a moment. Um, funds for a phoniatrix treatment for Dankula? I hope he gets the treatment he needs for his phoniatrics. Uh, Dank, what are your thoughts on Scottish independence? It's probably a big... He, he might have a are video on it, I don't get, know. We try not to get political here on EFAP. <laughs> like, uh, I feel like that's not... Uh, uh, other than yes or no, I feel like it's going to take a while for him to be able to lay out... Uh, um, but he might have a video on it, go have a look-see. Hey Dank, in your opinion, which member of the Nazi party has the most attractive feet? <laughs> uh. oh, that's funny, uh, but I need to use the loop, so I'll be back tomorrow. All right. Has Dank been okay. asked the question yet? He was asked, and he chose Rimbuskmio. Rimbolachon. That is a dead end game. What are you doing? Ask Dankula about his fetish for cheese singles and feet. <laughs> Cheese single. <laughs> what a combination. <laughs> Cheese singles and feet. I mean, it's, uh, I, I'm tempted. You know. Don't knock till you try, sort of thing, right? Uh, I guess. 
I'm gonna do an EFAP tattoo on myself. You're welcome. Oh my. Nelson the Gentleman, take care. I don't know what you're planning on doing exactly. Because the EFAP logo, it's gonna look strange. I will I will tell you that. You're cutting a squad instead. Uh, Warhammer 40k is better than Star Wars. I mean, I'd say that's very likely at this point, considering Star Wars is in the gutter. Mm. Harry Potter and the Mysterious Bat Soup. Hmm. <laughs> 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 Voldemort Delish. made this soup. He's using it to turn us all into something. He's like, no, I just want to kill you. Sp spreading the vid. Spreading das goof. Yeah. Uh, I actually caught one live. Happy Christmas, lads. Hi, Rams. Oh, hi. Maybe wow, I what timing. And, uh, <laughs> oh, good timing. Yeah. Wow. Um, happy Crumbobulus. I think we're going to be doing that throughout this entire month, which is fine. I, I think Rumbers. we've encouraged the theme on stream, you know? Rumbonia. Uh, Seaward N-word equals crossbreed Nanook. Also high rags. Oh, hi there. Oh no, the bad guys are infinitely spawning. Mm -hmm. At least after the freeze stopped for you. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Uh, based Christmas chads. It's, yeah, we, we, we're very we're very pro Christmas on EFAP as well, you know. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I feel like I'm pro Christmas. Pro Christmas. <sighs> I pro miss. Christmas. I like me some Krimbus. I miss Mola content. He used to be my favorite Mad Boy. I mean, I still make stuff where I rip into shit uh, semi regularly. Not only on this podcast, but in minis and movies. Uh, as for me being mad at stuff, just you wait. I'm going after the boys. Hmm. Um, and I'm current. Well, this is the thing. I'm currently going after Mandalorian. Uh, and as much as we laugh at how dumb it is, once we get to like episode seven and eight, we're probably gonna have portions at the end of the recordings where I talk about like how this season has been a fucking disaster. Because I imagine it's hmm. not gonna pull it through. And we'll probably go over the greater connections and patterns and how whoever's writing it doesn't have a story to tell. Rather, they have a vehicle that they want to shove Star Wars shit into. Isn't that kind of the problem when you have like a million different writers and directors for all the episodes? I mean, John Favreau they... seems to be the consistent through line. It's just that he's yeah, not he writing did... a story. Okay. Mm, yeah, he yeah. just uh, he wrote the first. He wrote and directed the first four episodes, I believe. Or he wrote the first four. I don't think he directed the fourth. Yeah, he's. Um, but he wrote the first four. I think if he had a story to tell, he would have told it. Or rather, yeah. he would be and... telling it. He's not. Yeah. You're a start. I, I see the stuff that apparently Dave Filoni wrote, and he's supposed to be the good one, and it's shit, so... I mean... I don't know. Credit where credit's due. He's the one who helmed, like, almost entirely episode 5, and it's the best of the lot, so I find that interesting, because I would have probably said John Favreau is better than Dave Filoni, but maybe in this context of Mandalorian, like, I would so? prefer to have Filoni than Favreau. I don't know. I mean, I mean, yeah, I guess now, now that they've evened out, because, I mean, even before, because if Filoni just wrote five, which was bad, but one bad thing isn't as bad as four bad things consecutively, um, so that still does put him ahead, I think. I still would want to clarify, the kind of bad that five was isn't the kind of bad that certainly one, three, and four were. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, it's almost non-stop with the amount of things to comment on that they're getting wrong. You're talking about first season? No, second season. Um, oh, okay. I don't know what Filoni did in season one. Because Filoni wrote The Gunfighter, uh, episode five, I think. Oh, okay, that was pretty damn bad, so... And that one was bad, <laughs> but also Filoni wrote... Or, sorry, but Favreau wrote episode four, and that's just... <laughs> That is a fucking steaming pile of shit. Hmm. Which one was that's that one of the worst episodes of TV I've ever seen. It's pretty Which nonsense. Which one was that again? It's the one with the That ATS was the too. village in the city. Oh, yeah, I think... <laughs> that's the second to last episode I, I've watched, I think. Also, chat, don't yeah. worry. I already know that what we say about Mandalorian is incredibly well, unpopular with the Phantom Menace right now. That's fine. <laughs> like, yeah, what? well, they can be wrong. Because the Mandalorian is a shit TV show. It's fucking <laughs> trash. Would... You'd expect people who really like Star Wars to hate it the most, but, you know, whatever. It's, um... Also, it was the second to last I watched before I picked back up. I should clarify, because I obviously watched them all. 
Episode 4 was the one that started to get people to realize that it was really poorly written. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, uh, the, when, when it's not looking good for The Mandalorian overall. I, I and, and so, I guess what I was trying to get out there was just that um, I imagine there's people out there who would love a video from me on Mandalorian. Which, like, I've been doing coverage that I'm not only editing, but sourcing with, like, <clears throat> references and with other brains. So, um... I mean, mm. that's available. Uh, well, there's only one right now. There will be another one tomorrow, everyone. Oh, premiering at some point. It'll be episode two's coverage. Then on Wednesday will be episode three. Next Saturday will be episode... No, Friday will be episode four. Because uh, EFAB will be on Saturday instead of the reverse. Um, and hopefully I will have edited episode five and six by then, too. And so we'll catch nice. up. And the EFAB lads will finally be... Hot off the presses with coverage of new media. Can you can you fucking picture it? I certainly can. Oh my my alarms. We're talking about content. Do you guys have anything planned for like Christmas at all? So I think what I want to do is pre-record an EFAP mm -hmm. for Christmas. Sure. And premiere yeah, it for all those right people out there who aren't doing anything for Christmas, because there's gonna be some people. Because yeah, I ain't gonna be around on Christmas. Okay, that's fair. Because I'm I'm just gonna be chilling in the evenings because i'm mostly only um, at family stuff in like like the afternoons and shit so i'll just mm -hmm. be at home so yeah i'll eventually get home probably late yeah. in the afternoon yeah i don't we, know when i'll be available yeah because i'll probably just do some some true merch at some point uh on the twitch uh, nothing um, else is happening we uh we're probably gonna try and get two christmas movies for EFAP movies, one mm -hmm. on Christmas Day and one at some other point. I'm hoping for that, but honestly, you never quite know. We're already at the 5th of December, Jesus Christ. I know, right? <laughs> I haven't even recorded any Christmas ones yet. Alright, well, yeah, so... No, I was just wondering if you guys uh, wanted uh, doing something live, but I guess... Uh, oh, certainly nothing yeah. live, but uh, might be able to hang out yeah, at some yeah, point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. I was just wondering. Oh, yeah, I'll you... probably be back home. I might be tired, though. I'll probably, in fact, I probably will. I'll probably get home and just crash, but... Yeah, no worries. I was Don't just wondering. Crash I get tired when I hang bad. I'll, I'll entertain the people. It's fine. Oh, you're gonna stream, just... huh? On Christmas Day? Yeah, I mean, I'm Day. just gonna be at home in the evenings anyway. Anybody who streams on Christmas Day is a loser. Yeah. I don't make the rules, Mel. Streaming <laughs> the day that Wonder Woman comes out. What is wrong with you? <laughs> I've heard it's your favorite right. movie of all time. It's not even out. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I can't believe it. You've already decided? Jeez. Wow, yeah, what a fanboy. Prejudice right there. Oh, that makes it worse for you. I don't know why you bring that up. Someone just wrote Twitch TV Sloosh Metal Commander. <laughs> Sloosh. Sloosh. Uh, but yeah, no, more, uh, more stuff just, for me is on the way. I've just been yeah. between and in amongst editors, so once I'm able to settle on some a new one I'm after, and uh, I'm hoping that I won't have to do anything for Batwoman except react to it. But I'm the one who's like uh, currently edi editing the Mandalorian episodes, and it is taking time away a little from my mainline work. But Mandalorian's only eight episodes, and I've already done four, so yeah. um, I'll be back on with the boys. The boys' script is. Uh, a bit of a monster because there's so much to figure out how to like so first of all I gotta collect all of the issues and then categorize them and then condense them down and then make a script. It's it's the process. I'll get there. I will shit all over the boys. Ew. Yay. Uh, question no for Shad ends. next time he's on. Can you objectively prove God's existence? If so, is there any objective evidence of this existence? There's no fucking way that he's gonna be going through- There's no way he doesn't, he doesn't have that. <laughs> Can you he doesn't have that. Like, hey Shad, do you wanna come on and talk about some media? You sure. Wanna... Also objectively prove that God exists? Can you like, objectively what? prove the existence of God? <laughs> I feel like that's not a subject that uh, Eve has really- into. But, um, I don't think- I don't wanna I don't embarrass him by does. trying to make him do that. Does Shad do any streaming? Like, I don't know if he does. Well, I haven't seen him stream. Like, I don't ever. think he does, unless he has another channel that I'm just not aware of. Yeah, I, yeah. I, don't, I don't know that he does, but. Uh, Fringy Wise Twilight Princess objectively bad. Rip it a new ass. Holy Green Man. 
Oh, rip it. I a remember new, sorry. not liking it. Rip it a new asshole, green man. I read that as rip it a new ass, holy green man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but you shall give it a new ass. Yeah, that is the one that gets shit on a little bit, right? I uh, I never played it, so I don't know. People in chat, can you answer that question for that person? Because I certainly don't know. So I'm gonna try a different back end. Un momento. Oh, I love Please trying new back ends. Mm -hmm. No. So as of last Friday, I can confirm that at 30 yards, a 30.06 round will leave a tennis ball sized exit wound on a deer. That's really close. Mm. 30 yards is close to get to a deer. <clears throat> All right. Yeah, I imagine that a, a big bullet was going to leave a big hole in an animal, yeah. I can believe it. Yes. Speaking of Lord of the Rings, 12 minute Hobbit short 1966. I think this business asked us a couple yeah. times. It's 12 minutes in particular, yeah. Definitely. Um, I'm with you, Dankula. Cringe makes me want to die. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Um, people who use TikTok need to be roof necklaced. Roof necklace? <laughs> oh no. I think I know what that means, maybe. Oh, okay. Um, this one says genitalia. What do you guys think? Genitalia! Oh, I like those. Yeah. Generally. Yeah, yeah. Show me well, your I, think, I guess not technically generally. Your genitalia. I, mean, I guess we take all the genitalia that are out there. That's Show a good point, yeah. Not a general genitalia. preference, actually. Uh, how did you guys like Ahsoka in Mando? <laughs> she was dull and uninteresting. I did, I, but yeah, she was I super cool with her two white lightsaber. That was super cool. I, uh, so I thought she cool. was pretty meh. The storyline was pretty meh. Um, yeah, the premise is crazy. Ahsoka is freeing some town from... Well, I, I guess that was not necessarily her goal. It was to get information about Thrawn, right? But I guess at the same time, she's freeing a town from an evil overlord. Um, and before she assaulted the shit out of it, Mando happened to turn up, which is nice and coincidental. And he was like, yo, I've been sent because you're a Jedi and you can take care of... What is his name? Gondu? Gon Gongo? Gongru? Gondu. The little, little kid's name is... He was there, is... that's where he was born. Rogu. Where was born. Um, Grogu, Grogu, right? Grogu? Yeah, baby Yoda is called Grogu Grongus, and he's uh, gonna be trained by Ahsoka. Yeah. But then Ahsoka's like, nah, he's filled with emotions, can't be doing that. Because he's a fucking infant. <laughs> and, mm -hmm. <laughs> and then they're like, oh, help me take the town, and then, and then they do, because it's really easy, because the town's filled with fucking idiots, and then that's it, really. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I was supposed to take from that episode that was so interesting. I am bored with yeah. Mando as a character. I am bored with, like, the plot lines. Probably just because he never was a character. We were just hoping we'd get one, and one still hasn't shown up yet. Still waiting for a character, yeah. Correct. Please protect the child. The child has been eaten by a big demon. Where I go, the kid goes. And, uh, yeah, I doesn't. think, because this is this is another thing about, like, uh, what, Phil is bad? And it's like, I always want to kind of bring that up every time it comes up. For, Phil is not inherently bad. It's just that I think every time you look back what, on an episode of Mando, you're like, what have we accomplished? And you get frustrated. Nothing! Like, nothing. We went to the thing that someone told us about to know about another thing someone told us about to go to, to the next episode. And then we repeat that. It's like, like Epic. you can, like, it's the lamest kind of progress yeah. where you came here, but no, actually, you have to go someplace else. So you don't even, like, feel like you're making progress. Yeah. You just learned that you didn't have to do what you did, really. And then we get the info, it's like, oh, we go back to Tatooine. Yay. Wow, back to Tatooine. We're going back to the backwater spaceport is apparently where this shit just happens. All this shit just mm -hmm. happens. Don't they have to know that it's it's Jakku now? Hmm. 
So yeah, how do we Tattooed. find you? I didn't care. And watching her slice people apart with lightsabers is not enough for me to like some Star Wars content. It's just... Yeah. Need more than this, that. Like, the fights in the show are not cool. They are boring. Her attacking the people yeah. with her lightsabers in the Force was probably the most sense a fight has made in Mando, though. And still not a high bar or anything, like I said. Uh, but their approach to attacking it was pretty retarded either way. Uh, mm. I don't know. I just I wish it would. I wish it were better. I wish it were better. Uh, haven't caught EFAP. Haven't caught EFAP live since 100. Merry EFAPmas. Oh, it's been some time since 100. We're already getting Probably. closer and closer to the next fucking y y anniversary. 13 oh, out of 50. Boy. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, fun fact, the last time Liechtenstein went to war, they sent 80 men and came back with 81 because they made a friend along the way. <laughs> oh, that's... <laughs> what a nice story. That's a really great story. I love that story. That's great to see Dank on EFAP, but I'm sad you didn't get Armored Skeptic back on for this. His fury would be most righteous. Oh, he would have been welcome to come on. Uh, good old Lord Absolutely. of the Rings coverage. TikTok is for needy millennials who have too much damn time on their hands. No one wants to see your crappy dances. Also, high wags, uwu. Woo. Hello! And, uh, yeah, I, I mean, I definitely feel like a boomer when it comes to TikTok. I'm like, stay away from me. Disgusting new things. <laughs> exactly. Fuck off, China. I hate change. Uh, have some, have some Africa money. Don't spend it all at once. Why, thank you. I grew up in Madity, rural Scotland. I didn't see anyone who wasn't white and Christian until my family moved abroad when I was 13. It made Axis sad. Fair enough. Uh, Alright, yeah. Right. Hail Zack Snyder. Well, we'll see. <laughs> what if he makes a bad Ugh. movie with the Snyder cut? Do we still hail him? What happens then? Some people will. Uh, Mola, would you rather have a permanently gaped rectum or six testicles? Uh, probably six testicles, I guess. Yeah, I would definitely go with the six testicles. Uh, I, like, I'm worried about a lot of things when it comes to Because I don't want a permanently gaping rectum. Yeah, that's, yeah. It would be annoying to have six testicles, I guess, but, like, I, I'd be able to control yeah, it. Would it. Hmm? it would just be like, yeah, I just got, like, you know, like, don't judge. Uh, Dank, who would be the better waifu and why? Jeremy Corbyn or Xi Jinping or Hitler? <laughs> Hitler. <laughs> I think, yeah, Hitler kind of wins out there, surely. Anything better than a communist? I think Hitler would have interesting things to say about games. He'd be a pretty good Jeez. gamer, I reckon. I want his opinions yeah. on Bioshock. And Tetris. Horse. But the new Tetrises, you know, after his time. Thoughts on Unforgiven, Tombstone, and True Grit, the 2010 vision? Uh, I've seen all of them, I think, and I like all of them. And Unforgiven, I like a hell of a lot. It's my favorite True Western. Really good. Yeah. I like the new True Grit a bunch. And what was the other one? Uh, Tombstone. Unforgiven? Oh, yeah, I like that one too. Yeah, they're all... Pretty dang awesome movies. I don't know um, uh, what else to say exactly. <laughs> like uh, I like them all for different reasons. Really strong characters in all of them. Uh, really fun and, and consistent representations of like westerns. Uh, Unforgiven being my favorite because it's in this in a similar way to One Punch Man. It feels like a really good cap off to having seen lots of westerns prior to it, especially being Clint Eastwood ones. Uh, it feels like a movie that could be in continuity with any of the characters he played. Um, which I think is part of the point, as well as the point that makes him the film. I don't know. I don't know what else to go over, you know. Good shit. Maybe we'll do something for Unforgiven someday. I don't know if EFAP movies would work, but... Something. 
Did you see Cosmo Variety Hour release a video on BVS? He got everything wrong and deliberately lying. He's just cinematic venom with better editing. Hmm. Um, I don't know if this is from the perspective of someone who thinks Man of Steel and BVS are good. Or if it's from someone who's saying he just got references wrong in general. So Would have to rewatch those movies and then rewatch the video. We'll see your points, because I don't know. A lot of people out there who say Man of Steel and BVS are really good. As Fringy slyly mentioned earlier, I don't know if you guys caught it, that the uh, the Ultimate Edition does not fix BVS, is what he said. Can he be trusted? Oh. I don't know. What do you think, chat? Let's see some reactions. Well, he was wrong about Bow Horse Jack guy, man. Cartoon. Horse Jack so Bowman. So clearly he can't be trusted. Hmm. Uh, Rollerino. Cosmo took a shot of your commentary in TFA about him in the BF BVS video. I was uh, I was sent that. I uh, I saw it. He was like, "Yeah, I'm okay if the change is like better though, or better for the context or whatever." It's some fucking wishy-washy shit that could easily be justified as either way. He's just trying to account for the fact that he uses two standards at once. Which isn't a surprise. That's, that's what Cosmonaut does. It's his whole thing. I wish he would stop pretending to use any kind of consistent standard beyond what he enjoys. Um, fixes some things, but overall not good. Fringy's right, the dismas are real. Who cares? The DCU is all low quality. Well, that answers my question. <laughs> if you didn't mean to, it still does. Um... I think that's where you have to pay a minimum of $14,000, Liechtenstein. You literally can't steal more out of there. It's too small. Well, that's pretty amusing. <laughs> <laughs> Even if you try to steal from us, it won't be as much as you pay. Also, I think I'm gonna go to sleep because the tires have hit me hard for the last five minutes, so... Yeah, fair enough. It's been a tough yeah. five minutes. Um, yeah, I know Mahler has been. drones on and on. I do, yeah. it's true. Yeah, he just does not stop. He's such a flip flop. Now I'll tell them about your Tizmy stream. No, I have Tizmy streams. Uh, yeah, uh, Twitch, I, I stream there pretty much every day at the moment. Uh, I've been grinding away, just hit the 3,000 followers over there. That's pretty cool. We, so we can see your needs. Like you promised. No. Yay. Are you I. Dude, are you on the memes with my chat? That's what they all say. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, Mumblo and I will actually play uh, Bloodborne uh, at some point. Uh, we need to figure that out still, I yeah, guess. Yeah, I'm not sure when exactly. We'll just have to talk about it at some point and then we'll sort it. Yeah, we're gonna, I don't know, quote unquote race it or just yes, play it? Yes, we are definitely going to race it. It's not gonna be that we try and just complete it. That's the actual challenge. We will call it a race yeah. to make people more invested in seeing it. There you go. Exactly. And when one of us Pretty beat much, the game before uh, the other, and by that I mean kill the Orphan of Kos, one of us will claim victory over the other. Oh my god. Uh... But yeah, I'm currently playing uh, Dad of Dad of Boy. Uh, finally, another good God of War after all the PSP ones, which <laughs> almost fucking ended my brain. Especially Ascension. Fuck Ascension. I just want to get that out there. Especially on hard. Maybe it's bearable on normal, but man, Trial of Archimedes can suck my asshole. There you go. That's Sounds that's like my my. Who couldn't do it? It's insane. <laughs> this fucking trial is fucking insane. Excuses. I'm sure there's like an optimal way to do it, but I, I, fuck that. It's like the spiral thingy that goes down in the first God of War or the second one. I forget which one it was. But man, you get like super tanky enemies on hard, and then you die, and then you have to do it all over again. It's like three stages, and they take forever, and you don't get health, you don't get anything. Uh, I hated it, so that's that's why I rage quit and went to go to more for. Uh, anyway, <laughs> that's that's about it. Yeah, if you want to want to just see me chill out, hang around, play the games, and if you want to see some massive hang around, it's just go to the Twitch. Uh, and if you like the YouTube's more, I have the Archive channel as well. You can go there if you want, if you prefer that. 
There you go. Yeah, that, that, <clears throat> yeah. that's about it. Sleep well, Mootle. I will see you tomorrow. Yeah. I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye. Bye. Bye, Bye. Toodaloo. Bye Chad. You flank us. <laughs> oh. Oh my goodness. Dude, he just said that. That is wild. I can't believe he did. He will be Pima Band. No way about it. Uh. So this one just says, I think it's the first season. Not sure what they're referencing. Uh, read the manga record of Ragnarok, Dankula. There you go. Uh, come in, EFAP, watch DBZ abridged. Come on, guys. Recommending anime, really? Terrible. What does abridged mean? It's like when they, they redo the dialogue with subtitles, right? I've never actually asked that question. I've always just assumed that's what it meant. Like, it's like a, it's the same animation and stuff, but it's a different version of the show or something. Chat, answer that question for me. I am boomerish on this subject. Uh, start the flipping review already. Uh, we totally did. And did was it everything yeah, did. you it wanted? It only took us three hours, but we finally started. We didn't lie. No, <laughs> it's it's just some people don't expect it to be that long. I didn't actually tell Dank at all how long this was going to no. be, so it was just lucky, I guess, that he was happy to stay for five hours. It's like, okay, cool. Hooray! We don't, yeah, we, we, we don't tell him that we, we go for like ten hours. Uh, just a comedic fan dub, fan-made parody. Really good, actually, better than real stuff. Shortened in comedic fashion. All right. Sword Art Online Abridged is objectively better than the OG. Hmm. Uh, Dank, what anime has your favorite trap? Damn, we didn't get to ask that question. Gotta send it to him in the Discord, maybe. Yeah, I mean, definitely the kind of thing that you need to get out on EFAB, you know? Very mysterious. Asta Lost in Space is amazing. No idea what that is. Um, any high Q fans? Chat, do you guys like H A I K Y U U? I'm assuming again that that is an anime. Hi you. Hi you. Uh, the Code Geass abridged episodes a classic example. Look up Soup Store. Fair enough. There you go, chat. If you're looking for some sort of a. Uh, Intro to Abridged Anime, you should check out Code Geass Abridged Soup Store, right? You go, I'm guiding people now. Door um, of Soups. Mola, check your latest Discord DM, please. I ain't freaking I'm streaming. <laughs> I, last thing, I, I, check, I check stuff like that and Twitter and stuff, usually between streams, so... I find I've got lots of stuff to juggle, you know. You know how it is. Um, I disagree with Dank you know here. Fooly Cooly makes a lot of sense, but you usually need a rewatch or two to start understanding. Oh my. A lot of zany shit happens, which makes it hard to put together in a first watch. Hmm. Like, the idea that I had to watch something three times before I'd start understanding it? Holy shit. That's some high level sh this is content of the Very, big brain. This is big brain anime stuff. Because as we all know, anime plots are... They, they're great. They make a lot of sense. Uh, Lord Dank, thanks for putting me onto Longmont Potion Castle. What a legend. I, I assume... Dunk. Just fucking pressed A, assuming it was jump when it's B. Ugh. Should be a universal, you know. A for jump. And, uh, yeah, I mean, anybody who's put onto stuff they started enjoying, I'm sure it's a good. I just don't know what these references are to anything. As soon as we have a guest yeah. that has anything to do with anime, I am lost in the Super Chats. Don't know what anyone's talking about. Here, uh, let me use the loop. Be back in just a moment. Sure.
Okay, look at me, guys. I fucking I used the toilet once. Must have Giga Bladder. Also, I believe I'm fighting like the, the weird turtle dinosaur thing next. And I'm not sure I'm gonna continue Metroid Prime on these sorts of things because like the lag is really annoying. And I don't know how to fix it. Like I could play this, but at the same time. I would prefer if it functioned a little better. What's this? Excuse me, better get some of behind of you. Oh boy. Getting married tomorrow, wish me luck and high rags. Uh, shouldn't need luck for a wedding, I'm sure you'll be very, very fine. What do they say? Something. This sayings with weddings and luck. I'm not sure. Well, you know what? Good luck for good measure. I hope it all goes very well. No, 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 no. Uh, also, yeah, I'm not going to remember the order of the upgrades in this game, I'm afraid. But I think that really isn't a bad thing, because I like walking around in these worlds. As well as the music. The atmosphere in this game, guys. Top tisms. They should remake it for PC. No reason they do that, but they should. Nintendo, I mean. Uh, so, gentlemen, how do you each like your steaks? Hmm. Um. God, it's been such a long time since I've had one. Uh, suppose I'm not like too much of a steak Nazi. I like a couple of different. I'm just trying to think of which is my favorite. I don't have steak as often as uh, I'm, I'm now realizing. Like, we also be more interesting once Rags is back. I will re-ask that. He he probably has way more steak knowledge than I do. Being an emeritism and all. Uh, you Dumbo should watch Intern... Internision Cube? Internision Cube? Uh, on YouTube? It's impressively good. Cons oh wait, it's impressively Google considering. I think, I think that is supposed to be good, but it is Google. <laughs> it's impressively good considering it's made with minimal budget. Um, I deserve more love. I'm Ola. Hello. Now, if it's not bleeding when I cut into it, it's too rare. Medium rare? Rare. Anything above medium and we ask for kindly yet firmly to remove themselves. Sirloin medium. Medium well, objectively best. And peppered steak? We got all kinds of answers in chat. Interesting. Uh, Rags, how do you like your steak? Yo. Uh, medium rare. Do you think then that it's fucked up that in some video games, if you cook it to a certain degree, it'll give you the most benefit versus others? Hmm. Implying there is a best kind. Well, that was for flavor. Hmm. Now, I imagine that the way you cook things can definitely change their, like, their, like the calories involved and how much protein and other kinds of goodies and nutrition you can get from it like if you totally just char a steak through probably won't be as tasty or as good for you as something that's you know less well done but you can't eat it raw so uh, and a lot of it has to do with how you want to preserve it like yeah sure you're probably not getting all the nutrition you can from a piece of meat if you essentially turn it into jerky but it will last without refrigeration for much longer so well, there's a lot of trade-offs but a how about a, a medium rare medium juicy kind of steak is probably the, the the good middle ground when it comes to well i mean i think it's the best way to eat one taste wise but you'll probably get most of your nutrition out of it that way there you go uh dankula alt-right podcast confirmed also high rex hello yeah, I mean, 
it's, it's about time that we were honest with ourselves. This is Every Frame an Alt-Right Podcast. Especially covering someone like a well-known alt-right leader, nostalgia critic, I'd say. Our intentions what kind have of dog you cooked me? Like, I don't know if you've been around dogs, but hey. Dogs like all kinds of meat. Hell yeah. Especially this one. Dogs will fuck up a piece of meat. Uh, you probably should never play Doki Doki Literature Club. Also, I didn't get my high from rags last time. Can I have an upgrade to Alright Lord? No, but I'll give you the double high. I'll say hello, and then I'll say hello. That was two highs. I'm not sure what they're gunning for there. Alright Loud? Is that what they want? I don't know. Uh, alright, alright, Lord? <laughs> I guess so. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord, hello. We greeting. Mm -hmm. Chris Reagan on EFAP when? Uh. If he's interested, sure. Who wants to come? Yeah. Hi, EFAP. Also, hi, Dank. Congratulations on the Wii One. Also, hi, Rags. I've been waiting for this EFAP for so long. Oh, hello. Oh, I hope it was everything you thought it would be. Uh, let's say, hypothetically, everyone in this stream wants to start a band. Who wants what instruments? Um. The thing, I don't really play any instruments. Keyboard. I don't, I don't really have a. Uh, I want to be on the keyboard. I reckon some drums vocals. sound fun. Yeah, keyboard and vocals for me, I suppose. Though I did play a hell of a lot of Guitar Hero, and that's literally the exact same thing as using a guitar, right? Yeah, yeah, that's Which what I means, heard. I guess I'll be lead guitar now. But it would be with a Guitar Hero controller. That would be the band. Um... Do you feel sad that we are making you kill these people? Oh, that's a nope. uh, Lost of Stew reference. Hey. I see you there. Every time you kill a space pirate. No, Blorthog! <laughs> you were my mother! You're like, oh wow, it's good that you pointed that out. But I mean, you guys are still shooting rockets at me, just saying. Boom, 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 boom. Seth did nothing wrong. I mean, as was said in Rainbow Soap's Halloween song with the audio file from Internet Historian while he was on EFAB, I believe, Seth was the one who was victorious at the end of the game. He got, a, he got the lesbians out of the town. That was his only goal. Don't you think it's awful Not convenient? Not only did he look like a hero to everyone else, so no one <laughs> thinks he's a bigot or anything because he apologized publicly there, but... If he, if he didn't truly change, then he got what he wanted, that's right. Exactly. And I think it's awful convenient it all went that way. He knew what he was doing when he got that bigot sandwich. He knew what he was doing. Don't believe anyone else's lies. Uh, Dank, what do you think of the anime series Lupin the Third? I discovered the 50-year-old ongoing series recently and got addicted. Basically the Looney Tunes with heists, actions, and boobs. Or well, action Lupin and boobs. The third. Looney Tunes with Apparently heist, there was a new animated moves. movie that looks really cool, and I want to check it out. What is it? It's an anime. It's an old one. It's one of those old school ones. Whoa. I've seen some of it. I remember liking it. I can play a damn good electric triangle. Hey, the band is forming. Uh... A not. Hey, not ER response guy here? I found two problems with his Life is Strange video. Mind you, I haven't played the first game. Was on the cusp of being self-aware, but he didn't qualify it. And the teen girl. The teen girl dialogue was bad. But if you said in your hypothetical Jar Jar movie you could keep Binx's voice if he said something meaningful. Also, chat. Two $10 super chats gives you more words than one $500 super chat. I mean, I think most people would know that. I don't think, if someone's giving $500 in a super chat, I doubt it's because they want to say the most. They could split that into just, what would that be? 10 times, like, like 50 paragraphs? I'm, uh, I'm sure they know, but um, could, could a movie with Binks' voice being said the same, being the same way, could it be meaningful? It's like, well, that, I mean, meaningful is a tough one to be definitive about, right? If we're talking about, like, 
is consistent with uh, the character's journey, and it, it, it has something relevant to say about the events that are happening, it's like, that would be irrelevant of the kind of voice that some people might not be able to take yeah, it seriously. what's being said and why. Yeah, like, uh, and some people might define meaningful as entirely based on just what someone gets out of it, so at that point, it would just be like, yeah, it could work for a lot of people. Um, yeah, it's about the thoughts being conveyed. But as for ER maybe didn't qualify a point in, in his Life is Strange video, yeah, it's possible. I haven't seen it in a long time, and there are certain points that uh, we don't qualify every once in a while, so we don't feel that we have to, but then some people leave comments and then we end up responding to them at the beginning of episodes of our Mandalorian coverage, which you guys Ooh. might just see in what? the future. Oh my goodness. My god. How exciting. Yes. Speaking of Donkey, he made a video mocking low-effort content on trending games, and when that's basically what he makes, and got big off like League. Uh, yeah, I, uh, I was... I think they were talking about it in the Discord, that video. I, um, I didn't yeah, see I all would... of it, but... He, like... Yeah, I wouldn't call Donkey's videos high-effort content. Neither would I. Um, and I'm not even trying to be mean at this point, because I... Yeah, they're just not high-effort. They're, you, like, you really short. You can and tell that not a lot of effort went into them. They're really short, and the editing isn't... Like, the short aspect is seriously important. Like, scripting a seven-minute video after playing through it... He... Because this is, this is the quote I heard, so... You know, I might be paraphrasing or I got the wrong context, but he says... He makes it clear that, like, it's tough to do what he does because he's a one-man show, and so... He has to record it all, edit it all, get all the visuals right, and, and everything, which I all I agree with all of that. But then he, he, like, finishes the whole thing with... And sometimes I'll have to play through a whole game, which wow. I fucking hate it when people say that. Please don't say that. Ever. <laughs> like, the one I'll accept is sometimes to review a game, I'll have to play through it like as much as ten times. Like, yeah, that can be really annoying, and you want to test everything out or whatever, and you want to be extensive, like, that's fine. But playing a game once? Okay, people, people do that, and I assume you do that for fun. Like, to say, like, oh, it's, it's trying. It's like, okay. Yeah, like, I... Like, for Fallout 76, I put in, like, 80 hours into that game. Yeah. It's, uh... Which I think is enough. And so that's, you know, a bit tismy as far as I'm concerned in terms of a thing to complain about. But then also the element of um, th all the things I agree with. It's like, yeah, but if you're making videos that are under 10 minutes, those things aren't as stressful if you're doing that, like, once per, even per month. It's good that you're doing that. I appreciate it, and because uh, he comments on how YouTubers these days have like a shit ton of editors, which means they can pump out content way faster than anyone that's doing stuff like he is. It's like, okay. But he's not doing like any editing, really. He's doing, he's doing it's more just, than it's mostly like... Just, it's mostly just random clips, kind of just put together in a sequence for the most part. Um, sometimes it'll be relevant. It'll depend on what we're talking about, I guess. Like, I, yeah, my problem with him, he's, he's kind of like Cosmonauts editing. I'm fine with it. I think it's fine. Just don't... Like, the way he plays it in the video is, like, the content that I make and others make that's, like, high effort is no longer as profitable on YouTube or, or uh, shared as much because YouTube's going in a certain direction. I'm just like, okay, chill out. He puts himself on the same sort of level as a lot of content creators that I consider to be uh, doing a hell of a lot more work. That's all. It was uh, it was strange to say the least, and I just would never throw in on my list of really hard things I got to do. You know, playing the game I want to review, the one time. I just and of course, someone's probably going to be like, "You realize he was joking?" I'd be like, "I can't even fucking tell these days if Donkey's making a yeah, point or he's joking." Oh my goodness, it's a big pterodactyl. That's fucking Ridders, isn't it? Fucking Radley. That's uh, the Riddler? <laughs> hey Rags, you said before about wanting a story where humans were badass and that all aliens were weak. It exists, it's called Death Wilders. I, I don't know if I said I wanted it, I just said, you know, I, that's something. I think, is that the thing we were talking about? I can in the believe first it's been done of, before, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Death, Death Worlders? Um, 
Last of Us already swept the Golden Joysticks Award, including Art Story, PS4, Game, and Fackin' Studio of the Year. Oh. Can you tell that those awards are a fucking scam? <laughs> like I said, I just... Uh, if people gonna, like, if it wins whatever else in future, people are like, can you believe it? Saying, like, I guess so. Yeah, I can believe it. Just it seems to be how it goes. Doesn't deserve it, but I can believe it. Well, there any chance y'all might view and comment on Astartes? Uh, it's a five-part Warhammer 40k series on YouTube. Total of 13 minutes. Uh, the the, the I, don't, I don't as far as I can tell, it's just really high quality, sort of made stories. I don't I don't know what else I would say other than it's just really well made. And I'm not invested at all in 40k, so I don't know. Yeah, anything I mean, about I, it. I don't think we're the ones to really comment on that sort of thing. I think it's really cool. I'm very excited to see what becomes of it. Not really the kind of content it's probably for us to. Yeah. Uh, also, Rags, I love your spastic, heavy petting avatar. Made me laugh every time. No, oh, thanks. I'm glad you liked it. Uh, I didn't actually make that. Someone else made that. I do not know who, though. <laughs> Whoever you are, I like it quite a bit. Um... Alright, Dank might have just earned his way on being the best guest on EFAP now. I suppose we might find out who... It's who. Good. Is going to be the the winner of the next year, right? They got they, they do those uh, polls every once in a while, so we'll see. I th I thought he was awesome. Well, like I said, we'll have him back if we can. Uh, did you hear about Cinematic Venom ending his channel? He's got a trailer for the documentary about his channel's decline. Yeah, we uh, we mentioned that earlier. <laughs> Some documentary about his channel. Well, it's weird because, like I said, he fills it with quotes from people who like have really awful things to say about him. Like the like stuff that I didn't even it's the kind of thing where you you hear someone say it and you're like, oh shit, this sounds like a whole thing that okay. Wow. Um alright. Uh I don't know when he's putting it out, but apparently he's deleting the channel afterwards, so Not a shame. We'll see. Yeah. Yeah, that's we we were we are against it. If it was up up to me, I would say don't do it. I will say it was it was it was it made my life better having seen his Lord of the Rings video in some in some ways. Um, I would I would like to see more from him, you know. Hopefully he gets better and stuff. Thank you for your service, Dang. Yeah. Service to Mimage, I would hope, as well as Yeah, I, I hope there's some people in our audience who didn't know anything about Dank's story. Because I just think that that out of context is so unbelievable. Like, what do you mean? How does any of that make sense? And you're like, I know, right? I fucking know. Oh. Um, did Rags get his money back for that awesome game, Little Hope? Also, hi, Rags. Yes, I did. I think Rags was going to be fooled hello, into... But... Yeah, I, uh, charge I did there. get my money back. Thank God. That game was shit. Yes, it was. You realize there'll be another like, one next year, right? At least you play Fallout 76. You, like, walk around and aim at things and do stuff. What the fucking... Don't know if because delayed tisms on my controller, or if just bad at game. Hard to tell. Uh... I need to get Boogie, Movie Bob, and Mundane Matt to have a meeting of the minds. Think of the advancements we could make. Meeting of the blobs. I'd be curious to know what they would conclude if you drop the three of them. What do you think the first thing they'd even talk about would be? I don't know. Boogie would talk about himself and try to emotionally manipulate all of them the whole time. <laughs> Mundane Matt would be would, would try to put up the air of smug confidence despite his horrible opinions and basically dead channels. And Movie Bob would try to calculate how he could eradicate them all. <laughs> <laughs> I think that is the obvious. Movie Bob would just want to know what their politics are from the get-go, if he doesn't already know. See, I already think that would be a more entertaining TV show than Mandalorian. I don't even know if that's something that most people wouldn't disagree with. Honestly. Um...
Afternoon Brood. Hello. If Demon Souls comes to PC, I'll probably try it over PS5. Got any tips for someone who's never played with a mouse and keyboard? Uh, tips for... Um... Hmm. Are you, are you saying that you Oops. want to play with a mouse and keyboard you never have? Because just get a controller. If like yeah, I I mean if you want to move to mouse and keyboard, which you should because it's better, um, you'll get you will get used to it. It won't take you that long, but you will get used to it. I mean, I, I prefer promise you will. controller for Dark Souls. Um, yeah, if... some games uh, people will pre prefer some controllers, um, but I think most the vast I rarely ever use a controller for anything I play. Maybe that has to do with the kinds of games I play. Um, yeah. But um, um, I w one thing I would recommend, though, is buy a mouse that has all those buttons on the side for your thumb to use. Those are incredibly yeah. useful. Those are, like, I cannot state how insanely useful those are. Uh, the G600 mouse is what I use. I uh, would highly recommend it. But you will get used to mouse and keyboard. Do not you worry. Yeah, and I I don't know what to recommend because I've never played Demon well Dark Souls with mouse and keyboard. So like I, I don't know if there's any hot hot tips, you know. But um, like I said, you can definitely play with controller if you still want to. Grab one up for the PC. Uh, would you all consider Eric July as a guest? You know who that is. No. I don't know who Eric July is, but sure. Hashtag believe in the rape. <laughs> I think I know what plot we're I'm convinced the Acme company was using Wiley Coyote to test their products. Call me a tinfoil hat conspiracy nut, but I think, uh, but that's what I think. I think this uh, testing is a famous that. If you have an invulnerable creature. That you can test explosives effectiveness on. Doesn't that seem kind of redundant? You're not really gonna know anything. But I guess you can have him be the person to test it on uh, environments and creatures. So I guess you'll get some answers. Because he orders it from them and then they ship it to him. True. Where so does he, he would have money? to order the thing that they want to test. He's I don't born. know. Trying to steal sheep, I think. Hmm. Ow. Walks in and out for that, I'm pretty sure. Dankular and Fringy, do you guys ean? Don't know what that means. I think it's a, it's a meme from somewhere. Yeah, I don't know what it means. Uh, can we make Jay finally finish Lord of the Rings Extended Edition? I mean, hopefully. One day. I mean, we can't get him to finish a stream. Can we Can we really force things like that? I don't know. I don't think so. I feel like we should be able to by law. <laughs> Once Rags and I can get it passed in law, I don't have any problem with doing it. So just give us some time. We will sort it out. Uh, Fringy, say the line. I'm pretty sure you would have said it at least once today. Hey, weekend. Gore Gura. Probably a VTuber thing, right? Why don't they just let you jump as the morph ball? Well, it's part of how they design the challenges. With well, the, the, uh... the first jump, at least, right? Oh no, this game is full of explosive challenges. But uh, when I say explosives, I mean those those blasts you lay down. Fuck. Oh wait, that was just a collectible. I thought I was actually. I guess I'm retarded. I'm not getting over there until I get... Yeah, okay, I understand. Well, it was still worthwhile. Uh... Howdy ho ho ho, you flizzums. After a battle with a faulty GPU and then a faulty motherboard, my new 380 build is finally complete. Time to play LEGO Star Wars at 1.2 billion FPS. Oh my god. That is the way to do it. I'm glad you got one. Oh, are they like in low supply? Very low supply. Damn. Uh, also, I managed to find a free online rip-off version of the new PS5 Spider-Man game. It's called Amazing Strange Rope Police. 
If anyone bought a PS5, <laughs> now is the time to regret. Very interesting. <laughs> Video coming soon. All right. Strange rope police. Amazing strange rope police. <laughs> Uh, watch the Big Les show. It's a hilarious internet cartoon about an individual called Les. Watch it with Fringy and tell Dank to watch it also. LCS, LCS, LCS. Uh, LCS is the league championship, isn't it? Or is it a different LCS? Um, League of Legends esports? Yeah, that's what I thought. Where is the elevator that I actually want? I don't want to go to Fendrana. <laughs> oh jeez, I gotta go all the way there. Fine. Yeah, chat, I'm gonna get lost regularly because I am not playing to remember the map, if you know what I mean. Um, reminds me of the time 18 years ago when a guy at school downloaded a gay porn parody of Lord of the Rings. What, well, and like thought it was the real thing? Sounds pretty funny to me. It's like, I, you know, guys, I, the story's all right, but <laughs> I just there's just a lot of gay sex in this, and I just don't know if I'm down with it. Dude, it would be really funny if he talked no, for a while. None of the reviews mentioned how much gay sex there would be in this. And, like, he follows along with conversations about it for a while until he, like, brings up, like, nobody's talking about the sex. I find that odd. So, like, are we not going to address the <laughs> elephant in the room here, which is that every ten minutes they just start fucking dudes? Like, I'm not saying it's it's bad. I'm, I, I just, I don't know. It's weird no one's commenting on it. You think that, you know, they would? Uh, would you describe the Lord of the Rings movies as dark? Mm. So, dark in the sense of lighting? No. no. But dark in the sense of it's got adult content or uh, raw and... and, and unfiltered stuff that goes to the depths of humanity to some degree. Not really. I've always associated yeah, Lord of the Rings with, like, dark. hopeful content. And, like, wholesome content to a degree, even. But it gets to be badass, too. Ooh. Hentai banned in Australia. No one wants to defend it, but if we don't, we lose shows like South Park or The Hot Nurse from Animaniacs. No one wants to defend Anime that? Anime is... Hentai is banned? You wouldn't... I would have thought plenty of people would want to defend that. Not because they consume it even, just because... The fuck? That is very odd. You don't need to consume it to defend it. Oh, everything wants to kill me. I feel very abused, attacked, and victimized. Because uh, my mom won't watch them for that reason and I don't get it. They are so good, extended especially. What, oh, hentai? <laughs> I I didn't do this, you know, they just came in this way. It's that guy that his follow-up one is obviously about Lord of the Rings, but the one in between it is specifically oh. about hentai. So it just fits so perfectly. So yeah, if your mother's too scared to watch hentai because it's too dark, uh, just tell her that it's very wholesome and uplifting. I don't know, you don't have to watch that weird monster impregnation stuff. Yeah, that's that's just one of the subgenres, you know? Yeah. Like I said, plenty of wholesome stuff. There's... A lot of content that sort of pushes the idea of friendship, teamwork, and redemption. Um, and yeah, and I'd say the same for Lord of the Rings. Not that dark. Gandalf should have Mary Poppins flown up and out. That would obviously, that'll be in the, the, the sequels, the remastered versions we'll have. Well, this I say that. be in the Amazon series or whatever the fuck it is. I can't even make fun of a potential remaster because they actually did a good job with it. So I guess I'm talking strictly about remakes and TV shows. It'll be a nightmare, maybe. Um, do you agree with Nostalgia Critic's philosophy that the foundation of all humor is from witnessing some form of human suffering or misfortune? What? No. Like, what do you think puns are? Hu Why would you ever assume that the foundation of all humor is tied to suffering or misfortune? Now, it can be very funny to see people suffer. However, that's different from, like, taking pleasure in their suffering on some deeper intrinsic level. Like, if I see a grandmother falling down the stairs, like, that could be fucking hilarious, depending on how it's presented in, like, yeah. a comedy or something. But that doesn't mean, like, I endorse it or that I would want that to actually happen. Like, knowing that it's real would make it not funny. But the fact it's in a movie, um... Uh, 
would play a part in me finding it humorous. Um, but yeah, most jokes, no one, like even really offensive jokes, no one suffers. Yeah, there's, there's also no suffering involved. Even in the spirit of his point, I think that he's full of shit on that one. There's uh, the, the, like to go really broad with comedy, you can often like link it to surprise and. Again, that's going super broad in terms of, even with puns, the, the humor comes in you sort of realizing something that you didn't quite get at the first glance or something, and then that covers, obviously, people falling over or uh, edgy jokes as well. Um, but, like, laughter's a response we can have to all kinds of things. For example, you know the, the speeders crashing into each other that we found that hilarious? If Nostalgia Critic was like, so you're laughing because they're suffering, I'd be like, no, actually, that's not really why I'm laughing at that scene. It's more so the juxtaposition of trying to present these people as a threat uh, and then they fall over each other because if the scene were presented properly and they, like, just someone getting hurt isn't just funny. It, it, this is such a... I've never even had to deal with this before. I find it so odd as a... Yeah, that's bizarre. I Maybe I need to hear his kind of, like, his justification and maybe it makes more sense than it does right now. <laughs> I don't know. Tragedy plus time equals comedy. Yeah, but that doesn't equal all comedy. Yeah, like, how do you explain puns, which are generally regarded as, like, the most simple, the most base form of comedy? Uh, Weekend Warrior never retweets my VTuber shit posts. Aww. Aw, oh, man, that must be rough. Maybe you just didn't see Talk him. about fucking... That's the most first world problem I've ever heard in my <laughs> life. <sighs> Nostalgia Critic seems like the kind of guy that diddles kids. Let's not. I don't agree with that. Let's not. He's like, you know, kind of an idiot. And... He's a goofball. Yeah, but like, but geez, like... I, no, uncomfortable territory uh, do stuff like that because like, it's just so close to fucking with people's... Um, Perception of things. Yeah, like, come on. Uh, Bit much. Finalizun. I have, I, I, I got nothing. I got nothing either. Will you cover Nostalgia Critics' old versus new Lord of the Rings? Old. Vi oh, um. Is it like? Because I remember he used to do these. He, he would like compare an old version to a new. Is it like the um, the films versus the the Ralph Bakshi ones? Are it? Um, I would be potentially down for that. Maybe if we were to watch all yeah, back I'd, to back, I'd and, then, and then we could watch his way. coverage of it, so we could talk about it as well as seeing what points he brings up. Maybe I don't know. Yeah, I'd be I'd be potentially down with that. I would like to watch the Ralph Bakshi stuff again. Uh, that was just that's the thing that that is another time man you you watch that stuff and you are yeah that is very much a different time mm -hmm. which is kind of what makes it interesting i think which is why we really enjoyed watching uh like citizen kane yeah which we, you could just tell like this was from a different time reading the poem oh uh I think it was Oi. Oh, where are you going? From The Hobbit will get you kicked off YouTube because of the line, the F slurs are reeking. Really? <laughs> wow. I didn't, well, you say kicked well, off YouTube. I'm assuming that's only if you're reported enough, right? Because uh, YouTube's rules are weird. It's just like they need to, if enough noise is made about the thing, you could probably say something really innocuous and if, if everybody reported you, um, you'd eventually go down just to quell the noise. It is an unfortunate thing, it is. This is perfect. I just finished watching all of the extended editions of these movies, and now I get this. Love you guys. Hi, Dankula. Also, oh. hello, Wags. Hello. Uh, yeah, good timing on your part. Did you think Star Wars was ending every time there was a fade? I guess so. That's what I mean. That was a worthless criticism. Very I think it's just playing on the meme that loads of people think that the ending took too long. It's just like an easy point, I guess. Because the argument was shit. Not that the arguments are ever good for why the ending is too long in Lord of the Rings, because I really feel like the conversation's over as soon as you realize how long it is in reference to the rest. Like, oh yeah, like it's it's actually not that long at all. And I'm glad that it's the length that it is. 
I probably wouldn't even complain if it was longer. Like, the yeah. resolute, you get really attached to these characters in this world, and you really want to see it all, you know, work out for people. So it makes a lot of sense that you'd want to get, you know, a good resolution. Well, what's Wesker's favorite holiday? Christmas forever. Possibly. Christmas you know, forever? Wesker, uh... I don't, I don't know what I would have to reference what Wesker's favorite holiday would be from, from Wesker himself. Though... He likes Thanksgiving because he gets <laughs> to take the turkey and... It's like, I don't know, I'm trying to, I'm trying to think of a way where he could like, instead of marinating, it's saturating. It's <laughs> complete Mountain complete, Dew saturation. Complete bird saturation. Complete turkey saturation, Chris. Chris. Um, so, uh, Chris. Rags and I and, and four others, possibly five, I can't even remember anymore. We've watched five Resident Evil movies? Or is it? Yeah, yeah it we've five, watched yeah. the first five Resident Evil movies, and they were all enjoyable. One was definitely the weak link. I wanna, but we yeah, have been enjoying watching them. I brought this up for one so that you guys can know what's to come once uh, they're all edited up. But for two, whoever the casting director was, fuck you for choosing such a lame person to play Wesker. Yeah, it's weird. Maybe he's the only person who said yes, I'll do it. Because it's not even just the casting director, I guess. It's like, that guy probably would have been able to play him hammy, you know? Um, but no, they went with lame Wesker, and I am disappointed. I would have, I would have taken even an old Jeremy Irons playing him, because he's he's good at being hammy. I I just it just made me sad. I wanted to get it out there. It made me sad. Uh, Lord of the Rings ending on the boat. I'm Frodo Skywalker. See, that would have made it so much better. There, I got my double jump. You guys happy now? Imagine the world's just better with double jump. Mm-hmm. Uh, two hours and 30 minutes into Nostalgia Critic vid. Oh, I guess two minutes and 30 seconds, sorry. Uh, you can hear Weekend's rage growing. While he's saying... While he's saying not much. Weekend equals new wolf. Also, good night, Muller, and invite Jay. Uh, good night. And... The thing is with Weekend, it only seems to be Lord of the Rings content that makes him rage. We all have the thing we care about more than you know, yeah. the rest. Um, an EFAP with It's a Gundam would be my X-Men wish. I know you have different topics, but he was just hilarious in the last Friday Night Tights. Do it, please. Hey, okay. nothing's impossible. Yeah, uh, sure, if he wants to come on, yeah, I'm sure we can find some stuff to talk about. Sure, why oh, yes. not? Why not? Uh, where does this go? Yes, that's fine. Let's just get back to Fendrana. I don't even care how long it takes. I wonder if Count Dankula will be able to last to this point in the Super Chat reading so he can tell you Dumbos to play Doki Doki Literature Club. I'm afraid he is Gonzo. But, um, that request is just popping up all the time. You remember I did say, if you had requested a movie, it's going to be much more likely after a million times of requesting, because Rags and I can, it, it's spending, you know, an hour to two or whatever. For a whole game that we've not played before, you know, that's... It's very likely we would rather fill that slot with a game we want to play, you know? Like, um... Like, we're still possibly going to do all the Halo games. I reckon that'd be funzos. Still better than Cinematic Venom. Yes. I don't know that that's helpful in terms of understanding how good the video was we watched today. Like, oh, it's better than Cinematic Venom's one. It's like, I mean... All right. That is that is true. Why did Jon Snow even fight at Winterfell, or anyone else for that matter? Arya could obviously kill anything already. There was no point. <laughs> I um, I don't think they knew, nor did Arya know, that she could just kill anything at any point with her teleporting and stabbing. Teleportation, yeah. So um, they you operated think they'd teach more assassins that. That sounds really useful. It's super cool. She literally, like, 
move so fast past the, the White Walkers that they sense a breeze and they look like, what? She's what so good. What was that? It was too fast. And too furious and stab away, she's what she does. It's so fucking cool. I was just I'm mad that a girl did it. That's why. Oh yeah, that's that's it. Yep. Where's the elevator? That. That is it. Okay. Uh, Three dollars is probably a lot of money for a dwarf. <laughs> Could you imagine someone <laughs> saying that? It's just the implication. It's so funny. Good old boogie. Nostalgia Critic is one of those YouTubers you used to love as an elderly, sorry, early teen, not elderly teen. Uh, and when you finally become an adult, you realize he was absolute garbage as a creator. Hey, look, he can he's be... He's quite the wild card. This is the thing, I we'll still believe that. he's made videos with some insight. I just don't know which ones they are. There, there must yeah, be some, like right? He... <laughs> Definitely, there has to be. He's made so many. Like, like statistically, statistically, you can't be wrong that often without ever being right. You heard metal. There might be one in there. Okay-ish. Fuck, do I have to break that with a... Hmm. Okay. Uh... Is Doug Walker an eldritch abomination instead of draining sanity drains the humor from everything? This is painful. It's... The jokes were, were really bad. Um, it's like he needs, I guess he needs a writer. But well, and his delivery is terrible. Like the fucking, is it Seacrest? Is he out? Like that's legitimately clever, but it's just buried under all this fluff Goo. and terrible other stuff, you know? His top 11. Like he just, he, he keeps going and he keeps going. Like sometimes comedy is in its brevity. It's not this it's so insistent on itself, and it just really just goes on and on and on and on. That's definitely a problem he has. Not knowing when to end the joke. Yeah. I don't know what destroys. No, wait, sandstone. I know it destroys sandstone. It's my thingy. Which is that one? Uh, pickaxes. Structural integrity of metal is stable. No flaws detected. What? So I have to go. Oh, I see. I was I was overthinking this because I, I try to remember the differences in materials for what destroy them. My bad. Uh, elves are God's eldest children in Lord of the Rings. They're objectively superior to humans in every way except their immortality. What do you mean except, except their, immortality. their immortality? I'm I'm sorry. Um, so like that's an advantage. I think so. Because you can kill yourself whenever you want. Yeah. So if you're just, like, tired of living, you could kill yourself. But you can't just will yourself to live forever? Yeah, that ain't no weakness. Um, and humans are awesome in-universe. I, uh, cool. I think that's yeah. part of the point in Lord of the Rings, is that each of the the races have their own sort of pros and cons. Uruk-hai, obviously, are, are, are good at moving things. They're muscly. That's, that's their pro. I'll take that away from them. Uh, is Doug Walker? Oh wait, uh, hi Rags. Hey. Um, Mola, please say this in your best sleazy voice. Uh, what kind of voice would you do for sleazy? A car salesman type, right? Or I don't really know. What's I'm, I'm trying to I'm, I'm running on empty in terms of uh, what my stereotypical sleazy voice is. I guess, um, I'm thinking about, like, uh, because like, the, the quote is, sorry kiddo, blue doesn't suit me, so I guess that makes me invincible, huh? That's too bad. Mola Bagano. Oh, that's, what's, what's his voice? Um, you wanna buy some death sticks? Bagano. Wanna buy some death sticks? Yeah, something like that. I wanna go home and rethink my life. All right. Sorry kiddo. Blue doesn't suit me. I guess that makes me invincible, huh? That's too bad. Don't know if that's what you're looking for, but that's that's an approximation, so we will work with it. Yeah. Hot take. 
Naruto is trash anime, awful pacing, and more filler than Rag's ruined grandma. In an episode in the sequel show, a character spends the entire runtime standing still and grunting on a bridge. Alright. <laughs> yeah, anime shit. I, uh, I've never watched it, so I got nothing. Pretty sure when it comes to Lord of the Rings, Tolkien was inspired by World War One, but there was no direct comparisons between nationalities in Lord of the Rings and real countries. Well, so this is, um, this is a double-edged sword of things. What Dankula said is, uh, is considered by a lot of people to be categorically wrong because Tolkien said the things that he said. However, to interpret the scene where the, 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 the Minas Tirith people are heading toward Osgiliath and they're all getting fucking mown down because of a shitty choice that Denethor makes for whatever reasons he makes them, you could definitely talk about that scene in reference to how world wars were fought. There's no yeah. reason, like, the idea that Tolkien's like... Oh, that is like, from the movies, and I don't know if that's from the books. Right. Um, yeah, so in that point... Assuming it was in the books. Yeah, without that, I guess you just talk about Peter Jackson, or, or just um, how, how you read that scene, you know? Um, but I don't... I saw some people recommending um, there's interviews with Tolkien talking about this. Uh, so... But I have to check them out first to get a better perspective on it. I am sincerely pissed. Tolkien is such a noble writer and his style is a lost art. And the heck, Nostalgia Critic? Um, well, as he did, he did clarify. He loves the films. He just needed to find 11 things he had issues with. And that kind of, thinking about it now, that explains most of the list. Because clearly he only had a couple. And so he, like, went nuts and tried to find any. So he just, like, dragged a couple. I wonder if he, like, looked at a list online, like, flaws in the Lord of the Rings. Yeah, maybe <clears> he did. <throat> a really bad list. Very bad list. Uh, your guys' opinion on this? As someone who just wants to see the real Superman again, I wondered if there's a point you think, okay, things have to change in an adaptation, but this just misses what makes the work special. So, let's uh, go with, I guess, Hill House is probably the best one. If it was a book that I had read many times in my life, and I not only thought that it was the greatest book ever written, but that I show people it and have them read it because I think it's the kind of work that everybody should read because it has something important to say, and then an adaptation comes out, the Mike Flanagan one, and it has fuck all to do with the book in any way, shape, or form, I would be pretty angry. Um... And I would possibly make those arguments, and I would highlight that um, he's missed the point of the work as well. Like, instead of just making something he wanted to make, he's missed how like important this work is or whatever. At the same time, I'm not calling the work bad in terms of like its structure and writing and story and stuff. Just gotta be real, real careful with that line being crossed. I think you can be righteously outraged when something that's adapted from a previous work has not done it the way that you would have thought was important for it and, and, and maybe, shared. And maybe you could also legitimately have like false advertisement concerns as well. Yeah, and because of course a lot of fans are going to be checking this thing out, specifically because they like the thing it's adapting, so that's uh, not very fair either. Um. But again, I just want to make sure we separate out those two, sort of, metrics. Um, Alright, we're almost there. To Vendrana Drifts, I mean. <laughs> Sleazy Voice, Lord of the Rings, Tolkien, where am I? <coughs> also, yeah, I would, uh, I think that is an interesting conversation to talk about, like, what in the original was so special about what the story was getting across, and if the adaptation tried and failed miserably to achieve, like, the same thing. I wonder what's worse, for it to try and for it to get it, like, backward and fuck it up, or for it to not try at all and do something completely different. I wonder which is more infuriating for Probably... Probably the former. Because at least you could... Because when it comes... Because if you have something that isn't even the thing, then it's probably going to be really easy for people to compartmentalize that it's not even that thing. It's just the name, and yeah. that's it. That's where all similarities end. But when they specifically are trying to do something and they fail at it, or even worse, as you said, get it backwards, then 
I mean, I could see how it that, that would be seen as a much clearer like if they were, um, of the material. If there were a Lost Jedi book, and like all the arcs are really well done and clear and, and represent a sort of journey from uh, failing and trying to move on from that and learn and stuff, and then that's what we got in the film. It's like Jesus Christ. Yeah, I mean, like, like we wouldn't have a problem with that. We'd say it's good, but it's a bad adaptation. <laughs> Oh, I meant, yeah, like, it would, at that point it would be a bad adaptation and it would be, like, infuriating in that they clearly were trying to adapt it, but they were just too incompetent versus they just wanted to make something else. Interesting uh, thought, though. Maybe Peter Jackson took the Will War One change charge over No Man's Land angle more thoroughly than Tolkien because that was his directorial interpretation. Yeah, it's definitely possible. And I gotta be honest, guys, ultimately we got the, uh, Good old death of the author is poking its ugly head in here. We gotta be, we gotta be honest. Even if Peter Jackson and Tolkien said that that is not how you can read that scene, I'd be like, you can read it that way. So, it's just that I, I was more invested in the what's happening for Faramir as a character versus uh, what this represents overall in in the battles to come or, or the war itself. Though, I still stand by the whole, like, calling, saying that scene is war is bad, it still to me is, like, weird. Like, no, is, it's, is defending your lives at Helm's Deep a war is bad moment? Because if you're like, well, no, that doesn't count because that's defending yourself from a war someone's committing on you or something, I'd be like, okay, well then, fine, let me make it more specific. Defending a country that you know is, like, being destroyed for no good reason by declaring war on the ones that are doing it, is that bad? We gotta be careful with- Yeah, is it war is bad to retake things that have been taken from you and unjustly through a war? This comes in with a whole like, revenge is bad. It's the most fucking lame ass take ever. It's like, you're not exploring any of that at all. You see revenge, it cycles and makes you violent. Everyone dies, it's horrible. And then you're like, so who is, who is responsible to stop committing the bad? I guess it wasn't Abby. No, not her. She got what she wanted. Yeah. You even got to be outraged at Ellie. We let you live, and you did this. It's so funny to me, it's like, yeah, you probably shouldn't have, you fucking idiot. Do you know how humans work? Like, I think we've talked about this before, but I just find it funny. If I, if I killed every single person you loved, Rags, and said, like, I've left you alive, you better not come after me. Like... <laughs> yeah. You wasted it. Um, currently working on my first critique, The Last of Us Part 2, so I'm gonna have to catch this one later. Fair enough. Demon Souls Remake is my game of the year. Absolutely kicks every other game of the year's booty. Also the OST slaps. Yeah, I mean, the Souls games OST is fucking fantastic, so I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't mind playing that someday, but I don't have any intention to pick up a PS5 anytime soon. Me neither. Hey, Mola. Hello. Hi, Rags. Hi. Uh, Daddy Dank. Love your Apex content, your video about hentai in Australia. Patiently waiting for equilibrium memes where Sean Bean is murdered for reading anime. <laughs> He's not reading anime. He's reading, um... I think it's Yates? I don't remember. I haven't seen equilibrium in a while. But, uh... Been a while, yeah. I agree. Would be good. Or, not Christopher Nolan, but uh. <sighs> Rags, uh you... Batman actor, fucking Chris Christian Bale. Bale. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. He's in it. Um, who else is in that movie? I think of um, the guy who was in Saw Three. The protagonist in Saw Three is in that movie. And the one who plays Alfred in the Gotham TV show? I think he's in it too. These are some distant references, but anyone who knows what I'm talking about is probably like, oh, maybe. Uh, Rags, would you poop with the door open and EFAP chat watching you if you could then sleep with any single person you want in the world? Yes. <laughs> I was actually, like, thinking, running my, like, simulation of you in my head, like, what would you say? And I was like, I'm pretty sure he'd say yes to this. 
<laughs> Lord of the Rings trilogy and possibly The Hobbit as well are written as a biblical allegory thanks to his friendship with Charles Dickens. Uh, well, I mean, what was it? Cracked certainly thought so. Yeah, they picked out a race per uh, all kinds of religions. I prefer different interpretations. Choosing a mortal life like Elrond's brother Elros, who chose a human life and became king of Numenor. What like a in, loser. I mean, yeah, I think king of Numenor is neat. Just not quite as neat as immortality, you know? Yeah, that's going to be a hard one to pass up. They call me Dr. Love. Fair enough. Egoraptor hates God of War because you throw axes at things and stuff happens. Okay, so... Sorry about this, but... Nobody should really take Egoraptor's game opinion seriously. Um... I think if you've anyone here has watched Game Grumps, it gets really hard to appreciate his input on video games when you see how he plays them. Uh, and of course, he already pissed everyone off with his Ocarina of Time video, which I haven't seen in a longoid time, so I don't even know if it is actually terrible, but you know, you hear stuff. I thought immortality was a useless power. Yeah, if you don't have any other power, it is considered a really shitty hmm. power. That is canon. Oh, that was the thing that was said by a person. Bing, bing. Oh, oh, what a jump. Fucking nailing it. Oh, what a jump. I fucking oh. jumped. I'm so proud of myself. Oh, fucking jump that was. Uh, stuck at it's work, sadly, brilliant. but you guys keep me going. Oh. I hope you had fun at work. Hope you're home now and you can some food, go to sleep. We've been going for nine hours. Wow. Which, um, Long time. Yeah. Uh, rags is for hug, but cha are for thug. Mm. Alright. Male or female cha, rags? I don't know. Um, I mean, both are fine with me, honestly. I think I'm going to go with male, though. Because I have a decent mix of both on my accounts. And uh, top or bottom? For me or the char? If it's I'm me, guessing you. probably bottom. We all need a big, strong char daddy in our lives. <laughs> and then he goes, Probably I want that. a femme char to rough me up and make me pay for Ascalon nightly. What is Ascalon? So, like, in the lore, Ascalon was a, like, a kingdom that the Char used to fight, and the Char invaded Ascalon and stuff like that, and they'd been in this battle. But the king of Ascalon, he was this crazy guy, and so he cast this, essentially, this big fucking spell that killed, like, all of the Char in Ascalon, the city and stuff like that, but it also killed all of his own dudes, and now all of the humans, because the Ascalonians are humans, and now they're like trapped to be ghosts forever fighting over and over and over in like a ghostly form against the Char um so, yeah, there you go there's, there are enemies, fight a lot of, fight a lot of Ascalonian ghosts in uh, that game so. mm. Rags Mike is making a weird compression thing whenever someone else talks at the same time. Also, hi, Rags. Oh, hello. That is very odd. I hope that I think... stopped happening. Well, it's weird because um, I think I know what they're talking about, but it, it's not consistent. Like, it doesn't always happen. And, and I think it does happen to more than just you. I think it's a Discord thing, and I'm not sure when Discord decides to do it. It might be when there's more than a three voices, or just three voices. Maybe. It should always prioritize me. I know, but it, you know sometimes it just doesn't. You might want to file Sometimes. some kind of lawsuit. Talk to Legal Eagle. I hear he's very, uh... He's very I'm not a up woman, on the legal so not gonna start with me. Oh, damn it. What if... I'm uh, not a... I'm, the problem is that I'm not a guilty woman. 
That's like his exclusive clientele. That's yeah. all he will do. Are you a woman? Are you guilty? <laughs> I'll defend you so fucking hard. Has a lawyer ever advertised that way? Are you guilty? I will help you. You're like, oh. Are you guilty? I'll help you. And then the, the, the defense is like, Your Honor, they're guilty. If they weren't guilty, <laughs> they wouldn't have taken the case. I get a weird erection thing when Rags talks. Yeah, well, I yes. mean, it happens. It's a natural result of the way that I speak and all the things that come with it. You can, you know, Google like things to do about that. You know, I can't, I can't say I want to recommend Google any. things to do about that. Yes. And the first thing, regardless of context and what it is, will relate to it. what we're talking about. Or relate to what we're talking. About. Uh, I think we already came to the conclusion that you are ruin art and you are watching movies wrong. Also, high rags. Ah, uh, hello. That's all right. Yeah, we'll, we'll get, get over, over it. it, you know. Yeah. I'm really not that worried. Now, will y'all get over it when we tell you some of our incredibly hot spicy takes? Oh, I don't God. know. Wow. I don't know. So we'll we'll have to see about that one. Several stress fang. Oh my God. Hey, that one was breakable. Oh, I think I just lucked out, because I don't think any of these other ones are breakable. Oh my god. You're unbreakable. Bam, ba, damn, ba, bam. Uh, hi, Raggy Saggy. All right. Oh, hey there. Uh, building my first PC, so don't have the spare money to keep recommending Outer Wilds every stream. Seriously, though, play Outer Wilds. I've got you, man. Uh, glad you're getting a PC done. Absolutely. Everyone should have them. They are super useful tools. If anyone wants to try and frame the conversation as, what do you play games with? Is it going to be a console or a PC? And then you start weighing it up, it's like, whoa, 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 whoa. PCs can do a hell of a lot more than that. They are super useful yeah. for all kinds of things. Enjoy your PC. Or it shall treat you as well as you treat it. Hands are frozen in place. You can't be having that. Looking wrong. Doug Walker, sorry, Doug Walker rated Atla above Lord of the Rings. His scale needs some work. Does need some work. Um, if the movie had had this scene, it would have been better. Yes, Doug, and if my dong had fins, it would be a satin rocket. <laughs> okay. I thought you were going to say like a shark. If my um, dong had fins, it'd be a shark. I think that's fair, yeah. Doo -doo -doo. If the eagled in, they wouldn't be able to land anywhere safe. No, they can't just drop the ring into the volcano from the air. That is not how volcanoes work. See pressure, complex structures, etc. I don't think they would want to drop it through into the top. I don't I think that would be way too fucking risky. I think the idea would be to land and just get it in there as soon as possible, but once again that plan this is actually a criticism i think we did we did we say this in our coverage with the with the movies thing but that sauron should have probably a lot more security on mount doom unless he's unaware that the ring is they're attempting to take the ring there to destroy it yeah i think the idea is that sauron wouldn't even think it would be possible that someone would want to destroy the ring because for the last X thousands of years or hundred, hundreds and hundreds of years it's been coveted to the point of dangerous addiction by people it corrupted Isildur and Boromir and Smeagol had it for all that time like the idea that someone would willingly come to Mordor to Mount Doom in order to destroy it like I can see that that wouldn't even factor into his mind like how is it even possible that a mortal would do that yeah, um, so the idea, I guess, would be that if we were to take this seriously and the eagles are all on board, it'd be like, we have to land outside the entrance and run in and drop the ring in there. Which, again, risky as fuck. Um. Yeah, whether or not, I guess because uh, Sauron, like, clearly... You can infer that he didn't think that's what they were going to be doing. Um, but, like, when he got access to... It was Pippin's mind, right? Through the, um... 
Like, I'm trying to wonder, is there any direct reference you would give for when Sauron realizes what their plan is? I don't think so. I don't think I've ever thought about this. Like, is Saruman or Sauron aware of what the plan with the ring is? And do they know... Do they know what it is? I don't know. So, would Saruman know? I don't know. Or does he just think that... What does Saruman think that the Fellowship is doing? I assume they think the Fellowship is hoping to keep the ring away or to destroy it, but I'm not sure there's any reference for them thinking that the way they're going to try and destroy it is throwing it into the fires of Mount Doom. I don't know. I'd have to ask a Lord of the Rings expert on this one. I can't remember what this is. I think I have to use rockets to kill this guy. Someone said he doesn't until the end. Pippin manages to keep information about Frodo away from Sauron. Yeah. What did you tell him Which about I Frodo can, and the Ring? I could believe. Yeah, oh, I that's probably yeah. That's, that's probably the up. reference I needed. Because why would Gandalf yeah. say what you tell him about Frodo and the Ring, if not for the fact that um, that's still information Sauron doesn't have? Yeah. All right. Good stuff. Uh. uh Boromir brings up reasons why one does not simply walk into Mordor. The orcs can shoot them down. The volcanic toxin gases would kill them. So I mean, I think I think we covered it pretty well. There's lots of things to consider. Yeah, um, it's mainly coming down to it's way too risky. Yeah. Um, the eagles are magical beings. They cannot enter Mordor while Sauron lives because his magic will kill them. They can only enter once he died. I mean, that is it's not in the movies at all. Yeah, it's not in the movie. Though, I would accept it if, uh, if they had that as a no, I, I don't think the eagles arrive until the ring's been cast in the fire, so that seems to be the point where they're able to... You know, like, all of a sudden they show up once the ring is destroyed there. So I'm like, well, maybe that lends credence to the maybe, idea yeah. that... Yeah. I'm not sure, though. That, that goes into the maybe pile. Missile's low. How dare you. There are boxes to destroy? There are. Um, remember, the RNG has a will of its own and wants... Oh, sorry, the ring, not the RNG. Uh, <laughs> to get to Sauron. If it should fall, or rather, escape from the eagles some... Escape from the eagles, how do they find it when it falls into a field or a swamp? It's too risky. Yeah, that we, we brought that up. That is a big risk. And, um... Doesn't fucking... Was it Nostalgia Critic that said, like, putting it on a necklace around Frodo where everyone can see it is dumb? Isn't that something he said? It's not mo It's not usually visible, as far as I'm aware. Well, I'm... I, but also, I, you don't want to... You don't want to wear it. You know, I mean, I would feel very... Especially because it's heavy to the ring bearer in particular. So you would know the instant it was unaccounted for. I like, mean, we even see by the end, there's, like, a... Like sores in his neck, where the yeah. ring is the you know been weighted down. Like it, it's it's a place where you know the instant it is not accounted for, you're aware of it, and I you mean, wouldn't want it falling through like a hole in your pocket or something like that. But fastened around your neck with a chain seems like a fairly good idea, considering. Yeah, I mean, I'm, uh, I think it's fine. And it, like the thing with Barmia happened because it fell off, not because it was super visible or something. Someone also mentioned that Saruman had birds by the thousands and used lightning storms to fuck up a mountain. So that would probably dissuade an aerial attack by eagles. Yeah, I mean, Saruman yeah, seems true. like he that could have true. fucked him up yeah. to a tad, yeah. There's lots of things to infer. I think that it's just people slip into it way too easy. Halloween is for inferior beings. Amen. Oh, shit. Even, even a Chris Moid, Chris Massive, celebrates Halloween here at the Onion Fan. Yeah. We had lots of fun with Spooktober. It's, uh, it's, it's October was a okay. Uh, it's alright. GF met Nostalgia Critic once, said he was legit nice, and it was a shame to see him go down the gutter the egotistic way he decided. I mean, he seems like a really nice guy that you could easily get along with. You could probably just. He, yeah, he he's seemed... probably legit like a normal person when he's not hamming it up for the camera. Yeah, it's one of the weird tidbits I know is just the. He thinks that's like, that's the way it's supposed to be done, like content-wise, like you should act that way, and it's just like, ugh. Ah, oh, 
we have the wave beam. Um, yes. Someone pointed out the mouth of Sauron says nothing about the ring after they capture the halfling in Mordor. Because Frodo was not captured with the ring. Oh, yeah, because that, that's, that's part of why Gandalf says to shut the fuck up to uh, Merry and Pippin, right? Because he's like, don't say anything. This could be bullshit. Yeah. Be quiet. Like, yeah. And even the mouth of Sauron looks interested. Like, hmm. Yeah. Uh, how's Rags? Oh, I, he's doing really well. He's doing really good. Um, kind of had a rough Thanksgiving week because I had a had a fairly nasty flu. It wasn't the big coof. Just a but, uh, medium yeah. coof. Just a just a bad seasonal flu. I got tested though. Um, that wasn't fun. Mm. But yeah, uh, I'm doing all right now. Doing pretty good. Been working a bit. It feels good to be working on that video. Uh, chug, plugging away at that slowly but surely. Uh, thank you for refap. Really nice when ending the work week. Hail Rags, uh, the red nosed doggy. Oh. Oh. Yay. Yeah, we like doing it. Nice to, nice to have a nice little. At the end of the week, we all have a chat, watch a shitty video. <laughs> that's, the, that's the way it be. Uh, yes, yeah, still better than cinematic Venos video. Uh, yeah, I, I agree, but again. I feel like that really doesn't capture what we saw, which is a really bad video. I mean, like As I've said before, Cinematic Venom's video is still a contender for the worst video we've ever covered on EFAP, right? I'd so, say so. I'd say definitely. I know that people feel that way, so yeah. It's, uh, it's gonna be hard for another video to be as bad as that one, just saying. Uh, who's Rags? Who's that one? Right oh. here. He's a he's a good boy. Yeah, yeah. Still not his worst video, but man, that was bad. Um, what was the other one we yeah, covered? The Van Helsing one. one. Which is worse, Van Helsing one or Lord of the Rings one? I don't know. Probably the Van Helsing one. I'm trying. I think he got more wrong about Van Helsing than he did about Lord of the Rings, right? Because you need. It's probably well. It's probably because Van Helsing should have been a lot easier. And he yeah. messed that up. It's like a really easy dive that you mess up. Versus something that's really hard to you As opposed to you tried fail. something really... Yeah. yeah. Um, I have a question for Mola. You've described H-Bomber Guy as a hit or miss. I am curious as to which of his videos you believe are worthwhile. His Sherlock one? The sure. That's what, like one... I think that's my favorite video from him. I'm not even sure at this point. Um... I thought his response to Paul Joseph Watson about soy was pretty hilarious. Especially when he pointed out that um, on the, the bottom of the thing that uh, Paul Joseph Watson was like selling to people had um, include soy on the bottle. And like... I think he misses the point though. The reason we the, the whole soy thing is big is because it gets a reaction. No, I agree with that, um, because that was something that I even was, I had chat with Jay about, like, I don't, when I ref refer to anything as, like, soy version, if someone's response is, uh, soy doesn't do the things you think it does, I'd be like, I don't give a fuck what soy actually like, does, you don't, it's a meme. You don't know what I think it does for his like, stuff. like, Paul Joseph Watson actually argues, like, from a nutritional level, like, I don't give a fuck about the nutritional part, I'm just, I'm just laughing at the memes. And, like, he went on to say that the reason there's soy in the product that he sells is because there's so much of the opposite, you need to balance it out, or something like that. Brain force. I thought it was amusing, yeah. but, uh... I don't, uh, I don't know much, I don't know about nutrition, I couldn't speak to that either way. Neither do I. Uh... One of the ones... I mean, I know, I just, I just eat all my food groups and that, it seems to do the trick. Well, you're still alive. Yeah, That's it's good. working so far pretty well. Um, his Fallout 3 video is pretty good. I, this is the, I, I'm no longer sure about the Fallout 3 video because apparently there's several responses to it, and the fact is I'm not passionate enough about Fallout 3 to know what he did, and I don't... This is the problem with being a hit-or-miss channel. After what I did with DS2 with him, 
I can believe that he's misrepresented Fallout 3. That's the problem. So, yeah. I would have to play through the game and then check out, you know, what everyone's said and done in relation to it. So I can't, I can't guarantee that one. But I did see a lot of Sherlock, and I thought his video was really fucking good at breaking it down. Um, I saw half of his video on... What's it called? The uh, Ruby. And as someone who hasn't seen Ruby, I thought that was pretty good. Well, chat, you guys like your anime. Was was that video any good? Have you guys seen it? Because it's it's pretty apolitical from what I remember. It's just mainly about... I think I, I, I mentioned this to you, right? He's like... He talks about how it's inconsistent. It's just like, hey... Oh yeah, that's pretty... <laughs> it's like, I know this. Um, but there are plenty of videos I, the, the, from him. Like, his DS2 video is one of my most fucking hated videos on YouTube, so... That's why I call him Hit or Miss. I mean, even if somebody, like, misses 70% of the time, in a sense, I'd still happily categorize them as Hit or Miss. Yeah, I mean, yeah, if, you, if you're right a third of the time, you know, that's... You know, it's not, it's nothing to discount. Ideally, you should be correct more than 30% of the time. Yes. But, you know, it's still nothing to scoff. Like, you can't, you still can't discard it. Um, you should pull the chat to see how many are weebs. I already know all of you are weebs. Come on. The amount of anime discussion. Um, yeah. Take a, why is nobody... I asked the... Th there's got to be somebody here who's watched Ruby. You guys are all obsessed with the animus. I refuse to believe anything else. Bom, bom. Weebs will be purged. Alright, fine, fine. Look at all of them saying they're not weebs. Fine. I'm offended, yeah. Mole. <laughs> oh, the weeb. We found the weeb then. Bom, bom. It's pretty good until he started simping for the White Fang, basically the Antifa of Ruby. Okay, I guess I didn't get that far. Um, but yeah, I'd have to look through his library to remember which ones uh, that I liked. But the Sherlock one, which by the way, uh, Jay put out a tweet saying that that one got taken down. I don't know if it's still down. I hope not. Because it was, it was darn entertaining watching someone rip apart a show that I thought was really shit and everyone else was like, Oh, it's so good though. Have you ever had this happen, Rags, where you think something's bad and someone else keeps saying it's good? Have you, have you, have you ever come across that? You know, I've, I've, I, I think I've been there. Whoa. I think I, I know the feeling that you are referring to, yeah. God. Uh, you should watch the Game Awards live, please. I, so the problem I is... I wouldn't watch them. Yeah, I wouldn't watch them while I'm alive. This so many reasons. First being, I don't give a fuck about the Game Awards. Right. Yeah, I do not care what they have to say about basically anything. Second, every category is just going to trigger me, because I will ask how they categorize it. I will not get an answer, because how could I? And then I will try and figure out what the categorization would be for myself, and then pick an obvious winner as a result of the... So this comes into problem next. I wouldn't have played all of the games, so it feels weird to try and even comment on it. I barely keep up with like the Oscar winners for movies each year. I do try. But like, oh, playing all of the, I just, the, the you don't want to hear my commentary on that. I'm going to be like lost for a lot of it. Ruby is an anime because it isn't Japanese. Fine. <laughs> you know what Whatever. I was asking. I uh, Ruby volume four and on is isn't anime Ruby. not a style. It has to be specifically from geographically. I don't even like, I watched a video going over this. And the conclusion is like, it's so fucking hard to figure out what it means to even be anime at this point. It, it depending on who you talk to and what they've seen. Um, but uh, of course, I imagine most people know what I and uh, most are referring to. Whether or not Ruby's an anime is not important, is where I'm going with that. Do I, did I unlock Speedball? Oh wait, yeah, I did. Fuck, I completely forgot. Mm. Hi, Dad. I don't know if that's you or I, that's aimed at, but hello. I mean, it, it might be. <laughs> and if that's the case, hello, son. I didn't even know you existed. Hello, son. How you doing? Uh, this is Watts Rags. I'm not going to discount the possibility of me having sons out there somewhere, but I highly mm -hmm. doubt it. Uh, hi, Rage. Hello. 
Is my name stupid? His name is Jordan Newitt. No, I don't think so. I think that's fine. I've heard... Jordan's... That's fine. I think Jordan's a strong name. Newitt as a, as a surname. That's fine. Yeah, it's not like Keith Dinkle or anything like that. It does not. Like, Newitt doesn't strike fear into the hearts of men, but at the same time, it doesn't strike hilarity into the hearts of men either. Yeah, Hewitt is fine. What about Newitt? Newitt? Mm-hmm. Um... I think Newitt is an Egyptian... God, let me double check. Well, hey, bonus. You're right. Mm -hmm. Knew it. It's French for night. I knew it. Goddess in Um, I was like an astrology thing for it. Yeah, I, I don't know. I guess I don't know. Yeah, knew it's fine. Nothing wrong with knew it. It's a fine mm. name. Nothing wrong with that. Dank likes burnt. All right, Dank likes burnt trap feet. <laughs> burnt trap feet. Why? Why burnt? I just, um, well done. <laughs> well done, trap feet. Hi, rags. Hi, fringy. Oh, hi. Uh, will we get to see Dankula lopping as an IRA member if he's the enemy, like he did in his Among Us birthday stream? Um. I mean, we didn't see it in that in that game, but he certainly drew some IRA, which is the important part. Poor shaming Dank because he don't have a Ferrari. No right. He can't even rent Lichtenstein. Lord Muller, can you and the Masters of EFAB do a deep dive on the Twilight Saga and possibly dissect each movie for entertainment purposes? Um. No. If, like Resident Evil style, like it's. I don't know. So on one hand, it'd be pretty funny. But on the it other, could. it's Twilight. Yeah. I feel like I'd rather do like the Scorpion King and stuff like that. Yeah, if it were on a list, it would be lower down than most of the other things we want to check out. So, I suppose that's, that's an answer. Wait a minute. Oh, I can't. I think it's the power bomb I need to get through there. Um. Nostalgia Critic. War is bad message was too obvious. Meanwhile, the layer of cinematic venom. For no reason. I'm sure together... I think war is bad for no reason. Together they could make the ultimate Lord of the Rings takedown video. Yeah, I suppose they could. It would be unstoppable. Now. Oh no. Don't shoot me. Being a little colored is better than being a little hope. Nobody wants to be little hope. That would be very bad. Little hope is. Mm. Uh, that's like. Ugh, that's bad. First super chat. Christmas is the best. Halloween sucks. And tell Rags I said hi. So, um, you know, Christmas can be the best without Halloween sucking. This anti-Halloween sentiment is just getting to be too much. Can't handle it. Poor Halloween. I have to watch a whole bunch of he Halloween movies. You didn't tell movies. me that he said hello. What? You didn't tell me that he said hello. Oh, I thought it was included when I said that, but I hadn't finished responding to it, so that could have been on the end of what I was going to say, you know? Oh, uh, But yeah, he said hello, by the way. Oh, well, uh, if you see him, tell him that I said hi. I will. Sweet. Hey Mola, I am six episodes deep into Bly Manor. It's terrific so far, but I miss the characters of Hill House. How do you think the characters in Bly Manor compare to those in Hill House? Better or worse? Oh, this is like not an easy question to answer. Like, comparing. That's the thing. Like, I, I think, like, if you take them all together, they don't have an episode that ruins any of them. True. So. Yeah, like, overall character writing rating, uh, Bly Manor comes out ahead of Hill House because of what they do to Liv in the last episode, as well as, to a degree, all of them in terms of just how they respond to all of the stuff that happened and how they don't show us what happens when they realize the dad is dead. That's um, annoyed me more and more as time's gone on when I've thought about it. Um. Kind of let it slide when I first thought about it, but at this point I'm like, hmm, that is actually pretty bad. 
but then you know the dynamic of them being the five children and how they what they mean to each other and where they sit and what they went through and how that plays into how they got older pretty fucking great work Bly is just very different it's uh but yeah I, I love them all it's really hard to sort of pick between or, or to compare I, I hopefully that answer is something close to what you're looking for uh, ever wonder what it smells like when a baby cow dies then rots inside of a cow? I didn't, but now I know, and I can never forget that. The only way to get rid of the memory is with a bullet. Hi, Rags. Um, hi. That's quite a super chat. That's quite a super chat. Um, hmm. Yeah, that's, uh, that's something. Alright. Alright, then. Sweet. Uh, that was great fun. I'm glad y'all liked Angus. <laughs> yes, Angus, uh... He was with a skateboard, right? I forget what the full name of him was. Was he a skateboard warrior or something? Something like that. I like the skateboard, though. Yeah. Very radical. Very cool. What's Fringy's favorite Ozzy Osbourne song? No More Tears. I can... You aced that one. Uh, when you eventually force Rags to watch Buffy, would love to see either a mini or something similar to the Hill House video. Hi, Rags. Oh. Uh, there's no way in hell that I would show Rags Buffy and not record it. It's, it's Whether or not Rags hates that show, uh, there's going to be a lot of interesting discussions about writing and, and other things to come of it. So, But uh, that would be quite an undertaking. It is... Last time I calculated something like an exactly like like a week in of of content. That's how long it is. So uh, it takes a while to get through all of that episode by episode. What do you think of David Lynch films? Uh, of the ones I've seen, I quite like, but uh, not watched a David Lynch film in a while. I can get up there, but I'm okay. The, the when they the, when they alert you about new interesting things to find out in the map, actually something I find annoying in this game because it's like I'm fine, I'm doing fine. I know I, I got places to go. You don't need to tell me where to go. Like if I need a hint, to... I'll ask you. That's the thing. They're like periodic too, because I I guess it's there. Because I think if this game were made today, there would be options to turn that shit off. Yeah. Um, but I don't think there is in this. They didn't think the average GameCube player would have the mental capacity to solve oh, wait. these puzzles. Hint system? Is that it? How do I get there? Visor, hint system. I mean, I don't want it to turn all hints off, but it's binary, so I guess we'll go with off. Actually, no. Okay, we'll leave it on just in case, because this is better for me in terms of if I get lost in Super Chats and I don't know where I'm going, then... At least the game can actually help me out. Uh, Jay wins by drawing nothing. I know the cheapest victory, but it did come through. Yeah, well, you see, you, you're the clowns who voted for it. So. Yeah, chat. Who are you trying to blame? Uh, which is better, Twins or Kindergarten Cop? I mean, I watched Kindergarten Cop quite a few times when I was younger compared to Twins, so it's got a special a place in my heartisms. Um, what about you, Rags? You seen them? I don't think I have. What do you think of Siskel and Ebit? Um, I think of them much like most critics. Sometimes they say some stuff that I think are interesting. Sometimes they say really dumb shit. The fact that they were there early means fuck all to me. I'm sorry. I'm not a Siskel and Ebit worshipper. And uh, Ebit said some really, really stupid things. In I, I don't want to make this up, but I'm pretty sure he said something dumb about video games because he was a dinosaur. A lot of people have said video games don't count as art. It's such a weird fucking comment. Yeah, very strange. And uh, some of Ebit's ratings were uh, 
interesting to say the least. Hmm. Do an EFAP on them. Um, your best and worst Christmas gifts? Hmm. Do you mean ones we've received or ones we've given? Because <laughs> I find the idea of like, hey, Rags, what's the worst thing you ever gave someone for Christmas? Kind of funny. Oh, the, the worst that I ever give everything? No, there isn't one I give people amazing gifts that are normally in the form of just like gift cards or specifically maybe they want something mm -hmm. um, or I see that they could get a use out of something but generally it's seriously it's just like gift cards we our family does that a lot because we don't we don't generally have very big lists it's like one thing or two so the rest is just gift cards to places that I, they know that I'll use and I do use them and I enjoy getting gift cards to places that I use and yeah, that's um, like... It's like when you grow up, it's the utility of gifts that you really appreciate. Like when you're young and you get socks, it's fucking shit. But when you get to be an adult and you get socks, you're like, dang, yes, this is good. Especially if they're nice, comfy socks or like mm -hmm. hiking socks. Because that shit can be like 20 bucks or something for a pair of those really nice socks. And you know you're going to use them. Um, and, and a chick gave like... me a Snuggie once. And that shit's amazing. I don't really remember, like, bad gifts, if you know what I mean, in Christmas. Like, yeah. if someone gives me something... I don't think I've ever been given something on Christmas that's made me annoyed enough that I remember how bad it is. It's usually just, ah, oh, they got me something that's nice. As for yeah. best, it's probably going to be something when I was a kid. Like, I really wanted something and then I got it. Your standard. Yeah, Didn't... there's some that stand out as being particularly good like a game or something maybe I th yeah i think there was a christmas where i first got the gamecube and um i've said this before i, I struggle to remember exactly but i'm pretty sure it was nightfire smash bros and mario sunshine I think or I might jesus christ fucking you hit pay dirt there well the funny thing is because yes but uh the the it's again i think i mentioned this on EFAP before it's just something that i look back on like wow um my sister worked in Woolworths, and it was shutting down, or at least our the, the local one we had was, was clearing out. I can't remember if it was shutting down or if it was having a clearance. I think it was having a clearance because I got the 360 when it was shutting down. You know the, the whole, like, you know someone who works there so they can just put something aside? That, that old yeah. sh sh dizzle dazzle. Um, so the way it worked was I got the GameCube for much cheaper than I would have otherwise, which is the only way I was ever going to be able to get it, and the three games I got were all like, coverless? Or, or the, they were all games that just kind of ended up in, in a place where they would be way cheaper, because um, I think it was my Smash Brothers uh, Melee one that didn't have anything other than a disc. It was in like a little um, you know, like clear package like sort of thing. Yeah. yeah. Um, and so the three games were random. I didn't specifically ask for them, I just got given them. And of all the games I could get as a triple for the GameCube, fucking great set. Um, so yeah, th th that probably ranks pretty high. Rags, I can't read Super Chats with you fisting me. <laughs> Sorry, it just happens. I like, get carried away sometimes. EFAP movie suggestion, Krampus. I did I did watch it the one time. I liked it. Don't know if it's EFAP movies material. It's always the problem with EFAP movie stuff. But perhaps. Hmm. Let's just have a look see. No 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 no. Also, Kick Puncher series. Unbridled praise when? Kick puncher, is that a reference to immunity? Um, I'm afraid, unless it's a real thing that they just watched in community. Never actually knew if it was real or not, but um, if it is, that's some, that's some best of the worst type shit that I imagine they would either cover or will cover. But uh, yeah, I think that's a community thing. Hey chat, what's your favorite EFAP episode? Mine is EFAP 1. It's a page one. Oh, yeah. 
I think mine's probably going to default to 100 at this point, at least for a while. There's uh, a whole bunch of events happening in that one. Yeah, there's a bunch that are really good. 84, um, 100, 93, and there's been a lot of others along the way, honestly, but... Because it gets hard to categorize them in your mind. But once I go through... If I were to look through, like, the thumbnails and stuff, I'd be like, ah, yeah, that one was great, and that one was great, was that one was great. But, um, yeah, because there's been so many now, it's kind of great that there's been so many. 93 is such a highly rated episode. That video is pure pain. But, uh, hilarity is it's failing. Here's a super chat simply because number one is sending any, also high rags. Hello. Oh, no one is sending any, I see. I mean, this, this, there's been quite a few. I'm uh, very thankful yeah. for that. You're all right. Uh, this one says lies, and then they followed up with I stand corrected. I see the narrative there. Quite the through line. Hi, Muller and Rags. Hello. Hi. My brother had just had a baby, which now makes me Uncle Ben. I must say, I felt fear before this, but this frightens Man, me. Hurt. I mean, he, he, you, know, you, you, you know how all that works, right? You can just, you could just have a female Are do it for it? you, and it's, it's you're just like, oh, it's mine now. You can just take it. Girls get it done, yeah. Yeah, girls get it done. Uh, I would be very concerned becoming an Uncle Ben. Avoid stopping robbers from robbing things, all right? Especially if they have guns, because you'll just be, you'll be going down. Nobody wants that. I'm guessing I can't jump here from there. <laughs> Let's go from here, maybe? That ain't happening. Uh, does Rags like being under or on top of the desk? Well, I mean, no, I'm not actually on the desk. I'm sitting in front of the desk, so I, I, I couldn't begin to imagine what you're referring to there. And under the desk, it's dark, and there's not much space. And I mean, I like the computer and the keyboard and everything's up here, so I don't, I don't know what I'd be doing down there. That's a really odd question to ask, mm -hmm. honestly. I don't um, know what got it. I think it, it was in reference to all the desks you were drawing. <clears throat> Oh, yeah. Um, I don't know. I just They just happen to be useful. People being at desks, you know. I find desks are really good at just... You can put stuff on them that you want and need. Yeah, they're very very useful. Very multi-purpose pieces of furniture. That's mm -hmm. for sure. <clears throat> uh, EFAP emulated Mario Party when? I mean, that's what Pummel Party is. It's like Mario Party without the Mario skin, uh, which we have done before. We could do again in future. You never know. Uh, we're on the uh, we're on a champed up arc at the moment. Mola Jeff over at World Class Bullshit has said he'd be down for an EFAP gaming crossover with his High Council new Mola character Womble Bomble. All right, and uh, yeah, you never know. With um, gaming has seen such a boom. In terms of EFAP, you know, in the recent, in 2020, I guess. We'll have all kind. Of, there's, there's still, um, they're still releasing on Moolah. I guess I'll talk about that toward the end. Uh, the, like, like, there's still two EFAP gamings that have to come out. Um, and one of them is is gaming with Tonald himself. For those who haven't seen it, so get excited for that. Uh, Revenge of the Sith game is really good. That game next, maybe. Uh, once I swap to PS2, there's a good chance of that sort of thing happening. Um, I did play that game a bunch when I was a young man, so I wouldn't mind throwing it on, yeah? See how it, see how it aged. Uh, what happens if I say punch J? Yeah. I mean, it, it'll probably cause the same thing to happen, you know, he, he ends up uh, leaving, but I just feel it's, it's somehow more violent, you know, to kick someone versus to punch somebody. With great power comes great response. No, 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 not yet. Yeah, that, uh, you're gonna have to wait a while before you deliver that one. And, is that a quote from Spider-Verse? Or I think it's, they say that and then he says, you all know the line or something like that. Yeah. I can't remember perfectly. Um. Do, do. 
Oh my god, he's playing my favorite game. Yeah. Well, I really love Metroid. I'm also like four siders in. Hi, Rags. Oh, hi. Yeah, Metroid's awesome. Did any of y'all play StarCraft? No. Not in a long time. Not in a while. I never did. Always looked complicated whenever I saw it. Metroid Prime is good rat. Also high rags. Oh, hi. Uh, what do you guys think of the ending of Half-Life Alex? I won't spoil anything, but it heavily affects the established plot and I don't know how to feel about it. Not played it? I don't know much about Half-Life. Yeah, to Honestly, be honest with you, I've forgotten most of the Half-Life story, to be honest with you. Yeah, I'm just not the one to really ask about Half-Life story and lore and stuff. It was alright. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Hope it wasn't poopy. Uh, wanna see Legolas in his finest form? Go watch DGRJ's Six Precise Reasons to Build Stealth Archer in Skyrim, along with his other videos on the subject. Also high ranks. Hi! Six precise reason to build stealth archer in Skyrim, huh? Do you take down an elephant and therefore the entire possible army of Mordor? I don't think so. Sure, you take out dragons, but you know, easy compared. Uh, Mordor, I dare you to come. Um, maybe at some point. You know. Not just on command. Uh, on the topic of the closure of cinemas, the easy comparison to draw is that live theatre is still prevalent in modern culture, just in a smaller niche. Yeah, I think that's fair. They will yeah, not be... I, I think still there will be a place for it. They're not going to be as easily accessible, which, you know, it's going to suck for some people who can't get access to them at all if they close down certain areas and stuff, but I mean... What are you going to do? In all of... In... All of this is sort of just, it's a delivery mechanism for movies when we talk about theaters and streaming services, and movies aren't going away. So it's not like those are going to be affected. It's just a result of how, what will people, where will people get the movies? And, you know, to a degree as well, um, like, movie budgets have been ballooning like crazy, and I don't know if that's tied to just the because maybe releasing them on streaming will make them calm down a bit in that regard maybe that'll be better for the industry in some way I don't know let's see how all this plays out I just know that uh, it's a neat that I will be able to watch some movies uh, that I wouldn't go to the cinema for now because they'll release at the same time and like I guess I'm still I, I just think the option is good but it just has repercussions we'll have to see how far they go uh, love you all. Please share these universal book tokens equally. Very well. Uh, hi, Molly. Your critiques aren't poor. They are atrocious. Have you guys seen the news on The Last of Us 2 showing more of Abby and her story? Just awful. Uh, <laughs> well, is, no. wait, are we talking, like, some factoid thing? Or are we talking, like, they're considering a DLC or some shit? Because, oh. Don't do it. Uh, I'm taking Rags' advice and building a gaming PC. Wish me luck, I haven't done this before. Good luck. Oh yeah, good luck. Take it slow, uh, watch videos, and get your info, and things should work out A-OK. -okay. Check out plenty I doubt of you'll guys. regret it. I'm dumb, but Lord of the Rings plot hole. Frodo is wearing a mithril vest. Troll can't pierce, but Shelob can. Also high Rags. Hey, this Hello. came up recently uh, for You us. know, it's... Yeah, we actually discussed this, and um, like yesterday was it? someone. Yeah, it was yesterday or the day before. Yeah, we were watching someone's video, and they brought this up, and uh, so the troll, when it stabs Frodo, it stabs him not anywhere near the center. It's clearly like along the side, uh, and also it looks like the um, like the prong of the spear that the troll has is caught on the stone wall next to Frodo, but it doesn't hit Frodo head on. It's very much a side sort of blow, and it hits low, so it's not like on the ribs or anything. Yeah, um, it looks as the if mithril catches it. The, the stab would have hurt quite a bit if you don't have something that could have protected your skin and simultaneously pushed the, 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 the thing away from you a little bit, which I think mithril would take care of. 
Um, and then yeah, Shelob, um, if you look at the the moments in the in the film of, of, of right before he's hit, it looks as if there's um, he's not have buttoned up or strung up his uh, mithril. Yeah, vest. his mithril is it's 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 very loose fitting on his front to where you could barely even see it underneath his shirt. It's very his chest is very open, and Shelob stabs him in the front. Which, and by we the can't way, actually see it. I think you could say is supported by the idea that he would have undone it because it's easier to access the ring, which he likes to look at and play yes. with. So he's got it undone, and Shelob hits him quite high up in terms of his torso. So I don't know that uh, you can actually confidently claim that Shelob even interacted at all with the Mithril Vest. Uh, but interesting. Uh, thought regardless. Uh, hi, Muller and Rags. Love your videos and streams. Hello to yourself. Hope you're having fun. Hey, long man. Hello. Rags. Hello. And Mootle. I'm afraid Mootle is dead. Dumb question, yeah. possibly. Could you think of any major plot holes in the prequels alone? Personally, I can't think of any. In the prequels? Oh, it's, it's, what's what's like a go-to plot hole in the prequels? A go-to plot? Why do they why do they try to kill Princess Amidala when they need her for the plan? Are we talking Phantom Menace now? Yeah. Yeah, we we just talking Phantom Menace. To be honest with you, my brain is. I can a bring, bit I can fried. pull up my notes here. Uh, let's see. Menu. Open. Prequel notes. Oh, that's yeah. You, are you talking about when they're exiting and they're shooting at yeah, the, the um the ship? Yeah. The so let's see. Ba, 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 ba. Why didn't the Trade Federation keep the? Well, there's a lot of there's a lot of small stuff. Uh, but I'm just going through my list of notes to see which one is going to be a big one. Um, well, because if we're talking about plot holes. Because a lot of this is just a lot of super contrivances and stupid stuff. Um, let's see. God, I got a lot of notes on episode one. Um, and I don't want my silence to be interpreted like it's difficult for me... <laughs> to think of one because what I'm doing is I've got like pages of notes on these prequel movies from when well, they, we watched them. They know. And so we, I'm just kind of... We've been through uh, Phantom Menace and Attack of the Clones. We haven't done yeah, Revenge of the Sith I, yet. I guess one would be if you could classify it as a plot hole is that when uh, Princess Amidala is fleeing Naboo the Trade Federation tries to destroy the ship and almost succeeds but they specifically need Princess Amidala for Sidious's plan. Yeah, and I can't be more definitive than that because I'd have to remind myself of, like what everyone's up to in that film because I've kind of I'm, my brain is low yeah, energy right now. It's it's mostly the issue with the prequels is that there's mostly an insane amount of contrivance for the plot and characters acting incredibly stupidly and against all reason. My first live fap. I love you, Massives. Thank you for making my law brain scream whenever ships and 40k are brought up. Also, hi, Rags. Hello. Someone said they don't know the queen is on the ship. I was like, bitch, it's the queen's ship. The queen was just... cat. The, the queen was just moments ago absconded. She was in custody. You have lost the queen. They fight <laughs> their way to the hangar. They get in the fucking... The queen's starship. The Royal Naboo Queen's ship, and then they leave. Is that even like at, how? Even if how they were they right, that wouldn't be good enough. Like, if Rax and I have an incredibly important captive, and someone is escaping, and we know that we've lost her, the, the idea that's like, yeah, just blow them up. I'd be like, whoa, whoa, whoa what if, what if, what if that's the fucking one we need? 
It was just a different kind of stupid for them, I would say. But the forest clouds reason and judgment and causes controversy. Yeah, 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 yeah. The forest, the forest, the forest. Oh yeah, we don't, we don't accept that. <laughs> like, yeah, that doesn't, that's yeah. not a good enough argument for EFAP. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's it's basically we don't allow spectral evidence in this court. Which YouTuber would you like to meet face to ass? <laughs> I don't know. I'd have to think about that, honestly. Yeah, I got, I got no one off the top of my head. <laughs> face to ass. I just like the, the scenario could be all kinds of different ones. I love how Grogu has more training than Rey. Uh, yeah. Grogu has been trained. I think it's fucking weird the idea that you could train this infant in the forest when it can't even like understand simple concepts like arm wrestling and things of that nature. I'll be honest with you, if if I was one of the Jedi people at that temple and they were like, "Oh, it's your time to train Grogu," I'd be like, "I don't, guys, can we just wait until Grogu's a bit older?" Like, I feel like yeah, it's kind of like, a waste. Yeah, like so it can like understand words. Apparently, it does sometimes. It's fucking weird. Grogu is a weird creature. I'm curious if they're gonna do some kind of growth spit at some point, because... And then just say, oh, that's just how they age. Because they're gonna wanna... Or maybe they make a Grogu TV show and it's just set really far in the future or something, I don't know. I don't know what they're gonna do. Uh, what's their goal with show anyway? What are they going with all of this? Let me even say, what's the theme of this show beside money, of course? Uh, I've got no idea what they're trying to do with Mandalorian. A lot of people theorize they're trying to fix the sequels, which... <laughs> they can't you're even... doing a weird... If your job <laughs> is to fix... If you're trying to fix the sequels, you're... I don't know what the fuck you're doing. I don't know that we can even conclude anything remotely close to that. They can't even maintain themselves. Like, the idea that they're gonna be the ones to fix the sequels. Um, another theory is just, you know, your standard making money thing, which, which, it'll, I think everything we've seen so far is just like a fine explanation that it all follows. Because the idea that they're telling some grand story is completely out the fucking window. I honestly think the more Mandalorian goes on, the worse it'll get for having no fucking clue what it was doing, and it'll just try and pull something big out of its ass randomly. It's all been leading to this. And then as for the theme of the show, I'd have to think about each episode and really try and dig, because I, I got nothing off the top of my head. Thanks so much for an enormous amount of content. Not just EFAP, but the dozens of quality content creators I would never have found otherwise. Well, hey, that's good news. Uh, to hear all the people we have on and you guys check out as a result that's definitely a plus and, uh, I hope you're enjoying it we've got lots more EFAP related things on the way as per usual uh, hey boys I have great news I'm finally editing working on my long man anime review and took your advice on reviewing wish me luck but I got a quick question what makes a piece of media manipulative to you I'm curious I think it's when they try to essentially when they when they try to get you to when they try to give you a payoff without earning it and they try to use often surface level stuff to think that they've earned it like music that will play oh, that's, or actors yeah. giving emotions that haven't actually been um like that's a big one like they haven't done any of the work and they just want the payoff and Fucking, I think that the yeah. music playing is a huge part of that. I think it's probably like the biggest example. That could be very cheaply used. Yeah, the, the something like Batwoman would 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 do that in a heartbeat, where it's just like, emotional scene is happening. Quick, get the piano. Like, yeah, that's, that's how we do. Um, I feel like that's come up a lot recently with things we've been watching, where we're like, holy shit, you've not earned this, whatever this is happening. You know what's funny? We didn't say that about the um, the Luke Fox scene that we thought was good. I think it's because it kind of was okay in terms of being earned. 
Well, yeah, they had spent. Yeah, we we'd gotten a little build up on it in some prior episodes, so a little bit of information. It didn't like it. It wasn't like well developed, but it was kind of earned. Like they'd mentioned it before. They didn't just randomly pull it out of their yeah, ass at the uh, moment. Our issue was they just fucking drove on ahead with the uh, they killed him, and that's like oh, that's the plot development. It's like whoa, you could have uh, so much more you could have done. There we are. Batwoman Season 2, on the way, folks. On the way. Uh, did you watch RLM's video on The Boys Season 2? If so, what do you think? They seem pretty positive about it, besides saying it was slow to start. I, yeah, it that wasn't a very good video. Listen, they I barely like. talk about it. They get a lot of stuff wrong. They don't provide references for things. I like Red Letter Media, wasn't. but sometimes they just don't give a shit. And their commentary yeah. on The Boys Season 2 is almost worthless. Which can happen. Uh, there's a channel that does this all the time, where... Like a subject is brought up, and then nothing of substance is said about it. It's called uh, Chris Stuckman. Don't know if you've ever heard of it. But that's like the goal, is to just try and say nothing while saying things. And sometimes, um, you know, that can happen to just anybody. And I feel like that's kind of... They just, they just didn't go into much at all about what was working about that season. But uh, they enjoyed it. And I think they did it for season one, and that's why they did it for season two. Like, it doesn't seem like there's any other reason than that video was... Th th that was video was made. They said it was better than season one, laugh my fucking ass off. It's not. It's fucking not. Uh, do. Shout out to G and T. They think the prequels are objectively bad. They covered Plinket reviews and kept saying we are defending the PT, man. G and T? So, the prequels are really bad. You don't want to be in a position where you have to defend them. However, it is possible to defend them against bad criticism. I think that's what this is saying. That, like, they think they're bad. Well, because we did this with Cosmo, obviously. Yeah, we had to do this, yeah. Who's G and T? I G N T Grunko and Chat, help me out. Who's G N T? I don't know who G N T are. Prequels are bad, but also overhated. Perhaps. I don't know if they're overhated. It's kind of hard to quantify. I mean, that they're really one. bad. That's the thing. Like, it's they ain't good. They're bad. I don't know about overhated though. I'm just not sure. <laughs> Yo Mama, Grunko and Tism, Grimlock and the Terminator. I'm I'm not sure. I, I I'm I, It's G and T E A, by the way. G and T. Oh, I don't know, but alright. Uh did you Hey Mola, which Star Wars movie is your favorite? Empire. So uh, Yeah. Not a hard question. But it's fine to ask it, of course. Alright. What is at the back of this place? High rags? Hello. Also high rags. I gave you a double. Ooh, hello, hello. Uh... Also, quick reminder, look into Outer Wilds. You don't even have to play it, just buy it on Steam. What? <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Uh, you don't even have to play it, just buy it. Oh, they said they follow up with indie devs deserve it for their masterpiece. Okay, but, like, I don't even know what it is. <laughs> so it wouldn't it'd be weird if I just. Oh, it's a spider thing, okay. Um, but yeah, I, you know. I'll have to look into it at some point. Invite Kadikaris for on for EFAP? Possible. I, uh. I did, um, uh, he, he did do a voice thing for one of my videos at one point. I don't know if he'd be interested, but yeah. I'll try that out at some point. Hey, Rags, Muley. I'm hey. looking for something to increase my disk space on my laptop because it's getting full. What would you recommend? External, External hard, drive. hard drive. Yeah. Or just, you know, go through all of what you've got and try and make some space, because maybe you don't have the money for an external hard drive, but uh, they go for pretty yeah, cheap maybe. these days, right? In terms of, you can get... Yeah, storage isn't too expensive. Yeah, you should be alright. Uh, 
I think most of the hate from EFappers is because Venom used him as examples, even though they made no sense. Granted, dude is annoying, but sometimes he makes good videos. Oh, in relation I'm to sure Nostalgia Critic. Some of his videos are good. Oh, Nostalgia Critic? Yeah, I'm sure some of his videos are good. Yeah, I'm... Yeah. Just the ones we... Uh, but if we wouldn't cover a really good video that we agree with. It would just be us for hours nodding our heads and saying, yep, that's right. Yeah, and even still, we try to do that every once in a while. Uh, what are other ways to send Super Chats? YouTube is dumb. Uh, Streamlabs, though, admittedly, uh, the... So, oh, how am I going to do this? So, I guess Tuesday, I will put out part two of Rags and I playing Resident Evil 2, 5, because I still I was waiting behind Little Hope, so that's out next. That has the first selection of... Uh, Streamlabs being responded to in it, and a portion of EFAP 103. Um, and then the meme fap has the second portion of 103. You see how this is getting complicated now, thanks to how continuity goes. Um, I have a catalog system. I still remember it all. Get... It's, it's, it's just that I, you know, we, we just gotta get them out in order and, and properly labeled so you guys can catch them all. But yeah, Streamlabs mm -hmm. is the other way to send money if you, if you want to, uh, not involve YouTube. Uh, it's in the description. You'll be able to find it. And and what is sent through there? Uh, a big chunk of them are being read on Tuesday. And and uh, Rags and I are gonna figure out how exactly we're doing what catch up and where and what's labeled. It's it's all coming. It's all in my head, and I've got them all saved. It'll be fine. Uh, the thunder clouds broke up, and the rain dried up. The lightning let up. The clacking shutters just shut up. Okay. Hmm. Man, none of my jokes are landing today. Maybe I should follow Doug's advice and make someone suffer for them. Jeez, yeah. Is that a thing you I'm not funny like... enough. I have to start to bust out the torture implements. <laughs> this when you know you're running out of options, I guess. It was like, right, it's time. Uh, hi, Rags. How is your human? Oh, he's doing A-OK. -okay. Looking, looking good. Mm. All as well. Rags, who's your main Apex legend? I have the most kills with Lifeline, though I haven't played her in a while since I started playing with another friend who really likes her. So I've been kind of cycling through Bangalore, Bloodhound, and Mirage, playing those three. Enjoying them quite a bit, particularly Mirage. And uh, any videos on Apex coming? Probably not, though you will almost certainly see footage that I save uh, played in the background of like Dog Bites videos or maybe some other ones, because I, I do save clips of you know things here and there, and I've been playing it enough, so I, you will probably see clips of it. Probably no videos dedicated to it, though. Depends on how rambly I want to be on Dog Bites sometimes if I just want to make a video where I just talk about some thoughts I have. And uh, also, hi, Mola. Hello. Guys, I say this often. I watch anime. It is terrible. The good ones are the exception to the rule, and Ruby is the epitome of bad anime. It's so bad, it's hilarious. Huh. Well, there you go. Uh, obviously, most anime is bad. 95% of everything is. I mean, yes, but, like, I guess it's... Uh, people often are giving a special mention at that point. I assume. Um... What is your opinion on flying games? Because Project Wingman equals Chef's Kiss, also high ranks. Hello there. Uh, flying games. I don't really. I've not played many flying games. It's not really much of a genre that I've explored. You play flying games, ranks? No, I don't. Hmm. Yeah, Project Wingman, I, I, I'm not even sure what it is, to be honest with you. Uh, Lorne is a treasure. Protect him at all costs. Don't know what that's referring to. If it's the character in Angel called Lorne, then yes, I agree. L-O-R-N? Yes. Uh, there's like a music person who makes like electronic music named Lorne, but that's all that could I'm be familiar it. with. Maybe. The Lord and Angel has got an E on the end, so probably not that one. Ah. Uh, I want wind to blow. All right. There you go. Hi, Rags. 
Hello. Uh, any recommendations from Bad Dragon? Um, yeah. I mean, it depends on how <laughs> used to things you are back there. Um, Surely, it's there's so many different see. preferential sort of changes you can make depending on your yeah, interests, right? Yeah. Um, I enjoy uh, Chance. I have a uh, two of him, two unflared ones. One's a medium, one's a large. You had to work your way up to that one, though. You don't you don't want to start. You know that's not a starting point. Uh, but there's other ones that have been just fine. Um, let me try to get the name straight. Let me go and look at the thing here. Uh, da -da -da -da. <laughs> Everyone's arguing in chat about what, what anime is. What anime is? <laughs> it's, it's so amusing to me. It's like, it's okay, guys. But what is anime? It's a genre. Oh, no, it's not a genre, it's a style. It's a medium, not a genre. Like, oh god. Archer is a good one that I would recommend. I think they've actually renamed this since from when I bought it, but it's very humanoid. Uh, but it's a really good starter. Um, especially if they're soft. Um, that and... Yeah, that, that'd probably be the one I'd suggest you start with. Uh, watch the searches by John Ford. That's a right, it's that's good. An oldie, right? They haven't remade that yet, yeah, have they, or have they? Sounds like something they would have remade by now. Um, and yeah, and that's uh, that's it. Well, at least for this EFAP, which uh, brings us to the end of this EFAP, because I, I'm afraid I am desperately in need of some food. You know. Ah, I but see. The tank is ill-suited to continue on such low amounts of fuel. Uh, but it's been enough, wonderfully yeah. fun. I want to make sure I save the game so we can carry it on. It seems to be running better now. Uh, i got the different options going, so... Oh, that's good, that's good. Mando! Four episodes have been edited. Episode 2 is coming out tomorrow. Around the time EFAB would normally stream, we'll just premiere it. And then Resident Evil will be on Tuesday. Then Mando's next episode will be, I guess, Friday. No, Thursday and Friday? I don't know how I'm going to spread these out. I guess maybe if it's Saturday, Monday Resident Evil, Wednesday Mando, Friday Mando, Saturday EFAB. We got another gaming to release on the next Monday. Basically, there's loads of things coming out, guys. All right. It's going to be great. It's going to be fun. Um, we are gonna watch episode six t day after tomorrow. Well, maybe I don't. I don't really know. And we're also watching the last Resident Evil. There's lots of things getting recorded and edited and made up. And all in the meantime, we are both still working on our videos. Lots of things along the way. Oh yeah, the 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 meme stream or meme video. Sorry, meme fap. That'll be out like fucking January first or something. Because it just it's uh got the wrong visuals for now. All on the way. No worry, Arenos. And, um... Yeah, I guess that's about it. Um, is there anything you wanted to mention, Rex, before we toddle off to... Offline world? No, I, I think I've... I think I've spoken enough. I think I've said what needs to be said. It's like your opinion, bro. Um, but yeah, yeah was it's okay. Ten hours. I think they consider that a long... I can't remember. Um... I, they better. Or we're in trouble. So yeah, more, plenty of things on the way. Lots, lots, of, lots of fun to them. Thank you all for for hanging out with us. Hope you had fun, and enjoyed the first of the Christmas themed EFAPs. More along the way. Yeah, man. Good looking um, stuff. Uh, yeah, and uh, th thank you for the memes, the art, the company, and the the donations. All very kind. I guess we'll uh, we'll catch you all next time. Um, Good. Yeah, we will um, see everybody later. Thanks for thanks for sticking around. Good night, everybody.